Chapter 51 The Big Boss of Hong Kong City Part 1 Zuming was stunned for the first time, what? Your mother asked you to apologize to Wai Hua. Why is that? Doesn't she know that Wai Hua's bastard bullied you and beat you? Facing Zuming's series of questions, Tang Ran desperately shook his head while lowering his head, as if he did not want to let Zuming know about her. Zuming said to her softly, Ran Ran, what's the matter? I am your Ming brother. You can tell me no matter what you have and grievances, and I will help you. Did Wai Hua go to your mother to sue him? Can I help you teach him? Tang Ran cried even harder. She raised her head and said to Zeming, Brother Ming, my mother asked me to be a man in Nanjing and find a rich man, but I don't like Wai Hua. Zeming suddenly understood that it seemed that Tang Ran and Wai Hua might have met through a blind date. Tang Ran's family asked her to find a rich man in Nanjian, although Wai Hua didn't even fart in Zuming's eyes. His family there is a factory that can borrow 100,000 yuan from the bank, which is already a very good beetle law for ordinary people. Tang Ran's family must continue to persuade Tang Ran to be close to Wai Hua's friend and marry Wai Hua earlier. Now her mother heard that Tang Ran and Wai Hua had quarreled, and she was afraid of losing Wai Hua as a golden turtle son in law, so she called Tang Ran when to apologize to Wai Hua. After thinking about this, Zuming said to Tang Ran, Of course, I will go to your parents with you, your brother Ming has nothing else, and there is still a lot of money. Why, brother Ming, are you good with me? Tang Ran said suddenly. Zuming let out a surprised cry, Of course. Dot 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 is this bad, brother Ming? Do you dislike me? Me and Wai Hua have nothing, and I don't want to talk to him anymore. Brother Ming, I beg you to help me. Are you good with me? I know you I like Sister Mew King, I just want you and me to be a temporary partner, as long as my parents stop forcing me to talk to Wai Hua, I promise not to interfere with Brother Ming, you and Sister Mew King. Please! Exclamation mark. Tang Ran cried and begged. Tang Ran's words made Zhu Ming a little dumbfounded. Zhu Ming could understand her feelings and thoughts, but such a cute little beauty cried in front of her and begged herself to be her boyfriend. This picture is always unacceptable, especially in Zhu Ming's previous life. He is still a hard-working man with no femininity, let alone Zhu Ming. The uncle in the communication room looked at this place dumbfounded. Is that big mouth enough to lay two eggs? I'm afraid he can't figure out what kind of luck Zuming, this young man, would let a little beauty do this. Zuming's psychological endurance is still very good. Even though Tang Ran did not expect to do this, he quickly returned to his mind and said to Tang Ran, Of course, don't cry. Since you call me Brother Ming. How could I be? Reject your request. You want me to deal with you. When you are your boyfriend, I will be your boyfriend. If nothing else, it will definitely satisfy your parents. Tang Ran sobbed and nodded and said, Thank you brother Ming, thank you brother Ming. Zeming stretched out his hand to wipe the tears from Tang Ran's small face. Well, of course, let's go back to your dormitory and wash your face, and then we will go to see your parents. Okay, Tang Ran said, Zuming took her little hand and walked back to the dormitory. Behind them, the uncle in the communication room kept watching them walk up to the dormitory, and then he sighed and said, it seems that I am really old. Why can't I understand this? Tang Ran is also very much in the unit. Beautiful little girl, lively and cheerful. What kind of blessing did this young man have in his previous life that made Tang Ran so devoted to him? Dot. Zuming and Tang Ran took a taxi to Nanjian shopping mall. Tang Ran's parents worked here. When they came to the door of the mall, they saw Tang Ran's parents waiting here. Tang Ran took Zuming and walked over, but before Tang Ran could speak, Tang Ran's mother Lin Waixiu cursed over her head and covered her face. Ran Ran. What's the matter with your child? Is it true that your father and I are usually too used to you? Makes you a little lawless. What's wrong with Wai Hua? Why are you arguing with him? Do you know how difficult your aunt is to introduce this to you? You are not too young. Don't be so capricious. Tang Ran's father, Tang Jun, stood aside. Although he didn't speak, 
The expression on his face undoubtedly completely agreed with Lin Weixi's words. This made Zhu Ming frown at the time. He now understands why Tang Ran cried so wrong just now. She was forced to deal with Wai Hua by such parents. She had no choice at all, and other girls suffered. If you are wronged, you can go back to your natal family, but Tang Ran's parents are better but they also helped Wai Hua to tell Tang Ran's fault. I really don't understand who is his own. Auntie, you have misunderstood it. Wai Hua bullied Ran Ran, and even hit Ran Ran with his hands. Zhu Ming couldn't listen anymore, and said to Lin Weixiu, Lin Weixiu oh. only saw Zhu Ming here, frowning, who are you? When Zhu Ming was about to speak, Lin Weixiu suddenly realized that Zhu Ming was holding Tang Ran's hand, and hurriedly came up to bait Zhu Ming's hand, and pulled Tang Ran aside and asked, Of course, who is he? Hello auntie, my name is Zhu Ming, and I am Ran Ran's boyfriend. Zhu Ming replied. Lin Weixiu looked at Tang Ran, and Tang Ran nodded very cooperatively. This answer caused Lin Weixiu to burst out, Of course, you have grown up now, so you don't listen to me and your dad. I'll tell you to talk to you. Find someone rich preferably from Nanjiyin. This will be better for your future life. Why don't you listen? Lin Weixiu pointed at Zhu Ming again and said, What do you think is good about this person? A poor look, you will have to live a hard life after following him. But do you disagree with Wai Hua deliberately looking for a beggar? Are you mad at me and your dad? Are you willing to mad at us? Tang Ran hurriedly explained, Mom is not like this, Zhu Ming is not what you think. He is the big boss of Hong Kong City. The big boss of Port City? Lin Weixiu smiled disdainfully. Did he tell you? Did you believe that he said that he was the big boss of Hong Kong City? You kid is still young. He was deceived by him. I always tell you not to believe other people easily. Look at him like this. Where is there a little like a big boss in Hong Kong City? All those who say that he is a beggar on the street are flattering him. Mom? He is really the big boss of Hong Kong City. Tang Ran explained to Zhu Ming anxiously, Fart. Lin Weixiu dissatisfied. Of course, your child is really getting more and more stubborn and disobedient now. He said that he is the big boss of Hong Kong City, but if you listen to his accent, it is clearly well, Lin Yang, and it's a little ruffian who ran out of Lin Yang. Zhu Ming stepped forward and said to Lin Weixiu, Aunt Lin, it doesn't matter whether I am the boss of Hong Kong City or not. The important thing is that Wai Hua is very bad for Ran Ran. Ran Ran's left arm. Lin Weixiu didn't believe Zhu Ming at all. You fart. I haven't seen Wai Hua's young man. He is a very honest and decent young man. Do you think they are all like you? Auntie, look at the injury on Ran Ran's arm first. Okay, Zhu Ming said. What do you look at? Lin Weixiu said so still taking a look, but still reluctant to show Zhu Ming. What does it mean that it is hurt? Maybe Ran Ran touched it by myself? Or I seeing that you were the one who fought, I don't think you are like a good person, so hurry up and stay away from our house, or I will call the police and arrest you. Auntie, Ran Ran is being bullied by Wai Huan now. If you don't go to Wai Huan's trouble to help Ran Ran call the shots, what do you mean by that? Zhu Ming said. You don't cry so affectionately? Who do you call auntie? Who is your auntie? Lin Weixiu ate it and said, I mean what's wrong with you? You are a little ruffian. If you want to be a hooligan, don't you let others talk about it? And even if it really has something to why hua, what does it have to do with you? When will it be your turn to make irresponsible remarks here? Lin Weixiu thought for a while and said, I'm telling you. Our family is going to marry a rich man in the future. It's not something that a little ruffian like you can afford. Don't Toad want to eat swan or meat? Get out of here, or me. I really called the police to catch you. Lin Weixiu's words caused Zhu Ming to feel extremely headache, saying that Xu Kai met soldiers and it was unreasonable. However, in Zhu Ming's view, middle-aged aunts like Lin Weixiu still spotted middle-aged aunts with a streak. Ways to communicate. After thinking about it, Zhu Ming had no choice but to say, Aunt Lin, I understand, you want Ran Ran to live a good life in the future, so she must marry a rich man? Lin Weixiu raised her brows, you finally understand? You understand, get out, don't always pester my daughter, but if I say that I didn't lie to you, 
Am I really the big boss of Hong Kong City? Zhu Ming asked rhetorically. Lin Weixiu burst into laughter. She pointed at Zhu Ming and said, You, just rely on you? But if you don't understand, don't you think I don't understand? You don't take a pee and take good pictures of yourself. The big boss of Hong Kong City doesn't have you like this. Just your Lin Yang local accent. I don't believe you when you say you are the boss of Lin Yang. Let me beg you, okay? You should hurry back to Lin Yang, okay? Don't be embarrassed here in Nanjian, here not where you stay. I know that there is no proof in words, so let's do it. Here is a Nanjian newspaper published today. The second page is about Hong Kong City. The headline above is me. There are also photos. Auntie, you can compare it. Ziming said then he took out a newspaper and handed it to Lin Weixiu. Lin Weixiu took the newspaper suspiciously and saw Zhu Ming's photo on the headline of the second page. Lin Weixiu was stunned for the first time, but still suspiciously said, I read this newspaper is fake? Don't think I don't know, you scammers specialize in this kind of thing. Zhu Ming was helpless. If Aunt Lin still doesn't believe me, you can ask your uncle to buy an Angian newspaper to read and you will know the true and false. Chapter 52 The Big Boss of Hong Kong City Part 2 Question Mark You Are you really the big boss of Hong Kong City? In front of Ziming, Lin Weixi who held a newspaper and looked at Ziming incredulously. The newspaper she was holding was bought by Tang Ran's father, Tang Jun. It was the same as the one that Ziming gave Lin Weixi who. The headline on the second page also contains news about Ziming, and even distributed photos. Although the picture is not as high definition and uncensored as it is 20 years later, it definitely shows that the person in the picture is Ziming. Replace it like a fake. Ziming smiled. Oh, I didn't expect that the big boss of Gangqing was so young and he was in the newspapers. It's amazing. Lin Weixiu praised Ziming with a thumbs up. Her performance at this time could not be connected with Lin Weixiu just now. However, Ziming was not surprised by her performance, because no matter what she had just done or what she had done in other matters, it was obvious that she was too poor and loved the rich. In this era, people who can be in the newspaper are either rich or expensive, not to mention that Ziming is clearly mentioned in the newspaper as the boss of a certain fund company in Hong Kong. Lin Weixiu does not know what the fund is, but he can understand what the boss of the company is. At the same time, it was precisely because Lin Weixiu did not understand that Lin Weixiu felt that Ziming was unpredictable and the big boss. Of course, Lin Weixiu did not cultivate to the kind of advanced face changing state after all. It is impossible to really assume that the previous thing did not happen, so she then complained and said, Of course you are the same kid. How did you know the big boss of Gangqing? Why don't you tell us? You see. Your dad and I were not prepared to bring him today, so embarrassed. Didn't I always say that he is the big boss of Hong Kong City? You didn't believe it. Tang Ran said aggrieved. Seeing the embarrassment on Lin Weixi's face, Zhu Ming said to her, It doesn't matter, Aunt Lin, I am a very casual person, and I have just arrived in Nanjian. I haven't had time to inform you yet, and it's because I haven't done my job properly. Speaking of this, Zhu Ming looked at the time and said, Uncles and aunts, it's already late now. Should we go to eat first, and then we will talk? Tang Jun and Lin Weixiu nodded and said OK. Lin Weixiu also taught Tang Ran and said, Of course, you think the big boss of Hong Kong City can talk and do things, but he is much better than those in other mainland China. Whatever rich people do is good. What they do not have money is wrong. Lin Weixi's thoughts are very similar to those of later generations of worshipping money. It seems that so many women who worshipped money were not born out of thin air. They were all educated by such parents. Zhu Ming didn't say anything about it, just sighed silently in his heart. After all, he couldn't save all sentient beings, and he didn't have the ability to change ideas as long as he could make the people he cares about live well. Zhu Ming took Tang Ran and her parents to a hotel next to the mall. Zhu Ming asked for a box and ordered a table of hearty dishes. Looking at this table of dishes, the luxuriously decorated boxes, and the beautiful waiters around waiting to serve them at any time, 
Lin Weixiu felt a little at a loss, she whispered to Ziming, well, boss Zhu, it costs a lot of money, right? Fortunately, it's about 500 yuan, Ziming replied casually. This answer made Lin Weixiu take a breath. She looked at Ziming in admiration and said, 500 yuan? Our family of three can't make so much money in a month, so let's eat a meal. Okay, boss Zhu is really the big boss from Hong Kong City and his spirit is different. Ziming smiled slightly and asked Tang Ran's father, Uncle, do you drink? How about I open a bottle of Mao Tai for you? Hearing the name Mao Tai, Tang Jun's eyes widened, Mao Tai? Isn't that the wine that the central leadership drinks? This wine must be very expensive, right? It's only seven or eight hundred. As Ziming said, he greeted the waiter to have a drink. Tang Jun hurriedly waved his hand and said, don't don't, Mr. Zhu, just give me a bottle of wine for a few yuan. The waiter blinked a pair of apricot eyes and looked at Zhu Ming suspiciously. Zhu Ming waved to her and said, you just go and drive, it's okay. The waiter in the box was relieved to get the wine. At this time, Tang Jun said to Zhu Ming, boss Zhu, the wine is all the leaders drank. My ingredients are not that good and it's too expensive. How can I drink it? It's better for you to drink, boss Zhu. I just grab a few dollars of local wine and just drink it. Ziming smiled and said, Uncle, now that reform and opening up are in progress, what is the ingredient? If you want to be honest, capitalists like me will be knocked down. Besides, since this wine is brought to you, Uncle, drink it without worry and open it up. If your uncle really doesn't want to drink, or you can finish it, you can take it home, uncle, and drink it whenever you want. Lin Weixiu also complained to Tang Jun, that is, why are you so embarrassed? Boss Zhu is here, can't you let him drink a few yuan of local wine with you? When Lin Weixiu said that Tang Jun stopped talking, Zhu Ming said, uncle and aunt, don't call me boss Zhu, I'm actually not a few years older than Ran Ran. Just call me Xiao Zhu. Lin Weixiu and Tang Jun shook their heads at first and said that this was not good, but with Zhu Ming's insistence, they finally only called Zhu Ming's name, and Zhu Ming couldn't help it. Zhu Ming. The newspaper said you are the boss of a fund company. What kind of company is this fund company? Is it gold? Lin Weixiu asked curiously. Of course not. Zhu Ming said, in fact, the fund simply means you give me your money, and then let me help you invest your money in other places and help you make your money more. Dot. Lin Weixiu stunned and said, this dot 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 isn't it the same as a bank? But can the money be put in a private company? Of course you can. You can also treat fund companies as the same thing as banks, but in general, the interest paid by funds is much higher than that of banks. In addition, foreign banks are actually private. Zhu Ming say. Lin Weixiu and Tang Ju nodded faintly. Lin Weixiu said, no wonder Zhu Ming, you are so rich, and you are still private like a bank. Can this be rich? Zhu Ming, how long have you been in Hong Kong? What does your family do? My family is actually all Lin Yang people, so auntie, you hear my accent. Zhu Ming said, I haven't been to Hong Kong for a long time. I would like to thank Ran Ran for speaking of it. If it weren't for her help me get my passport and visa to Hong Kong City, I'm afraid I won't be able to make that much money. Lin Weixiu hurriedly said, of course she just happened to be lucky enough to run into that unit that was recruiting people. It is her blessing to be able to help Zhu Ming. Just when Zhu Ming was chatting with Lin Weixiu, the waiter brought the wine. Zhu Ming asked the waiter to serve the wine and poured it for himself and Tang Jun. At first, Tang Jun thought the wine was too expensive, but he didn't dare to drink it after a while. Well, when Tang Ran's parents became more comfortable and more open, the door of the box was suddenly knocked open, and Wai Hua walked in. Seeing Wai Hua coming in, Tang Jun and Lin Weixiu were stunned for a while, and then a little panicked. After all, they were looking for someone to meet Wai Hua's relatives. Now Tang Ran is still having a relationship with Wai Hua, just a little trouble. Contradictory, now they are eating with Zhu Ming in the box, and this matter makes them not know how to face Wai Hua. Wai Hua was stunned for the first time. He didn't expect to see Tang Ran's family in such a luxurious place, 
but then he saw Zeming. You are here, Zeming greeted Wai Hua lightly. Seeing Zeming, Wai Hua's face suddenly became distorted. He pointed at Zeming and said, It's you? It's really you bastard who has returned. Are you here to snatch Tang Ran? The anger in Wai Hua's heart cannot be increased. As a native of Nanjian, he has always had a sense of superiority in front of Tang Ran. Tang Ran has always been very obedient and obedient in front of him. Tang Ran's parents are also very optimistic about him. He was waiting to take down this cute little girl. But since Zuming came, the whole world was wrong. Tang Ran told him every day that Zuming was here and there. He even knew that Zuming would give up dating himself when he came back to pick him up at the Nanu port. Now Zuming is still paying him. Inviting Tang Ran's parents to eat in such a luxurious place, isn't this trying to take Tang Ran away? Tang Jun and Lin Weixia's expressions were very embarrassing, they moved their mouths to say something, but in the end they couldn't say a word. Zuming looked at Wai Hua meaningfully and said, I'm here to steal Tang Ran. I said comrade Wai Hua, are you telling me a story here? Ran Ran was originally my girlfriend. Wai Hua then turned his head to Tang Ran and asked, of course this is not true, this bastard is farting, right? Yes, I am brother Ming's girlfriend. Tang Ran raised his head and said firmly to Wai Hua. Tang Ran's words seemed to hit Wai Hua with a heavy blow. Wai Hua took a step back lightly, but he still said unwillingly, do you think he is rich? I'm not short of it. For money, I can give you everything he can give you. Do you know that he is lying to you? If you are deceived by him, you will suffer if you follow him. Don't make trouble, okay? I'm not making trouble. Tang Ran looked at Wai Hua firmly and said, Wai Hua, I want to make it clear to you, in fact, since the first day of my blind date, I have never liked you. I am now brother Ming my girlfriend, I feel very happy. Wai Hua felt his head explode with a bang. He pointed to Tang Ran and roared, Tang Ran, you are a lousy person who loves the poor and loves the rich. I have seen it since the first day I saw you. You started to talk to you. When I talked about it, I just fell in love with my money, right? Now that you are with him, you also think he has more money than me, right? You fucking do this is a bitch, I beat you to death. Wai Hua said that he was going to walk towards Tang Ran, but at this moment Zuming suddenly got up and slapped Wai Hua on the face with a slap. Chapter 53 Come back and apologize. Question mark snapped. A clear voice made everyone who heard it feel sore. Whether it was the waiter or Tang Ran's parents in the box, they were dumbfounded. No one thought that Zuming would make such a decisive shot, and that his shot was such a heavy slap. Dot. Wai Hua was completely blinded by Zhu Ming. He was stunned on the spot, looking at Zhu Ming with straight A's, as if he didn't understand what was happening. But Zhu Ming didn't bother to care about his mood at the moment, and said to him, Hey, today I called you not to listen to you barking and screaming here. You slapped me at Ranran today. I slapped me back for Ranran, but you still have to apologize to her. If Zhu Ming's attack on Wai Hua is surprising, then Zeming's words are even more shocking. Both Tang Jun and Lin Weixiu looked at Zeming with incredible expressions. Although they also knew that Tang Ran was beaten by Wai Hua, because Wai Hua's family was there and he was a native of Nanjian, they still wanted to fight with him. When the Wai family became in-laws, they asked Tang Ran to apologize to Wai Hua. Now they came to such a luxurious hotel for dinner. They forgot about it when they got excited, but they didn't expect Zeming to remember it, and they even called Wai Hua came to apologize to Tang Ran. If this is the case, then Zhu Ming is really kind to his daughter. It's just that Wai Hua didn't hear a word. He only felt a fiery pain on his face. Then he reacted violently, covering his face, pointing at Zhu Ming and saying, Do you dare hit me? You bastard dare to beat me? You dare to beat me even my dad hasn't beaten me? I'm going to kill you. Wai Hua rushed towards Zhu Ming as he said. Zhu Ming was prepared and kicked Wai Hua to the ground with one kick. Wai Hua struggled to get up, but Zhu Ming quickly picked up a cup on the table and placed it on the edge of the table. He broke it, pointed at Wai Hua with the sharp end and said, You fucking try it again. Come on, pierce it. You can pierce it down if you have it. Wai Hua yelled at Zhu Ming, but he didn't dare to move. At this time, the attendant in the box returned to his senses and called the security guard. 
the hotel security came in and hurriedly stood in front of Wai Huan said to Ziming, Sir, calm down, no matter what happens, you can discuss it slowly. Tang Ran also came to Ziming, crying and persuaded Ziming, Brother Ming, don't be impulsive. If you really hurt him, he will go to jail. Tang Ran's parents Tang Jun and Lin Weixiu also persuaded Ziming, Yes, Ziming, you are the big boss of Gangqing, don't be so impulsive. Nevertheless, rest assured, I'm very calm. It's not worth going to jail for hurting this kind of idiot. Ziming smiled slightly at Tang Ran, and then handed the broken glass to the hotel security. Wai Hua realized that Ziming was just frightening him. He immediately got up from the ground and hid behind the hotel security, while speaking harshly to Ziming. Ziming, wait for me, I want you understand, this is Nanjian, not where you go wild. Ziming didn't care about this, and said to him through the hotel security, Hey, I advise you to apologize now. Otherwise you won't be so easy to talk later. I'll give you a shit. Why Huas Golded, waiting for the meeting of Lao Tzu to come back. Lao Tzu must make you kneel on the ground and count out to Lao Tzu to call Grandpa. Ziming wanted to say something, but seeing that Wai Hua had already run out of the box, Ziming shook his head and said, It's really nothing. Then Ziming turned his head and said to Tang Ran, Fortunately, you didn't talk to him or else you really ruined you. Brother Ming, you are still thinking about joking at this time. I was worried to death just now. I am afraid that if you are impulsive, you will not be able to clean up. Tang Ran cried. Ziming rubbed Tang Ran's little head and said, Don't worry, your brother Ming is not so impulsive, and that guy can't run away, but if you believe it or not, he will come back and apologize for an hour. Question mark. Tang Ran nodded heavily, I believe, I believe what you say, brother Ming. Silly girl. Ziming scratched Tang Ran's little Kyung's nose and said, then asked the hotel attendant to clean the box, and then greeted Tang Ran's parents to sit down. Tang Ran's parents looked at each other, and finally Lin Weixiu cautiously said to Ziming, Ziming, do we still have to eat here? I think Wai Hua seems to be a bit cautious. He is also a native of Nanjian or we just don't eat this meal for now, right? How could Zhu Ming fail to understand what Lin Weixiu meant, just because he was afraid that Wai Hua would come to make trouble again? Zhu Ming said to her, Auntie, don't worry, nothing will happen, and Wai Hua hasn't given me an apology. I have to wait for him here. Will Wai Hua come back to apologize? Are you living in a dream? This was the first reaction of Tang Ran's parents and the box attendant, but given Ziming's identity here, they couldn't say anything. But for safety reasons, Tang Ran's parents winked at Tang Ran and asked Tang Ran to help and persuade him. Ziming, what made them helpless was that Tang Ran really trusted Ziming and didn't even want to see if Ziming's words could be realized. As time passed, Ziming, Tang Ran, and her parents continued to eat in the box. Tang Ran's parents felt as if they were sitting on pins and needles feeling that Wai Hua would bring people back any time. Finally, a quarter of an hour later, the door of the box was opened and Wai Hua walked in. Seeing that his worries finally became reality, Tang Ran's parents stood up and said to Wai Hua, Wai Hua, what are you going to do? This is a high-end hotel. Don't mess around here. We have already called the police. Dot. When the box attendant saw Wai Hua coming back, he felt that he was a big one and he complained in his heart that Ziming's Wang had something to do with it, right? I also complained about the lack of eyesight of the hotel security outside. This has already happened. I didn't stop when Wai Hua came back, and slowly backed away, wondering if Wai Hua didn't pay attention to slip out of the door to find the security. Come and control the situation. Compared with the worries of these people, Ziming turned his head calmly, what? Come back and apologize? Hearing Ziming's words, Wai Hua's expression turned gloomy at the time, and Tang Ran's parents and the box attendant also raised their hearts to their throats. However, what they were worried about did not become reality. Wai Hua did not rush to Ziming like a mad dog, and did not seem to bring anyone behind him. What happened next was beyond their imagination. I saw Wai Hua step forward two steps before actually bowing deeply to Ziming. Boss Zhu, 
I'm sorry, this sudden change caused everyone in the box to be petrified in an instant. Tang Ran's parents and the box attendant looked at this scene with wide open eyes, and their faces were full of weirdness for them. This scene has exceeded their expectations. Cognition of the world. Here Zuming glanced at Wai Hua, and then said, What did I say just now? You come back, I won't be so easy to talk. Speaking of this, Zuming paused for a while and then said, Your dad should be here too, right? Uncle Wai will come out together. Zuming shouted at Wai Hua behind him. After a while, a fat middle-aged man walked in. Needless to say, this was Wai Hua's father. He smiled and walked to Wai Hua's side and said to Zuming, Boss Zhu is very sorry, this kid Wai Hua is usually spoiled by his mother. He is not big or small outside, and asks Boss Zhu Hei Ihan. Don't care about him. When Wai Hua's father apologized, Zuming was not in a hurry to speak, but just looked at him faintly. Seeing Zuming's appearance, Wai Hua's father was taken aback for a moment. Then he clenched his teeth and kicked Wai Hua to the ground, then grabbed Wai Hua's hair and slapped it on his face before saying to Tang Ran, You are sure, right? I heard that this little beast started beating you today. I will apologize to you on his behalf. If you still feel unhappy, you can come and fight back. Tang Ran didn't speak, but looked at Ziming, indicating that Ziming was in charge of everything. Wai Hua's father turned his gaze back to Ziming, Boss Zu. You see that Wai Hua has admitted his mistake and he also knows that he was wrong. How can you forgive him? Ziming smiled slightly and said, Uncle Wai, you are asking the wrong person. Wai Hua and I had no grudges, and I didn't mean to embarrass you, Uncle Wai. It's just that he didn't know what was wrong. But I can understand that young people are always a little impulsive, so how can he beat yourself up? How can you let him beat yourself? And then Xiang Ranran can admit a mistake. Do you think it's okay? Wai Hua's father hurriedly nodded and said okay. Then he pulled Wai Hua up from the ground and said to him, Did you not hear it? Why don't you go and apologize? After speaking, he pushed Wai Hua in front of Tang Ran. Wai Hua lowered his head and looked at Tang Ran with no face. He just stretched out his hand and slapped himself in the face, and said to Tang Ran as he slapped, I'm sorry, it's my fault, I'm a bastard, I shouldn't be irritated, and you shouldn't beat you, please don't care about me and just put me as a fart, okay? Tang Ran stared at Wai Hua with big black eyes, and did not speak for a long time. Ziming reminded her, of course, others are confessing to you, you may give a reaction. Tang Ran said to Wai Hua, I forgive you. Tang Ran's tone was completely indifferent which made her parents dumbfounded. Of course, Tang Ran's parents knew that their daughter was a bit dull, but at this time, she was like this. Didn't she deliberately make Wai Hua uncomfortable? Didn't you see that Wai Hua was about to vomit blood now? Ziming felt that Tang Ran was becoming more and more lovely. Then Ziming turned his head and said to Wai Hua's father, Okay, Uncle Wai. I believe that Wai Hua has also accepted this lesson. He will definitely learn from this lesson in the future and do things. Stop being so impulsive. Wai Hua's father smiled and nodded and said, That's for sure. I will take care of him after returning home. Having said that, he paused for a while, and then asked, Boss that week, where is Director Yang? Ziming raised his eyebrows, Uncle Wai, some things may be just a misunderstanding. Just let it go. Wai Hua's father nodded and said, Boss Zhu, you are right. Just let it go. Then I won't bother Boss Zhu with your meal. I'm leaving now. I'm sorry. Chapter 54, Brother Ming Kisses Me. Tang Ran's parents and the box attendant watched Wai Hua and his son leave in a daze. Until the box door was closed, they still couldn't believe that everything was true. Tang Ran's parents looked at Ziming for a long time, and then cautiously asked, Ziming, that dot 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 we are grateful for your help Ranran to seek justice, but can you tell us why they came to apologize? Hearing Tang Ran's parents asking this, the box attendant immediately pricked up his ears and sounded it carefully. It was because Wai Hua and his son found out in their own conscience that they took the initiative to apologize to Tang Ran. That is living in a dream, as long as IQ no one over the age of three would believe this. Obviously, 
This was what Zuming did that forced the Wai Hu and his sons to subdue and apologize. Regarding this question, before Zuming had time to speak, Tang Ran answered him first, Of course Brother Ming is rich. Tang Ran's answer left everyone with a question mark in their heads. So, is it possible that because Zuming is rich, why when his son came to apologize? This logic obviously doesn't make sense. Zuming had no choice but to explain, uncles and aunts, in fact, this matter is not complicated to speak of. It is that Wai Hu and his family have borrowed all the money for the factory from the bank. Now their loan has expired, and they are all the same. The bank director said something nice to give gifts, but I happened to know the director of the bank, so if they want their factory not to be sued by the bank for auction, they must come and apologize. So Ziming, you still know the leader of the bank in Nanjian? No wonder you can be the big boss in Hong Kong City. This family is different, Lin Weixiu said in surprise. Judging from the expressions of her and Tang Jun, they are obviously I admire Ziming's identity even more. Ziming just smiled at this, because the facts were not what Tang Ran's parents understood. Ziming didn't actually know Director Yang of Bank of China as much. The reason why Director Yang promised to help him was nothing but Ziming's promise, helped him settle a million deposit business. But Ziming didn't need to explain this matter to Tang Ran's parents so clearly, he just laughed off. Soon after the meal was over, Ziming walked out of the hotel with Tang Ran and her parents after checking out. Tang Ran's parents had to go to work, so they went back to the mall, sending away Tang Ran's parents. Zuming saw Tang Ran lowered his head and didn't know what he was doing, so he asked, What happened to Ran Ran? Are you still angry about why? No, Tang Ran said, It's just dot 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 just now my mother called me over, let me dot 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 let me be with you. Follow me. What's with me? When Zuming said this, he immediately remembered that Tang Ran's parents thought they were dealing with Tang Ran. Zuming glanced at Tang Ran embarrassedly but saw Tang Ran's small face blushing, reminiscent of her parents' previous attitudes towards her and Wai Hua. Ziming thought that maybe her parents were not just asking Tang Ran to make peace. It's so easy to get along with yourself. Ziming wanted to make it clear to Tang Ran that they were just acting in front of her parents, but looking at Tang Ran's current appearance, he couldn't say anything. When Ziming hesitated, Tang Ran raised his head courageously and said, Brother Ming, there is a park over there. Shall we go there for a walk? Zuming nodded and said okay, and walked into the park with Tang Ran. Both of them did not speak along the way. Although Tang Ran had said in advance that they were just acting on occasion, Zuming now feels that Tang Ran is a bit of a fake act. Zuming, taking a look at Tang Ran secretly, she saw Tang Ran's little face flushed and it was obvious that this girl really regarded it as a date with herself. But this is not surprising. After all, Tang Ran idolizes herself very much. Coupled with the shock of the previous series of events, her heart will change a bit, but it was precisely because of this that Zuming felt a little guilty, and Zuming felt that he was deceiving an innocent girl's emotions at all. So Zuming had a headache all the way and he didn't know what to say to Tang Ran. It was as if the relationship had changed and he felt that what he said was inappropriate. In this way, Zuming and Tang Ran walked into the park silently. Just as Zuming was scratching his head and thinking about how to break the deadlock, Zuming suddenly found two lines of tears hanging on Tang Ran's face. Zuming, shocked, she hurriedly asked her, Of course what's the matter with you? Tang Ran looked at Zuming annoyed and said, I'm sorry brother Ming, I'm so stupid. I always said I want to be nice with brother Ming, but I don't know what to say. Of course, what are you talking about? It's not that men should coax girls on dates, Zuming said. Really? Tang Ran blinked a pair of beautiful big eyes and looked at Zuming suspiciously. Of course, Zuming nodded affirmatively. Although he didn't know how other men treated his own women, he felt that it should be like this. In addition, Ziming also felt that Tang Ran was too cute, he really couldn't figure out what the bastard Wai Hua was. Is it a psychological problem or something? How can I bear to beat her? Ziming took Tang Ran to find a chair and sat down. Ziming thought for a while to enlighten Tang Ran and said, After today's events, 
I think Wai Hua will definitely not provoke you anymore, and your parents will never push you again. What's the matter, you have to get out of this shadow as soon as possible, and don't have any psychological burdens because of this, you know? Tang Ran clenched his small pink fist tightly and said, Brother Ming, don't worry, although I love to cry, I am still a strong girl. Ziming smiled and said, this is a good girl. Tang Ran stared at Ziming, Brother Ming, what happened today is still true. Thank you so much. If you didn't help me, I really don't know what to do. You call me Brother Ming, isn't it right for Brother Ming to help you? Ziming said. But Brother Ming, you spent more than one million yuan. I just can't make so much money in my work in the unit. Tang Ran said anxiously. As long as it can help Ran Ran solve your problem, don't say one million. Even if it is 10 million, I am willing, Ziming said. Tang Ran looked at Ziming in a daze, obviously moved by Ziming's words just now, Brother Ming, thank you for being so kind to me. I really don't know how to repay you, or I'll promise it by myself. Dot. This sudden sentence completely surprised Ziming. If he didn't know Tang Ran's innocent and pure character, Ziming would definitely think that she was deliberately stimulating herself. But it was precisely because Tang Ran was serious that it made Zhu Ming feel a headache. Zhu Ming said to Tang Ran, Of course you are still young. I'm afraid you still don't understand what it means to promise my body. Tang Ran dissatisfied. I'm not young anymore. I also understand what it means to promise. That is, I will follow Brother Ming and be Brother Ming's woman in the future. But what if Brother Ming wants to marry your sister Mu King in the future? Zhu Ming had no choice but to move out of Lin Mu King. It doesn't matter, I can be a little wife, I can cook and take care of my children, and I will serve you, Brother Ming, with sister Mu King. Tang Ran said seriously. Zhu Ming stared at Tang Ran, feeling that he was really defeated by her innocence, and didn't know what to say. At this time, Tang Ran said again, Brother Ming. Do you not believe me? Otherwise, I can let Brother Ming kiss me. As long as you kiss me, I will be Brother Ming your woman. What's this fallacy? Who told you? Zhu Ming asked in surprise. Tang Ran was a little entangled at first, but still made up his mind to tell Zhu Ming, why Hua said it. Sure enough, it's this dog day. Zhu Ming cursed secretly in his heart. Zhu Ming knew very well that Wai Hua's purpose for doing this was nothing more than to look at Tang Ran's simplicity. He wanted to trick her into staying with him all his life, but Tang Ran was reluctant to let him kiss him, and added a little bit of his own reasons. Wai Hua couldn't restrain himself for a while, so he hit Tang Ran with his hands. Brother Ming. Don't you dislike me? I really have nothing to do with why Hua. I can swear that I never let him kiss, just let him hold his hand, but after I went back, I washed it carefully with soap. Exclamation mark Tang Ran explained to Zhu Ming anxiously. Zhu Ming was taken aback for a moment, but then he realized that Tang Ran saw that he hadn't reacted and guessed whether he disliked her. Thinking of this, Zhu Ming quickly explained to her, of course you misunderstood. I didn't mean it. Then brother Ming, can you kiss me, please? Tang Ran said. Zhu Ming was really speechless at this moment. As a hanging silk who had no relationship with women in his previous life, he had never encountered such a situation. He subconsciously looked around, but fortunately, there was no one else here. Otherwise, if you show others that such a pitiful little beauty like Tang Ran actually asks yourself to kiss her, wouldn't you fall through the glasses? Of course, although Wai Hua is a bastard, he is still right in saying that your kiss is the most important thing for you. You can't let a man kiss you casually. Zhu Ming tried to enlighten Tang. Of course. But Tang Ran still reluctantly said, I know, I just want to be Brother Ming's woman, even if Brother Ming wants to chase me away, I won't leave. Zhu Ming was really helpless, so he had to say, well then. But of course you must be obedient in the future, do you know? Okay. Brother Ming finally agreed to kiss me. Tang Ran cheered happily, and then he was as firm as a bet. Brother Ming, don't worry, I will listen to you in the future and be your woman. Then you prepare, I will kiss you now, Zhu Ming said. Tang Ran nodded again and again, and then closed her eyes. Zhu Ming could feel her body tense suddenly, with two small pink fists clenched in front of her chest. 
a pure and pretty face with an expression of nervousness and expectation. Dot. Ziming smiled slightly at this, put his hands on Tang Ran's fragrant shoulders, and said softly to her, Of course, don't be nervous, just relax. I don't know if it was Ziming's persuasion or Tang Ran's good control ability. In short, Tang Ran's body quickly relaxed. Ziming slowly moved his head and kissed Tang Ran's beautiful lips. Dot. Chapter 55 My grandpa is a general first more. Question mark The first thing in the morning, bow and thank Feng Shen Yu Xiao for your support. There is an outbreak today. I hope that friends who like this book can order a collection and vote for a red vote. The small square film is here to thank you all. Ziming printed her lips on Tang Ran's fragrant lips. Tang Ran's relaxed body suddenly tightened, and she was still pressing her lips vigorously. Ziming felt that her lips were a little cold. Ziming felt a little amused at Tang Ran's reaction. Ran Ran. It's not like you kissed me. Tang Ran opened his eyes and said to Zhu Ming like a kid who had done something wrong. I'm sorry, brother Ming. I'm so stupid, I don't know what to do. Zhu Ming shook his head. Well, of course you don't understand. Of course it will be. I will be angry if you are very skilled, but of course you can relax. Don't think about this, let everything be natural. Okay. Tang Ran nodded vigorously. I will definitely cooperate with Brother Ming. Ziming smiled slightly, and then kissed him again. This time, although Ziming could still feel the gentle shaking of Tang Ran's body when his lips touched, he obviously relaxed a lot. What a lovely girl. Obviously Tang Ran felt very shy, even scared of men and women things she hadn't experienced, but for her own sake, she was trying desperately to endure it. Ziming thought this in his heart and then he tried harder. Where did Tang Ran experience this kind of battle, and subconsciously wanted to hide, but how could Zhu Ming let such a piece of fat in his hand slip away? Immediately reached out and hugged her, Tang Ran could only follow Zhu Ming's movements, but Zhu Ming's kisses became softer. After a while, Zhu Ming finished kissing and leaving Tang Ran's lips. Tang Ran's eyes were blurred, and he couldn't help but panting with excitement, his appearance was very cute. Brother Ming, is this the feeling of kissing? It's strange and comfortable. I just felt that my soul was about to fly out. Tang Ran whispered to Ziming, Brother Ming, you kissed me, and I will be your woman, you must treat me well in the future, don't want me. Ziming rubbed Tang Ran's little head and smiled, don't worry, I will guard you as your angel for the rest of my life. Tang Ran nodded heavily, Brother Ming. I'm already your girlfriend, what should we do now? N dot 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 why don't I go shopping with you? Ziming said with some uncertainty. After all, he had basically never talked about love in his previous life. Except for some things that are not suitable for children, he really doesn't know what couples can do to enhance mutual affection. He can only say that some are more common. Of, but fortunately, Tang Ran was also very simple like a piece of white paper, and didn't understand, so he nodded happily and agreed. Ziming took Tang Ran to Dongman Shopping Center, which was the first large shopping mall operated by Nanjian. Walking into the mall, looking at the beautiful costumes displayed in various shops, Tang Ran was as happy as a child, and ran around with Ziming, but when she saw the price of these clothes, the smiley face changed again. After suffering, she quietly said to Ziming, Brother Ming, should we go to the Nanjian shopping mall where my parents are at, right? Ziming was a little confused, and Tang Ran explained. The things here are so expensive. It doesn't matter, I have a lot of money. As long as you don't empty this mall, I can afford it, Ziming said. Tang Ran shook his head desperately, I don't want it. I think the clothes that cost more than a dozen yuan in Anjian shopping mall are also quite good. But you are my girlfriend now. If you still wear those clothes, doesn't it make me look out of sight? Ziming said deliberately. Tang Ran only compromised, okay, then. However, due to the reform and opening up in this era, many rules are still being explored. Even if the Dongman Mall where Ziming brought Tang Ran is the best mall in Nanjian, 
Zhu Ming still can't find a specialty store, let Zhu Zhu Ming feels a little unbelievable that in the high-priced brand exclusive area, many famous high-end brands and luxury brands with prices of tens of thousands of dollars are piled together and sold like street stalls for more than ten dollars. This made Zhu Ming a little dumbfounded. He did not expect that Pierre Cardin also had such a sales history but compared to LV brands that have not officially entered the domestic market, Pierre Cardin is still happy, after all, he it can be hung on the wall or worn on a fake model. Since other brands are smuggled from Hong Kong, they can only be piled up like tattered ones. Brother Ming, why don't we go to Nanjian Mall? These clothes don't look very good. They cost a few thousand dollars which is not worthwhile. Tang Ran suggested to Zhu Ming. Zhu Ming glanced at Tang Ran, knowing she must have misunderstood, and explained to Tang Ran, Ran Ran is not what you think, didn't we withdraw tens of thousands of dollars before coming? It's not that I can't afford it, I just I feel a little funny, these tens of thousands of dollars of clothes are not sold in the form of specialty stores but so many brands are mixed together and sold and sold like local stalls. It is really unexpected. Specialty store, is it the kind of store that only sells one brand of clothes? Tang Ran asked. Zhu Ming nodded and said, it's just that kind of shops. There are a lot of them in Hong Kong City. You can also get a passport and visa for yourself. It'll take you to Hong Kong City. All right. Tang Ran happily agreed. Damn. What kind of store are you here? Why does my friend have to buy it after just touching it? Suddenly a roar came from not far away, and Zhu Ming looked subconsciously and saw that a pair of young men and women over there were arguing with the shop owner. The voice just now was obviously the young man shouting. Zhu Ming felt that the young man was a bit familiar, but he couldn't remember it. So he said to Tang Ran, shall we go and take a look? Tang Ran nodded, and Zhu Ming walked over with her. At the time when Zhu Ming and Tang Ran passed, a bald head walked in with a few people who looked like ruffians. The shop owner saw the bald head coming in and immediately said to him, Brother Dao, someone is making trouble. He moved us. I don't want to buy my clothes and want to go to the bill. Hearing this, the young man was very excited, in making trouble with your uncle. I moved something and you stopped buying your clothes. My friend just touched the clothes and you asked me to buy them. Isn't this blackmail? The bald head smiled disdainfully blackmail. You can talk nonsense about this. We all open the door to do business with clear prices. How can we blackmail? It's just that we are a high-end brand, and one piece is tens of thousands. If you give it to you touch him, how can we sell our clothes? If you can't sell it, will you pay us for the loss? That's right, I told you before, let you don't touch it if you don't buy it. The shop owner also agreed his expression full of disdain and contempt. He'll give you the shit of your second uncle. The young man was even more excited. Where did you tell us before? You said I would never touch you if you killed me. I've said it before, but you just watched and talked to the girl and didn't hear it. The shop owner said. The bald head also said, the boss will definitely say, this is our business rules, so it depends on you not intentional, I don't care about you too much. Everyone gives way to one person. The clothes you just touched are the hands of the boss. Go on that one. That one is 13,000. Now I can't touch it for you. If you really can't get that much money, I can help you negotiate with your boss and sell you for 12,000. After speaking, the bald head pretended to discuss with the shop owner. The shop owner nodded very cooperatively and said, No problem, brother Doe's words are reasonable. I will suffer this loss. The young man is not stupid, so he opened his mouth and cursed, you fucking sing me a double song here, you sing a harmony. The bald head touched his bald head and said regretfully, why are you like this? How can you swear when we make good sense with you? What's wrong with me scolding you? Shouldn't I scold you for your blackmailing behavior? I'm swearing at you, the second uncle. The young man yelled, hearing this. Zhu Ming shook his head for the young man in his heart. Does this man have any brains? Can't you see that the current situation is very unfavorable for him? Obviously the bald head and the shop owner are in the same group. Seeing that he is a foreigner who deliberately extorts money from him, 
he should be smarter at this time and he should lower his head and admit his mistakes to see if he can reduce his losses. But aren't you looking for a fight now? Sure enough, when this thought came to Zeming's heart, the bald man over there immediately took action. He suddenly attacked the young man, but the young man was also prepared for a long time. He pulled the girl next to him back two steps and hid. Suddenly attacked by the bald man. I don't see that your little white face has two more troubles. You don't look at whose sight is here, you just bark. Here, you are right. What if I fucking blackmailed you? Bald man with that said, the people he brought next to him had already surrounded the young men, you said, are you okay to find trouble? It'll be reasonable with you, why are you swearing? Im scolding you, I tell you, my family has taught me since I was young to have a revolutionary spirit to dare to fight against all illegal acts. Today I saw you hear malicious blackmail, if you don't say a word, I'm sorry for the education at home, the young man said, the bald man said, is his mouth stiff, I think you are the stone in the toilet, while the bald man was talking, the brothers he brought with him all looked eager to move, the young man hurriedly shouted, what are you going to do, in this broad daylight, do you know who I am, my name is Du Feng, my grandfather is Du Zongyi Yuan, a general chapter 56 show you a good show two more question mark the second one is served du peng du zong yi yuan hearing these two names zuming suddenly realized that he finally remembered who this young man was he is a network tycoon 20 years later he has a great deal of research in online game development and operation and mobile game development and operation it's just that due to family reasons he cannot be as strong as the internet companies in Nanjing and Mnhai, and must hide his assets, but even so, his public net worth easily broke tens of billions. When Zuming was bored in his previous life, he had paid attention to him and checked his related information, so he had an impression of him and had a certain understanding of his affairs. As for Du Zongyi Yuan, he is Du Peng's grandfather and a founding general with great military exploits. No wonder he was so awe-inspiring just now. Feelings are the reason for family education. Du Peng at this time was much younger than 20 years later, but it was not too different. Therefore, Zuming felt familiar at first glance, but he didn't expect it to be him for a while. It was not until he called out his name that Zuming suddenly think of it. Then Zuming glanced down at the female companion next to him. She was a woman Zuming didn't know at all. She was standing there in a daze, wanting to go up to help but didn't care about it. A pair of lush and wazoo didn't know what to do. The way he did it was obviously not his shrewd and capable wife in the future, the granddaughter of the founding father who was also the red descendant. Unexpectedly, at the domestic entrepreneur summit more than 20 years later, in the face of hundreds of billionaires who talked about the future development of the internet tycoon Du Peng, now he was bullied by a malwatching ruffian like this. He moved out of his family without any promise, which could only make Zhu Ming sigh in his heart that things are impermanent. Brother Ming. Do you know him? Tang Ran asked Zhu Ming curiously. Zhu Ming nodded and said, if I am not mistaken, what he said is true. Tang Ran blinked and looked at Zhu Ming. He didn't understand what Zhu Ming meant. Zhu Ming explained to her, I mean, I think we are going to help him. Help him? Why? We don't know him, this matter has nothing to do with us. And the bald man is terrible. Tang Ran worried, of course you may not know, just before I return to Nanjing, I met a world-class rich man in Hong Kong City. His method of investing in favors touched me a lot, so I think I also need to invest in favors," Ziming said. Ziming didn't flick a Tang Ran, after seeing Li Cheng's philosophy of dealing with things, he really moved him a lot. Not only that, but Ziming also knows very well that if you really want to make a career in China, you can have a friend of the Red Descendant to help you and many things can be twice the result with half the effort. Now I happened to catch one, and I was still a hapless red offspring. You must know that sending charcoal in the snow is always more impressive than the icing on the cake. Now that this opportunity is in front of him, Zhu Ming feels that he has nothing to do with it. I'm so sorry for this rebirth once. Zhu Ming knew Du Peng, but the bald man didn't know him. He heard Du Peng lift his grandfather, and the bald man was amused, 
Huh? You said your grandpa is a general? Then my grandpa is still the president of the country. Damn. I'm serious. You let me go quickly, or I must tear down your broken shop. Dupeng yelled. Are you so arrogant? You demolished my broken shop. Believe it or not, I will demolish you first, said the bold man disdainfully. However, he was obviously not interested in grinding his mouth with Dupeng here. Instead, he raised his head and glanced at his female companion, Yo, little Niang Pai hasn't left yet. Are you planning to stay and accompany your elder brother with a few happily? See elder brother you demolished your man, or are you going to pay 10,000 yuan for your man? I don't know if it was the woman who had never experienced this before or something. She screamed and turned around and ran away. In this regard, the bald man froze for a moment and then teased Du Peng. It seems that your woman is very unreasonable, and then sternly said, Okay, my brother has no time to spend with you here, just give me a happy sentence. Then, is it to lose money, or to throw your pants off the street? Du Peng immediately warned when he heard, do you dare to move Lao Tzu to try as a bastard? Lao Tzu must want you to die. Well, there is a kind. My brother still likes a kind person like you. When the bald man was about to start his hand, Zhu Ming stepped forward. Is this brother Dao? You don't have to be so awesome, right? The bald man didn't expect that someone would dare to see the uneven road. He turned his head and looked at Zuming a little unexpectedly. Who are you? This is my friend. He is someone with a certain identity. Can you let him go? Zuming and the bald man talked about it. Of course, the reason is not wrong. This Du Peng is indeed a person with identity and this identity is not simple yet. Of course we can. We are very disciplined here, paying with one hand and letting go. The bald man said the same thing. Zuming took out 10,000 yuan to the bald man and said, here is 10,000 yuan, please let him go first. Hey, did you make a mistake? It was 12,000 yuan, the bald man emphasized. Zuming smiled calmly, brother Dao. 10,000 yuan is a lot. It's better to keep some things on the front line. After all, your store is still here. What do you think? The bald man was stunned for a moment. He glanced at Zuming and said, Well, since little brother, you have spoken, I will give you this face. After talking about the bald man, he released his hand. Zuming said thank you, and then led Du Peng out. Du Peng rubbed his hand after he was free again and was about to go up to fight the bald man, but he was killed by Zhu Ming stopped, and Zhu Ming took the dress and walked out of the shop with Du Peng. Hey, why did you lead me out? I'm still looking for the bald guy in trouble, Du Peng said to Zhu Ming. Before Zhu Ming finished speaking, Tang Ran couldn't help it at first. Hey, why are you so clueless? You obviously can't beat others. My brother Ming rescued you and spent 10,000 yuan. Well, you didn't even say a word of thanks, and you blamed my brother Ming. Why are you like this? Tang Ran's words made Du Peng blush, but Du Peng estimated that he had never met such a thing in his life, and he had no habit of thanking anyone, so he scratched his head awkwardly, and said to Ming that dot I really thank you just now, you give me at most half an hour, I will show you a good show, and I will get your 10,000 yuan. After Du Peng finished speaking, he went to the phone. Tang Ran, who was originally dissatisfied with Du Peng's performance, pouted even more. What attitude? Brother Ming, you really shouldn't help him, it's a waste of it. 10,000 yuan. Zhu Ming smiled and said to Tang Ran, that's not necessarily true. Maybe he can really let us watch a good show. Tang Ran stared at Zuming with a pair of apricot eyes. Suddenly remembering something, he asked Zuming, Brother Ming, do you think he really is the grandson of a general? I think it should be the same. After all, your brother Ming dreams of being a big capitalist, but not a good fellow in Liang Shan. Zuming joked, but then we will see how Comrade Du Peng Shou does. Big but wonderful. The more it means to me. While talking, Du Peng came back after the phone call. Du Peng said to Zhu Ming, I tell you, what did the bald head do to me just now? I want him to return it to me ten times a hundred times. Zhu Ming glanced at him and didn't say anything. He took Tang Ran and waited with him here. After less than five minutes, 
He heard the intensive footsteps in the corridor. Zuming looked over and saw dozens of police officers ran all the way to this side. Tang Ran had never seen this scene and hid behind Zuming in fright. Du Peng said to Zuming and Tang Ran, "Don't be afraid. I called this." "Have you called the police?" Tang Ran asked. "My phone is more useful than the police." Du Peng said proudly. Tang Ran curled his lips to express his dissatisfaction with Du Peng's stinky fart. Zuming patted Tang Ran on the back of his hand and said to her in Tang Ran's ear, "We are just spectators at the moment. Just watch the show." The dozens of police officers stopped in front of Du Peng under the leadership of a police officer. Du Peng got up and said. I am Du Peng. I use Ashusha's soldiers. The police officer who led the team stepped forward to salute Du Peng. Hello, I am the deputy director of the Dongmen District Public Security Bureau, and my surname is Liu. I was assigned by the director of the municipal bureau to investigate a vicious extortion case. Hearing these words, Zeming raised his brows and had to say that Director Liu said these words very well. Although they were called by Du Peng to find a relationship, there are no red descendants in his words. Privileges. They are only to normally dispatch police under the appointment of the leader to investigate vicious cases. Du Peng did not have decades of experience in Zeming's rebirth, but his family was prominent. And some of the truths were fascinated. He nodded and pointed to the Pierre Cardin store and said to Director Liu, "That's the store. He blackmailed me just now. Ten thousand yuan and violence against me. It's lawless." As Du Peng said, he took Director Liu and the others to Pierre Cardin's shop. The bald man was still here. He saw Du Peng coming back, playing with the taste. Why are you back again? Do you think ten thousand yuan is not enough? Give my brother ten thousand more. Before the bald man had finished speaking, he saw Director Liu coming in with a group of police officers. The bald man was taken aback and said angrily, "Little bastard, you dare to call the police!" Then the bald man accompanied the smiling face and said to Director Liu, "What do you think? Director Liu, have alarmed you? Here we are, bald-headed knife. You are suspected of illegal business operations, and you are also extorting." Come with us. Director Liu took out his hands and handcuffed them to the hands of the bald-headed man. The bald man originally planned to get close to Director Liu. After all, he can cover such a luxury store here. It is not at all unrelated. Director Liu is not unknown, but now Director Liu handcuffs him so firmly. I couldn't help being stunned and asked in a daze, Director Liu. What are you singing about? Why did I operate illegally and even extortion? You are doing business illegally, and you blackmailed my friend ten thousand yuan. Du Peng came up. He looked at the bald man who was handcuffed and patted his face and said, "How about little bald? As I said, if you have the ability, you will destroy me. Otherwise, I will definitely." About you. Chapter fifty-seven. Is it human or evil doer? Three shifts. Question mark. The third one is here. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Please don't remember the villain's fault. Please don't care about me. The bald man obviously understood that he had kicked the iron plate today, so he apologized to Du Peng very bachelor, but Du Peng did not intend to let him off like this, and slapped the bald man in the face with a slap in the face. Du Peng obviously felt pain in his hands after hitting it like this. Then he actually took off his shoes. He grabbed his shoes and slammed them on the bald man's face. Everyone was stunned by this scene. I am afraid that no one would have thought that Du Peng would do this, but Zeming could understand Du Peng's feelings. After all, he is not an ordinary person. As a descendant of the Red, where did he get such anger? In addition, his own actions are somewhat reckless. So under these premises, it is not surprising that he can do such a thing. After beating for a long time, Du Peng finally stopped when his hands were sore. At this time, the man's face had been broken long ago, and his teeth had been knocked out. Blood shed all over the place, making him unconscious. Up, Du Peng spit on him and waved to Director Liu before Director Liu asked his subordinates to take the person away. Du Peng lost his shoes. Then found a pair of leather shoes again in the shop. Took out ten thousand yuan from the drawer of the counter. Walked back to Zeming's side and gave the money to Zeming. 
pay you the money. No, your money is not clean. Tang Ran said, hiding behind Zhu Ming. Du Peng was taken aback. Zhu Ming explained, you scared my girlfriend just now. Du Peng scratched his head embarrassedly and said, I was really angry just now. I haven't been so angry since I was a kid, and this guy opened the shop here. I don't know how many people have been blackmailed by him. I can be regarded as walking the way for the sky. Indeed, seeing how skilled he is, he should have done it many times. If you hadn't met you today, if you hadn't called the police to arrest him, I don't know how many people will continue to suffer. Ziming said to do again. Peng said, all right, let's not talk about him. Let's find a place to sit. I have something to tell you. Du Peng nodded and said yes, and then Ziming took Tang Ran out of the mall with Du Peng. During the period, he met the female companion Du Peng had brought, but Du Peng was so angry that she just left her and let her go. Dot they came to a coffee shop opposite the mall and found a quiet place to sit down. Du Peng said embarrassingly, let you watch the joke, this woman is unbelievable. Zhu Ming knew that Du Peng was talking about his female partner running away. Zhu Ming shook his head and said, this can't be blamed on her, a woman is inherently courageous, she must have never experienced anything like this. She was scared. It's normal to escape subconsciously. Du Peng still curled his lips unhappily and said, everyone said that I am not an ordinary person, and that dead bald head unless it really kills me, or I must make him look good. Zhu Ming nodded sensibly and said, of course, because you are Du Peng, and your grandfather is Du Zongyi Yuan. You saw the situation just now, didn't you? Du Peng asked rhetorically. I didn't say no, Zhu Ming said. Du Peng was choked and speechless by Zhu Ming's words. But then Du Peng suddenly thought of something. He asked Zhu Ming, you didn't help me because of this, right? How about that? Do you think I will help a stranger with 10,000 yuan? That's 10,000 yuan, not one yuan, Zhu Ming said. Zhu Ming's answer surprised Du Peng. He looked at Zhu Ming in a daze, and asked in disbelief, you actually admitted it so directly? Don't find any grand sounding reasons. I can find a bunch. But do you believe it? Zhu Ming asked back. Du Peng shook his head and said that he definitely didn't believe it. Zhu Ming spread his hands together, that's not it. It left a very bad impression that I was a hypocrite, so it would be better to be straightforward. Anyway, there is nothing shameful about this matter. What Zhu Ming said was from his heart. After all, he was an ordinary flat-headed man in his previous life, and he was still at the bottom. The rich second generation the second generation and the second generation of the red a second generation, were only seen in the news, and there was no one around him. One, so Zhu Ming didn't know how to deal with each other at all, but seeing Du Peng's approach just now was a bit reckless, then he would be more straightforward. Du Peng laughed, you are really straightforward and weird, but I like it. By the way, seeing that you can easily come up with 10,000 yuan and know me, it seems that your family is also very good. Du Peng's lofty tone made Tang Ran very dissatisfied. My brother Ming is the big boss of Gangqing. The big boss of Hong Kong City? Du Peng looked up and down Zhu Ming a few times. Are you from Hong Kong City? The eldest master of which family? That's not it. Brother Ming is a big boss who started his own business and can earn 20 million in two months. Tang Ran emphasized. Make 20 million in two months? Du Peng took a breath. His clothes couldn't believe his expression. Oh my god, the banknote printing factory does not print money as fast as you. Right? Zhu Ming didn't say anything about it, but first introduced himself and Tang Ran, then get to know me. My name is Zhu Ming. This is my girlfriend Tang Ran. I recognized you in the shop, so I helped out. Yours. I also have a business I want to talk to you. Business? Do you think, as a descendant of the revolution, do you think I will have any business with you, a capitalist in Hong Kong? Du Peng asked Zhu Ming. After he was surprised to hear Zhu Ming's big money, Du Peng was surprised. Slowly calmed down, and was able to talk to Zhu Ming sensibly. This attitude of Du Peng made Tang Ran very unhappy. Hey, what is your attitude? My brother Ming is not a capitalist in Hong Kong City. He is also a mainlander, 
and he goes to Hong Kong City to make foreigners money. What? Zming, you are actually a mainlander. You went to Hong Kong City to make foreigners money? How did you do it? Du Peng was very surprised, because if Zming was the eldest young master of any family in Hong Kong, he could earn 20 million in two months with the strength of the family. Although it is considerable, it is not impossible, but Zming is a mainlander. Du Peng was a little unbelievable that he earned 20 million in two months in Hong Kong City. This is also a coincidence. I went to Hong Kong City and happened to encounter a stock market crash there. I used futures to trade the Hong Kong Stock Index and quickly made more than 20 million yuan, Ziming said. Du Peng looked at Ziming blankly. He didn't understand what the stock market crash, futures, short selling Hong Kong Stock Index were but it was precisely because he didn't understand what Ziming was. After all, it was not a fake that others made 20 million. Of, then. Then what are you looking for me for? Du Peng asked in a daze. Of course it's in business. Did I just talk about it? Ziming said, in fact, you came to Nanjian to do business? You used your family relationship to pour a batch of cotton from Hebei, is to sell to a textile boss on the Nanjian side. Du Peng's eyes widened, looking at Ziming incredulously and asking, how did you know? How can I not know? When you became a domestic internet tycoon more than 20 years later, your history of your fortune was reprinted everywhere just leave a little bit of snacks to know. But of course Ziming can't say this. Ziming said to Du Peng, it's not hard to guess, isn't this the largest group of bad masters in China, isn't it a group of red descendants? If you come to Nanjian for this, is it possible to visit the mountains and play the water? As for poor cotton, the textile industry is the fastest growing in Nanjian at present and your family has a lot to do in Hebei. I don't believe you will not use your family's relationship to poor cotton. Du Peng was dumbfounded by what Ziming said. Du Peng looked at Ziming blankly and said, Are you the reincarnation of Zhu Zliang? Can you guess that too? Ziming smiled slightly at this, looking at your expression. I should have guessed it correctly. Then let me guess again. The female companion who accompanied you just now should not have been brought out by you from Yanjing but you should be in Nanjian. Did you bump into it here? Du Peng nodded desperately, let's talk about it. What else did you guess? If you let me guess again, I'm afraid there will be nothing good. Ziming said, it's okay, you can talk about it. Du Peng said, Ziming said, do you think this female partner you met in Nanjian really likes you, or does it have a purpose? If it is a purpose, then what is her purpose? Purpose? Du Peng was taken aback for a moment, and suddenly frowned, Ziming, do you think they were hitting my batch of cotton with the idea? Ziming nodded and said yes. It is indeed the case. Ziming remembered reading his memoirs in his previous life and saw it. He said that the first business he did in Nanjian in 87 years was scammed. I didn't have any experience at the time, and some methods were used there. As a result, Du Peng handed in all the cotton but he didn't receive a dime for the purchase. Du Peng thought about it for a moment, and then said angrily, no wonder that woman has been talking to me about business matters, and her feelings have dug a hole for me to jump. After speaking, Du Peng seemed to find something wrong. He looked up at the opposite Zuming and asked with a complicated expression, you are a little too divine? How come you know all these things? Tang Ran blankly looked at Du Peng and said, do you think my brother Ming is the same as you? You can't see the obvious problems just now. How can you see these things? Ziming also said, in fact, many things are on the table, such as your relationship with that woman, and your purpose of coming to Nanjian, as well as your identity and your relationship. As long as you can string this information together together, plus some reasoning, some things are not hard to think of. Seeing Ziming talking in front of him, Du Peng felt a shock from his soul. Indeed, just as Ziming said, as long as he knows this information, he can string up the information for reasoning. Some things are not difficult to guess, but how many people can have this consciousness and open their minds to consider this problem? Is this a human or an evildoer? Du Peng commented on Ziming from the bottom of his heart. He admired him and said, 
Just now your girlfriend said that you made 20 million in two months. I would think that there is something bragging about it, but now, I think you are making money. Without this money, it's really unreasonable. Chapter 58 Land Business 4 More Question mark The fourth one is served. Facing Du Peng's evaluation, Ziming just smiled and didn't say anything. Du Peng thought that Ziming's attitude was amazing. Du Peng thought for a while and asked Ziming. Then you tell me this, are you talking about that batch of cotton business with me? Ziming shook his head and said, sorry, I don't have a textile factory, and I can't afford to eat your batch of goods. I want to talk to you about another business. What's the other business? Du Peng was curious. Land. Ziming uttered a word that made Du Peng completely unfamiliar. Did you know that there is a wasteland in Dongmen Sanyuan? Du Peng nodded and said yes. Ziming said again, then how much do you have on Nanjian, can you buy this piece of land? It turns out that the business you said is buying land? Du Peng was surprised. Are you crazy? If you are really a Hong Kong person, I can still understand what you say, but you are originally from the mainland, how dare you say this? The land in the country is collectively owned. How can we buy and sell privately? This is digging the corner of the collective walking the old path of feudal landlords. What you said just now can be regarded as unheard. Ziming did not panic. If I remember correctly, the central government was already studying housing reform policies at the beginning of this year, and last month, the Nanjian city government also sold a piece of land next to Nangang Avenue airline. But that is also sold collectively to the collective. We are private individuals, and we have a different nature. Du Peng said, to borrow your words, if you really come to Nanjian to work as a farmer with a low level of education, I can understand what you say, but you are the grandson of General Du and someone who has access to high level national policies. Why would you still say this? What? Ziming said, the central government is now carrying out reform and opening up. If we want to achieve the desired effect of reform and opening up, we must get rid of the old ideas and let the market economy dominate. Among them, land is very important. It can be said that if we want to revitalize the economy, the land must be liberalized. Du Peng stared at Ziming in a daze. What you said is exactly the same as the economic experts of the state council said. Wouldn't you be a student of any expert? My family's conditions are poor, and my college entrance examination results were not so good. But I didn't have the opportunity to go to Yanjing to study, Ziming said. Du Peng thought for a while and said, if the policy really allows, the plot of land you fancy can really be sold, and you can pay enough money. I can think of a way, but you are planning to engage in land management by buying the land. Do you want to make a commercial house? This time, Ziming's answer shocked Du Peng again. It is a good idea to make commercial housing. I also believe that in the near future, the housing prices in Nanjian City will experience a crazy soaring process, and maybe one day or two will rise to one square meter. One may also. 20,000 one square meter? This is absolutely impossible. This is simply making the common people unable to afford houses and driving them to death. Du Peng categorically denied. As a Ziming who has witnessed the housing prices of later generations, he can only smile at Du Peng's words. After all, the time limit lies here. If you want a monthly income of only one or two hundred people, I believe that there will be a house price of one to two thousand one square meter. That is simply a fantasy. Let's not talk about it. Although I think Nanjian housing prices will experience a rapid increase in the future, I don't plan to do commercial housing projects because I don't have so much time to wait for this house to be built. I want to use it as soon as possible. Plots of land make money, Ziming said. You don't plan to build a house anymore. How can you make money from the land? Du Peng couldn't figure it out at all. Sell directly, auction, Ziming said. Du Peng was completely dumbfounded at the answer given by Ziming, you mean you don't develop the land after you get it, but sell it directly? Just this wasteland can make money without any development without any development? Ziming nodded affirmatively and said, yes, if we are lucky. We should be able to make about 2 million yuan. 2 million? Du Peng felt unbelievable, 
because he had learned to be a bad guy in the past few years. Even if he didn't lose a fortune, he would only make 100,000 yuan. But this week, Zhu Ming said that he could make 2 million yuan. The difference is too big and unacceptable, right? But here, Du Peng thought of another question. He asked Zhu Ming, you said that this plot of land can make 2 million by falling hands. Then how much do you think we can buy this plot of land? Zhu Ming said, this is hard to say, but if we follow the airline's method, it should be around 3 or 4 million. 3 or 4 million? How can I have so much money? Du Peng exclaimed. You don't have me, Zhu Ming said, you have to pay for it. So we call it a partnership to do business together, isn't it? We divide the account for how much money we make afterwards. Du Peng slapped his forehead, suddenly remembering that he was sitting in front of a multimillionaire. Look, I forgot about this. Zhu Ming smiled slightly, actually, these two million are nothing. What I really want is to build mutual trust with you through this business because I have some things that I need your help. Du Peng said with an expression that he had known for a long time, I'm afraid this is your real goal, as long as you are not doing a principled problem of rebelling against the party and treason, I can help you figure out a solution. You misunderstood. I didn't mean that. I know that there is a 760 factory in Nanhui County, Linyang City, Jingcha Province which is undergoing restructuring. I want to see if you can help introduce a few officials who can speak effectively. Zhu Ming said. This answer surprised Du Peng. The 760 factory? What is this for? Does this factory have the potential to make millions in the future? That's not true. I'm not sure if this factory can make money, but I have to buy this factory, because my family is in line Yang and my parents are workers in this factory. I promised my parents to buy the factory. Come down and give them to them. Let them be the director of the factory. In addition, there is a person in the factory that I really hate, and I want to fire him. Zhu Ming said, and there was a sentence in Zhu Ming's heart, this is also for Su Han's promise. Du Peng really didn't know what to say. To say Zhu Ming's words just made him feel a little surprised. Then Zhu Ming's words really made him feel that his Danling AI was about to explode. At this time, Du Peng felt that neither he nor Zhu Ming lived in the same world. He felt that he was the red descendant. He was just an ordinary person. If this were not the case, how could he not understand? Du Peng stretched out his hand and rubbed his temples and said to Zhu Ming, Governor Xiong of Jingxia Province paid my grandfather New Year's greetings to my grandfather during the Chinese New Year. I remembered his phone number and just bought a restructuring factory. Saying hello from Yangtze should be fine. Zhu Ming nodded. The 760 factory was originally a counter-run factory. The people who want to restructure and compete to buy are at most in the city. Now that the province has come forward. It will basically be no problem if you want to win it yourself. Which business should I do first? Should I contact Governor Xiong first, or should we do land business first? Du Peng asked. The restructuring of the 760 factory is only a preliminary plan. It will take at least some time before it really starts. Let's start the business on Nanjian first, so you can rest assured with me, Zhu Ming said. In Zhu Ming's memory. The restructuring of the 760 factory was started a year ago. Due to the fierce competition in the previous life, the results will only be produced in half a year, so there is no need to worry. In addition to that, Zhu Ming has been in contact with his parents and Zhang Lu, and Su Han also had an occasional phone call, so he can still have a general understanding of the situation at home. Well. I first go to the municipal government to inquire about the situation, if we can register a company together, Du Peng said. No problem, Zhu Ming said. Du Peng immediately exchanged call numbers with Zhu Ming, and Du Peng went to the municipal government to find out about the news. Looking at Beiying as Du Peng left, Tang Ran wondered, Brother Ming, can this guy really buy the land for you? Didn't you also see it in the mall just now? A phone call can alert the Municipal Public Security Bureau, at least his identity will not be false, and the land sale is still in the experimental stage, competition is relatively small, there should be no problem, Zhu Ming said. 
but I think he seems very unreliable, Tang Ran said. Of course, why do you think he is unreliable? Zhu Ming was curious. Because brother Ming doesn't understand what you are talking about. He's stupid, Tang Ran said. This answer made Zhu Ming burst into laughter at the time, if Du Peng heard you say this to him, he might have been crying and fainting in the toilet. Zhu Ming explained to Tang Ran, of course you can't take our way of thinking into consideration. We can do whatever we make money. That's because we are just ordinary people, but they are not the same. Their lives, but before they do anything, they must consider their opinions in their homes, or whether they can do this thing, what kind of impact it will bring to the family, and whether they will be used by others. Wait! They can't do things blindly without thinking, Zhu Ming finally gave Du Peng a qualitative character. So speaking of this, Du Peng, as a powerful child, can understand this and dare to practice it. This is already very difficult. If you let me change to a slightly conservative one. Someone, I'm afraid that I will wear my tongue today. He doesn't necessarily understand what I'm talking about, or even if he understands, he dare not partner with me in this business. With the resources and wealth at hand, where is it possible for ordinary people to start from scratch? Tang Ran said, it turns out that this is the case so it seems that this guy is a little capable. Regarding Tang Ran's evaluation, Zhu Ming could only shook his head helplessly, but Zhu Ming also understood that women's perspectives and emotions were different from men's, not to mention that Tang Ran admired himself so much, not to mention that Du Peng hasn't shown the abilities of the tens of billions of entrepreneurs in later generations, even if it shows, Tang Ran still disdains him, thinking of this. Zhu Ming patted Tang Ran's head and said, Of course, you have no confidence in Du Peng, but at least you have to have confidence in my vision. Chapter 59 One Slap and One Sweet Date Fifth Question Mark Fifth I want to collect and ask for a red ticket. The small square film has been working hard to write it. I hope that friends who like this book can support a lot. The small square film is here to thank you all. After talking with Du Peng, it was late, Zhu Ming and Tang Ran ordered something to eat in the coffee shop, and then sent Tang Ran home, but what Zhu Ming and Tang Ran didn't expect was, when they came to the door of Tang Ran's dormitory compound, they found that Wai Hui's father was waiting here. He saw Zhu Ming and Tang Ran messing up, and hurried up and said, Boss Zhu Ran Ran, I can count as waiting for you. Today's thing is really wrong. It is because I didn't discipline Wai Hua's bastard. He did this kind of bastard thing, and I have already taught him a good lesson. This is a little thing. It is our whole family's apologies for Wai Hua's affairs, and I hope you can forgive him. Tang Ran looked up at Zhu Ming. It was obvious that Zhu Ming was in charge of everything. Upon seeing this, Wai Hua's father said to Zhu Ming, Boss Zhu, I know that you are the big boss of Hong Kong City, and you don't lack anything. This is just our apology, I really beg you. Zhu Ming looked at Wai Hua's father. His clothes were soaked in sweat, and there were many empty mineral water bottles around. Obviously he had been waiting for them for a long time. Maybe he finished eating from noon. From now on, I have been waiting here. Zhu Ming could understand his thoughts. He managed to set up a factory and put all his energy into it. How could he be willing to let the bank sell it like this? Now that something like Wai Hua has happened, he has already taught Wai Hua fast to face at the restaurant, but he is worried that he still has grievances on his side, and he is very worried, and he dare not call Tang Ran's paging for fear of making him unhappy. Had to wait here with something. Pity the parents of the world. This child Wai Hua is really cheating his father. Zhu Ming sighed in his heart, then stretched out his hand to take the things, and said to Wai Hua's father, Uncle Wai, I will accept your things, and this thing just passed. When Wai Hua's father saw that Zhu Ming had received the things, he was so happy that he cried. He said to Zhu Ming, OK, thank you. Boss Zhu, Zhu Ming nodded, OK, Uncle Wai, if you are OK. You should go back and take a bath first. Director Yang of the Bank of China will call him. Hearing what Zhu Ming said, Wai Hua's father repeatedly agreed to leave. Tang Ran said to this, in fact, Uncle Wai is quite poor. Seeing Wai Hua's father, 
Zeming also thought of his parents. When he was expelled from the factory, why didn't his parents go to the factory to ask the factory leaders for sympathy? Especially in the previous life, his father had already caused many complications such as sepsis due to appendix perforation, but he still dragged his seriously ill body to the factory leader to intercede and he was still there even at the last moment of his life. Thinking of Zhu Ming's work, thinking of this, Zhu Ming felt sad for a while. At this moment, Zhu Ming suddenly felt a soft touch at the corner of his eye. Zhu Ming turned his head to look and saw that Tang Ran was reaching out to wipe the tears he had just inadvertently shed. Brother Ming, what's the matter with you? Did I say something wrong that made you sad? Tang Ran asked cautiously. Zhu Ming shook his head and said, no, it's just that I suddenly thought of some sad things, but since I am here now, I will not let these things happen again. I will also work hard to make money and try to get to know those rich and powerful friends. Let the people I care about and those who care about me live a good life. Tang Ran also nodded earnestly and said, Brother Ming, I will work hard in the future. I will no longer let Brother Ming worry about me and I will help Brother Ming too. Zhu Ming laughed and deliberately teased Tang Ran and said, Well, of course you have to cheer, you are my girlfriend now. If I find out that you don't work hard, I will spank you. Tang Ran blushed, and said shyly, Oh, what did you say, Brother Ming? Too embarrassed. Dot. At noon the next day, Zhu Ming came to Dongman Hotel, which is currently the most luxurious hotel in Nanjiyan. He walked into a high hand box and Du Peng was sitting here. Seeing Zhu Ming coming in, Du Peng hurriedly got up and said, I contacted the Nanjian Land and Resources Bureau through a student of my grandfather. Today, the director of the Land and Resources Bureau He Yujin, we will invite him to dinner today. Zhu Ming was a little surprised at this. Although Du Peng didn't say that Zhu Ming didn't know what he was looking for, but he wanted to be a student of his grandfather. This person is definitely not easy. Maybe it's the one of the municipal standing committee class. It stands to reason that with such a relationship, he himself is a descendant of the red, so the lower officials can be left alone, but he still invites him to dinner. I can't help but say that this is what Du Peng considered. The completeness of the question. This is not to say that these little officials can deliberately mess up Du Peng's affairs without following the leadership's arrangements, but a habit. Imagine that if Du Peng doesn't care about this little official today, he will certainly have more carelessness in the future. Once this oversight becomes too much, something might happen one day. After all, the older generation will always pass away. A generation of people has passed away, and as a descendant of the red, they have lost this greatest reliance. These habits in details will become their own fatal crux. In addition, Du Peng's work efficiency is also commendable. After all, he only talked to him about this matter yesterday. He found the director of land and resources for himself today. No wonder that he can become a billionaire in the future. Detailed consideration and such efficient execution are inseparable. After a while, the door of the box was pushed open, and a black and thin person walked in. Seeing Du Peng, he hurried up and shook hands with Du Peng and said, You are Du Peng Du Xiao? I am He Yujin. This dot 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 I'm really sorry. The city government held a meeting in the morning, and it took a while. I'm really sorry that Du Shouji waited. Du Peng patted He Yujin on the shoulder and said, It doesn't matter, director he comes in first and sits down and talks. Du Peng led He Yujin into the box and introduced Zhu Ming to him first. This is Zhu Ming, the big boss from Hong Kong City. He Yujin was also busy shaking hands with Zhu Ming, hello. Boss Zhu. If it was in the past, Zhu Ming would definitely be eager to get close to officials at the level of He Yujin. After all, he was just a child born in an ordinary worker's family and had nothing to do with him. But now as a friend of Du Peng, Zhu Ming is just he touched He Yujin faintly, said hello, and there was nothing to follow. But just like this, He Yujin felt that Zhu Ming was really a big boss in Hong Kong City. The three of them sat down and Du Peng asked the waiter to pour the wine. The three of them had a drink first, and Zhu Ming straightforwardly said to He Yujin, Director He, 
I have nothing else to do with you today. I heard that the central government wants housing reforms. We will conduct a pilot project here in Nanjian. Du Xiao and I happened to set up a company together. Now we want to do some commercial housing business. We have taken a fancy to a piece of waste land on the side of Dongman Saniyun. I wonder if this piece of land can be granted to us as construction land? As an official, Eugen is obviously not accustomed to such a direct method. But in front of him is a red boy and the other is the boss of Hong Kong City. He has also received instructions from the leader and there is nothing to do. Eugene was taken aback for a moment, and then he laughed with him. Boss Zhu is worthy of being the courageous big boss of Hong Kong City. Boss Zhu can return to the mainland and support the construction of Nanjian and the reform and opening up in Nanjian, on behalf of the party and the government. I thank Boss Zhu. Regarding Boss Zhu, I will definitely ask my superiors for instructions as soon as possible. Eugene's words made Du Peng dissatisfied at the time. Director He, what do you mean? Didn't my uncle Chen tell you? Eugene hurriedly shook his head and explained to Du Peng. Du Xiao, you have misunderstood. Of course Mayor Chen gave me instructions, but Du Xiao, you also know that this housing reform is being piloted here in Nanjian and it is still in the experimental stage. I'm just a little head of land and land, how can I have the power to make this decision? I can only ask for instructions from my superiors, and I can reply to Xiaodu after receiving instructions. Ziming smiled and said to He Yujin, Director He, although I am currently setting up a business in Hong Kong City, I was originally a mainlander. I don't know the rules of the mainland officialdom. Don't you want to speak with us? Boss Zhu, you really misunderstood. I really don't have this right. Before He Yujin finished speaking, Ziming went on to say, Director He, we are not unaware that the Nanjian city government is also trying to buy and sell land. Dongman San Yun is also within the scope of the trial. The practice of Nangang Avenue. Now the documents sold have been sent to the Land and Resources Bureau? Director He, you still tell us that you have no rights? Zuming then gave a cold expression, and said coldly, of course, we will not force Director He to do so. If Director He really feels that there is a problem, we will go to other leaders to communicate. Zuming's words made He Yujin's body tremble subconsciously. He looked at Zuming in amazement feeling a little horrified. It was obvious that the other party was not a person in officialdom, but the oppression he brought to himself was more than that of any other city. Leaders must be great, especially the last sentence just now, as if they are not talking about communicating with other leaders, but about removing his black hat. He Eugene hurriedly said, do not be angry with Zubos Du Xiao. I was just joking with you. I will definitely get things done as soon as possible. I don't want to hear the word as soon as possible. How long will it take? Zuming asked. Half a month, He Eugene said tentatively, but when he saw Zuming's frown, he hurriedly changed his words. One week, at most one week, I can approve the procedures to Boss Zhu and Xiao Du. It's pretty much the same. Du Peng said, Ziming said to He Yujin, Director He, in fact, Du Xiao and I have some new ideas. Maybe it can bring some new ideas to the Bureau of Land and Resources, and let Director He have something to report to your superiors. Hearing Ziming's words, Du Peng was a little surprised, because Ziming was clearly a routine of slapping a sweet jujube that was often used in official circles. He didn't expect Ziming to actually use He Yujin. This hand obviously made He Yujin very useful. He saw his eyes light up, and said to Ziming, Thank you, Boss Zhu. Chapter 60 Land Auction Part 1 Question mark Today's first served. Three days passed quickly, and He Yujin, the head of the Bureau of Land and Resources, moved very quickly. The main approval documents were soon down. He Eugen came to Zuming and Du Peng with the documents. Boss Zhu Du Xiao, the documents for the piece of land you want have been sent to the municipal government for approval. It should be approved within a day or two. This is a copy of the approval document. You can take a look at it. He Eugen took the document. It was handed to Zuming and Du Peng. They had to say that He Eugen's actions were actually illegal. But in some cases, these violating practices were the most correct ones. Du Peng didn't quite understand this, 
So he handed the documents directly to Zeming. Zeming glanced roughly and nodded and said, almost, no problem. Seeing Zeming's words, he huge and let go of his heart. He said to Zeming, then I would like to congratulate Boss Zhu and Xiaodu for the first time. I wish your real estate development early and your real estate business will flourish. Du Peng raised his eyelids. Who told you that we are going to do real estate? This sentence made He Yujin stunned for a moment. Why? Why, Xiao Du, don't you plan to buy land for real estate? Of course it's not real estate, Zhu Ming said. In fact, when director he came here today, we are also planning to tell you about this. We plan to hold an auction to auction off the land. Director he is the director of land and resources in Nanjiang city. At that time, you must show your face and participate. Auction? He Eugen's A's widened. At this moment, he felt like an old mountain farmer who had never seen the world, unable to keep up with the thinking of these two young masters. Zhu Ming nodded and said, Yes, after all, Du Xiao and I have never engaged in real estate, and we don't understand at all. So fortunately, we are fooling around. We might as well auction this plot of land to someone else to make others more capable and knowledgeable. People come to do it. Director He, do you think so? It should also be written in this document that we can transfer and buy and sell land use rights, right? He Eugene nodded hurriedly and said, of course, as long as it is within the scope of use authority, Boss Zhu and Xiao Du can handle it at will. Seeing the document, Zhu Ming and Du Peng's heart was relieved, but it was nothing. After all, Du Peng was the mayor of Nanjiang directly. Generally speaking, as long as there is no principled problem, there will be no problem. I can feel more at ease when I see the file. After He Yujin was sent away, Zhu Ming and Du Peng came to the East Gate Hotel and rented an auction venue at the hotel. But when I heard Du Peng was about to hold an auction, the hotel was a little surprised. Du Xiao is really interested, but I don't know what Du Xiao is going to auction. Antiques, or jewelry? Du Peng shook his head and said, neither, I want to sell the land, which is the wasteland on the side of San Yuan. Du Peng's words stunned the hotel manager and waiter. They all looked at Du Peng incredible, because in their concept, shouldn't all land be state-owned? Wasn't the sale of land a matter of feudal landlords in the past? How come Du Peng? a descendant of the revolution, has done this kind of thing now. Or do Du Peng have any other ideas? These people didn't understand, and Du Peng didn't bother to explain to them. After going around in the hotel banquet hall, Du Peng asked Zhu Ming, what do you think? Can it be done here? This is already the best hotel in Nanjiang. If it doesn't work, there will be no place. Zhu Ming joked, yes, since the land has been approved and the venue is available. I would like to send invitations to several real estate companies. Hurry up, and the advertisement should be posted as soon as possible. You said Mayor Chen Yunfei will be there at the auction, right? Zhu Ming's almost dictating tone stunned everyone, especially the hotel manager, because he knew Du Peng's identity, and even the mayor of Nanjiang only needed to call his uncle. Now Zhu Ming dared to talk to him like this. What is Zhu Ming's background? What made him even more unexpected was Du Peng's reaction. Du Peng nodded and said, the invitation has been prepared long ago, and I will send it all out as soon as you speak. Uncle Chen has also agreed to it, but how should I use the advertisement? Oh my god. Du Peng listened to Zhu Ming's words like a subordinate. Could it be that Zhu Ming's identity was even more important? This is what everyone thought after seeing Du Peng's attitude towards Zhu Ming. They didn't understand what was going on, but in fact, things were not as complicated as they thought. It's just because Zhu Ming had the ability and ideas to let Du Peng. I feel my heartfelt admiration for him. Advertising is not simple yet. Just make a huge poster and post it in a few places with the largest traffic. Anyway, it is to make it visible to as many people as possible, Zhu Ming said. But is it useful? People in those places can't spend millions to buy land, right? Du Peng was a little confused. Zhu Ming explained, posting posters is to build up momentum first, so that everyone knows when there will be a land auction here in Dongman Hotel, and tried to make the scene a bit more lively. It is easy to highlight when there are more people, 
the atmosphere makes those real estate developers who come to participate in the auction psychologically feel that they are not losing any high prices. Secondly, if you try your luck, you will be able to meet a few potential rich people. Zhu Ming's explanation made Du Peng and the others suddenly realize that it was just a poster posting, and there were so many ways, especially the manipulation of people's hearts. Thinking of this, the hotel managers all looked at Zhu Ming with a very strange look, wondering if this was really a young man in his early twenties. How does he practice? It's too enchanting. After listening to Zhu Ming's explanation, Du Peng happily clapped his hands and said, Don't worry, these little things are on my body. As a result, on the second day, several posters about the auction were posted in the Dongman Commercial Plaza and other places with the most traffic in Nanjian, and the content about the auctioned land suddenly became popular after dinner in Nanjian. Topic of discussion In the afternoon, Zhu Ming was drinking tea in the business center. Tang Ran hurried over after work and said to Zhu Ming happily, Brother Ming, your poster is great. People in our unit are discussing this all day today. When it comes to land auctions, you must organize a group to see it. Zhu Ming looked up at Tang Ran, and saw Tang Ran's small face flushed with excitement, very cute, and because of the rush to arrive, the tip of his small nose was sweating. Zhu Ming gave Tang Ran a cup of herbal tea, and then asked the waiter for a tissue to wipe off her sweat. After Tang Ran's anger calmed down, he asked, what did your colleagues say? Of course it means that auctioning land is something they have never heard of when they grow up. They must go and see who dares to be so bold. Tang Ran paused when he said that, and then smiled to Zhu Ming. They also said that Brother Ming, you must be a big landlord in the old society. Now, thanks to the spring breeze of reform and opening up, you have revived in another form. Zhu Ming dumbly said, what are you all about? The person who said this to you didn't come from a cross talk, right? Then I don't know, Tang Ran said after serious consideration, but the auction will definitely be interesting, right? I don't know if it's interesting. But looking at the thoughts of the people in your unit, I think the scene will be very spectacular by then. Be careful not to find a seat when you go there, Zhu Ming said. Hearing this, Tang Ran's excited little face suddenly collapsed, and said pitifully to Zhu Ming, Then brother Ming, can you help me? Well, why don't I arrange a position when I come, when the mayor will also come, I will help you arrange to be next to the mayor. Okay, Zhu Ming said deliberately. Tang Ran shook his head and said, No, I'm Brother Ming's girlfriend, I want to sit next to you, Brother Ming. Dot. Time is hurried, and the day of the auction soon arrived. Many people came to the gate of Dongman Hotel early in the morning, waiting for the start of the first land auction. People looked at the banners drawn from the hotel entrance and talked a lot. I didn't expect that there would really be a land auction today, I thought the poster was just posted for fun. How could it be fun? You don't want to think about the campaigner's vigorous promotion. I heard that the cost of just making these posters is thousands of dollars. Spend so much money to play, even if there are no rich people for toss like this, Right? That's not necessarily true. I think what he meant is that why the public security hasn't come to arrest all the people in this company. They are obviously following the old path of feudal landlords. As the planners of the auction, Zhu Ming and Du Peng were also at the door, but they were here waiting to greet the mayor of Nanjiang and other government officials. Tang Ran was next to Zhu Ming. She felt a little nervous listening to the discussion among the crowd. Zhu Ming said to her, Of course. Don't listen to their nonsense. This auction is reasonable and legal and in line with the direction of the central policy. What about the Public Security Bureau? Will there be a catch? And there is a young master here in Beijing. Zhu Ming pointed to Du Peng who was standing next to him. But Tang Ran curled his lips and said, I am not at ease because he is here. These words made Du Peng quit, Sister Anran. How did I provoke you? I said that I am also a descendant of the revolution. So you should save me some face. Tang Ran snorted and said, Then you are not as good as my brother Ming. If brother Ming hadn't noticed the problem, you might have been trapped in Nanjian. When Tang Ran said this, Du Peng suddenly wilted like a frosted eggplant, because after Zhu Ming reminded Du Peng at that time, he immediately approached the Public Security Bureau to investigate there, 
and it turned out that there was a problem there. It's just a leather bag company. What it did was to buy and sell at both ends, and when they were arrested, they also explained that they were planning to cheat Dupeng, and they didn't have a dime for the purchase. Dupeng was very conceited in other respects, but he did not dare to compare with Zhu Ming, because in his opinion, Zhu Ming was a monster at all. Just when Du Peng was frustrated, there was a sudden commotion among the crowd, and Zhu Ming raised his brows. Mayor Chen should be here. Chapter 61, 8.5 million two more. Question mark the second one is served. Several black cars drove up from Nangang Avenue and slowly parked in front of the East Gate Hotel. In this era, private cars were not as crazy as future generations. Coupled with the eye-catching license plate number on the second car, it immediately made people aware of the owner of this car. Look at the license plate number, that's our mayor of Nanjian's car. What? Did such a land auction alarm even the mayor of Nanjian? Our mayor of Nanjian is not an ordinary person. He is a big man appointed by the central leadership, and he is even more arrogant than the average vice governor. Yeah. Not only the mayor, but also the city government, the Public Security Bureau, and the Land and Resources Bureau. My goodness. This land auction has invited so many city government leaders. What is the back of this auction, King? It's no wonder that they dare to publicize so much in the urban area. The feelings are supported by so many city government leaders, so they are confident. Then since there are so many city government leaders present, the land auction this time seems to be worth seeing. No matter what the place is, it is directed at these leaders. It is estimated that no one would dare to offer a low price. One or two million. Dot. Hearing the comments from the crowd, Zhu Ming didn't feel a little funny. These people really didn't understand anything. As far as Zhu Ming knew, Nanjian, as a special economic zone, was originally at the vice provincial level while Chen Yunfei was the mayor of Nanjian, but in fact he still has another identity, that is, the deputy governor of Lingnan. As for the land price today, one or two million? Even the starting price was not enough, so it was auctioned at the first mallet. You are embarrassed to drop the mallet without seven or eight million? As the city government's motorcade stopped at the entrance of the Dongman Hotel. Zhu Ming and Du Peng took the initiative to greet them. The door opened and a middle-aged man in a blue suit got out of the car. Like the photos Zhu Ming had seen in his previous life, he was just for Chen Yanfei, the mayor of Nanjian who opened the door to finance in the mainland. When Chen Yanfei got out of the car, Du Peng and Zhu Ming went up to shake hands with him. This scene immediately caused an uproar at the scene. Everyone will have countless guesses about today's auction. But they never thought that it was these two young people who did it. No one noticed them before, but everyone subconsciously ignored them and thought they too. The same was the crowd of onlookers, and they didn't react until now, and suddenly felt an unspeakable shock. Zhu Ming and Du Peng invited Chen Yunfei and other city government leaders into the hotel and took them to the banquet hall on the second floor. Of course. The banquet hall had been rearranged by the hotel to an auction site. All the invited real estate agents also everyone sent people to attend. Seeing Chen Yunfei coming in, everyone stood up at the same time, greeted Chen Yunfei and applauded warmly. As the mayor of Nanjian, Chen Yunfei is no stranger to this scene. He was unmoved by the leadership of the hotel and came to the front row to sit down. Looking around the venue, Chen Yunfei said to Ziming. Your venue is very well arranged and distinctive, but like everyone else, I came here with a skeptical attitude. After all, we have only heard of auctions, antique calligraphy and paintings, jewelry auctions, but I have never heard of auction land. I don't know how much you, the big boss of Hong Kong City, have in your heart. Ziming smiled shyly and replied, Mayor Chen, in fact, like capitalists like us, we are not going to do things that can't make money. Therefore, today's first hammer of national land auctions will definitely succeed. Chen Yunfei raised his eyebrows, Boss Zhu is worthy of being a successful entrepreneur in Hong Kong City. He has this kind of spirit and confidence. It's natural to have confidence. As for the courage to fight, 
I think Mei Chen will do it even if I don't do it. It's just that Mei Chen don't blame me for stealing your limelight, Ziming said. Why? Our city government does have plans for auctioning land, but some things have to go hand in hand to achieve the best results. Chen Yunfei said, now all the comrades participating in the auction have arrived. I don't know about this auction. When will it start and who will be the host? The auction can start at any time. And the host of the auction is me. Ziming stood up from his seat after speaking, and then walked onto the auction platform with Chen Yunfei's approval. After receiving the microphone handed over by the hotel staff, Ziming cleared his throat and said, Leaders and guests, hello, my name is Ziming, and I am today's auctioneer. First of all, I am very happy that you can visit our first piece of land in the country. Rights auction site. You will be here today to witness history, so let's not talk nonsense, I will go directly to today's topic. Ziming's words made everyone on the scene stunned. After all, the fast-pissed approach to the subject made them somewhat uncomfortable. When the slides began to be shown on stage, the people below reacted fiercely. The auction was really true. It's already started. I believe everyone is familiar with the land in the slide. It is a wasteland on the side of Dongman Sanyun. Although it is a wasteland, it is also temporary, because next to it is our main road, Nangang Avenue, Nanjian. It is also less than 20 minutes drive from the Dongman Commercial Circle. This location is undoubtedly very advantageous. It can be imagined that as long as Nanjian City continues to develop and expand in the future, the land of Sanyun will surely become the center of the city. In a prosperous area, its value will soar as it is included in the urban area. Speaking of this, Ziming deliberately paused before coming to a conclusion. So I can assure everyone here that whether this piece of land is built for commercial housing or office building, it absolutely has high commercial value. Well, I believe everyone understands the rules of today's auction. The starting price of the land in San Yun is 5 million, and every bidding must not be less than 100,000. Ziming's words made everyone on the scene breathless, especially Du Peng, Chen Yunfei and he Eugen. They were even more surprised in their hearts, because they all knew the government's land price. There are only 1.5 million, but now Ziming has turned over three cups with one mouth, and this is only the starting price. There was a lot of discussion in the audience. Is this man crazy? A piece of land is about to sell for 5 million. Is this land worth more than gold? Later, if no one bids to see how they end up, I heard that the owner of this auction was a Hong Kong City owner. I think he was silly after staying in a place like Hong Kong City for a long time. Don't you know that Nanjing and Hong Kong City are different? The downtown area of Hong Kong City can be said it's an inch of land and an inch of gold. But here in Nanjing, the top of this land is only one or two million. This Hong Kong man thinks that we inland people are stupid, don't know the price of the land, think we will give him money obediently. The IQ of this Hong Kong man is too low, right? I think he will move today. I shot myself in the foot. Dot. These gloating talks also reached Chen Yanfei's ears. He turned his head and asked Du Peng and said, Is this something you have negotiated a long time ago? Du Peng shook his head and smiled bitterly, of course not. The price we negotiated is 3 million. How can I know that he directly increased the starting price of 2 million when he came to power? It turned out to be so. Chen Yunfei said such a sentence, then turned his head and continued to look at Ziming on the stage, because at this time Ziming had announced that the auction had started. As the auction began, it was beyond everyone's expectations because there was no cold spot. On the contrary, someone quickly raised a placard and called 5.1 million, which surprised everyone who was going to watch the jokes. What is really an offer? It's not that the city guy asked me to ask for it, right? Someone said so. But what happened afterwards caused these people to shut their mouths. I saw the first person put down the sign, and next to him, he raised the second and third signs respectively. Ziming pointed to the two signs on the stage and said, 5.2 million, 530,000. At this time, the first person to raise the placard simply stood up and shouted, 
it'll give out six million. Hearing this number, Du Peng and He Yujin both took a breath, especially Du Peng, who couldn't help clenching their fists. Chen Yunfei turned his head and said to Du Peng, it seems that your partner's confidence is not plain. It's amazing to be able to directly raise the land from 1.5 million to 6 million in one fell swoop. Du Peng said, yes, he has always been very talented in making money. Listening to the chat between Chen Yunfei and Du Peng, Tang Ran next to him became unhappy. She said, where is this? My brother Ming said that he will not fall for less than 8 million today. Facing the figure Tang Ran said, he Yujin was dumbfounded, huh? 8 million? Du Peng quickly said to Tang Ran, of course. Don't talk nonsense in front of Uncle Chen. What 8 million? What if you can't reach it? Chen Yunfei had an indifferent expression. He smiled and asked Tang Ran, little girl, did your brother Ming say why it was 8 million? Tang Ran nodded and said, of course. My brother Ming said that land is the most important development resource of a city because all cities are built on land. Although Nanjiang is still in its infancy, it is still in the country. With strong support, it is only a matter of time before the world's first class metropolis will be built. An 8 million piece of land will only make a profit. He believes that none of the real estate developers who can come to participate in the auction today will fail to see this. Chen Yunfei did not speak in a hurry, but began to think. During this period, the auction continued as if to prove Tang Ran's words. Although the first person to raise the placard called six million, he still did not scare away the others. A few of the competitors soon raised their placards. Ziming said on the stage, 6.16.2 million, you are all discerning real estate developers. I believe this price cannot be repelled. You guys. Before Ziming's voice fell, several people raised their placards and shouted, 7 million, 8 million, 8.5 million. If the previous 6 million was only a surprise to the people at the scene, then the last 8.5 million sound made everyone petrified in an instant. Chapter 62 I'm sorry I quit third more. Question mark the third one is here. The small square film asks for votes, and asks for various postures. The price of the wasteland in Dongman San Yuan was finally fixed at 8.5 million yuan and the bid was from Nanjian Real Estate Company. When Zuming asked the representative of Nanjian Real Estate Company to come up to the stage to exchange documents, a flash of light appeared in the audience. Recording this historic moment, even Mayor Chen Yunfei spontaneously stood up and applauded Zuming and this auction. At the end of the auction process, Zuming stepped off the auction platform. Du Peng happily ran up to Zuming and gave Zuming a bear hug. He said excitedly, Ziming, you are too fierce. I originally thought this land could be sold for 4 or 5 million. It's not bad. I didn't expect you to get 8.5 million in one shot. How did you do it? You wouldn't be a deceptive spell, would you? Ziming laughed and said, Du Peng, you have read more about Journey to the West, right? Even spells that confuse people have come out. Tang Ran, who walked over together, said, it's all you guys who have a small vision. Do you think Brother Ming is the same as you? This time Du Peng did not refute Tang Ran, but scratched his head embarrassedly and said, That's true, Zhu Ming's ambition in making money is beyond comparison. Zhu Ming, Tang Ran and Du Peng looked at each other and laughed. He Yujin, director of the Bureau of Land and Resources hurried over to Zhu Ming and Du Peng and said, Boss Zhu Du Xiao, Mayor Chen invites you two to come over. Zhu Ming was taken aback for a moment, and then he saw Chen Yunfei who was dealing with reporters not far away, and he immediately understood that he took Du Peng over. Seeing Zhu Ming and Du Peng coming over, Chen Yunfei said to the surrounding reporters, comrade reporters, these two are the protagonists of today's auction. If you have any questions, please ask them. Upon hearing Chen Yunfei's words, these reporters who had listened to Chen Yunfei's official voice for a while suddenly broke out in the second spring, and hurriedly turned their guns. However, because these reporters did not know Du Peng, coupled with Zhu Ming's performance at the auction just now, the reporters surrounded Zhu Ming, and you rushed to ask Zhu Ming, Mr. Zhu, you okay, 
you got a sky high price of 8.5 million yuan for the first land auction in the mainland. What do you think? Mr. Zhu heard that you are a big boss from Hong Kong City. What do you think of the real estate market in the mainland? Mr. Zhu heard that you initially set the starting price at 3 million in this auction. But you directly announced that the starting price was 5 million when you came to the stage. What did you think at the time? Mr. Zhu, did your real estate auction this time it also has a lot to do with the housing reform promoted by the government. Are you trying to test the waters for future housing reforms? In the face of these emotional reporters, Ziming calmly gestured to let everyone not rush, and said loudly, Thank you all reporters for your concern and support. But now there are city leaders here, and we still have regarding the matter of this auction, we will hold a press conference at a later date. We will definitely answer all questions from journalists and friends at that time, ok? Now please give us a hand, let us let the leaders first get out. After Zhu Ming finished speaking, he glanced at the chief of public security who had been maintaining order. The latter immediately understood the meaning and immediately organized manpower to push away the crowd so that Chen Yunfei and Zhu Ming and Du Peng could leave safely. Of course, these reporters were reluctant, but Nanjian Mayor Chen Yunfei was here. How dare the public security officers be careless? Therefore, under the maintenance of the public security, Zhu Ming and his group quickly left the venue. When he walked out of the venue, Du Peng immediately said to Zhu Ming excitedly, Zhu Ming, you were too cool just now, so many reporters around me are the first and too big, you can actually leave them all there. Since you can't handle it, why do you still have to deal with them? Tang Ran asked curiously. I said Sister Anran, that's all reporters. You can be on TV in the newspaper, Du Peng emphasized. Tang Ran said, so what, my brother Ming hasn't been in the newspaper, Du Peng really didn't know what to say at this time. Perhaps it's a glorious thing for ordinary people to be on TV in the newspaper. Even Du Peng, the Red Descendant, is proud to be able to report, but it seems that Zhu Ming is here. It's not a problem at all. People have already published so many newspapers in Hong Kong City, and with his patience, he will definitely be able to publish more in the future, so why bother this time? Du Peng fainted when he thought of this. He said to Zhu Ming with a grimace. You are really non-human. Your code of conduct is completely different from ours. Ziming chuckled, you fucking are not humans. It's not easy for you to be in the newspapers and TV. When we do a formal handover or hold a press conference next time, let you and those reporters talk about it. Okay? But now is really not the time. After that, Ziming gave Chen Yunfei a wink, and Du Peng was stunned. Du Peng felt a huge shock. Of course, he understood what Zhu Ming meant. He was just telling him that the mayor Chen Yunfei was here. In which round he would get them to interview. Others could be polite, but you would be really stupid if you take it seriously. Dot. So Zhu Ming saw that Chen Yunfei wanted to leave. So he pushed down all the reporters and let Chen Yunfei leave the venue first. What kind of person is this? Du Peng sighed in his heart. If Zhu Ming's previous business talents could be described as genius, then Zhu Ming's approach really made him unable to find a description. As a powerful son who grew up in the Red Wall, Du Peng knows very well that this kind of political maturity is the result of accumulation over time, but Zhu Ming was able to do this at such a young age, even before the two directors present. After reacting, and choosing the most correct decision, such a person, given him a development time, he can definitely return you a super god. Dot. After leaving the venue, Chen Yunfei did not leave the hotel for the first time, but went to the meeting room upstairs. Chen Yunfei first sat down in the conference room, and then beckoned everyone else to sit down. Chen Yunfei pointed to Zhu Ming and said, You young man, I didn't expect that you are young. But you have a lot of mind. Zhu Ming knew that he could not hide what he did just now, Chen Yunfei, and said generously, There is no way. Cross theory and heresy. Chen Yunfei scolded with a smile, and then continued, Well, let's not talk about this. I specifically asked you not to talk about this. I heard Du Peng say that the starting price that you originally negotiated in private was 300 million. 
but you directly reported 5 million when you came to power today, what do you think? Ziming thought for a while, and then said, Mayor Chen, before I answer this question, can I ask you a question first? Chen Yunfei waved his hand, you ask. I want to ask Mayor Chen, what do you think of the development of Nanjiang City? Or how confident are you in the future development of Nanjiang City? Ziming's question was asked, and everyone at the scene was stunned, because everyone sitting here, except Tang Ran, knew that Mayor Chen Yunfei was the chief designer of the development of Nanjiang City. You actually asked this in front of him. Question, too presumptuous and bold, right? But Chen Yunfei was not angry. Instead, he thought Ziming's question was very interesting. He said, as a bridgehead for reform and opening up across the country, Nanjian will inevitably become an international metropolis with the support of the central government and the whole country. Ziming nodded and said, I agree with Mayor Chen. Since Nanjian will become an international metropolis, an international metropolis, how much should his land use rights be worth? Of course. I don't need Chen Yunfei to answer this question. Ziming said directly, I just came back from the port city. I also know that the central area on the port city side just took a lot of land and went out. About half of our land, the final transaction price is as high as 100 million. This figure made everyone swallow subconsciously. They thought that the land price this time was already outrageous but they didn't expect that the Hong Kong city side would be even more exaggerated, and it would directly cost hundreds of millions. Of course, we have just started in Nanjiang, and we can't compare with the port city for the time being, and the location of the land in the port city is also very good, but this can also reflect the importance of land to a city from one side. Ziming said, for development. We can't be arrogant but we can't be arrogant. Take this piece of land as an example. I have made a rough calculation before and found that as long as the real estate developer develops according to normal procedures, whether it is a commercial housing if you still do office buildings, you can make at least 12 million. There was an uproar at the scene. Everyone including Du Peng stared at Ziming with wide-eyed eyes. No one thought that this piece of land could be so profitable. Ziming spread both hands and continued, so since there is such a high return, why should I quote a higher starting price? As long as these real estate developers can figure out the account, they will accept such a high price. That's why I am so confident. After listening to Ziming's answer, Chen Yunfei fell into silence for a while, and after a while, he talked, unexpectedly, we think we already know the reform and opening up very well, and we think we can keep up with the pace of the world. In the end, I didn't understand it as a young man like you, really? Chen Yunfei laughed at himself, then Chen Yunfei raised his head and said sincerely to Ziming, Comrade Ziming, I know that you are a good comrade in the mainland. As the deputy governor of Lingnan, the mayor of Nanjiang, I officially invite you would you like to serve as an Nanjiang development consultant? Chen Yunfei's words fell, and there was a sudden inhalation sound at the scene. Everyone looked at Ziming, and the shock in their hearts could not be added. Although the development consultant of Nanjiang city is not an official title, it is also because he is not an official title, but he is inextricably linked to the government. It is even more valuable because he can participate in the government development plan under the premise of ensuring that he does business. For any businessman, it is like opening a plug-in. Unexpectedly, Ziming was so young that he would be able to get this invitation. If this news is announced, I don't know how many successful businessmen will commit suicide in shame. But the mood of these people hasn't calmed down yet. Ziming's next answer suddenly messed them up again. I'm sorry Mayor Chen, I'm afraid I can't promise you for the time being. Ziming replied. Chapter 63 I want to go home without staying. Question mark The entire conference room suddenly became quiet. Everyone looked at Ziming with the same eyes of alien creatures. What Ziming said just now was like Monkey King's fixed body spell to petrify them on the spot for them. Even a child who is not sensible can understand what Chen Yunfei's invitation just now represents as the deputy governor of Lingnan and the mayor of Nanjian. It can be said that as long as Ziming nods now, then he will be in Nanjian. You can make money lying down without doing anything. Maybe Chen Yunfei didn't bring him any official documents. 
but Chen Yunfei's face was more useful than any documents. But Ziming still refused. It was impossible for him to notice the political sensitivity he showed just now. Then he knew what it meant, and refused Chen Yunfei's invitation. Your acting is a bit too much. Yeah? After all, reality is not. Some things can be handled but some things cannot be handled at all. You must know that Chen Yunfei is not Liu, and Yu Ziming is not Zhu Ang, so you won't be able to put on a floppy scene. You missed it. This shop, you can never miss this village. Everyone looked at Ziming with anxieties in their hearts. If they would have nodded their heads without hesitation, but at this time Ziming just looked at Chen Yunfei quietly, without any intention to change his words. In response, Chen Yunfei smiled slightly, it seems that you have some ideas of your own. Ziming scratched his head embarrassedly and said, Mayor Chen, in fact, I am not as good as you think, and my insights into the economy are not as profound as some experts. Speaking of this, Ziming paused and then said, Mayor Chen, let's put it this way, so far, all the business I have done is speculation. I was going to be shot 30 years ago. So I can only judge. The situation is gambling luck. In many things, I just run into dead mice. I don't have the ability to be a consultant to guide development. In addition, I will go home and develop in the future. My home is in Line Yang. So if I serve as Nanjian's development consultant and fail to do anything in the end, then I will be ashamed of it, and I will not be good to Mayor Chen. Although Ziming said a long way, but in a simple summary, I want to go home, so I won't stay. This makes everyone dumbfounded again. They feel that they must not have enough of their brains today, or how complete they are. Can't you keep up with Ziming's thoughts? Not to mention Du Peng and He Yujin. Even Chen Yunfei can't understand Ziming. He was silent for a long time before saying, then you think that Lin Yang will develop better than Nanjian? Up? No, because my home is there. Ziming replied. This answer made people like Du Peng and He Yujin feel that they were going crazy. They thought that Ziming was either insane or insane. How else would they give up such a great opportunity and want to go home? Ziming doesn't seem to be such a dependent on his family this time. Even Chen Yunfei showed a demented expression for the first time. Fortunately, he Eugene and the director of the Public Security Bureau's hour were messed up at this time, otherwise they would be surprised that their jaws fell. You should know that for a senior official like Chen Yunfei, Qi cultivation skills are absolutely top-notch, not to mention that he is in complete control of his emotions, but his emotions are invisible but his basic skills. But now that he actually has an expression, it must be under the premise that he has been greatly stimulated. And Zhu Ming was able to do this, one can imagine how unexpected what he said just now. After a while, Chen Yunfei said without embarrassment, it seems that you also want to make a little contribution to the development of your hometown. It is very good for young people to have this kind of ideological awareness. I am optimistic about you, but if you want to have more good development, you are always welcome here at Nanjian. After a few words with Ziming, Chen Yunfei hurriedly got up and left. Obviously, even a figure like Chen Yunfei felt that he could not keep up with Ziming's thoughts. If he continued to talk, he might have a heart attack. After Chen Yunfei and the two directors of the municipal government left, Du Peng immediately rushed towards Ziming, pressed Ziming on the table, and viciously questioned Ziming, Ziming. What are you kidding crazy? Just now Uncle Chen, why don't you agree to be a development consultant? Is it because you think the official is small or what's the matter? Why didn't I see that you have such a high profile? Ziming didn't have the habit of taking it seriously. Whether it was in his previous life or in this life, he immediately stood up and pressed Du Peng under his body, and said helplessly to him, do you think I really want to be strong? The key is that the domestic situation is not stable yet. In the end, this development consultant God knows if he is causing trouble for himself. I just want to make my money quietly, but I don't want to worry about political right and wrong. Ziming's words are not easy to come by. He is a person with memories of past lives. He knows very well that few people who are Nanjian development consultants will end well. Du Peng was stunned. Obviously, as a descendant of the Red, he knew more than Ziming. He asked Ziming, 
You mean there will be policy changes in the central government? Ziming shook his head and said, reform and opening up is a general trend, and no one can stop it. Our country and nation cannot be disconnected from the world again, but history tells us that at any time, the strength of the conservative school is far away. It's beyond imagination. In case something happens at the time, you officials will pat your buttocks and leave. It is only us people who are unlucky, so I just don't touch these things and just turn my money honestly. All right. Great wisdom, you are great wisdom. Du Peng admired. What great wisdom, it's just that I am a coward, and I just want to be a good citizen honestly. Ziming let go of Du Peng, and then asked him, by the way, now this piece of land here has been sold, then you have to help me with matters in line Yang. Why? That factory over there started to restructure? Du Peng asked. Ziming nodded and said, yes. I called my home yesterday and said that the county is already in a meeting to study this matter. Then you really plan to go back to Lin Yang and give up on the Nanjiang side? Du Peng asked unwillingly. How come? Ziming said, isn't the Yu Du Shao here? And the company we registered is still there. After this auction, we made a total of 7 million yuan, and I will leave 2 million yuan. Here, there are more than 5 million for you. Du Shao? If you can't figure out something, you will be finished. Du Peng curled his lips, you said lightly, thinking everyone is the same perverted person as you. Then how about I learn from Zhu Liang and leave you a tip? Zhu Ming asked Du Peng deliberately. Du Peng said in a huff, dumb. You really put your tail up to the sky? Then you tell me, I want to hear what you guys have. In fact, it's not a clever plan. It's just that when I return to Nanjian, I read the recent newspapers and learned about my thoughts on the future of the policy. Ziming said, we established Nanjian Development Bank not long ago in Nanjian. Is the public offering of shares right? It seems that there is something like this. Du Peng suddenly realized something. He looked at Ziming and asked, do you want to buy these stocks? Ziming nodded and said, yes. I want to buy as much as I want. This is a financial pilot in the mainland. In foreign countries, finance has become a very developed industrial chain, almost controlling the lifeline of the national economy. It is inevitable to keep up with the world's footsteps and the development of finance is inevitable, so it will be difficult for him to think about the first bank to issue shares. After listening to Ziming's explanation, Du Peng gritted his teeth fiercely, okay. I will go to the relationship to find out, I will buy as much as I have. Ziming patted Du Peng on the shoulder with satisfaction and said, you can teach you. Okay, hurry up and do something, I'm still waiting for your news before returning to Lin Yang. Don't worry, I will contact Governor Xun for you right away, you are covered by me. Du Peng walked out the door as he spoke, and after Du Peng went out, Ziming turned his head and suddenly found that Tang ran who had been sitting here, was a little depressed. He became concerned and said, what's the matter with you? Brother Ming, are you going back to Lin Yang? Tang Ran asked cowardly. Of course, my home is there, and my parents are waiting for me at home. I can't help but go back, Ziming said. Then I and brother Ming will go back together, okay? Tang Ran said again. Ziming was stunned for a moment. Why are you going back with me? Aren't you very good on Nanjian? And you just solved the establishment, which is very rare, so you should work hard in Nanjian, okay? But I am your girlfriend, Brother Ming, and I want to be with you, Brother Ming. Tang Ran said. Ziming tried hard to think about it and said, Sure, have you never listened to a song? Every day, seeing you creates distance. This shows that distance produces beauty in many cases. However, it is better for you to stay by the Nanjian River, and it's not that I won't come to Nanjian when I return to Lin Yang. I have invested so much money in Du Peng's place. If I don't come, what if he takes all the money away? Do you think that? Ziming said that originally, he wanted to change the subject. But he didn't think that Tang Ran actually thought about it very seriously and said, Indeed, Du Peng is very unreliable, even if he doesn't take the money, in case the business fails. No, it's all your money from Brother Ming. So, of course you want to help me watch my money here, 
and report to me at any time, Ziming said. That's right. This is mine. Ziming praised Tang Ran, if Du Peng is still here, he would definitely cry without tears when he heard these words. At any rate, he is also the third generation of Quain under the Red Wall, and is also the first to carry out economic activities, and the elite with a strong economic mind. How can they get here? Has it become so unbearable? Give it back to others. Chapter 64 South Development is difficult to develop. Brother Ming, I remember yesterday that you asked Du Peng to inquire about the shares of Nanjian Development Bank, right? Facing Tang Ran's question, Zhu Ming was stunned for the first time, because in Zhu Ming's impression, although Tang Ran was a bit dark, she was always a good looking and sensible little girl. She knew she didn't know how to do it herself in her business. She rarely interrupted when she was talking about business, but she didn't expect that when she came to pick her up from get off work today, she actually asked about this when she saw herself first. Zhu Ming nodded and said, Yes, I want Du Peng to inquire about this, but why are you talking about this suddenly? Because someone who claims to be the manager of Nanjiang Development Bank came to our unit today to promote the stock you mentioned. Tang Ran said. Is this? Zhu Ming asked in surprise. Where is he now? What is the result of the promotion? Tang Ran thought for a while, shook his head and said, his sales promotion is very bad. People in our unit didn't believe him and said he was a liar. Later, our leader asked the security department to drive him out. He didn't have any stocks. Sell it. I didn't say anything, because Brother Ming said that this stock can make money, and I don't want them to make money from Brother Ming. As for that person, he has been away for a while, and I don't know where it will be. Zhu Ming rubbed Tang Ran's small head and said, if you don't say it's right, it doesn't matter whether I can make this money or not. The key is that you will be laughed at by them as an idiot when you are in the work unit. As long as you can make money for Brother Ming, I'm a fool. Tang Ran said. Well, let's not talk about it, let's go first. Zhu Ming took Tang Ran's little hand and walked to the side of the road. When Zhu Ming was about to take a taxi, Tang Ran suddenly pointed to Zhu Ming and said, Brother Ming, look. The person who came to sell stocks is the today. Dot. Zhu Ming looked in the direction Tang Ran was pointing, and saw a young man talking to two pedestrians passing by. His bank shirt was soaked in sweat, and there was a bulging bag under his feet. There was indeed a kind of street. The style of a salesman. Of course, then you accompany me to see that person first, shall we go to dinner later? Okay, Zhu Ming solicited Tang Ran's opinion. Tang Ran loves Zhu Ming very much, and of course he has no opinion on it, so Zhu Ming and Tang Ran walked towards the man holding hands. According to Tang Ran's memory, this man was named Li Hong and claimed to be the manager of Nanjian Development Bank. Comrade, I'm really the manager of Nanjian Development Bank. Our stock is also soliciting funds from the whole society. If you buy our bank's stock today, it can be used as a voucher. When our bank makes money in the future, I can give you dividends. Make money? What do you guarantee that you can make money? What Nanjian Development Bank? I have never heard of it. In case your company goes bankrupt in the future, I will find a ghost to get the bonus. When Zhu Ming and Tang Ran came, Li Hong was selling bank stocks but the effect did not seem to be ideal. The other party did not believe that the bank stocks could make money, for fear that his money would be in vain. This situation made Zhu Ming a little bit sigh. Although Zhu Ming had heard in his previous life that Nanjian Development Bank encountered some difficulties when it first issued shares, he did not expect it to be like this. I think that Nanjian Stock Exchange will open a year later, after Nan Development became the first listed stock. Who could have imagined that it looked like a rush to sell the stocks of NAN development on the street? South Development and South Development. It seems that the person who helped the bank take this name must be able to tell, knowing that it will be difficult for the bank to develop. Just when Zhu Ming was stunned, the people over there had already left. Li Hong was disappointed again. When he was about to pack his things and find another person, he suddenly saw Zhu Ming. He said to Zhu Ming, Comrade, you want stocks? I'm the manager of Nanjian Development Bank. This is our Nanjian Development Bank's stock. As long as you buy our bank's stock today, 
you can participate in our bank's profitable dividends in the future. Li Hong said this, but Zuming couldn't see a trace of enthusiasm in his eyes. Some were just lost and at a loss. Looking at the bulging bag of stocks at his feet, he must have been beaten for a day. Dot. Hey, it seems that you don't plan to buy it, comrade. I'm sorry to disturb you. As Li Hong said, he took his bag and left. At this moment, Zeming called to him, I didn't say that I would not buy it, but how can you make me believe that you are the manager of Nanjian Development Bank and your stocks? Are they all true again? Faced with Zeming's question, Li Hong turned his head and said, I am wearing a uniform issued by the bank. These stocks are also things that nobody wants. Is there any fake? Speaking of this, Li Hong seemed to suddenly remember something. His eyes suddenly lit up, as if someone who had been struggling for a lifetime suddenly saw the Avalakite Zvara Bodhisattva who had rescued the suffering, and asked Zuming with bright A's, Comrade, you just now what are you talking about? You will buy these stocks, right? Zuming nodded and said yes, then took out 1000 from his body and handed it to Li Hong. I don't have much money with me. Only this, Li Hong took the money from Zeming in disbelief, and was stunned there, staring at the money blankly as if he had been petrified. Comrade, you have to give us the stock if you receive the money. Zeming reminded Li Hong Dao aloud. Li Hong just woke up like a dream. He first expressed his gratitude to Zeming as a thank you. Then he collected the money and counted the stocks for Zeming with his hand that was so excited that he couldn't stop shaking saying, we Nanjian Development Bank every time, one share is 20 yuan, I will charge you 1000, I should give you 50 shares, but our bank now has a preferential policy, I can give you 55 shares, Zeming generously waved his hand and said, that's not necessary, you can keep the 5 shares by yourself, but I have some things about your stock, and you need to answer for me, Li Hong nodded hurriedly and said, no problem, no matter what questions you have, comrades, I can answer them for you, we'll give it to you. Zuming glanced at Li Hong with a little surprise, and didn't say anything. He took the 55 share warrant and gave it to Tang Ran and put it in her bag. Then he took Li Hong to a tea house on the side of the road and chose it a good location. After sitting down, Li Hong looked at the environment of the tea house. When Zuming finished ordering tea and snacks and fruits, Li Hong carefully asked, are you the big boss, it's okay, doing some business is a bit of money, Zeming took it for a while, and then asked Li Hong, can you tell me what position you hold in Nanjian Development Bank, Li Hong knew that Zeming was a savvy person, so he had to honestly explain, I am the business marketing manager of the Dongman branch of the bank, a business marketing manager of your branch actually went to the market to sell stocks on the street, is your stock sales so bad, Zuming asked in surprise, Li Hong bowed his head embarrassedly and said, there is no way, our Nanjiang development bank has just been established, and there is not enough staff, the leaders above require all the carders and employees below to recommend stock. I did this to respond to the leader's call. Then what's the result? Zuming asked again. Li Hong shook his head and said, The result is very bad. As you saw just now, no matter how we sell, no one believes us at all. And I am looking for people with relatively high education and education. They compared with other people, they understand what stocks are, but that's it. Our stock sales are still progressing slowly. Zuming nodded silently and then suddenly raised a very prickling question, are all the stocks in your bank like this, or is it just your sales situation that is not ideal, this question caught Li Hong for a moment, and then seriously said, of course people don't understand the stocks of our bank, my sales are the most in our branch, I am a business manager, I want to set an example for others, Zeming could feel the misunderstood anger in Li Hong's tone, so Zeming said, okay, I know, don't get excited, I didn't intend to stimulate you. Li Hong also found that everyone in the tea house was looking at him, and he felt that his emotions were too extreme. He blushed and sat down and apologized to Zeming. Zeming waved his hand and said, you don't have to apologize to me. It was originally arousing you, I am prepared for your reaction. As long as you don't hit me, 
I'll do it. If you dare to hit me, I will really fight back. Faced with Zuming's ridicule, Li Hong said, Why then, I won't. Zuming chatted with Li Hong for a while before letting him go first, and after Li Hong left, Zuming leaned back in his chair and thought about it. When Zuming came back, he saw that Tang Ran was concerned. Looking at himself, Zuming asked in astonishment, Of course what are you doing looking at me like this? Brother Ming, is the stock in this bank bad? Are you losing money? Tang Ran asked. Zuming shook his head and said, Of course not, I'm just thinking about another issue. But Tang Ran didn't believe it. If you don't lose, then why did the person just say that no one wants to take it? That's because other people's vision is wrong. Some people don't understand stocks and don't know the use of this stuff, and some people have been scammed by fake companies and fake stocks, so they dare not buy. Zeming finished. Seeing that Tang Ran was stubbornly trying to say something, he asked her deliberately, Why don't you have confidence in my vision? Tang Ran said, No. I'm just afraid that brother Ming will suffer. Zuming laughed and said, Don't worry, my silly girl, I'll take this loss. Tang Ran let out a surprised voice, Zuming smiled and scratched her little Kaiyang's nose, and then said, This loss doesn't matter, I just want to contact Du Peng and adjust our strategy. Tang Ran suddenly realized, It turns out that brother Ming, you lied to me, this stock will definitely make money, right? Zuming said, Definitely and surely. Chapter 65 I want the most shares. Du Peng hurriedly walked into the tea house and sat in front of Zuming. Without a word, he picked up the fruit on the table and ate it fiercely. Zuming and Tang Ran were both stunned. Tang Ran wondered, Where did you just come from? Have you escaped? How long have you not eaten? Zuming also asked, As a powerful kid. Can you pay attention to your image? I called you to come over to discuss things with you, not to watch you gobble up food. Du Peng threw a piece of watermelon into his mouth, and after taking a breath, he said, You don't know that I was running outside today, trying to find a way to find the Nanjian Development Bank you mentioned. As a result, I discovered a major secret, you guys. Guess what? I found Liu Han. The first vice president of the Nanjian Development Bank through the city today. He told me that the bank's stock sales are extremely difficult now, and no one even wants to throw it on the road. Then you didn't talk to them thoroughly. We took a fancy to their stocks. Do you want to buy a lot? Zuming asked. Of course not, I'm not a fool. Du Peng said. Then he thought of something. He looked at Zuming and Tang Ran blankly for a long time before asking again. You are a little surprised by the news. No reaction? Tang Ran curled his lips in disdain and said, What's so surprising about this? We already knew it. Brother Ming asked you to come here to talk about this. Du Peng was immediately surprised and said, I rely on it, don't you? You know, it doesn't make sense. Why did I find out the news that I was busy outside for a day after running so many relationships, and you didn't do anything? Actually knows it. Will you still give people a way to survive? That means what you did was useless. Tang Ran giggled. Heaven and earth, is there any truth for a child like me who does things honestly? Du Peng wailed. Zeming said to Du Peng, once you are done, don't scream here. I'm just a little lucky here. Today, a manager from Nan Development went to their unit to sell stocks. I asked that person to find out. Dot. In fact, Zuming still didn't say the second half of the sentence. He, his unit, Du Peng, will give the South to the development too early, and he will be passive at that time. But now it seems that this is because he is too worried. This is obviously Du Peng. It wasn't that kind of innocent boy. He changed his mind as soon as the situation was wrong. If he hadn't had this kind of resilience, he wouldn't become a billionaire in the future. Then what should we do now? Du Peng asked. Zeming thought for a moment. Did not answer to ask. First vice president of the South should also develop the waiting for your answer it. Du Peng nodded and said yes. Zeming said, then we can meet him tomorrow. Maybe we can also act as the angel who saves the finance. Dot. The next day, Zeming and Du Peng came to the Dongman Hotel and saw a middle-aged man with a bright forehead waiting anxiously at the door. According to Du Peng's introduction, 
Zhu Ming knew that he was the first vice president of South Development, Han, the financial pioneer who founded the Nanjian Development Bank and the Nanjian Stock Exchange. Now he looks like a man who is locked in a room, knowing the colorful world outside, he can't find it to get out of the room. Key. What Zhu Ming didn't expect was that there were two girls with Liuo Han. One was dressed in bank professional clothes, which looked mature and solemn, and the other was dressed in pink dress, which looked pure and lovely. Seeing these two girls, Zhu Ming smiled and said to Du Peng, It seems that our vice president Liuo really took great pains for today's meeting. Du Peng obviously saw it too, and was a little embarrassed to say. What is this vice president Liuo really doing? Liuo Han saw Du Peng getting out of the car with a surprised expression on his face. He hurriedly took the two girls up to greet Du Peng. Du Peng introduced Zhu Ming, and Liuo Han introduced Tu to Du Peng and Zhu Ming. Girl. The more mature one is called Jiao Jiao, and the cute one is called Xiaoyu. Vice president Liuo. What are you doing? I learned from my uncle Chen that your bank has just been listed and is in urgent need of development funds. It is to respond to national policies to support the reform and development of the financial industry and to help you tide over the difficulties. But what do you mean? Who do you think of us? Du Peng asked Liuo Han unceremoniously. Facing Du Peng's question, Liuo Han hurriedly apologized. I'm sorry, Du Xiao. I just attach great importance to Du Xiao, and I am afraid that the atmosphere is bad, so I made a special trip to ask the two ladies to adjust. I have absolutely no other meaning. I don't like it, I will let them go right away. Zhu Ming waved his hand indifferently, forget it, it's all here, add two more pairs of chopsticks, let's have a meal together. Liu Han is very grateful for Zhu Ming's understanding, thank you, boss Zhu for his tolerance. Under Liuo Han's guidance, Zhu Ming and Du Peng walked into the Dongman Hotel and came to the hotel's private room. Everyone sat down and had a drink together. Then Liuo Han poured himself a glass of wine and said, What I did today is the truth. I don't think about it too much. Although Boss Zhu and Xiao Du, and you adults, do not care about me a lot. I still have to punish myself for a cup and express my apologies. After talking about Liu Han, he drank the wine in his glass. At this time, Liu Han should have signaled that the two girls accompany Zhu Ming and Du Peng to drink, but Du Peng has made it clear just now that he does not like this routine. Zhu Ming, although he did not express his dissatisfaction, he could still see his dissatisfaction. Now Liu An would not dare to make a good argument, and when Liu An did not speak, the two girls naturally did not dare to talk. Vice President Liuo, you should know that I am a businessman who has stayed in Hong Kong City. I don't like to talk around so much, so I'm straight to the point. Zhu Ming said, I know that Vice President Liuo is now working for Nanjian Development Bank, raising stocks, but with all due respect, as far as I know, South Development is not the first company to implement a shareholding system. Some companies used to defraud stocks under the banner of a shareholding system. How can Vice President Liuo convince me? Boss Zhao's straightforwardness is very good and can simplify complex issues. Liuo Han said. It is true that some companies used to defraud investment under the banner of a shareholding system, but those are all privately engaged and our South development is with the support of the party and the government, several rural credit cooperatives have worked together. There is definitely no problem with this credit aspect. In addition, I am personally still doing the preparations for the Nanjian Stock Exchange. Boss Zhu, you are the big boss from Hong Kong City. I must understand this aspect. I can assure you, Boss Zhu that our South Development Bank stock will be the first listed stock after the establishment of the South Exchange. I believe that under the spring breeze of reform and opening up, our stock you will definitely get very good returns. Zhu Ming smiled. In fact, for him, these questions are not necessary at all, because Zhu Ming witnessed the skyrocketing pattern of Nan's development with his own eyes. In one year, he created countless millionaires, still in the 90s year. Just in order to put some pressure on Liu An, in order to make him buy more stocks and make more money, some dramas still have to be performed. Seeing Zhu Ming's smile, 
Liuo Han burst into his heart and hurriedly said, Boss Zhu, please be sure that our financial market in the mainland is completely blank, as long as we are listed in South Development, we will be 100% profitable. Zhu Ming leaned back on the chair, looked at Liuo Han and said, Actually, I don't care personally, maybe you should have heard of Vice President Liu. We were in this Dongman Hotel before, and Du Xiao and I had a land deal at auction. It sold for 8.5 million, so it doesn't matter if you buy your stocks for a few million. Hearing Ming's words made Liu Han size brighten, and the two girls next to him looked at Ming incredible. Their beautiful big eyes were full of shock. They couldn't help but be shocked, because for them, who had a monthly salary of only more than 200, they could hardly imagine the concept of a few million, and they couldn't figure out why Zhu Ming was obviously about the same age as theirs, but could saying a few million is as light as a few hundred yuan, is this the demeanor of the big boss of Hong Kong City? This is really admirable. But before Liu Han could speak, Zhu Ming said, Vice President Liuo, don't be too happy, I still have something to say. Boss Zhu, you said, no matter what your conditions are, I will try my best to satisfy you even if you go through fire and water. Liu Han said, patting his chest. That's not necessary. What do I want you to do? Ziming smiled. It's just that I am called a capitalist according to the understanding before the reform and opening up. I also have a heavy capitalist mentality, and I have a heavy possessive desire. That is to say, if I want to buy the shares of South Development Bank, I must collect as much as possible. If it is only 20 to 30 percent, then I can't mention it at all. Liu Han didn't expect that Zhu Ming was talking about this problem. He asked cautiously, how much do you want the boss to charge that week? Zhu Ming thought for a while and said, your bank raised 10 million in equity, so can you give me 7 or 8 million? This is absolutely impossible. Liu Han shook his head and said, boss Zhu, you may not be aware that our mainland bank is a very important place, and it is impossible to give private holdings so much. Zuminxin said that of course I know that banks are the lifeblood of the economy, and it is impossible to allow private ownership, no matter how reforms and opening up, some fundamental things cannot be changed, and that banks are completely handed over to private individuals and market management, and it may not be free from government control what a good thing, Countless financial crises abroad have proved this point well. Is that so? That would be a pity. Zhu Ming sighed deliberately. Seeing Zhu Ming's statement, Liuo Han gritted his teeth fiercely. Boss Zhu, according to regulations, our South Development's private shareholding cannot exceed 30%, but Boss Zhu and Xiao Du are two people. Everyone holds 30% of the shares which makes 60% together. What do you think? That was what Zhu Ming waited for and immediately nodded and said, OK. Chapter 66 Are you Zhu Ming? Du Peng was so surprised that he couldn't speak at this time. He still clearly remembered that he was talking to Zhu Ming in the tea house yesterday and meeting with Liu Han today. Zhu Ming said that he would buy at least 5 million yuan in Nanjian for the shares of the development bank. Du Peng also reminded him that this is the mainland, and according to Nanjian City's temporary management regulations, private individuals cannot hold more than 30% of the shares. However, Ziming shrugged and said that it didn't matter that there were policies and countermeasures since ancient times. Du Peng asked him what countermeasures he had. Ziming replied that he didn't know that Liu and would help us think about it. Du Peng thought that Zhu Ming's idea was completely whimsical. Is there something wrong with Liu Ohan? For nothing to help you think about this countermeasure, but just after listening to Zhu Ming and Liu Ohan's dialogue, Du Peng was completely convinced. Under Zhu Ming's step by step, Liu Ohan really took the initiative to help Zhu Ming think of such a way. Although only 60% of the shares are held, it is still a certain distance from what I expected. But after all, the mainland has only reformed and opened up. It is reasonable for many systems to fail to keep up. I also understand that Vice President Liu you already I tried my best. I am not so unreasonable. There are so many that can be so many. It can be considered that I have made my due contribution to the reform and opening up of the motherland. Zuming said, as Zuming's partner, 
Du Peng couldn't help feeling ecstasy. He knew very well that Zhu Ming's initial calculation was that he could only hold more than half of Nan Development's shares to be satisfied. But now facing Liu Han, he actually feels disgusted. 60% is less. This is really unpopular. I hate that Liu Han is still the first vice president of the Nanjian Development Bank, but now he is grateful to Zhu Ming like a kid who has eaten sugar. Thank you. Boss Zhu. On behalf of our Nanjian Development Bank hundreds of employees and all financial workers, thanks to Mr. Zhu for his great support. At the end of the dinner with Liu An, the two parties agreed to sign the contract the day after tomorrow. In the afternoon, Tang Ran came to Zhu Ming after get off work. After meeting, he asked with concern, Brother Ming, how did you talk with the vice president of the bank today? Before Zhu Ming had spoken. Du Peng who was next to him yelled first, of course it is good, too good to be better. Of course, sister, you don't know, today Vice President Liu O promised that we can buy 6 million shares. Hearing this number, Tang Ran jumped up with joy, really? That's great. Brother Ming, didn't you mean that Nanjian Development Bank only issued 10 million shares this time? That counts Ming Ming. Brother, you are the largest shareholder of this bank. No matter how the bank develops in the future, it will make money for you, Brother Ming. Tang Ran said that Du Peng didn't do it. Hey, I said Sister Anran, you can't be partial to Zhu Ming and forget me, half of the 6 million share capital is mine. Tang Ran snorted and said, what is your share capital? If Brother Ming hadn't helped you, you wouldn't be able to get a penny of share capital now. Du Peng was speechless. After all, Tang Ran was right. His own money was made with Zhu Ming's blessing. Zhu Ming said at this time, Okay, it's too early to say this. After all, banks are not ordinary places and will not allow this to happen. We are just taking advantage of the loopholes. In the future, these stocks will definitely be to be taken back. Tang Ran said, Then how much money can you make, Brother Ming? Zhu Ming thought for a while and replied, if the bank can successfully go public after it is listed on the stock exchange, at least a few hundred million can still be earned. So many, great, brother Ming will be a billionaire from now on. Tang Ran cheered, his joy was like making a few hundred million. Dot. The signing ceremony for the purchase of six million shares of Nanjian Development Bank was held in the banquet hall of the Dongmen Hotel. The banquet hall was set up as a press conference-like site early on that day, with the two buyers, Zhu Ming and Du Peng on one side. The signing table with the bank's representative Lo An, and the other side is reserved for all journalists who come to interview. Taking into account the political significance of this large number of share purchases, the Nanjian city government sent Secretary General Gao Li to attend and preside over the ceremony on behalf of the city government. Nanjian Development Bank was established under the call of the Municipal Party Committee and Government to support the construction and development of Nanjian. It is also the first joint stock bank in China. This is of epoch making significance, which means that the reform and construction of Nanjian has embarked on, on the right track and the construction and development of Nanjian in the future will also start from this point, and go to a higher level. The Secretary General of Colliers held the microphone and talked freely, praising the historical significance of this incident as usual, and then announced the beginning of the ceremony. He first invited Du Peng and Liu Han to the stage saying that he would prove on behalf of the municipal government that Du Peng would acquire 30% of the shares of Nanjian Development Bank. The reporters invited in the audience hurriedly picked up the camera and showed a flash of light. The click of the lamp recorded this historic scene. Hearing Gaolis' words, Zhu Ming couldn't help feeling a little funny in the audience, because Gaolis' words sounded like they were witnessing marriage. Then it was Zhu Ming's turn. Like Du Peng's link. Yao Li first spoke a lot of nonsense on behalf of the city government before signing the contract. The whole process was rehearsed in advance, and it was completed smoothly. When Zhu Ming and Liu Han had both signed, they stood up and exchanged contracts. Dot 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 shaking hands dot 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 and taking pictures for the media. There was nothing wrong with all of this originally, but when Zhu Ming and Liu Han shook hands to take photos for the media, Suddenly a reporter pointed at Zhu Ming and exclaimed, 
My God, are you not that Zooming? I recognize you, that, the boss of Hong Kong City who sold a piece of land for a sky high price of 8.5 million at the auction. This sudden exclamation was like a stone thrown into the water, which immediately caused ripples on the scene and everyone reacted. It turned out that the owner of the contract was Zuming. So the whole scene suddenly boiled, all the reporters rushed to the front like the most ardent fans. You rushed to ask Zuming questions every word. Hello Mr. Zhu. The last time you sold a piece of land of 8.5 million yuan, you said that you have the ability to turn stones into gold. This time you bought another 3 million shares of Nanjiang Development Bank. Do you also think Nanjian Development Bank also has high room for appreciation? Hello Mr. Zhu, since you sold 8.5 million yuan worth of land, Nanjian City Government has considered studying land auction work. Then this time you bought another 3 million shares of Nanjian Development Bank. Is the government's instruction to help the government reform? Mr. Zhu's economic conditions in the mainland are not good now. Many people are still running for their own food and clothing. Even if the monthly income of many people in Nanjian is only 200 yuan, you can easily come up with so much money. When buying land to buy stock. Many people say that you are using government money to help the government play a play to invigorate the economy. I don't know what your personal opinion on this matter is. Mr. Zhu, I heard that you used to rely on stocks and futures to make a crazy profit of 20 million in Hong Kong. Then you returned to the mainland to buy the shares of Nanjian Development Bank. Do you agree with Nanjian's economic reform strategy? What can be done in the same way? Dot. Facing these enthusiastic reporters who surrounded him, Zhu Ming felt that he was one of the first two big people. Next to him, Yao Li, Secretary General of the Municipal Government, and Liu Han, the first Vice President of the Nanjian Development Bank, were shocked. This is really true. To their surprise, they thought that the signing was completed so smoothly and they could leave. But they didn't expect Zhu Ming's influence to be so great that these reporters suddenly surrounded him like crazy. In contrast, Du Peng was much calmer, because to him, no matter what happened to Zhu Ming, it was not surprising. In response, Zhu Ming touched his nose and said apologetically to Gao Li, Secretary General Gao is really sorry, I didn't expect this to happen. Gao Li returned to his mind and waved his hand to Zhu Ming and said, Mr. Zhu is polite. Mr. Zhu is a business genius who stood out during the Hong Kong stock market crash. You can't hide your brilliance wherever you go, it's okay. Anyway, the signing ceremony is already here. It's over, I will return to the city government. Mr. Zhu, you can accept the interview with peace of mind here. After speaking, Yao Li left under the escort of the hotel's security staff. Zhu Ming had no choice but to go up and say to the emotional reporters, Comrades, please be quiet. Talking that Zhu Ming made a downward gesture, the reporters at the scene knew that Zhu Ming was about to speak, and they quieted down. This made the hotel manager who maintained the order at the scene dumbfounded. As the most luxurious hotel in Nanjing City, Dongman Hotel has also held countless press conferences, but apart from senior leaders' meetings, there has never been a reporter who can be as obedient as they are now. What exactly does Zhu Ming have this time? Do you control the magic of people? Thank you all reporters for your cooperation, Zhu Ming said. First of all, I want to tell you that I am a mainlander, born in an ordinary worker's family, not a member of the Hong Kong City Rich Group let alone a powerful person. My child, I don't care whether you believe it or not, every single cent of my money is earned legally by relying on my own ability. Zhu Ming's words immediately caused an uproar among the reporters. All reporters looked at Zhu Ming incredulously, how is this possible? How can ordinary people make so much money? Then do you have any tricks for making money? Zhu Ming did not answer these questions, but went on to say, secondly, I want to say that I am definitely not a request from the government. I am not creating momentum for policies. Development finance is the general trend. I bought the shares of Nanjian Development Bank. I am also very optimistic about the investment potential of this bank. Believe it or not, we are entering a new era different from the past. Zeming paused deliberately when he said this, 
and then said the closing remarks, okay, that's all I want to say, thank you everyone. After talking, Ziming turned around and left without being muddled. No matter how the reporters chased and asked questions, he just didn't even look back. Chapter 67 The New Concept of Land Speculation Brother Ming, look at it, look at it, you're in the newspaper again. Under the office building of the Exit Entry Administration Office, Tang Ran bounced out of the gate and ran towards Ziming who was picking her up from get off work at the door. He took out the newspapers from his bag as if offering treasures, and opened them one by one. Ziming read, Brother Ming, you see this is the Nanjian Daily, this is the Lingnan Times and the Economic News, and here are a few economic newspapers in the capital and Mnhai. Taking the newspaper from Tang Ran's hands. Zuming looked at all the marks Tang Ran made about her news. Zuming couldn't help laughing and teasing her and said, You girl won't go to work today without any intentions, just find everything for me. Is the newspaper coming? Not at all. Tang Ran said, I am serious at work. These are all I found out by reading the newspaper when I was fine. Tang Ran pouted his mouth when he talked about it, and said to Zuming dissatisfiedly, who asked Brother Ming to not take me to the signing ceremony? I can only read the newspaper. Of course, it's not that I won't take you, but I'm afraid that the scene will be chaotic. Are you a little girl afraid of accidents? Are you scared to death if you haven't seen those hotel attendants? Zhu Ming comforted Tang Ran. While Zhu Ming was chatting with Tang Ran, several of Tang Ran's colleagues also walked out of the door after get off work. They saw Tang Ran and Zhu Ming together and came up to say hello, Ran Ran, this is what you often mentioned in the unit. Brother Ming? He looks handsome, I heard that he is still a big boss in Hong Kong City. Zhu Ming nodded hello to these colleagues of Tang Ran, and one of the older women joked, Boss Zhu, you are such a big boss, don't you dare to say hello to us. Another young woman said, that is to say, I heard that Boss Zhu yesterday interviewed dozens of media reporters at the signing ceremony. It's left there, don't you be too chic. How is this possible? I still answered some questions, otherwise where did the things in these newspapers write me? Zhu Ming explained. Then you should just leave. The young woman said to Zhu Ming admiringly with her bright A's, that's a reporter from dozens of media. If I were to say anything. I would be too excited to speak. Now, if you change to other company bosses or unit leaders, they must be eager to talk to these reporters for three days and three nights, and they want to be crazy about accepting their interviews. You are the only one with such a personality as Mr. Zhu, so you can rush them. Tang Ran has something to say about this, that's because those people want the media to expose them more. My brother Ming has the media to interview him in Hong Kong City. It's all front page headlines. Now it's here in Nanjian, can't make the headlines, so why is the interview? Yes, yes, you are the best. The older woman who started talking joked. Tang Ran's face blushed, and he groaned. Sister Wang, what are you talking about? The Wang sister chuckled and said, well, knowing that you have a bad face, and knowing that you and your brother Ming have a meal and date, we won't bother you. After saying that, Sister Wang took a few other people away. After the colleagues left, Tang Ran said to Zhu Ming embarrassedly, Brother Ming, I'm sorry, I saw them when I was looking for the news from Brother Ming in the newspaper today. They asked me what was going on, I couldn't help it, so I told them, but I didn't want to say it. Brother Ming, you won't be angry with me. Will you? Seeing Tang Ran's timid look, Zhu Ming smiled and said, Of course I won't be angry with you. I am your boyfriend. You can be proud of your boyfriend in your work. How can I be angry? Tang Ran relieved his heart. Thank you, Brother Ming. Suddenly the pager on Zhu Ming rang. Zhu Ming took out the pager to see that it was Du Peng's number. So Tang Ran took Zhu Ming to the unit's reception room to borrow the phone and call Du Peng. The phone was quickly connected, and Du Peng's hearty laughter came, congratulations, boss Zhu, for reporting again. And there are still so many newspapers reporting at the same time, congratulations. Fuck off, young master you are here to pull these calves to me. Zhu Ming scolded with a smile, what are you calling me? Okay, not kidding, 
it's that you told me about it. I have already contacted Governor Xun. This is the phone number of his office and his pager number. Please write it down. Du Peng then reported a series of numbers. Ziming asked Tang Ran to find a paper note. To be on the safe side, Ziming checked with Du Peng after he had memorized it. Then Ziming thought for a while and asked, I have never been in officialdom. I don't know the situation in the officialdom, so this Governor Xun helped me because of the face of Du Peng's family. Then I don't need to visit him for some social entertainment, just contact him directly to talk about things. Question mark. Hearing Ziming's words, Du Peng suddenly became frustrated and said, Ziming, can you guys be friends happily? Ziming was taken aback, what's the matter? I didn't tell you that I wanted to wait for you to ask me. As a descendant of the Red, I can teach you some official rules. In the end, you guys are better. You can directly see the problem. Let me have a little room to play. No more. Du Peng said in a painful tone, so Ziming. Can you sometimes lower your comprehension a little bit, don't be so enchanting, okay? You hurt my self-esteem so much. Ziming felt that a black line appeared on his forehead for an instant. Ziming said helplessly, well, can Du Xiao tell me the rules of your officialdom? I have never seen an official above the county level. Can you teach me something? Experience? For example, should I bring some souvenirs to visit Governor Bear? Although your words sound exciting, why does it sound so fake? Du Peng said, Damn, your uncle, I haven't read an actor's self-cultivation. Ziming said in a bad mood, Forget it, that's it. Anyway, Governor Xung has already communicated with him. He should be making arrangements. You only need to tell him the matter once, and he will tell you how to do it. Du Peng said, Ziming nodded and said, I see, do you have anything else to explain? There is one more thing, Du Peng said, you have to spend your own money to buy the shares of Nanjian Development Bank, then there are still 4 million cash on our company account, Uncle Chen has news that the city government intends to there will be a land auction next month, do you think we can get in there? Of course. Even if you don't say that I will give you an account before leaving, Ziming said, he was a little surprised, because in Ziming's memory, the first government land auction in Nanjian will not be until the end of the year. Yes, why did it start so soon now? It seems that the auction they conducted this time had a great impact on the city government, so they moved the auction date forward. Thinking of this, Ziming didn't know whether he should be fortunate or helpless. Fortunately. He knew that he was able to influence the government's decision making, but he was helpless because he was afraid that he would not affect other things, and it would be troublesome if he delayed his own money. How much do you expect to cost for this land auction? Ziming asked. Du Peng thought for a while and said, this time the government auction, I guess it will not be as exaggerated as ours but at least 6 or 7 million is still needed. This figure is similar to Ziming's calculation. In Ziming's memory, the average price of a piece of land in this land auction was about 4 million to 5 million, but considering the impact of his previous land auction, the government will definitely make adjustments, but it will not be too high. If nothing else, the price of 6 or 7 million is just right. In this way, I will leave another 3 million for you. You try to ensure that around 6 million for me to get a piece of land for me, Ziming said. Du Peng thought for a while to answer Ziming and said, I should have no problem with the operation of 6 million, but there is one problem. Even if you leave me 3 million, Ziming, we still have no money to invest in construction after we take a piece of land. Now, are we looking for Nanjian Development Bank to borrow some money? It's a good idea to take a loan for real estate, but have you ever thought that we intend to do this? Wouldn't other real estate developers do it? Or do you think other real estate developers have sufficient funds? Ziming the analysis said, Nanjian Development Bank has only been listed, and we have only bought 6 million shares. They don't have that much money to borrow. Then what should we do? Du Peng asked, Ziming replied, since there is no ability to develop it, then don't develop it, first leave the land there and ask if anyone else wants to buy it, if someone is willing to pay more than 10 million, let's sell it, dot. Huh? Du Peng was dumbfounded at once, 
Z dot 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 zooming. You are not mistaken, we will not develop the land after taking the photo, so we will put it in our hands to find the next buyer, of course, this is called land speculation. Maybe the buyers who buy our land may not be able to develop it, if they are smarter, they will learn to store the land without developing it and wait for others to pay a higher price. This continues until someone really wants to develop it, Ziming said. Can this land still be played like this? Du Peng murmured, showing that he didn't know what to say on the phone. Ziming smiled. He understands Du Peng's mentality well. After all, property speculation hasn't risen this year. Even the property market bubble in Kyanghai will not happen until a few years later. Since there is no concept of property speculation and land speculation, so even Du Peng couldn't imagine that he could make money without developing a piece of land there. But in fact, this kind of drumming and fancy land fry that does not develop but hoards land is completely more profitable than developing land. If it is not for the state to stop in time if the problem is found, this thing will be like eating Xu and Mai and it will not stop at all, and finally reached a height that the market could not bear and exploded directly. Ziming, Ziming, I really admire you more and more. How can you think of so many money making ideas? Du Peng admired, people are different from people, Ziming teased, then I am going to eat with Ranaran, are you coming, forget it, I was hit hard by you today, I have to find a girl to heal, so I won't be a light bulb for you, I will send you off when you are leaving, Du Peng said, it's up to you, but you are careful to die on a woman's belly, Ziming smiled, chapter 68, Today is not what it used to be. It seems that God treated me very well after I was born again, and he gave me a bright and flowery smiling face knowing that I came back. Ziming walked out of the exit of Lin Yang railway station and looked up at the sky that had just cleared. He felt very comfortable as if it had been raining and clear. Not far away, a black car was parked there, and a person was next to Zhu. Ming waved and Ziming recognized him as Dai Zhenjian, director of the Agricultural Bank of Nanhui County. The affairs on Nanjian have come to an end, Ziming explained to Du Peng about the land speculation and asked him to pay attention to the land speculation that might be brought up later. He could handle the rest with Du Peng's IQ. These are all variables that may be caused by his own rebirth. The Kyanghai property market bubble in his previous life is still fresh in his memory. Ziming does not want to create another Nanjian property market bubble. I really want to make money so that the people I care about and those who care about me will live a good life, but it is far from the point where I am frantic by any means. As for Tang Ran, she was very reluctant to leave Zhu Ming. The tears kept falling during the last meal with Zhu Ming. Although Tang Ran did not want Zhu Ming to stay, it was her silent tears that made Zhu even more so. Ming was uncomfortable. Zhu Ming comforted her for a long time before stopping her tears. He just didn't know how sad this simple little girl would be when he really left. Putting aside Nan Jiang's thoughts, Zhu Ming walked up to Dai Zhenjiang and said to him, I'm sorry. Director Dai, but you also want you to pick me up. Dai Zhenjian waved his hand indifferently and said, Your method of reselling treasury bills has helped me make more than 100,000 yuan. How big is it for me to pick you up? And I was going to come to the city to do things today. Then congratulations to Director Dai for getting rich. Zuming glanced at the car behind Dai Zhenjian and said, If I'm not mistaken, this car should also be a private car that Director Dai bought himself. Dai Zhenjian nodded and said, Yes, I just bought it soon. Ziming was not surprised by this situation. In other words, Dai Zhenjian is also the director of Nanhui County Agricultural Bank. He has a lot of resources in his hands. He has already made tens of thousands of dollars easily when he was there. He taught him the method and he united with a master dog in Nanhui County. If he didn't make so much money, he would have been in vain. Dai Zhenjian looked up and down Ziming a few times and said, It seems that you should have gained a lot from going out for more than two months. At least this spirit looks like a big boss. Ziming shrugged and said, It's okay, I made some money. At least I can settle the account with you. Director Dai, you are still as low and cautious as before. Dai Zhenjian exclaimed, 
and then asked Ziming to get in the car and take Ziming back to Nanhui County. In the car, Dai Zhenjian and Ziming talked about the treasury bill. Ziming asked Dai Zhenjian casually, Director Dai, is it right now that the treasury bill business has entered a bottleneck and is a bit unable to continue? Hearing this, Dai Zhenjian hurriedly braked, and turned his head to ask Ziming in surprise. You know all of this, you didn't know that this business didn't last long, and deliberately let go of it for me, did you? I did see that this business could not be done forever before letting go. After all, there are so many national treasury bills, and a large part of them are treasury bills that have not expired and cannot be redeemed for cash. Even now the entire line Yang has only our family is doing it, and we will collect a little less, and someday we will finish it. Ziming thought for a while and said, of course there is a bigger business waiting for me in Nanjian, otherwise if I really intend it, I you can do it for two more months, and it will be too late to let go now. Director Dai. Don't you think? Dai Zhenjian sighed helplessly, it's worthy of being a college student who has studied, and looking at the problem is the long term. It's not like we only care about our immediate interests. Now it is indeed like what you said. The treasury bills in Nanhui County have basically been collected. I asked Tig to go to the next county and the city to collect it. At first it went smoothly, but then it seemed to people to see the clues. The eggs people have fought with people from other places for this reason. They alarmed the police and arrested many people. Now it's not easy to take them. Dai Zhenjian said. Ziming was astonished. He didn't expect that. The two months he had left Lin Yang were so busy because of the treasury bills that they would start fighting and alarm the police. But this is also normal. This is the nature of capital. There is a famous saying, when there is 10% benefit, capital starts to move around, when there is 100% benefit, capital forgets about it, and when there is 100% benefit, Capital will forget about it, when 300% of the profit is divided, then everything on the gallows can be done. Now the comprehensive profit of treasury bills is obviously more than 300%. From this point of view, they are just fighting, which is already a manifestation of considerable restraint. Ziming, you discovered this business and started it. You must have something to do. Right? Dai Zhenjian asked. Ziming turned his head to look at Dai Zhenjian and found that he was actually looking at himself hopefully. Ziming smiled and said, I'm sorry, Director Dai, I'm going to disappoint you. The nature of this business is like this. It is destined to be impossible for long. Do it. Dai Zhenjian sighed. But then Ziming's words made his eyes shine again. Ziming's conversation turned and said, Although it can't last for a long time, at least it can be done now. Director Dai, you said that the treasury bills are not easy to collect now, and you will fight with people from other places. Then we don't want to grab business with them. We will wait for them to receive the treasury bills and then we will buy them from them. I believe they should not be aware of the difference in interest rates between banks in different regions. We still have room to operate, yeah? Dai Zhenjian suddenly realized, I'm really dark under the lights. Why can't I think of this? Ziming, you are so smart, you deserve to be the talented person who was admitted to the university in Nanhui County. Seeing Dai Zhenjian's thumbs up to him, Ziming smiled and said, Dr. Dai has passed the award. Actually, Director Dai is a fan of the government and can't bear the profit in the middle. My bystanders are clear, and it hurts to stand and talk. After solving the problem of making money, Dai Zhenjian was in a good mood. He laughed and said to Ziming, if you don't have back pain while standing and talking, you must have a reason for not having back pain. Not everyone standing and talking can tell you what you are, it's a big deal. Even though you will lose some profits by doing so, as you said, it is the last word to open the market and continue to do this business and continue to make money. After talking, Dai Zhenjian thought for a while and then said, by the way, Ziming, didn't you ask me to help you ask about the restructuring of your 760 factory? I happen to have a relative who works in the city government. I can help you look at the situation. Ziming was taken aback for a moment, 
and then he remembered that when he was in Hong Kong City before, in order to make sure that he made money there and that he could catch up with the restructuring of the 760 factory when he came back, he would mention it every time he talked with Dai Zhenjian on the phone. Ask him to help himself stare at this matter and help find a relationship. After all, I am just an ordinary factory worker family, let alone Lin Yang City, even in Nanhui County. There are not many people who can speak, so I can only rely on Dai Zhenjian. But later, after making money, he returned to Nanjian and ran into Du Peng. With the help of Du Peng's relationship, Zhu Ming forgot about this matter. But even if you haven't forgotten it, it's almost the same. Listening to Dai Zhenjian's tone, I'm afraid that he hasn't really asked him anything during the two months he was absent. The reason why I put it up now is probably because I helped him solve the problem that the treasury bills can continue. He just said it on a whim. Thinking of this, Zhu Ming smiled and said to Dai Zhenjian, Thank you Director Dai, but I think I have a solution for this matter. Dai Zhenjian gave a surprised cry. He fixed his eyes on Zhu Ming, his eyes full of surprise. It seems that you have gained a lot from returning from Nanjian this time. It's okay. I met a few friends over there and made a lot of money from doing business together. They also have a relationship here in Lin Yang. I asked them to help me find a relationship with the factory. Ziming said. Let me just say, Ziming, you guys are definitely not in the pool. Dai Zhenjian said. It seems that your parents' work problems should be solved. They can go back to work in the factory and there will be no more trouble in the future, right? Zhu Ming nodded and said, Of course, I want to buy the entire 760 factory and give it to my parents. Dai Zhenjian was about to drive. He slammed on the brakes when he heard Zhu Ming's words. He almost shook his forehead on the steering wheel. But he didn't care about it. He raised his head with an expression of seeing a ghost. Looking at Ziming, he said, You dot 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 what did you say? You said you wanted to buy this 760 factory when you came back? Are you kidding me? Ziming nodded generously, Of course, if it weren't for this, why would I go out to Nanjian to do business? If I don't, how can I solve those bastard problems once and for all? Ziming's words were very simple. But turbulent waves were set off in Dai Zhenjian's heart. Although Dai Zhenjian is now only a county bank director, but due to family reasons, he knows a lot about some things. At the same time, Nanhui County is still his base, and the restructuring of the 760 factory is also it is impossible for Dai Zhenjian not to understand the major events that are of concern to Nanhui County and even Lin Yang City as a whole. Don't think that the 760 factory is just a small county enterprise restructuring, but it is a political symbol in the current environment. Not to mention the county leaders, I am afraid that even the city leaders may not be able to call the shots. Dai Zhenjian listened to friends in the city yesterday, said that someone in the province has inquired about this matter and has to intervene. But now Ziming said in one sentence that he would buy the 760 factory. Dai Zhenjian understands Ziming and knows that he never brags. If this is the case, Ziming is really not what it used to be. Then help him win the 760. What kind of character should a factory friend be? So what kind of business did Ziming do in Nanjian, and how much money did he make? What kind of status is he now? This question after question was like a huge rock after another, so that Dai Zhenjian couldn't breathe, and at the same time it made him frightened. At this time, Ziming said to Dai Zhenjian, Director Dai. What are you doing in a day's drive? Hearing Ziming's words, Dai Zhenjian nodded as if meeting the leader's secretary. Chapter 69 After getting out of the car, Ziming stretched out bored, and looked up at the sign of the county agricultural bank in front of him. Ziming couldn't help feeling a little bit. You have to look forward and watch everything carefully, and even if others bullied the door, you still have to beg your way, but now. I have finally returned from Hong Kong City and Nanjian, and a brand new Ziming is back. Why don't Ziming wait for me? It'll take you back, I just call the leader to report, and it will take a few minutes. Dai Zhenjian's voice came from behind, and he also got out of the car. 
tentatively suggesting to himself. Ziming could hear Dai Zhenjian being cautious about himself, and Ziming also knew very well that Dai Zhenjian must have guessed his identity after he heard that he was about to buy the 760 factory, so he lowered his posture. Ziming didn't feel bad about Dai Zhenjian, on the contrary. He helped himself a lot when he first started. Ziming smiled and said to him, It's not necessary. Anyway, it's not far from here to the factory. No luggage, just walk around. Thank you Director Dai. Welcome, Dai Zhenjian said. Ziming, if you have anything to do, call me at any time. Ziming said okay, and then walked towards the 760 factory area and turned around the fork in the factory area. Ziming heard the sound of the car engine behind him, and Ziming subconsciously ducked aside, feeling that something was wrong. Then I saw a small jeep galloping over. The jeep drove through a puddle next to Ziming, splashing dirty water on Ziming's pants. Im damn your mother. How did you drive the car? Ziming cursed. The jeep stopped and a disgusting face came out. It was Huang Zheng. He looked at Zhu Ming and said deliberately, Oh, who is this? Isn't this the kid of Zhu Guoping's family? Why are you? If this tortoise keeps shrinking your head, will you dare to come back? The surname is Huang, your damn young man farts in front of Lao Tzu. By the way, I can tell you that your death date is here. Zhu Ming said, Huh? The boy's temper has gone up after two months outside. Even your father dared to yell? Huang Zheng said arrogantly. I care about your whole family. Without saying anything, Ziming picked up a brick on the side of the road and smashed it towards Huang Zheng. He heard a bang. The brick directly smashed the windshield of the jeep. Huang Zheng was so scared that he screamed and quickly retracted his head back into the car. Inside, Ziming sneered at this. I think you acted like a bastard with the surname Huang. This time you are fortune telling. There is a bastard to block it for you, but the next brick doesn't know you. Is there such a good life? Ziming, a fucking seed. Wait for Lao Tzu to see if Lao Tzu will kill you. While Huang Zheng yelled in the car, he quickly started the car and ran away. Ziming narrowed his eyes as he watched the back of Huang Zheng's car driving away. Dot. When he returned home, Ziming had a bad feeling, because Ziming knew that his parents had always loved him. He used to come back from a long distance, no matter what the weather, as long as his parents knew the news of their return in advance, they would definitely be far away. I was waiting for myself at the intersection, but today I didn't see my parents until the door of the house. Did something happen? The door of the house was not locked. As soon as Ziming was about to open the door. He heard a voice coming from the house. This Ma Jianjun is too bullying. Is he really lawless because he is the deputy director? I go to work and get off work well every day. Why do I say that I stole something if I lose something in the factory? Does it make sense? This is the voice of Mother Wang Fengkin. Okay, okay, keep your voice down. Then Ma Jianjun has been angry with Ziming for a day or two. After Ziming left. He didn't trouble us any day. Isn't it just slandering you for stealing something? If there is no shadow, can the factory security office really arrest you and investigate it? Ziming will be back later, so don't worry about him like this in front of him. This is the voice of his father Zagu Oping. Listening to the conversation between his parents at home, Ziming clenched his fists. He couldn't help but hate himself very much. Ziming hated that he was too naive to think at the beginning. He knew that he had offended so many people in the factory, and these people were one by one. They are also powerful people in the factory. Although it is impossible to really treat their parents, it is still possible to make trouble for their parents and wear small shoes when they have nothing to do. In order not to worry about these things, parents would definitely not tell them to themselves. I hate that I have always thought that I can leave 20,000 yuan for my parents. But I didn't think how much my parents were wronged for themselves, especially when I heard it just now. Parents, what did Marji and Jun say about slandering his mother for stealing things from the factory? Still looking for the factory security department to catch the mother? Asshole. Zuming clenched his teeth. Zuming knew that his parents had always been honest with each other. Now that they are so stigmatized, they certainly don't know what to do. 
and it's for themselves. They must all treat these grievances like today. The same silently endured by myself. When Ziming took a deep breath and was about to enter the house, a yin and yang voice suddenly came from behind him, Oh, you little boy dare to come back? Ziming didn't need to look back to know who it was. It was Ma Lin, the son of Ma Jian Jun, the deputy factory director, whom his parents were talking about. Ziming turned around and saw Ma Lin's face as expected. He was looking at himself with a very contemptuous look. Behind him was his father Ma Jian Jun. Ziming looked at Marin with a sullen face and said, I thought you would constrain after you learned the lesson so I wouldn't care about you. I didn't expect that I was really wrong. How can a dog change it? Question mark. Ma Lin tweeted and said to Ziming, you fucking dare to scold me? It's really reckless, Ziming, Ziming, you are indeed ridiculously wrong, for nothing else. What do you think you are? What can educate me? I tell you Ziming, your girlfriend Jiang Qian was fucked by me during the day and night and she went to the hospital to have an abortion before. After I came back, I continued to fuck. You are really an inferior animal, Zemingan said. Thank you. Why did you not have this ability? Marin said provocatively, Oh yes, I forgot to tell you, our 760 factory is about to be restructured, and the factory has to liquidate assets. Like you and your father a poor like my mother has to move out of the factory's distribution room as soon as possible, but if you can kneel down and call me dad, I might consider letting my dad speak for you and let you live for a while. How about, fuck your mother, Ziming said. Marin raised his brows, what did you say? I said go to your mother. Ziming gave a violent shout and at the same time slammed a fist on Ma Lin's face. Ziming could feel the sound of his nose being broken. Ma Lin covered his face and fell to the ground. Ziming went up and faced the horse. Lin's face just kicked up. Ziming could feel the contact between the soles of his shoes and his teeth. Ziming has never been so angry in his life. Even when Ma Lin took Jiang Qian away, he was not so angry. After all, it was just the feelings of young people and Jiang Qian's choice. But now, it is Ma Jian Jun and Ma Lin. The father and son retaliated maliciously against themselves, and if they only retaliated against themselves, even if they retaliated against their parents, Ziming couldn't bear it. Hey! What are you doing? Stop it! You are hurting intentionally, you are going to jail, think about yourself, think about your parents. Seeing that Ma Lin was beaten, Ma Jian Jun hurried up to pull Ziming away, and threatened Ziming while pulling. But it's okay for Ma Jian Jun not to speak. Hearing Ma Jian Jun's words, Ziming was so angry that he kicked Ma Jian Jun's belly and said, Fuck you, uncle. If I don't beat you today, I will be sorry for me, Mum and Dad. Ziming, what are you doing? Stop it, stop it. The door of the house was opened. Zheng Yuoping and Wang Fengkin came out and hurriedly opened Zhu Ming and Ma Jian Jun, Ma Lin, father and son. Obviously, this was because the parents had obviously heard the movement outside and came out to see the situation. Seeing Zheng Yuoping and Wang Fengkin coming out, Ma Jian Jun immediately pointed at Zheng Yuoping angrily and said, Zheng Yuoping. How did you discipline your son? I now suspect that you instigated your son to kill on purpose. Hearing what Ma Jian Jun said, Zheng Yuoping hurriedly explained, Director Ma is not like this. Ziming is a good boy. He hasn't fought much since he was a child, let alone kills. Then how do you explain me and Marin? Is this what I saw with my own eyes and you can deny it? Ma Jian Jun said oppressively, Ziming stepped forward and stood in front of his father. He pointed to Ma Jian Jun and said, You bastard squirting dung in front of my father and mother. My father honestly called you the director. You are in my eyes. A tuft of shit makes no difference. As the deputy director of the 760 factory, Ma Jian Jun has never been scolded like this by a junior in the factory in his entire life. He pointed at Ziming and trembled with anger, there is no lawlessness, it is simply lawlessness. Ziming Yuoping, look at what you teach. What kind of son is this who came out? I must sue him to the factory security office to arrest him. I will also fire you and take back your distribution room. You will always get me out of the factory. At this time, 
Ma Lin also agreed with Ma Jian Jun while covering his mouth, yes, dad must expel them. This week Ziming is a murderer, and his father and his mother are a hooligan, liar, and wife, Maron, I didn't knock your teeth off, can you still speak? Ziming said, he had to do it again, if it wasn't his parents. Ma Lin was frightened by Ziming and hid behind Ma Jian Jun with a scream. Ma Jian Jun also took two steps back and said, what dot 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 what do you want to do? It doesn't count if you hit someone. You still want to publicly threaten the factory leaders and leaders. Family members? Ziming sneered at this, leader? Even you, Ma Jian Jun, are also worthy. I tell you, you won't be able to stand in front of me for long. Facing Ziming's aggressive aura, Ma Jian Jun wanted to take Ma Lin away first. But at this moment he suddenly saw Huang Zheng's factory security office running not far away, and he was immediately happy. Ma Jian Jun said to Ziming, Ziming, the people from the factory security department are here, let me see what you do. Chapter 70, This is how I beat him. Question mark bow, thank you you hate our 1983 for your monthly pass support. Factory security office, looking in the direction of Ma Jian Jun. I saw that on the road not far away, there were indeed a few people wearing the uniforms of the factory security department rushing here, and the leading one had a beer belly and a circle of Mediterranean hairstyles. Who else could it be if it wasn't that Huang Zheng? Seeing Huang Zheng, Ma Jian Jun happily waved his arms and shouted at him, Director Huang, this little boy, Ziming, intends to kill, you should get him quickly. Seeing these people in the factory security department, Ziming's parents panicked. His mother Wang Fengkin hurriedly said to Ziming, Ziming, hurry up. Here I will help you with your dad. Mom, don't be afraid of them. They can't catch me. Ziming said, stupid boy, what are you talking about? Wang Fengkin said anxiously. These people are unreasonable. Did you forget that your dad and I told you on the phone? The factory is now restructuring and these people have power in their hands. It's so big, you played Marin today, how could they let you go? I know you are winning, but at this time you don't try to be strong here. When Ma Lin heard Wang Fengkin's words, he said to Ziming mockingly, I think your mother is right. It's still too late to get rid of like a bereaved dog, but guess you can run away. At this time of speaking, Huang Zheng brought the people from the factory security department to Ziming. Ma Jian Jun first greeted Huang Zheng, and then reached out his hand to Ziming and said, Director Huang, hurry up and take Ziming. This little bastard grabbed him, and you see what he has beaten Marlin into. Huang Zheng glanced at Marin and saw that there was blood on Marin's mouth and nose, which made Huang Zheng's heart beat. Ziming was really crazy today, but fortunately, he brought the people from the security department. Look, how arrogant he is. Thinking of this, Huang Zheng nodded to Ma Jian Jun and said, Don't worry, the manager of the horse, this little bastard Ziming smashed my car and damaged the public property in the factory today. He can't run away. After talking about Huang Zheng, he waved to the people from the security department to catch Ziming. Zheng Ping and Wang Fengkin hurriedly stopped in front of Ziming when they saw this. Wang Fengkin also said, What are you doing? Don't catch Ziming and catch me. Marlin was the one who beat me. I smashed your car. I just stayed in the factory and felt unfair. I want to retaliate against you. Seeing Zheng Ping and Wang Fengkin and his wife guarding Ziming. Huang Zheng smiled disdainfully and said, Don't worry, you and Lao Zhe can't run away. They both get caught. Seeing people from the factory security department approaching, Ziming shouted, Stop. The people in the factory's security department were stunned. Ziming took the opportunity to pull his parents back two steps. Ziming stood up and said, The surname is Huang. Do you really think that you have the final say in this factory? There is also public security. The incident is the responsibility of the Public Security Bureau. What power does the factory security office have to arrest people? Listening to Ziming's words, Huang Zheng laughed and said, I said Ziming, you stayed outside for two months, have you been stupid? The Public Security Bureau told you that, 
Are you stupid? Isn't the factory security department always in charge of the things in our factory? The public security bureau also gave our factory security department this power. Are you fucking mentally retarded or amnesia? Then at least in the case of the police station, it's not the factory security officer's turn to do something, right? Ziming said. Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun looked at each other and smiled. Huang Zheng shook his head and said to Ziming. You are really an idiot when you say you are an idiot. Do you think the police station is owned by your family? You can come if you want. I don't know if the police station is opened by my house, but at least they have already arrived. Ziming said. Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun both froze for a moment, and then followed Ziming and looked at it. Sure enough, they saw a van with a brushing coming in. Huang Zheng said to Ziming. Oh, I didn't expect you to call the police. But do you think it is useful to call the police? After talking about Huang Zheng, he walked towards the police car. The police van stopped in front of Huang. A tall and strong policeman got out of the car first. When he saw this man, Huang Zheng immediately smiled and said, It turned out to be the town police station. Director Yang. What brought you here? But a little bit of security incident happened here. In broad daylight, some people are still committing crimes here very rampant. It is lawless. Director Yang, you must take these people get all arrested. I will definitely speak nice things to Director Yang from my little uncle. This scene stuns a Gu Oping and Wang Fenkin. Ma Jian Jun sneered and said, is it something accidental? Don't think that you will be rescued when the police station comes. Tell you, Director Huang and his uncle is the deputy director of the County Public Security Bureau. His father used to be the executive deputy county magistrate, otherwise you think he is a sales office director, how can he be qualified to participate in the restructuring of the factory? Ma Jian Jun's words caused Zagu Oping and Wang Fengkin's hearts to fall to the bottom. But at this time Ziming comforted their parents and said, Parents, don't listen to that stupid nonsense. I can assure you, no matter how thick Huang Zheng is, back view, today the police station is definitely on our side. Oh, filial child, Ma Jian Jun mocked, but the police station will be on your side today. Ziming, are you afraid that you are living in a dream, right? Ziming smiled at this, Manager Ma. You will know later that it is you who live in the dream. Over there, Huang Zheng brought the people from the police station to Ziming aggressively and said, Director Yang, these are these people. They are all vicious criminals. They not only stole property from the factory, they even beat up the deputy director just now. Ma Jian Jun's children also threatened me personally and smashed the glass of the bus in the factory. Please catch them. Ma Jian Jun stepped forward and said, Hello. Director Yang, I am Ma Jian Jun, the deputy director of the 760 factory. I can testify that it was these people who violently assaulted my children. They were so lawless. Please Director Yang. They arrested and maintained law and order in the factory area. At this time, Ma Lin also came up and said to Director Yang, You see, Director Yang, this is all they beat. They are completely motivated to kill. Director Yang. You must arrest them. Zagu Oping and Wang Fengkin nervously guarded Ziming, but Ziming comforted his parents and said, It doesn't matter, parents, you must have confidence in me. Director Yang is definitely on our side, said Ziming and walked out. Wang Fengkin grabbed Ziming. What is Ziming going to do? The police are here. Don't do stupid things. Mom, don't worry. Nothing will happen, Ziming said. Zagu Oping also persuaded Wang Fengkin to believe in Ziming, and Wang Fengkin let go of his suspicion. Then Ziming walked up to Director Yang and saluted Director Yang and said, Hello, Director Yang, this is Ziming. People like Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun were surprised to see Ziming even daring to come over. They all thought that when they saw that they were so familiar with the police station, he would have to run away. How stupid it was to dare go up and down at the muzzle. Huang Zheng said, Good boy, do you dare to walk up? I really don't know whether you should be praised for being stupid or should you be praised for being stupid? Ma Jian Jun pointed to Ziming and said to Director Yang, 
this is this man, he is too arrogant, now he dares to provoke director Yang, you must arrest him. When Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun waited with hope to see Zhu Ming being handcuffed to the ground, but the reality was clearly beyond their imagination. They saw director Yang seeing Zhu Ming taking two steps forward, and then unexpectedly. A salute to Zhu Ming, hello, Mr. Zhu. This scene stunned everyone on the scene. Huang Zheng. Ma Jianjun and Ma Lin looked at Director Yang with a blank expression and said, Director Yang is wrong, he is a vicious criminal, why don't you do it, is he catching it? However, Zhu Ming's parents finally breathed a sigh of relief behind them. Although I don't know why Director Yang was so polite to Zhu Ming, he and Zhu Ming knew each other and would never listen to Huang Zhengma's orders. If Zhu Ming gets caught, it's all right. However, if this scene is to make them dreamless, then what happens next is to completely subvert their outlook on the world and life. After listening to Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun's words, Director Yang said, I'm sorry, as a public security police, arresting people is for evidence. We cannot arrest people casually. This Mr. Ming is a Hong Kong businessman who has come to line Yang to invest. We the police station is of course to protect his legitimate rights and interests. Huh? Hong Kong businessman? Huang Zheng. Ma Jianjun and Ma Lin exclaimed, and then they felt that they were all wrong. You said to Director Yang in a word, Director Yang, you made a mistake, right? This week Zhu Ming is a rogue. How could he be a Hong Kong businessman? But even if he is a Hong Kong businessman, he will be punished by law if he hits someone. Sorry, in my opinion, there is no evidence to show that Mr. Zhu Ming has acted illegally. Just now, Mr. Zhu Ming called the police that someone maliciously attacked him personally, so I will be assigned by the superior to come over to see the situation. Before everything is clear, please don't make trouble here, Director Yang said. These words made Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun and Ma Lin immediately discouraged. Although they didn't understand how Zhu Ming called the police and falsely claimed that he was a Hong Kong businessman, they also understood that it would be impossible for Zhu Ming to be a Hong Kong businessman today. So Huang Zheng said, Mom, Zhu Ming, you kid can be fine, but your bullshit can fool you today, but you can't fool tomorrow. Ma Jianjun also said, Yes, the factory has to liquidate the assets, and your allocated housing factory has to be recovered. I see what you do. Ma Lin said, Zhu Ming, you fucking don't go out in the future or I will beat you once I see you. Faced with the threats from these three people, Zhu Ming smiled and said to Director Yang, Dr. Yang, you have no evidence and I have evidence. Although I did some extreme actions just now, I did not violate the law. I don't believe I can. It will be reenacted live for you to see. Repeat it live. This word stunned Huang Zheng. Ma Jianjun and Ma Lin. They looked at Zhu Ming and didn't understand what Zhu Ming meant. Director Yang, you are optimistic. That's how I beat him just now, Zhu Ming said, slamming a fist towards Marin. Chapter 71 This is a live repeat. Question mark Bao, thank you for the support of the two monthly tickets of Funny Funs. Zhu Ming's casserole fist hit Ma Lin's face, and he was knocked to the ground with a sigh of relief. He clasped his hands and fell to the ground looking very painful. Zhu Ming didn't care about him. Instead, he turned to Director Yang and said, Director Yang, I just punched him like this, but he was still insulting me, so I kicked him again, like such. As Zhu Ming said, he stepped forward and kicked Malin's face as before. With a click, a tooth fell out of his finger. Everyone stared at this scene blankly, as if their brains were suddenly hollowed out, standing there with their mouths open just speechless, because this scene was really shocking, police station chief Yang was here, but Zhu Ming actually beat Ma Lin in front of him, what's the situation? Ma Jianjun was the first to react, he pointed at Zhu Ming and said, you, Zhu Ming, you are so arrogant, you still dare to beat Marin, are you really lawless? Then Ma Jianjun turned his head and said to director Yang, who was also shocked next to him, Dr. Yang, you have seen how lawless this fellow Zhu Ming is, get him quickly. Facing the emotional Ma Jianjun, Director Yang moved his mouth, but in the end he didn't know what to say. He was ordered to help Zhu Ming, but he didn't know how to answer Ma Jianjun. At this time, Zhu Ming said to Director Yang, Director Yang, 
I think Director Ma's emotions are a bit too excited. I'm obviously just helping Director Yang do a live reenactment. Why is it lawless again? He thinks that Director Ma is framing me at all. Reenactment at the scene? Ma Jian Jun screamed like a dog with its tail stomped on. What is the reenactment at the scene? Did you reenact it at the scene? You are simply hurting people and killing people deliberately. Lin's mouth and nose are bleeding, and you also knocked out Marin's teeth. Look at how much energy you used. You still want to deny. Director Yang, you are still not a police officer, why are you still? Don't catch him. Compared with Ma and Jun's hysteria, Zhu Ming was much calmer. He said, Director Yang. I want to call the police. Director Ma slandered me, insulted my integrity, and personally attacked me. Personality? I poo. What qualifications does your little bastard have to say this? You deserve to say this too? Personal attack? What kind of personal attack? You just hit Marin in front of so many people. Blind? If you want to say a personal attack, then I will attack and show it to you. When Ma Jian Jun said, he rushed towards Zhu Ming with his teeth and claws. Zhu Ming was prepared and kicked away. Then he turned his head and said to Director Yang, You see, Director Yang, I'm just doing a legitimate defense. What legitimate defense? I think you are hurting people deliberately. Director Yang, don't you care about it? Ma Jian Jun said with one hand to his stomach and the other to Zhu Ming. Director Yang had a sullen face, and finally gritted his teeth. All right. Don't say anything, I am the director of the police station. From my point of view, Mr. Zhu was indeed performing a live reenactment for me just now, and Director Ma, you just now it really looks like he wants to hurt Mr. Zhu. The actions Mr. Zhu made in a hurry are also legitimate defenses and do not constitute illegal crimes. What? Ma Jian Jun stared at Director Yang and said, did you make a mistake? What is he called a live reenactment? What is his proper defense? He is actually hurting people on purpose. Director Yang, instead of arresting him, you still speak for him. Are you the chief of the police station? Are you the police? Which side are you on? Seeing Ma Jian Jun cursing the street like a shrew, Zhu Ming couldn't help but feel anxious for his IQ. It was obvious that Director Yang was on his side. He still cursed like this. Isn't it unhappy? Sure enough, Director Yang yelled angrily, Shut up, of course I am a public security policeman. It is precisely because I am a public security policeman that I want to ensure that the rights and interests of every citizen are not infringed. This Mr. Zhu did what I did. In my eyes, they are all reasonable and legal. On the contrary, it is you. If you want to make trouble here again, I will arrest you. If it were in normal times, Ma Jian Jun would definitely be able to recognize the situation, but now because of the series of things just now, he has completely lost his normal thinking ability. So he heard Director Yang's words and cursed again, Okay, come and catch me, I can tell, you and this Zhu Ming are basically in collusion, I want to go to the top to report you. You fucking don't cry without seeing the coffin. Director Yang grinned and was about to go up to catch Ma Jian Jun. At this time, Huang Zheng reacted and hurriedly stepped forward to explain to Director Yang, Director Yang, don't be angry. Director Ma is just talking nonsense. I also saw that he just saw the child being bullied, but I was a little angry. If the child is bullied, he can't be angry. He is also a deputy director of his size, don't be so naive, Director Yang said with a cold snort, also, Director Go of the County Bureau will come later, while there is still time, get out of here, what, Director Go is coming too, Huang Zheng was a little surprised, if Director Yang came to help Zhu Ming, he could explain it, but now he didn't expect that even the County Public Security Bureau Director would come in person, what lie did Zhu Ming lie? But that's fine, the harder he cheats, the more unlucky he will be in the future, and as long as you are in the factory, I will definitely have a way to cure you, let's just wait and see. Thinking of this, Huang Zheng nodded and persuaded Ma Jian Jun a few words. Zhu Ming did not hear what they said, but Ma Jian Jun was as surprised as Huang Zheng at first, but then his mood stabilized and he looked at Zhu Ming viciously. After a glance, he took Marin and left. Zhu Ming asked them to leave without saying anything because from the performance just now, 
Director Yang obviously had concerns in his heart. He guessed that he had something to do with Huang Zhengmaji and Jun, and speaking on his side was only based on the orders of the superiors, but in fact, he was afraid that he didn't think so. Therefore, some things have to be done in moderation. If you force Director Yang again, if his nerves are confused, and he also messes around, then he will lose more than the gains. After all, the county magistrate is better off now. As for Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun, Zhu Ming didn't know what they said, but they wanted nothing more than how to retaliate against themselves in the future. But do you still have this chance? Zhu Ming thought this way. At this time, Director Yang came to Zhu Ming and asked, Mr. Zhu, are you okay? Zhu Ming shook his head and said, It's okay. Fortunately, Director Yang, you came in time. Thank you Director Yang for being here. Director Yang said, Mr. Zhu, you are polite, I also follow the arrangements of the superiors to protect the safety of Hong Kong businessmen investing in line Yang. Zhu Ming asked again, will Director Go really come? Director Yang nodded and said, yes, Director Go will come to visit Mr. Zhu on behalf of the county party committee and county government. Thank you so much. Then, Zhu Ming returned to his parents after speaking, looked at their dazed expressions, and couldn't help but say, What's the matter with my parents? Didn't you know me? Zhu Ming's parents reacted, and Mother Wang Fengkin hurriedly looked at Zhu Ming up and down, and said eagerly, Are you injured? There is nothing uncomfortable, right? His father Zhu Gu Oping asked, Zhu Ming. What is going on? Why did Director Yang say that you are a Hong Kong businessman? Is it true that Director Go of the County Public Security Bureau is coming? In front of his parents, Zhu Ming had nothing to conceal. He nodded and said, Yes, because I used to go to Gangqing through Nanjian to make some money, and through a few friends I opened up their relationship in the county saying that I would come back to buy it. The 760 factory will naturally be Hong Kong businessmen who have returned to invest. Now the country is undergoing reform and opening up. Of course, the county must abide by major policies and treat me, Hong Kong businessmen who invest in the mainland. You boy, talking nonsense again. Wang Feng Kin said, then let's just wait here for Director Go to come, and then we can go back to our hometown by car tonight. Okay. Hearing what his mother said, Zhu Ming knew that his mother might be the same as Huang Zheng and they did not believe that he was a Hong Kong businessman, but his mother would be much better than Huang, and would not speculate with the greatest malice, but he also felt that Zhu Ming was in Hong Kong at most. The city made some money, and when I came back, I was afraid of Huang Zheng's revenge, so I deliberately called the county to the police to call out the sign of Hong Kong businessman so that the county could take it seriously. But this is still a lie after all. If it's a general deception, it's fine, but Zhu Ming is now deceiving the government. This sin is serious. In addition, the restructuring of the factory has begun. With what happened today, when Huang Zhengma and Jian Jun take down the factory, will they take revenge more severely? It was with this thought of this that my mother said that she would go back to her hometown to hide. Thinking of this, Zhu Ming said to his mother, Mom, it's okay, now your son is not more than two months ago. Wang Feng Kin smiled and said, Of course, you went to Hong Kong, you are an adult who has seen the world. Zhu Ming was a little helpless. Judging from her mother's tone, she was afraid she still didn't believe in herself, but it's no wonder that her parents were not well educated and they stayed in a closed place like the 760 factory for a lifetime. From far away, in their eyes, the big bosses of Hong Kong City should be very, very rich. Not to mention that I have to buy the 760 factory. That is a lot of money. I have only been out for more than two months. When I went out, I only had tens of thousands of dollars in my hand. How could it be in a short period of time? Make so much money in less time? So in the eyes of the parents, I was just comforting them. Zhu Ming didn't say much about this, because parents didn't know that it was good. After all, too much money can sometimes be an annoyance, especially for people who are honest with their parents. If you let them know that they are violent overnight, if they're rich, they'll guess what's wrong if they're not sure, 
and worry about whether they're doing something illegal or criminal outside. If it makes them worry about their nervous breakdown and can't sleep, that's good. Things have gone bad. Chapter 72 Zooming, Hong Kong Business? Question mark The 760 factory is located in the county seat, so within five minutes, three police cars roared in including a sedan. You must know that this era is not like the later generations of bus bursts, especially Nanhui County of Lin Yang is not an economically developed place. The car of the County Public Security Bureau is a symbol of the leadership of the Bureau. Therefore, as soon as this car enters the factory, it will be immediately let the factory. It's spoiling. Look, look. Isn't that car of the County Bureau Chief go? Why did it drive into our factory? Could it be that something big happened in our factory and it didn't happen? You don't know this. Just now am I heard that the horse director's child was beaten by a child from the old zoo family, and even the bridge of his nose was interrupted. It's not that I don't know, Ju Babao's own child, now being beaten like this by Zeming, will definitely kill Zeming. Director Go must have received the call to deal with this matter. Yeah? Now the factory is undergoing restructuring. Director Huang and Director Ma are going to join hands to take down the factory. I also heard that Director Huang's father used to be the deputy county head, and he has power in the county. Now he offends the Making. Long. Director Huang will definitely help him. It seems that Zhu Ming is doomed to escape this time. Then who is he to blame? Who made him so naive? Before, because a woman and the horse director's child had a fight in the factory, he was expelled from the factory as a result. It can be said that he was impulsive, but now he knows the horse director's impulse. Director Huang wants to take down the factory, and he has to fight with Director Ma's children. That's really ignorant. When Director Ma and Director Huang get to the factory, they wait to cry when they are kicked out of the distribution room. Right. I really don't understand what's going on with Zooming this time. It's a college student. I think it's not as sensible as the kid from the technical school in the factory. Dot. Amid the discussions among the people in the factory, the county bureau car drove straight to the door of Zooming's house and people who were not working in the factory also rushed to watch the excitement. Zhu Ming and his parents waited at the door of the house. What made the crowd of onlookers feel a little strange that although Zhu Ming's parents seemed a little nervous, they didn't feel any panic. Then Director Go got out of the car, and Zhu Ming took two steps to greet Director Go. Director Go hurriedly held Zhu Ming's hand, shook it vigorously, and also greeted Zhu Ming and Zhu Ming's parents. This scene broke everyone's glasses, because everyone thought Zhu Ming was about to be arrested, but he didn't expect Director Go to shook hands with Zhu Ming so kindly, even though everyone was just ordinary workers in the factory. I don't understand the twists and turns in the officialdom, but at least Director Go doesn't seem to be arresting people when he does this. On the contrary. It's a bit like a lower level person coming to see a child of a higher level leader. How is this going? Everyone was wondering about this question in their hearts, and the next dialogue between Zhu Ming and Director Go provided a good answer to everyone's doubts. I am very grateful to Director Go for taking the time to visit me during his busy schedule. My parents and I are very grateful to Director Go, Zhu Ming said. Director Go said. Mr. Zhu is too polite. Mr. Zhu is a large Hong Kong businessman who has come to Lin Yang to invest. He is a good target for the city leaders to accompany him. Now that Mr. Zhu has been so terrified, I already feel very guilty. Now, if I can't come here anymore, I'm afraid I won't be able to deal with our leaders. What? Hong Kong business? Hearing Director Guo's words, everyone's eyes widened unanimously, looking at Zhu Ming with an expression of disbelief. The reform and opening up has been going on for several years now. Although Nan Hui is in the mainland, the people in the factory can understand what Hong Kong businessmen are. They are the bosses from the world of gold in Hong Kong, and they do whatever they want. There are hundreds of thousands and millions. Even if they are not so rich, can they be a 10,000 yuan household? But what exactly does Zhu Ming have to do with Hong Kong businessmen this week? Everyone is from the same factory. Who doesn't know about whose situation? This week, 
Mingxing worked in the factory and went to school in the factory. He returned to the factory after graduating from university. He was an out and out 760 factory worker. How could he become a Hong Kong businessman after he ran a circle outside? Is there any reason for this? Everyone's first reaction was that they had heard it wrong, or they were dreaming, but whether they desperately rubbed their eyes and pated their ears, or pinched themselves, the facts were still in front of them. Then Director Go shook hands with Zhu Ming's parents to say hello. Zhu Ming's parents had never seen such a big leader. They shook hands with Director Go cautiously, and then asked Director Go to come in and sit down. Director Go did not refuse to go into the house with Zhu Ming and Zhu Ming's parents to sit for a while. About ten minutes later, Zhu Ming and his parents sent Director Go out again. Zhu Ming and Director Go shook hands and said, Director Go, you already know what happened just now. I still have sales with Ma Jian Jun, the deputy director of our factory. The director Huang Zheng had some conflicts, and I was forced to beat the child of the director of the horse. You may not know these two people, Director Go, they are very careful people, I am afraid they will come to me the family retaliates. So I want to ask Director Go to leave some police comrades to protect my parents. I wonder if it's okay. Zhu Ming's voice was not loud, but it was still heard by the surrounding crowd of onlookers, and they were not happy when they heard Zhu Ming's words. Everyone knows that the public security police are protecting the leaders. Yu Zhu Ming is an unclear Canadian port. The business still wants to request the protection of the public security police. Are you taking yourself too seriously? But the next thing made them dumbfounded again. I saw Director Go seriously consider it and said, It is true that although the public security in Nanhui County has always been very good, but it is not allowed that some people will retaliate privately. And Mr. Zhu is also the focus of Nanhui County. Distinguished guests, I think it is necessary. What? Leave the police to protect Zhu Oping and his wife still necessary? These people suddenly felt that this world was no longer the one they were familiar with. Otherwise, why would the county bureau specially send someone to protect an employee who was expelled from the factory? Not to mention that the factory's security department just reported that Zhu Ming's mother Wang Fengkin might have stolen things from the factory. Zhu Ming had just beaten Milan's mouth full of blood. It seems that Director Go clearly understood these conditions. He just didn't catch Zhu Ming but listened to Zhu Ming's words leaving the police to protect his parents. Why is this logic impossible to figure out? Marx once said, reality is not shifted by human will, regardless of whether these onlookers could accept it or not. In the end Director Go still left a few policemen on duty at Zhu Ming's door 24 hours a day before leaving. Not only that, he also ordered the Tungwen Town Police Station to pay attention at all times. As for the security situation in this area of Zhu Ming's house, once there is a situation, the police must be dispatched and rushed to the scene in the shortest time. Zhu Ming and his parents returned to the house. Zhu Guo Ping and Wang Fengkin had not recovered by this time. Wang Fengkin still felt incredible and said to Zhu Ming, Zhu Ming, I just heard Director Go said. Why are you coming to Nanhui County? Bought the 760 factory? Are you really a Hong Kong businessman? In the face of his parents, Zhu Ming did not hide anything. He said, Mom, I am your son. You should know that I am not actually a Hong Kong businessman, but this identity can be more important to the government. This answer made Wang Fengkin nervous, then you are still lying to the government? Zhu Ming hurriedly comforted Wang Fengkin and said, Mom, don't be nervous, it's not like that. In fact, I can be regarded as a Hong Kong businessman, because I did make a lot of money from doing business in Hong Kong City, and I am also a Hong Kong businessman. It has been confirmed by the government agency, so there will be no problem. Wang Fengkin was relieved now, but Wang Fengkin is okay here, and his father Zhu Oping has something to ask. Zhu Ming, your mother and I have been working in this 760 factory for a lifetime. And the whole factory is not profitable now. But it's worth tens of millions to say nothing. Why did you buy this factory with so much money? Hearing Zhu Oping's question, Wang Fengkin raised his heart again, 
yeah, Ziming, you are not doing illegal things outside, right? I heard that there is chaos in Gangqing, and you can do everything. Yes, don't do those things in the factory, you will be arrested by the Public Security Bureau. Parents, don't think about it, this is nothing. Ziming said, I don't know if your two elders still remember the treasury bond business I did before? Zheng Guoping and Wang Fengkin nodded and said they remembered. Ziming said, actually, I was doing business similar to that in Hong Kong City, but the business I did was more profitable than that. I made a lot of money. I heard that later our factory is going to be restructured, and the price set in the county is 3 million. I thought that my money was just enough. So I asked a few friends to get through the relationship, and I wanted to buy the 760 factory when I came back. 3 million? How is this possible? Zheng Guoping said in surprise. There are so many workshops and so many lathe equipment in the factory, which one is not hundreds of thousands. These equipment alone add up to more than 3 million. Wang Fengkin also said to Ziming, Yes. Did your friend make a mistake? Our 760 factory is also a well-known unit in Nanhui County. Even if the efficiency is not good in recent years, it will not be as low as this. Come on. Faced with the surprise of his parents, Ziming didn't know how to explain it. He knew very well that the efficiency of the factory in recent years was not good. It was entirely deliberately done by the factory leaders. As for the price of the entire factory, it was also those of the people in the factory. The reason for this is to allow them to contract the factory at a lower price. In fact, my parents might not have imagined that in their previous lives, Huang Zheng and Ma Jianzhan contracted the factory for only 1.5 million yuan, then the factory was in their hands for about half a year, and it was sold for 8 million yuan. This handover made 6.5 million. It's just that these things didn't happen. Even if he said his parents, he couldn't believe it. So Ziming had to say, parents, rest assured, the county will offer a reasonable price. Wang Fengkin said, that's true. Anyway, it is our son's contract. The cheaper the better, but Ziming. You have to give your dad a leader. He wants to be a leader all his life. His father, Zheng Guoping, was an honest worker. When Wang Fengkin was so teased, his old face flushed and said, You don't need any leadership, just the workshop director. Zheng laughed and said, Dad, you are too humble. If you want me to say, Dad, you should be the director of the factory. Chapter 73 Women Can't Say No. Question mark bow. Thank you for the support of the three monthly tickets of Hejiang Yun. Xiling is a township in the north of Linyang. Because it is located in a very remote mountainous area, Ziming drove on the dirt road in Xiling Township, bringing up some flying dust. This is Su Han's hometown. Ziming went out to make money in Nanjian Port City according to his previous plan. In order to avoid Su Han staying in the factory and being retaliated by Huang Zheng. She hid her back to her hometown in the country. Now Ziming is back. He is arranging the affairs of the family. His parents are also guarded by the police of the County Public Security Bureau. They confirm that there is no danger. Huang Zheng and Ma Jianzhen will not come to trouble for the time being. Ziming can't wait to find Su Han. Of course, Su Han's hometown was too remote. For convenience, Ziming went to the county agricultural bank to find Dai Zhenjiang and borrow his new car. Ziming thought it would cost a lot of talk about this. After all, this year is not like 30 years later. Basically, people who are a little richer have private cars in their homes, and cars in these days are luxury goods. However, Dai Zhenjiang lent the car to Ziming happily after confirming that Ziming could really drive. Ziming drove the car. Looking at the scenery backwards on both sides, thinking about whether he should take the driver's license test, and then buying a car, it would be very convenient to say that he had a car. In addition, if he had a car early, he could if they drove back. Huang Zheng and Ma Jianzhen would at least wonder if they really became big bosses outside, so they wouldn't dare to be so arrogant. Under these mixed thoughts, Ziming drove quickly to Dianta village where Su Han was located while asking. Private cars are rare in this era, so Ziming attracted many villagers to watch when he drove into the village. Ziming didn't know which Su Han was, 
so he first found the village party secretary in the village and found Suhan's house through the village officials, but Suhan was not at home at this time, and there was no one in her family. The village party secretary guessed that he should be working in the fields, and then Zhu Ming asked the village party secretary to help take him to Su Han's field. Su Han's house was not far from Su Han's house. Zhu Ming followed the village party secretary to the Su Han's house. From far away, Zhu Ming saw Su Han and several other village women sitting on the ridge and chatting together. Zhu Ming yelled. Su Han turned her head and looked around. She saw Zhu Ming her eyes brightened, and then ran over to Zhu Ming happily. But when she reached Zhu Ming, she suddenly stopped again, with some worries. Step forward. Of course Zhu Ming understood what she was worrying about. He opened her arms and hugged her into her arms. Su Han screamed, and then hurriedly pushed Zhu Ming while hurriedly saying, Zhu Ming, let go, my body is full of mud. Don't stay in your clothes. Zhu Ming laughed. How come? I just like to hold you like this. Su Han leaned in Zhu Ming's arms with peace of mind. Seeing this scene. The old village party secretary next to him was taken aback, and then his old face flushed with a cough, Su Han pushed Zhu Ming away, and his pretty face blushed and stood aside. Zhu Ming didn't care. After all, he was a reborn person. Having gone through the openness of the past, men and women are not lovers, but only good friends and classmates. It doesn't matter if they hug each other let alone their relationship. Zhu Ming looked up and down at Su Han. She was wearing a small straw hat and homespun clothes. She looked clean and immaculate. It was a replica of Jinki U in the hawthorn tree. Su Han, this boss Zhu Ming drove to our village to find you. It seems that you really know each other there. The village party secretary said without embarrassment. Hearing the words of the village party secretary, Su Han's face was overjoyed. She looked at Zhu Ming and said, Zhu Ming, you came by car? Did you really make a lot of money in Nanjian? Zhu Ming nodded, of course, if I don't make a lot of money, will I come to pick you up without full assurance? I am responsible to you. The village woman who was sitting on the ridge with Su Han just now also walked over. Hearing that Zhu Ming was coming by car, she was immediately surprised and said, Wow, so you are Zhu Ming who Su Han often mentioned about making big money outside? How long will you drive the car back to pick her up? You are really capable, and you have a lot of love and righteousness. Zhu Ming scratched his head in embarrassment and said thank you. Su Han said to Zhu Ming embarrassedly, I'm sorry, I went back here, I miss you so much. So I told them. Zhu Ming didn't expect that Su Han would even apologize to herself, smiled and shook her hand and shook his head to indicate that it didn't matter. Someone heard another point and was surprised. Boss Zhu Ming, right? You just said that you are responsible to Su Han. Could it be you? Su Han Kia blushed and hurriedly explained, No, no, nothing has happened to us yet. In this regard, these rural women are quite open. It doesn't matter if there are young people, they can understand. These words made Su Han's face even redder and he was too ashamed to know what to say. It is not the busy farming season. Zhu Ming took Su Han home and saw the black car parked in front of his house. The village woman who was with Su Han asked in surprise, Boss Zhu, is this your car? It's so beautiful! Exclamation mark. Zhu Ming smiled and said thank you. Actually, this is not Zhu Ming's car, but it doesn't matter. After all, Zhu Ming knows that if he wants to buy it, he can't afford it. When he returned home, Su Han took a shower in the room with water, changed into clean clothes, tied up his clothes, and got in the car. Zhu Ming drove the car back to the 760 factory. In the car, Zhu Ming looked at Su Han's somewhat thin and pretty face, and said distressed, I have wronged you for these two months. Su Han shook his head and said, where is there any grievance? I was originally half a household. I was lucky enough to stay in the factory. If I was in my hometown, I would have to go to the fields like this every day. The transportation in this era is not as convenient as that of later generations. In addition, it is indeed a bit far from Xiling Township to Nanhui County. Therefore, Zhu Ming drove for nearly three hours before returning to the factory. The first Suhan was back in the factory. 
The thing is I want to go back to see my little restaurant. Ziming drove Suhan to the entrance of her small restaurant. Suhan was silent for a moment, and she rolled down the car window. She looked at her small restaurant with a very aggrieved expression. Someone brushed the big character poster, and it said that Suhan is a bitch and a bitch, and if he comes back to kill her, you don't have to think about who these masterpieces are. There will be no one other than the bastard Huang Zheng. I'm sorry Ziming, I should listen to you, I shouldn't come back to see it. Su Han said with a cry. In fact, Ziming had persuaded her not to come back when Su Han was coming back. But Su Han is a very affectionate person. She spent a lot of effort on this small restaurant, so she insisted on coming back. Dot. It doesn't matter. It's okay to come back and have a look. It's a worry from the past, Zuming comforted Suhan. But don't worry, since I'm back, I won't let any of these bullies. Those who passed them, these things in front of me will only tell me that those guys deserved it. No matter how many hands I put on, they will feel at ease. Suhan gave a hum, and she asked Zuming. You just said that you are coming back this time to buy the entire 760 factory. Right? But I heard that the 760 factory has just started restructuring. Our Nanhui is not reforming and opening up. In frontier cities in China, this restructuring shouldn't start so quickly. So before that, should we leave the 760 factory and go to other places to avoid it? After all, Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun still have a lot of power in the factory. Zuming you are now the big boss. You must pay attention to the safety of you and your uncles and aunts. Ziming can feel the deep concern for himself in Suhan's words. Ziming said, if it is a normal situation, then this restructuring will not be implemented until at least the past few years. But since I'm back, this restructuring must be advanced in advance. It's done, because I really can't endure scum like Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun to continue to be at ease. Then what are you going to do? Don't go head to head with them. Ziming, you are still young and you still have a great future. It's not cost effective to die with them. Su Han worried. The fish is dead and the net is broken. Xion, you are too overestimating them. They are just small carders in the factory. Even if Huang Zheng had a relationship in the county, he would not be able to make it to the table. I am afraid that they are all dead. I the net is okay. Ziming thought for a while and said, Xion, you forgot what I told you before. I ran into a prince of Yanjing on Nanjian. With the help of his family relationship, it is to kill these people. It's a matter of minutes. In addition, I want to buy the entire 760 factory and want the restructuring of the factory to start as soon as possible. It is also his family's relationship that helps to run it. Suhan let out a sigh of relief, that's good. But Ziming, you are so amazing. You can actually run into such a relationship. Seeing Suhan clenching his fists in excitement, Zuming laughed and said, Yes. So when I buy the 760 factory, my father and mother will be the factory director, Xiao Han, you will come over to be the factory director. A manager, can you help me get the factory up? Suhan hurriedly shook his head and said, No, I can't. No? Why not? I think Xion. Your strategy and thinking in running your small restaurant are very good. Ziming said, he didn't say so specifically to Chi Su Han, but Ziming did agree with him. Su Han talked about this topic. Ziming really thinks that Su Han has talent in doing business. But how can opening a restaurant be the same as making a factory? Su Han said eagerly. Ziming didn't care, and said, What's the difference? And dot 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 a woman can't say she can't do it. Suhan blinked and didn't know why. Why can't a woman say that she can't? Because if a woman can't do it, doesn't it mean that a woman can't have children? If a woman can't have children, what kind of woman is it called? Zeming said. Suhan had never heard of Zeming's remarks, and he didn't even react at the first time. After a while, Suhan's face flushed with shame. She spent two months in her hometown, following those older sister-in-laws and little daughter-in-law these days. I have heard many things, and I understand what Ziming is referring to, and scornfully said, 
What are you talking about Zeming? How can you talk like this? You are too rascal and shameful. Chapter 74 Let's make trouble. Question mark bow thanks to Feng Shen Yu Shao for the two monthly tickets support. September 23rd is a very ordinary day, but it is extremely unusual for all the employees of the 760 factory in Nanhui County, Linyang City, because on this day, the 760 factory held a restructuring meeting to formally promote the restructuring. The day on the agenda. Early in the morning of this day, when people went out to work in the factory as usual in the morning, they could find that at the entrance of the factory, a few more eye catching bulletin boards and news corridors, banners of smashing a big pot of rice were hung up in support of reform and opening up. Don't think about it. This is definitely a masterpiece of the factory's logistics department. For the people in the factory, the restructuring is not news. In fact, as early as a year ago, the county had already released the news that the restructuring work was to be studied, and the primary target was set at the 760 factory. The factory employees and their family members have been doing ideological work for nearly a year, and the employees in the factory are also mentally prepared. Therefore, a banner was suddenly hung up today. Everyone was just surprised that the system was really about to be restructured. What's the big problem? Everyone should go to work and work as usual. For ordinary factory workers, everything is business as usual. But for Ziming, he waited for too long on this day. It can be said that since his rebirth, whether it is to make money with treasury bills or to go to Nanjian to make money later in Hong Kong, it is all for the sake of making money. Today, I can personally set up the 760 factory and give it to my parents, so that parents who have been bent over for a lifetime can also straighten their backs as leaders. In the morning, Zeming's parents got up early to make breakfast. When Zeming got up, they saw their parents and Su Han having breakfast in the living room. This scene made Zeming stun for a while, because this scene really resembles the meaning of living together with his in laws and daughter in law, but in fact, it was just that Zeming saw Su Han's small restaurant after returning to the factory. Zeming fearing that something would happen to her. She let her live in her own home temporarily. Ziming went to the backyard to wash first. When Ziming returned to the living room and sat down to eat, he found that his parents and Su Han were wearing the clothes Ziming had brought back from Hong Kong. They were sitting there in danger, obviously. Tension. Ziming said to this, Mum and Dad, Xiao Han, don't be so nervous. It's okay. But today is the day when the county came to our factory for a meeting to announce their restructuring. How can you make me feel less nervous? I know that Huang Zheng has not really traveled to the county these days. It seems that the city has been there several times, and he there were people at home in the county, and Zhu Ming had only been out for two months. Even if he made some money, it would be difficult to get the factory down from him. Wang Feng can worried. On the other side, Su Han also said, I think the aunt's worry is right, Ziming, you don't say anything, how can you keep your uncles and aunts from worrying about you? Ziming was stunned. He didn't expect that the mother-in-law and daughter-in-law could stand on the same front, but Ziming understood that this must be the result of Su Han's compromise and initiative to move closer to his mother. Mom, Xion, it's not that I don't say anything. But I have already told you all I know, you don't believe it. Before Zhu Ming's words fell, Su Han said, What did you say? You said that you contacted the city leaders with your friend. It will definitely help you solve this problem, but who is the city leader? If you haven't seen it before, you just say that others will help you to take down the 760 factory. How do you make us believe? Zhu Ming spread his hands helplessly. The fact is really like this. You can't help me if you don't believe me. After eating breakfast, Zhu Ming watched TV with his parents and Su Han at home for a while, and then waited until 9 o'clock before going out to the factory auditorium. When you come to the entrance of the auditorium, you can see the banners that welcome county leaders, support reform and opening up, and support factory restructuring. At this time, Zhu Ming's parents and Su Han appeared to be even more nervous. Zhu Ming had to comfort them and let them relax. Su Han pointed to the auditorium and suddenly said, Zhu Ming, look at it, 
it seems that something went wrong. Why is the auditorium not open yet? Question mark. Zuming and his parents looked in the direction pointed by Su Han, and saw that many people gathered at the entrance of the auditorium. Zuming and his parents recognized that they were all representatives of the old employees in the factory. Today they obviously represent the collective of factory employees. Those who came to the meeting to express their opinions on the restructuring of the factory, but now they are all standing at the entrance of the auditorium, chatting together in groups. Is it because the meeting was temporarily cancelled? Wang Fengkin said worriedly. I don't see it, Zhengyu Oping said. If the meeting is cancelled, there will be a notice. But now that these employee representatives are still here, it means that there is no notice to cancel, but there are other things. It doesn't matter what it is, the final result will not change anyway, Zeming said parents, let's go first. Zhengyu Oping and Wang Fengkin nodded, and walked over with Zuming and Su Han. Zuming and the others walked to the door and suddenly saw Huang Zheng in the crowd. Zuming didn't want to have any conflict with him now, so he wanted to get around a little bit, but who knows that Huang Zheng's eyes are very sharp, and he saw Zuming right away. Yo, isn't this our Hong Kong Business Week boss? Huang Zheng was originally the leader of the factory. But now he yin and yang cried out strangely, and he immediately attracted everyone's attention, and everyone looked at Zeming's side. Having achieved the effect he wanted, Huang Zheng said again, You may not know, the boss of Zeming Zhu, a child from the old Zhu family, they are amazing. Two months after going out, they don't know whether to go to Nanjing or Port City. He made a lot of money. After he came back, he told the county that he was the big boss from Gangqing and he would also participate in the restructuring of the factory this time and take down our 760 factory. Huang Zheng's words seem to be literally complimenting Ziming, but in fact, as long as people with normal IQ can hear him, this is ironic. Everyone burst into laughter. They laughed at Ziming and his parents, point and comment loudly. Some have a good relationship with Huang Zheng, and laughed at Ziming with a contemptuous expression, Ziming. Are you afraid that you haven't woken up yet? Lao Tzu is an old liar in the factory. I really taught a little liar and returned to the city of Hong Kong. Boss, why don't you say that you are the leader of the central government? That kind of credibility might be higher, but today there are people from the county public security bureau here. If you dare to talk nonsense here, there will be someone immediately. You are handcuffed away, so for the rest of your life. You should get out as early as possible and don't be embarrassed here. Others are relatively neutral. Lao Tzu, you are also an old worker in the factory. How did you discipline your children? This restructuring is a major issue for thousands of employees and their families in the factory. How can you let your children live? What about the mess here? If it's just the county leaders coming today, it's fine. But I just received a notice saying that the mayor of Lin Yang City, Chen Di A, will come to host the meeting in person. You quickly take your child away, in case something goes wrong today. The major event of our factory's restructuring has been delayed. How can you couple be worthy of the many family members of our factory's employees? Others are threatening Ziming's parents. Lao Tzu, you are also a big man. How can you still do such a hot-headed thing now when you look at you so honestly? I warn you not to let your children mess around here. Today we messed up the restructuring of the factory. We lost our 760 factory in front of the mayor. Be careful when I dig your ancestral grave. Zuming's parents were very honest and didn't know how to talk. Now facing the fierce talk of these people, they panicked and didn't know what to do. On the contrary. Suhan was a little calmer. After all, she and Zuming having experienced many things together, she has always had great confidence in Zuming. This situation did not surprise Zuming. In fact, Zuming also first told his parents about the sinuses they might face today. The reason is simple. These people are people who stay in the factory all their lives and earn dead wages. Having been in contact with the financial economy, it is impossible to imagine all the possibilities of getting rich, let alone going back to the factory to buy the entire factory. That is not something that can be done with money alone, but it also has a deep relationship. In their opinion, even if Zeming had a way to get rich overnight, 
there was no possibility of such a relationship, so Zeming could only come here to make trouble. Everyone is a factory employee of the 760 factory, who doesn't know about Zeming's parents and Huang Zengmaji and Jun. Now the factory is going to restructure and Huang Zengmaji and Jun wants to take down the factory. It is strange that Zeming and his family will not make trouble. In response, Wang Fengkin said to Zeming, Zeming, shall we go back first? We will come back when the meeting is held here. Mom, wait for Mayor Chen to come later. When the meeting start, this factory is ours and Dad is the factory manager. Let's not be afraid of them at all, Zeming said. On the other side, Su Han also helped to comfort Zhu Ming's parents. Yes, uncle and aunt, Zhu Ming is very capable, you have to trust him. While Zhu Ming comforted his parents with Su Han, Zhu Ming pointed to the representatives of the old workers and said, You guys are farting here, telling you that I am here to take down this factory today. I don't want to embarrass you, but with your attitude today, I must expel you all from the factory when I take the factory. Zeming's words gave the other side a stunned, and then a stronger laughter broke out. Some of them pointed at Zeming and said, Oh, Emma laughing so hard at me, what kind of daydreaming are you kid doing? You don't look at the quality of yourself and your parents, and you want to take down this factory. Don't talk about the next life, it's impossible in the next life. Some people threatened with a little temper. Okay, I like a kind young man like you, but if you can't expel me, don't blame me for being rude to you. Someone even more arrogantly said, Oh, I'm so scared, I'm not afraid of you expelling me, I'm afraid you didn't have the right to expel me. Looking at the expressions of these people and listening to the words of these people, Zuming sneered, Laugh, you people laugh to your heart's content now. And I'm afraid you won't be able to cry later. Faced with Zhu Ming's words, there was no time to react, and there was a person hurriedly running towards this side, shouting, Mayor Chen is here, Mayor Chen and county leaders are here. Chapter 75 Question mark Mayor Chen and county leaders are here. This news immediately caused a commotion on the scene. The old staff representatives at the door also ignored Zhu Ming's side. They rushed to the intersection to meet the leaders. After a while, there was a cheer, listening to that. You look at Mayor Chen, who I said, and you don't need to guess that Mayor Chen has arrived. Then the representatives of the old workers stood on both sides automatically. A short and fat man walked out first. He was wearing a white shirt and his nose collapsed. Ziming recognized that this was the mayor of Lin Yang Chen Die and the secretary of the Nanhui County Party Committee. Gaping was behind him. With the arrival of Mayor Chen, the gate of the factory auditorium was also opened. It should have been resterialized inside. Workers from the factory's logistics department came to greet them at the door. Mayor Chen Die walked into the factory auditorium while waving to these workers. After Mayor Chen Die walked into the factory hall, the representatives of the old workers followed suit. Only when Huang Zheng passed in front of Zhu Ming's family, he deliberately stopped and smiled at Zhu Ming disdainfully. Mayor Chen is here, but he doesn't seem to know you, a famous Hong Kong businessman. Zhu Ming said, I didn't say that I knew Mayor Chen and I was just coming to buy the 760 factory. It doesn't seem to matter, right? Huang Zheng he, he said, it seems that you really don't want to die in the Yellow River, and now you still have a hard mouth. Actually, I am not afraid to tell you. I have asked my uncle to help inquire about it. You just made some money in Nanji and dare to come back and pretend to be some Hong Kong businessman? You are so courageous. I advise you to run quickly before you are caught. Then your uncle didn't help you find out the inside information about the restructuring of the factory? Zhu Ming asked meaningfully. Faced with this problem, Huang Zheng was unnaturally stunned for a while before he said, Still inside information? Why do I say that your young man's thinking is so unhealthy? Tell you, our factory's restructuring is fair and open this time. Zhu Ming sneered, and before Huang Zheng finished speaking, he said, OK, to borrow a word from you, it is too late for you to run now, lest you can't cry afterwards. Run? Are you fucking telling me a story? Huang Zheng laughed. Zuming was too lazy to talk too much nonsense with him, 
So he took his parents and Su Han into the auditorium. While walking, his mother Wang Fengkin said to Zhu Ming anxiously, Zhu Ming, Director Huang, his father used to be the deputy county magistrate. It's very big. There will be no problems with your friend, right? Don't worry, mom. Don't say that his dad used to be the executive deputy county magistrate. Even if he is now the executive deputy county magistrate, it's useless. Ziming thought for a while and said, but I'm afraid his dad's relationship is not good at all. Judging from what he said just now, the people in the county are simply sloppy with their family, and they don't mean to help their family at all. Walking into the auditorium, at this time Mayor Chen Da and other county leaders were still resting in the lounge next to them. Representatives of old employees were looking for their place. Seeing the mess, Su Han couldn't help asking, Ziming, where do we sit? Question mark. Ziming was about to speak, but Huang Zheng followed in. Seeing Ziming was looking for a seat, he shouted to the old employee representatives in front of him in an exaggerated tone, Masters, our port city boss Ziming is here. Now, should we welcome him to sit in the front? One stone caused a thousand waves of waves. After hearing Huang Zheng's shout, these old employee representatives realized that Ziming and his parents had also entered the auditorium. What was he doing? Is it true that we are going to destroy it? So they pointed at Ziming and yelled, Lao Zhu, what are you doing here? This is the meeting place for the leaders. Can you enter casually? Is it possible that you really intend to do damage and fight against the family members of all the employees? Want to sit in the front? Get out quickly, don't delay the major restructuring of the factory here, you are not welcome here. Listening to the fierce yelling in Huang Zheng's triumphant A's, Ziming turned his head and said to his parents, Parents, Xion, it seems that we are very unpopular. Let's just sit back and forget it. Both parents and Su Han agreed with Zhu Ming's words, so they took the initiative to sit down in the corner of the auditorium. Seeing that Zhu Ming, the old staff representatives hadn't got rid of honestly, they sat down stumblingly. They couldn't help but stop fighting, but considering that the mayor is here, they can't really make a fuss. Just bear it down, just a few words of curse. Some people greet the factory security department and let the factory security department keep an eye on them. Don't let them make any trouble, if there really is something, we must control it as soon as possible. After a few more minutes, as the meeting time approached, the representatives of these old workers all stopped, and they found their places to sit down one after another. When everything was ready, with the music coming in, Mayor Chen Da led officials from the county and factory into the auditorium from the side, and finally sat in the center of the rostrum prepared for them. Everything was done step by step. First, everyone stood up to welcome the arrival of the city and county leaders, and then the Mayor Chen Da began to speak. Chen Da took the microphone and said, the 760 factory is an old factory with a long history. It is a large factory that has grown up with Nanhui County. It has also created good economic benefits in the past and has contributed to Nanhui County and the entire line Yang. The development of the city has made an indelible contribution, but now with the implementation of the reform and opening up strategy, Many old factories are facing great challenges under the impact of emerging economies at home and abroad. In order to make the 760 factory faster to adapt to the environment of reform and opening up, and to make the 760 factory have a better tomorrow, the municipal party committee and government decided to restructure the 760 factory after research. After Chendas remarks, there was enthusiastic applause. Chen Die pressed his hands down. After the applause subsided, Chen Die said, The 760 factory is the first step in the restructuring of the entire Linyang old factory, and it is also a pilot. Try, since so many carders and representatives of old workers in the factory are here today, I want to hear what you think about this restructuring. After Chen Die finished speaking, Ma Jian Jun, the deputy director of the first row below, immediately raised his hand. After receiving Chen Da's approval, Ma Jian Jun said, Thank you very much, Mayor Chen and all the leaders. I am Ma Jian Jun, 
the deputy director of the 760 factory. I have worked in the 760 factory for more than 20 years. I have a profound understanding of the 760 factory. Feelings. I am anxious as the deputy director of the factory when I see the recent poor performance in the factory. Now I heard that the city is going to restructure the 760 factory. I am very happy because I believe that the 760 factory will be restored to the past after the restructuring. Brilliant. Seeing Margie and Jun speak first, Zuming couldn't help being surprised. After all, he was just a deputy factory director. On such an important occasion, in front of so many city and county officials, how could he not be the first to speak? Zeming subconsciously glanced at the factory director, and saw the old man sitting there like an old monk entering Ding, with no reaction at all, as if he didn't care about Margie Anjan's ultraviaries actions, Zeming thought about it and smiled. It seems that there is no harmony in the leadership of the factory. Margie and Jun went on to say, I know that today is the restructuring meeting. As the deputy director of the 760 factory, I recommend Huang Zheng, the director of the sales office of our factory, to take over as the director. Comrade Huang Zheng, as the carder of the sales office in our factory, is to be in the market. The person at the forefront is also the person who understands the market best. I believe that if he takes over as the factory director, he will surely lead us to reshape the glory of the 760 factory in the future reform and opening up. After Margie Anjan's words were finished, applause was also heard at the scene. Mayor Chen Die smiled and nodded. It seems that the factory manager Ma is considering it. The other representatives of the old employees are also present. Let's listen to other voices. Another veteran employee representative stood up and said, I am deeply touched by the words of the director of the horse factory. I am also an old employee of the 760 factory. I have also worked in the factory for a lifetime. I see that the efficiency of the factory is not good. I also feel distressed and more anxious. Now the city is going to restructure the 760 factory. This is the hope that the 760 factory will stand up again. Therefore, I fully support the statement of the director of Ma, and I also agree that the 760 factory should be taken over by director Huang. Listening to the words of Ma Jianjun and the veteran worker representative, Wang Fengkin was anxious, it's over, this auditorium is full of their people, I'm afraid that all of them have arranged their speeches. What can I do? Zuming comforted his mother and said, Mom, don't worry. This restructuring meeting has just begun, and the restructuring of our 760 factory is a major event related to the entire Lin Yang City restructuring pilot. How could Mayor Chen Die listen to these people fooling around? Just change the decision you made earlier. But you see that Mayor Chen Die and other county leaders didn't say anything. The factory representatives here are on a sided support for Huang Zheng. Is there really a turning point? Su Han also said, it seems, Zhu Ming's the answer is her last hope. In response, Zhu Ming nodded vigorously and said, of course, some things can't be changed by these people with a few words here. Just when Zhu Ming was talking with his parents and Su Han, another representative of the veteran workers finished speaking. Mayor Chen Die said at this time, it seems that the comrades of the 760 factory are very confident in comrade Huang Zheng. Do you know if comrade Huang Zheng himself has confidence? Let's listen to comrade Huang Zheng's thoughts. After being called by the mayor, Huang Zheng immediately stood up and said, Thank you very much, Mayor Chen, for calling my name. I am also very grateful to all the comrades in the factory for their trust and support. My opinion is not mature and many details are not in place, and the 760 factory is so important. I am afraid that if I take over as the factory director now, I will be under a lot of pressure and will be unable to do the job. Hearing what Huang Zheng said, Chen Die also nodded and said, Comrade Huang Zheng said very well. Just like what he said, the restructuring of the 760 factory is a major event related to the reform and opening up of Lin Yang. We must be cautious. 
Since Comrade Huang Zheng feels that he is not up to the task, our municipal party committee and government have been responsible to the people. After research, it was decided that the entire 760 factory will be sold to Hong Kong businessman Ming. Chapter 76 This is not over yet. Question mark Chen's words detonated like a blockbuster in everyone's hearts, exploding people's souls and souls. Everyone subconsciously turned their heads and looked backwards, only to see Ming and his parents in the corner of the auditorium. Su Han, still sitting there, still had a faint smile on Ming's face, like a general who had grasped the winning ticket and was invincible. How is this going? Didn't it say that Director Huang will take over the factory? Why is it suddenly going to be sold to Ming? Is something wrong? Everyone was thinking this in their hearts. They looked at Ming in a daze, and their minds no longer thought about problems. In their opinion, even if they were told that a world war broke out, the world would be destroyed, or the news about aliens where they were found would not be more shocking to them than the news that the 760 factory was going to be sold to Ming. Sell the factory to a worker child? This is almost the same as playing with children. The person who said this was Mayor Chen Dia. No one dared to really object. Everyone could only cast doubtful eyes on Chen Dia, wondering if it was really wrong. Even Ming's parents and Su Han. I can't believe it. Under the suspicion of the audience, Chen Die continued to talk eloquently. Comrade Zuming is an outstanding entrepreneur selected by Hong Kong Island Finance and Economics. He was praised by the Hong Kong media and supported the domestic reform and opening up after returning to the mainland. Grand strategy. He hosted the first land auction in Anjiang City. He is a domestic economic pioneer and has a good grasp of domestic and foreign economic conditions. This time, after Comrade Zuming learned about the restructuring of the 760 factory in his hometown, he with the noble ideal of supporting the construction of his hometown, he resolutely gave up his career in Nanjiang and returned to Lin Yang. Speaking of this, Chen Die paused, and finally concluded, in this regard, in view of Comrade Ziming's consistent performance in the market economy, the Municipal Party Committee and the Municipal Government decided to resell the 760 factory to Comrade Ziming. Chenda's words were like a heavy hammer, and instantly shattered the last glimmer of illusions in everyone's hearts. Only then did they realize, Merchant's statement is true. Will the 760 factory be surnamed Z in the future? Of course not everyone can accept this result, especially for the small-minded Huang Zheng. He held the microphone blankly, looked up at Chen Da, and muttered, Mayor Chen, it must be what is wrong? How can the 760 factory be sold to Ziming? You can't do this. Ma Jian Jun also stood up to help Huang Zheng and said, Yes. Mayor Chen, I think Director Huang is very good, and Ziming is a liar at all. How can the 760 factory be sold to such a person? Hearing what Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun said, Chen Die frowned. At this time, the old factory manager who had not spoken suddenly stood up and said loudly, Why can't I sell it to Ziming? I think this is after careful consideration. After all, the future reform and opening up. The 760 factory is to be integrated into the market economy, and Comrade Ziming can well lead the factory to integrate into it. You are arguing here, are you doubting the decision of the higher level organization and leadership? Faced with the old factory managers questioning, Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun shuddered and dared not speak any more. The other representatives of the old staff originally wanted to help say a few words, but after the old factory manager's questioning, they also closed their mouths one by one. However, Ziming raised his brows, it seems that there are really a lot of good shows today. Looking at this side, his parents were too surprised to speak, but Suhan was holding his arm tightly, shaking with excitement. Well, please come up to Comrade Ziming and talk about his thoughts. Everyone is welcome with applause. Chenda's faint sentence on the rostrum immediately caused everyone on the scene to clap mechanically. Amidst the applause, Ziming stood up and walked towards the rostrum with a smile on his face. Ziming is very spirited, but in Huang Zheng's eyes, the smile on Ziming's face is all a mockery of him. The more spirited Ziming, 
The more he feels like a funny clown in front of him, when Ziming walked in front of him, Huang Zheng finally couldn't help but said to Ziming, although I don't know what you have done with today's affairs, don't think you have won this way, really? Ziming looked at Huang Zheng's distorted face and sighed, you know, actually, you are quite sad in my eyes, if you and Ma Jian Jun don't provoke me like this, you will attack me. If I take revenge on my parents and Xion, I might be able to save you away, but now, as I told you outside before, if you didn't run just now, now there is no chance. I will let you cry and there is no place to cry. Opportunity? Huang Zheng sneered, I admit that Mayor Chen will promise to sell the factory to you. I didn't expect it. But what if I sell the 760 factory to you? You think you can really ride on my head? Yet, Ziming shook his head and said regretfully, You may not understand what I mean, I just want to tell you that this matter is not over yet. After finishing talking, Ziming ignored Huang Zheng and went straight to the rostrum. Mayor Chen Die and County Party Secretary Gaping shook hands with Ziming respectively. Chen Die smiled and said to Ziming, Comrade Ziming has grown up in the red flag. The 760 factory is also a star enterprise in Line Yang. I believe that such a strong combination will definitely bring a different development to the factory. Ziming thanked Chen Die, and then Chen Die signaled Ziming to speak. Ziming came to the rostrum and took the microphone handed over by the factory logistics department. Ziming cleared his throat and said, First of all, Thank you Mayor Chen and the Municipal Party Committee. The government's trust in me is just like what Factory Director Ma and Director Huang said just now. I am a relatively young person and don't speak much. If I make you feel uncomfortable next time, please forgive me. Ziming's tone was very flat, but listening to the ears of the people below made them involuntarily shocked. There is nothing else I want to say. Since I want to buy this 760 factory, then I just want to talk to you about the factory's problems. Ziming went straight to the subject. I think the reason why the 760 factory has been ineffective in recent years, mainly due to some leading Carter's confession. When Ziming said this, he turned to Chen Die and said, Mayor Chen, I want to report to you here that Ma Jian Jun the deputy director of our 760 factory, and Huang Zheng, the director of the sales office, have partnered up to embezzle state property. Ziming's words were like a gust of rain, causing an uproar from below. Everyone looked at Ziming on the rostrum with a dumbfounded expression. Because no one could think of it, Ziming dared to be there. At this time, Openly report Ma Jianjun and Huang Zheng in front of the Mayor Chen Die. Ziming is too lawless this time. Huang Zheng, who was reported, stood up first and said, Ziming, you are bloody, slanderous. What evidence do you have to prove that we are fucked? Ma Jianjun also stood up and said, Yes, Mayor Chen, we had some feasts with Ziming due to some things before, and he is retaliating against us by reporting now. Mayor Chen, Please, it's true that I want to see clearly, but I'm just investigating you. Ziming talked about trickery and took out a document and said, This is a publicity draft prepared by you on the factory TV station. It clearly states that the total assets of the 760 factory are estimated at 2 million. I don't need to say this value. All of you here are old employees of the factory. I am afraid they will feel incredible as for why they want to promote this value. The purpose is very clear. First, they sold some equipment in the factory privately, which led to the loss of state-owned assets. They want to take advantage of this opportunity of restructuring in the factory to embezzle state assets. Ziming's words were sonorous and powerful, as if every word was like a thunderstorm, it smashed into the depths of Ma Jianjun and Huang Zheng's hearts. Facing Ziming, they couldn't stop shaking, but they still planned to make the final fight. No. It's not like that. We didn't embezzle state property. These are all malicious speculations by Ziming. There is no real evidence at all. We are innocent. Huang Zheng shouted desperately below. Ma Jian Jun said, Mayor Chen, don't listen to his nonsense. Ziming is a cruel man, usually at the factory. His family is not seen by all the employees' family members. They are so lazy to cook, 
and they think about how to cheat all day long. People are the worst elements. Later because his father deceived the factory, and his mother was expelled from the factory for stealing things, he has always held a grudge. They are basically taking the opportunity to retaliate against us, trying to sabotage this restructuring of the 760 factory is even more discredited on your face, Mayor Chen. Zuming's face sank, he could hear Huang Zheng's words were just a dying struggle, but Ma Jianjin's words meant something. Zhu Ming had never been in contact with officialdom but he could understand what he meant. He just reminded the mayor Chen Die that Zhu Ming's doing so was against the regulations. Now the cover of the factory can only be unification of the city's restructuring of the 760 factory. The deployment is not only slapping all the factory employees in the face, but also all the leaders of the county party committee and county government and even more slaps you in the face of Mayor Chen Da. If it were in normal times, Ma Jian Jun would be fine if he said that, but this time he had miscalculated because Chen Da would definitely be on Ziming's side. I saw Chen Da slap the table with a sullen face, enough. Then Chen Da turned his head to the county party secretary Gaping and said, Comrade Gaping, your county party committee must conduct a thorough investigation of this matter. Ma Jian Jun and Huang Zheng must be controlled immediately. Hearing Chen Da's order, Ma Jian Jun and Huang Zheng immediately felt that the sky was falling. They knew that with the mayor's order, they must be finished. The two men sat on the stool sullenly, their eyes filled with despair. But their mouths were still muttering. We are wronged, we are wronged, wronged. This matter is not over yet. Zhu Ming's eyes were sharp as swords. For Zhu Ming, if Ma Jianjun and Huang Zheng only provoke him, then Zhu Ming can let them go. But they are bullying Zhu Ming's parents and Su Han. They slandered their father and deceived the factory, slandered their mothers for stealing things from the factory, splashed red paint on Su Han's small restaurant, brushed posters and insulted Su Han which was beyond Zhu Ming's tolerance. I want you to be ruined. Chapter 77 You tell me the moral bottom line? Question mark Bao, thank you Yun Kao Dan Dan for the support of the two monthly tickets. Mayor Chen, I also want to report that they are gathering people in the factory for prostitution and chaos, Zhu Ming said, pointing to Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun, who were already lost in the audience. They not only engage in sexual chaos in Huang Zheng's house regularly, at parties, sometimes they use the factory club as a place for their prostitution. They also share a lover and exchange their wives for use. There was an uproar in the audience, if it was said that the report of Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun was just a blow and defeated them. Then Zhu Ming's public report is to chop more knives on them and sprinkle them. A handful of salt will ruin them, not only them. Once Zhu Ming's report is verified, even their family members in the factory can't hold their heads up. Isn't this true? I didn't expect that direct demand. Director Huang usually looks so decent. They turned out to be such a person in private. They exchanged their wives with each other. This is too disgusting, right? They still not a man? How can you make such a thing? Such a person can still sit in the position of deputy director and sales director, ah yeah. If they take over the 760 factory, I don't know they will do it in the factory. What a miasma. The discussion in the audience was fierce, and this was exactly what Zhu Ming wanted to achieve. Zhu Ming knew very well that people were conservative in their thinking in this era. It was suddenly revealed that such a thing would definitely be spurned by others. They, together with their families, would be rejected for the rest of their lives. Point and poke the spine. Facing Zhu Ming's report, the county party committee secretary Gaping couldn't make up his mind and ask Chen Di A, Mayor Chen, do you think? In this regard, Chen Das answer is concise and clear, check. Chen Das word search was like a heavy hammer, hitting the hearts of Huang Zheng and Ma Ji and Jun fiercely, giving them the urge to vomit blood. Watching more than a dozen police officers walk into the auditorium, Huang Zheng went crazy and cursed at Ziming. Ziming, you bastard who tramples on thousands of people, you must not die. You are fornicating, chaos. Your whole family, all lewd, chaotic. On the other side, Ma Jian Jun also said, It's Zhu Ming. You want to retaliate against us. We recognize it. After all, 
there was a festival between us, but it didn't hurt our family. You insulted our personality like this, and it hurts our family members. They also couldn't raise their heads. What does it mean? Do you still have the most basic moral bottom line for being a man? Hearing the desperate shouts from Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun, Ziming said angrily, the moral bottom line? You tell me the moral bottom line? Why didn't you think of the moral bottom line when you slandered my father and fired my father? You are wronging my mother for stealing things from the factory. Why didn't you think of the moral bottom line when you insulted Suhan's character? Why didn't you think of the moral bottom line when you insulted Suhan's character? These are all imaginary things that you fabricated and slandered. Now am I'm just talking about it. Are you here to call injustice after a fact. What qualifications do you have to call injustice? After saying this, Ziming took a breath and said, tell you, if you come out, you will have to pay it back sooner or later. Don't blame others for using the same means to deal with you in the first place. Tell you, I'm going to do it today. Here, in front of everyone, in front of city and county leaders, for my parents and Suhan, I will ask you for justice. The reason why you are calling wrong now is simply because you are losers. If we change our position, I believe you will stand with arms akimbo and laugh at me, just like you did at the beginning, but unfortunately, you will not. There is this opportunity, Ziming said. Ziming's words seemed to be a holy sentence against them. As Ziming's voice fell, he followed the mayor to protect the mayor and the county's leading police and quickly stepped forward and caught Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun. They were listening. After Ziming's sentence was pronounced, his head was downcast like a dog whose backbone had been broken, his face was ashes, and there was no energy at all, and he was picked up and taken away by the police like a walking corpse. Seeing Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun being dragged away like dead dogs, Ziming let out a sigh of relief. His two months of hard work were finally in vain. It's just that Ziming thought he was a rebirth person, and he thought that he was a lot more calm when he was in his fifties and his previous life. But when he heard his parents were bullied and slandered like Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun, he saw Su Han's restaurant. When the big characters that were insulting personality were brushed there would still be an impulse to kill in my heart. But finally these things passed. Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun were also taken away by the police for investigation. It is conceivable that at their current age, I am afraid that they will not be able to get out in this life. Then Ziming turned to Chen Da, I'm sorry, Mayor Chen, what happened today has caused you trouble to Mayor Chen. Chen Da waved his hand with a headache. Young people sometimes understand the impulse to do things, and the 760 factory will be sold to you in the future. There are some things you have to deal with, but some things need to be methodical. I'm really sorry, what happened today is that I didn't consider it well, Ziming said again. Chen Die nodded, okay, go down first. Ziming stepped off the rostrum and Ziming walked all the way. The old staff representatives who were meeting in the auditorium did not dare to look at Ziming. Although they did not understand why Ziming suddenly became a Hong Kong businessman, through the series of events just now, the city the Chang's support for Ziming's purchase of the 760 factory is unremarkable. But just before that, they booed and drove the future factory manager's family to sit in the corner. How can this be good? However, Ziming didn't bother to care about the thoughts of the old staff representatives. He walked straight back to his parents. Su Han didn't care that Ziming's parents were beside him at this time. He walked over and took the initiative to hug Ziming, crying. Ziming asked Su Han in surprise. Su Han just shook his head and said nothing. For Su Han, this was the most touching moment for her. She has been bullied by Huang Zheng for more than a year. Since this year, she has always been wronged from the factory to the small restaurant she opened. At first, Huang Zheng's wife brought his seven aunts and eight aunts to the door to trouble Su Han, but she said that Su Han was a bitch and said she seduced Huang Zheng, then went to Huang Zheng's factory security office to find Su Han trouble, and finally developed into a small restaurant. Insulting big character posters on the wall, Su Han silently endured every grievance. When he was alone every night, 
he didn't know how many tears he secretly wiped on the bed. Su Han did not expect that Huang Zheng would be ruined one day. As a member of the 760 factory, Su Han was not unheard of rumors about Huang Zheng, but they were all shadowless things, but today Ming is in front of so many rumors. The person's face came out and the mayor Chen Die also stated that he wanted to investigate. It is conceivable that once Zhu Ming's report is verified, Huang Zheng will be forever. But these are not the most important things. What moved Su Han most was that Zhu Ming was in front of so many people and said out loud that he was trying to get justice back for himself. What a domineering declaration, Su Han felt that his heart was about to fly out at the time. In Su Han's eyes at that moment, she felt that Zhu Ming was the angel sent by the heavens to save her, which moved her to a mess. Okay, Xion, everything is over. The bad guys who bullied you before will get the retribution they deserve. Don't be sad. Zhu Ming patted Su Han's jade back and comforted her. Su Han raised his head with a pear blossom raining on his face. Su Han said to Zhu Ming, I am not sad, I am happy. Yes, we should really be happy. After all, we are no longer a vulnerable group that was bullied in the past. Starting today, we will stand up like the new China. Ziming said, it's just Xion, my father and mother. You are still watching, you are so embarrassed to be so embarrassed. Ziming's previous joke made Su Han feel amused, but when he heard the latter sentence, Su Han yelled, his pretty face flushed, and he lowered his head, a little afraid to see Ziming's parents. But at this time, Zhu Ming's parents hadn't recovered. Besides, he gave birth to a son and wouldn't suffer. The two elders didn't care much. In contrast, they were more concerned about the factory's problems. Wang Fengkin asked Zhu Ming in a daze. After today's meeting, is the 760 factory Zhu Ming yours? It hasn't been officially handed over, and I haven't paid, but it's almost the same. Now Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun are arrested and then they only need to investigate the assets they embezzled, and then verify the prices of the assets in the factory. You can formally sign a contract and sell it to me, Ziming said. At that time, my dad will be the director of the factory, and your mom will be the deputy director of the factory. Zhang Ping hurriedly shook his head and said, this is not good. How can I be a factory manager as a worker? You should be Ziming. Wang Fengkin also said, yes. Don't be the factory manager for your dad. He doesn't know how to operate and manage. If you want to do technical work for him, he can do well, but he can't manage and manage it. Don't put you in the factory. It's broken. Ziming didn't care about this. Mom, don't worry, my dad can't bring down my factory. Ziming changed the conversation and said again, moreover, I specially hired a business expert for you to be the general manager. Xiao Han, Zhang Yuoping and Wang Fengkin turned their eyes to Su Han, and Su Han immediately shook his head and said, I don't know how to manage and develop Zhu Ming. Why don't you understand? In my opinion, you know Xiao Han very well, just use the way you run your small restaurant, Zhu Ming said. Su Han still shook his head and said, how can this be the same? Mine is a small restaurant. You are a factory of millions. Why is it different? It's obviously the same. As long as you let go of your hands and feet, Xion, I promise to bring our factory back to life. Zhu Ming then added, and this is only a few million, I as I have told you, this is only less than half of my assets. I still have at least 10 million yuan that I haven't brought back from Hong Kong City. No matter how the factory loses money, I can't see how fast I can make money. Wang Fengkin was a little puzzled, is this really okay? Ziming patted his chest and said, of course it's okay. Mom, you have to trust your son's vision. Chapter 78 Factor in News Question mark Bao, thank you Jetpk for your monthly pass support. Ziming, look at the factory, there is big news about your face today. In the evening, Ziming, his parents and Su Han were sitting under the tree at the door to enjoy the cool after dinner. They saw Jiang running from a distance, shouting excitedly at Zhu Ming while running. Looking at Jiang who was panting, Zhu Ming said with a smile, Daz Huang, why are you so anxious? You can't slow down. Zhu Ming asked Su Han to go back to the house to pour a glass of water to Jiang, and then said, 
drink your mouth and take a breath. I can't say anything slowly, but I really appreciate the publicity draft today. Thank you for taking it out for me. Up. What Ziming said was the propaganda draft he used to testify against Huang Zheng and Ma Jianzhen in the factory auditorium this morning. Originally, this propaganda draft was prepared by them and prepared to send it out. After confirming that the factory was contracted by them, manuscripts to keep prices down. In their previous lives, they did just that. Under the repeated publicity of the factory's propaganda department, in the end the whole staff easily accepted the price of 1.5 million yuan. But they might not even dream of it. This publicity draft that they are ready to make money will eventually become the first shot against them. Of course, this publicity draft has not been issued yet, and ordinary people cannot get it. Only Jangle, who works at the factory TV station, has this condition. So Zuming asked Jangle to pay attention to this point long before he went to Nanjiang, and Jang had always been keep in mind that as soon as I saw this publicity draft on the TV station, I tried to print it out and hand it over to Zuming as soon as Zuming came back. Jang shook his hand, and after breathing well, he said to Zuming, This is not a problem. Look at the factory station to broadcast your news soon. Factory 760 used to be a star unit in Nanhui County, and the benefits were very good. Under certain calls, it built its own factory TV station. In addition to broadcasting every morning, it can broadcast the news of the factory to the entire staff every three to five. It's just that TV sets are still a rare item these days. Zuming's family conditions are not good. In addition to the fact that Zuming had to go to school a few years ago, he didn't have the money to buy a TV. Therefore, he had to follow Jang to the workers activity center to watch it. This workers activity center is actually a small activity room next to the factory hall. There are table tennis and badminton balls in it, and two small black and white TVs, which are watched by people from the factory's logistics office. Since it was time to broadcast the factory news, when Zuming and the others came to the activity center, there were not many people in front of the TV. Zuming and Jang set up two benches and sat down together. Zuming, Zuming, it just happened to be your news. Su Han looked at the TV and hurriedly pulled Zuming's sleeve and said, Actually, without Su Han, Zuming also saw it. The news that happened to be broadcast this morning was the restructuring meeting. The spring breeze of reform is blowing all over the ground and we are walking in a great era of change. As the star unit of Nanhui County, our 760 factory has first undertaken the pilot task of enterprise restructuring. This morning, the Mayor Chen Die and the County Party Committee Secretary Gaping and other city and county leaders personally went to our factory to hold a corporate restructuring meeting. Today, more than 30 representatives of old employees attended the meeting. Hearing this unique passionate accent inherited from the last era made Zeming a little emotional, but I have to say that this accent is more energetic than some of the cute pretenders of later generations. Suddenly, Jiang touched Zeming with his elbow, don't be distracted, it's up to you. At the meeting, Mayor Chen Die announced that after the Municipal Party Committee and Government's research, he decided to contract the 760 factory by Hong Kong businessman Zuming. This decision reflects the outstanding vision and knowledge of the leaders of the Municipal Party Committee and Municipal Government, and Comrade Zuming also went from our factory. The revolutionary comrades who went out, at the beginning, Comrade Zuming returned from his studies. Seeing that the benefits of the factory are going down, he was anxious. So he resolutely responded to the call of the motherland for reform and opening up, and went to Hong Kong to learn advanced foreign experience. Hearing the announcer's words like praising revolutionary heroes, Zuming was stunned. He turned his head and looked at Jiang. You didn't write this press release, right? Jiang laughed and said, How about it? Not bad, right? I finally got this job from our leader. Our leader also knew that I had a good relationship with you. So he gave this job to me. What's this all about? Zuming sighed. But this press release seemed to Zuming to be completely nonsense. But seeing his parents, Suhan, and the other onlookers next to him, 
They were all listening attentively. Su Han's wonderful pairings his eyes were still full of gazes that admired him abnormally, and Zeming could only helpless. Perhaps in the eyes of people of this age, he should be so noble and so conscious. After reciting Zeming's glorious deeds, the announcer's words turned to Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun. Of course, compared to Zeming, Zhang Le's words were quite mean to them. What shameless worms of the 760 factory, they corrupted the atmosphere in the factory, they were beasts dressed in the cloak of leading carders, all of this was said. In the end, the announcer said, but the bad guys can't last long. Today, witnessed by all the representatives of our factory's old employees, Mayor Chen Die personally ordered the most stringent review of the two cysts. Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun, and wait for them. It will be a sanction by the party and the people. After reading the entire news, Zhang Lusked Ziming happily, How about? Is this news I wrote for you okay? Ziming said, I just feel ashamed. Ziming's words made his mother Wang Feng Kin unhappy. How do you say this kid? I read the news about Dia's Wang and wrote it very well. Su Han also stood on Wang Feng Kin's side and criticized Ziming. Aren't he is right? At any rate, Dia's Wang is helping you write news for publicity. How can you say that? Ziming raised his hands up high. Well, I was wrong, but with today's news, and even such a publicity for Dia's Wang, I am afraid that we will have nothing to say in the future. Wang Feng Kin and Su Han looked at Ziming in a puzzled way. Ziming explained to their mother-in-law and daughter-in-law, it's very simple. There were so many representatives of the old factory workers present at the restructuring meeting today. These people are all of us. The old fried dough sticks in the factory, they know that they were on the wrong team today, and they said that before the meeting. Now I am going to contract this factory. They will definitely come to visit us in order to keep their jobs. But they should have come long before they come. It's already night and they haven't come yet. Shouldn't they come? Su Han put forward his own thoughts. Ziming shook his head and said, I didn't come before because they still had illusions. They still wondered if I could really contract the factory. Now that the news comes out and I have been raised so high, they should be able to see the situation clearly. If you don't come again. Will you really wait for me to settle accounts after autumn? After Ziming said that Wang Feng Kin and Su Han had reacted to this. The so-called old employee representatives are all ghosts and ghosts, and they will definitely come for their own position. Then what should we do? Wang Feng Kin asked. Ziming spread his hands together, it doesn't matter. Dad will be the director of the factory in the future and you will be the deputy director of the factory. You can treat them as you used to treat those people in the factory, as if to prove Ziming's judgment. When Ziming's words fell, a few middle-aged people walked into the activity center. They walked in and saw Ziming hurriedly walk up with a smile on his face. He also shouted hello to Boss Zu. Ziming met these people in the morning, and they were one of the representatives of the old employees who attended the meeting. Seeing these people coming to say hello, Zagu Oping and Wang Feng Kin subconsciously stood up and greeted each other. Ziming knew that they were the leaders of their father's workshop. Now that his parents got up, Ziming couldn't sit still, so he and Su Han and Jiang both got up and greeted each other. Boss Zu, I thank you on behalf of the family members of all the employees. In fact, to tell you the truth, our veteran employee representatives have long been unfamiliar with what Huang Zheng and Ma Jianzhen did and what they did. It's a shame, it made the factory a miasma, and our veteran employee representatives were so angry that they didn't dare to say that. Now it's all right. Boss Zhu, you will take him down as soon as you come. It's really happy. The leader of an veteran employee, the representative gave Zhu Ming a thumbs up. Another veteran employee representative also praised Zhu Ming and said, Yes, we also know that they always secretly sell the equipment in the factory, and we have long been looking forward to the county's investigation. Another one said to his father, Old Zhu, you are really amazing, you really have a good son, don't look at the young man, this is not a small skill. As just mentioned in the news, Ziming is our factory is the number one person in the new era. I believe that under the leadership of Ziming, 
our factory will definitely restore its former glory. Hearing the flattery of these old employee representatives, Ziming raised his brows. You are afraid that I will retaliate against you in the future before you come to say good things, right? Facing Ziming's unceremonious remarks, these representatives of the old employees were all stiff, and then they laughed awkwardly. How can you, Boss Zhu? You are the big boss of Hong Kong City, the future director of the 760 factory. All the prime ministers can hold a boat in the belly. How can they have a common knowledge with us? That's hard to say. I have a very good memory. I still remember what happened this morning, Zuming said. These old employee representatives were stunned at this moment, but they were all human beings, and then they cried and said, Boss Zhu, what happened this morning is our bastards, and we are all so fainted. It is the well-known honest people in our factory. How could there be any problems? Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun instigated them at the time. They threatened us that if we didn't do that, they would fire us. There is nothing we can do. Seeing the exaggerated acting skills of these old employee representatives, Ziming waved his hands in disgust. If you are all right, go back first. There is something for me and my parents. Those old employee representatives also understood that Ziming was really annoying them, so they went out one by one with a smile and a good talk. Watching them go out, Su Han said, Ziming really let you talk. They really came to you to say something nice. This is just the beginning. We will be annoying in the next few days. Ziming said. Chapter 79 At that time this time, Ziming's words were like prophecies and perfectly predicted the situation in the next few days. Since the factory news was broadcast on the first day, several representatives of old workers came to the workers activity center to ask Ziming and his parents to apologize. These old workers the representative is like praying for immortals and worshipping Buddha. Every day you carry the souvenirs and I bring small gifts to Ziming's house in an endless stream. Of course, the representatives of these old employees are mostly grassroots carders in the factory. Although they are not high ranking, they are leaders on the one hand, and they are all of a certain age on the other hand, so they can still figure out the most basic routines. These people didn't stay in Ziming's house for a long time. If Ziming or Ziming's parents appeared impatient, they would leave immediately and never let Ziming get angry. As soon as I left, knowing that I was not here at the right time, I would be very polite and would not even enter the door and only give things to Ziming's house. In this way, in just three days, Ziming has a lot of things in his house, from local products to exquisite gifts, to pots and pans and other daily necessities, clothes and footwear. It can be said that there is everything that Ziming can't afford. No emotion, these people really took great pains for their own sake. In the morning, another group of guests was sent away. Looking at a beautiful wall calendar in the corner, Ziming said to his mother jokingly, Mom? Doesn't it feel a bit like a relative came to visit the house during their new year? Just like me and your dad, even if there are relatives who come to pay a new year's greetings, there will be so many things. As Wang Feng Kin sighed and said, he picked up the wall calendar, replaced the old wall calendar on the wall of the living room at home, and hung it in the bedroom. Ziming knows what his mother said is true. In the past. The family was poor and had to provide for herself to go to school. The factory happened to be profitable by people such as Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun. You can't hide, and you will come to your home with things, that is, a few uncles and aunts who have a particularly good relationship with parents will come to pay a New Year's greetings during the New Year. Ziming, I just saw Team Leader Li pass by. Didn't they just come to visit your house? A loud voice rang outside the door, and Zhu Ming knew that it was Zhang Le without turning his head. Zhu Ming turned around and saw Zhang Le just pushing the door in. I rely on being strong, can you guys have a lower voice in the future, before you hear him? It's a pity that you guys don't play wank siphing on the Red Mansion's crew, Zhu Ming said. Zhang Le scratched his head embarrassedly. Of course. Ziming wouldn't really care about this. Ziming asked, What good is it that you guy ran over today? It's not that you wrote another earth shattering press release, right? Hearing what Ziming said, Zhang suddenly patted his forehead, 
This time I really did it for a press release, Zhang Le said he took out a document to Ziming and explained to Ziming, this is the county party committee document transferred from the factory propaganda department this morning. In the document, the factory propaganda department is required to do a good job in propaganda work for the restructuring of the factory. Cooperate with the factory to prepare for the restructuring and welcome the wave of marketization. I was wondering if the restructuring of our factory is to give you Zuming, so I immediately ran to you and asked what was going on. Zuming nodded and said, that's right, this factory is going to give me an offer, and it will probably be officially signed in a few days. Damn. Zhang jumped up and said, Ziming, you guys are not kind. Don't tell me about such a big thing. I have to know about it from the documents of the factory's propaganda department, and you too it's not righteous. Ziming patted his ears that were sore by Zhang then spread his hands and said with a helpless expression, you can't blame me. I also called Mayor Chen only in the morning. I thought at the time, as long as you are still at work, I didn't want to disturb you. Who knew that the county party committee's work efficiency was so high this time, and the documents were sent to the factory so soon? Really? That's great. Will you be called Director Zhu in the future? Zhang laughed. Hurry up. I won't be the director of the factory. This director must be my dad. Let my mom be the deputy director of my dad, and then Xiao Han will be the general manager. Ziming said. That's right. Uncle used to be a model worker in the factory. He was a person who treated the factory like a factory owner all his life. I believe that everyone in the factory has no objection to letting his uncle be the director. As for Xiao Han, he is also a busyness minded person. It can be seen from the fact that she runs her small restaurant. Jangle was taken aback when he said this, because he suddenly noticed that Suhan was here, and he was immediately surprised. Xiao Han? Why are you still living in Ziming's house? Could it be that Suhan Bing Su is smart? Why didn't he know where Jangle thought of going? and suddenly there were two blushes on her pretty face. She glared at Jang and said, You guys, you guys, don't talk nonsense here, I just because my house is too much for the fellow Huang Zheng to live in, so I temporarily live in Ziming's house. When my house is finished, I will move back. Although Su Han glared at Jang's speech, Ziming heard Su Han always look a little lacking in confidence. Faced with Su Han, who had broken the window paper and was a bit tigress, Zhang Le scratched his head embarrassedly and said, Hey, actually, Xiao Han, you just live in Ziming's house for the rest of your life. Anyway, I think you guys are very good friends. Dot. Big Zhuang, you guys talk nonsense and beware that you can't find someone in your life. Su Han said with shame. Dot. After Zhang Le left, the factory responded to the call of the county party committee. From the factory party committee to the factory's propaganda department, they were all mobilized to do ideological work with the factory employees, in order to ensure the smooth progress of the restructuring. Regarding this, although Zhu Ming plans to set up the factory in the future, Zhu Ming also knows that this is just a formality. The restructuring of the factory is a political bonus. As long as their restructuring is successful and there is no worker trouble, the tasks of the leadership above will be successfully completed. Up. So in this state, anyway, there are people doing everything, Zhu Ming is happy to be a handoff shopkeeper, waiting for the day of signing, get the money ready pay the money in one hand and take the factory in the other hand. During this period, Zhu Ming's connection with Nanjiang in Gangqing was not broken. There was no surprise there. Lin Muqing's leadership ability was very strong, and there were elite soldiers like Wang Yanlong underneath. At the same time, Zhu Ming was originally before leaving. Leaving behind such a new concept of capital preservation fund, Lin Muqing made good use of these cards in her hands to enable Jin Ming Fund to steadily increase its popularity in Hong Kong. In many cases, the popularity equals the expansion of assets. Compared with the time when Zhu Ming left Hong Kong City, the Jin Ming Fund has increased its capital holdings by 3 million. On the Nanjiang side, the Nanjiang municipal government has officially set a date for the auction of land, and the first governmental land auction in China is finally about to begin. Zhu Ming asked Du Peng to do more activities. Regardless of the piece of land, 
as long as it is the land that appears in this auction, it will be taken as far as possible, and the lowest possible price must be used. If there are other unexpected circumstances, it must be notify yourself at once. As for the old employee representatives, they are still very diligent and close to Zhu Mingtao, but they are not as old-fashioned as before. In this way, a few days passed quickly and as all aspects of the work in the 760 factory were ready, the city finally set a date for signing the contract. October 23rd was the day when the 760 factory was officially sold to Zeming. The signing ceremony was also held in the factory auditorium. On this day, everything seemed to be a repeat of a month ago. In the morning, Zeming, his parents and Su Han all got up early to wash and eat breakfast. At nine o'clock in the morning, Zhu Ming and the others set off from home and went directly to the factory auditorium. Dot. Those who attended the signing ceremony were also the representatives of the old employees from the factory last time, but their attitude was completely opposite to the last time. The last time they saw Zhu Ming, they were booed, but this time, when Ziming when they walked into the auditorium with their parents and Su Han, the representatives of these old employees all stood up and applauded Zhu Ming. Boss Zhu is good. Our 760 factory was not profitable in the past. Today we finally welcome you as the boss of Hong Kong City. We will follow you and work hard. I believe you will lead us out of the predicament and create a more brilliant future for the 760 factory tomorrow. Some people also praised Zhu Ming's parents, Lao Zhu is truly a model worker in our factory. Even in the most difficult period in the factory, he did not give up contributing to the factory. He also taught us unlike boss Zhu, Lao Zhu. You are our spiritual leader, the pride and role model for the families of our employees. Listening to these words, although they knew that this might not be their true word, Zhang Yuoping and Wang Fengkin were still very excited, especially Wang Fengkin shed tears of excitement. Zeming can understand the feelings of his parents at this time. After all, during the two months he left, under the control of Huang Zheng and Ma Jian Jun, the factory first made a fuss about his father's visit to the city center hospital to slander his father. He disobeyed the factory regulations and suspended his father's duties and let his father go home to reflect. Later, he slandered his father's previous job and deceived the leaders in the factory. Then, it was the mother who slandered his mother for stealing things from the factory. At that time, they had the absolute right to speak. Their fathers and mothers couldn't argue with each other, so that at that time their parents didn't know how much anger they had suffered in the factory and how much they had been blinded on the road, but fortunately, now they are suffering. And Suhan, her eyes are red at this time. In fact, Suhan was also very bitter. At that time, she was obviously bullied by Huang Zheng. But Huang Zheng relied on the family relationship to beat him down. On the contrary, he slandered Su Han to seduce him, insulting Su Han is a shameless bitch, and even let his wife I came to find Su Han to make trouble, find someone to read big character posters in Su Han's small restaurant, then people would spit at her when she was walking on the road. But now it is all right. She walked on the carpet in the factory hall with her head upright, Facing the dozens of representatives of the old workers in the factory, they would never say a bad word. Thinking of this, Su Han looked at Ziming who was walking in the front. Her eyes were blurred. She knew very well that it was this man who helped her make these changes, just like what he said to the mayor and these old employee representatives that day. That's the justice he got back for himself. Chapter 80 The Thousand Staff Conference Question mark Amid the applause and applause of all the old employee representatives, Ziming. His parents and Su Han came to the first row of the auditorium and sat down in the middle of the auditorium. After a while, Lin Yang Mayor Chen Die and the county party committee officials walked into the auditorium. All stood up to applaud the leader. Chen Die came to Zhu Ming and said to Zhu Ming, Mr. Zhu is a well-known entrepreneur in Hong Kong City. I heard that he was also a hero who turned the tide when the economic crisis broke out in Hong Kong City. This time Mr. Zhu returned to Lin Yang Panxia 760 factory to support the motherland's reform and opening up policy. 
Today is the big day for the 760 factory to sign the contract. Let's join me on stage with Mr. Zhu. Hearing Chen Da's words, all the county officials behind him suddenly showed very surprised expressions. This is not to say that Chen Da would not do something close to the people, but after the last restructuring meeting, Chen Da when I went back to the county to hold a summary meeting, I slapped the table and even pointed to the nose of the county party committee secretary Gaping and cursed him for being incapable of organizing. It is precisely because of this that when the city decided to formally give the 760 factory to Zeming, the county immediately issued a document to the 760 factory, requesting that the factory must do all the publicity work and do a good job in the staff. Ideological work we must ensure that there will be no more accidents. Everyone thinks that Chen Dia has a very poor impression of Zeming. In fact, if such a thing happens, no matter which official is changed, I am afraid that there will be no good mood. However, today Chen Dia took the initiative to invite Zeming to join him on stage. This is a remarkable thing. No matter how rich Zeming is, Chen Dia is the head of a city in Line Yang. He doesn't need to show Zeming at all. Unless Zuming has something hidden under the water. Thinking of this, the gazes of many county officials looked at Zuming became in awe. Zuming and Chen Dia came to the stage side by side. The entire signing ceremony was nothing commendable. The process was dull and boring. It was just that Chen Dia first announced the big policy guidelines, and then encouraged Zuming. Zuming said that he would uphold it. The general policy of the municipal party committee and the municipal government is to promote the 760 spirit as its mission. It will definitely make the 760 factory bigger and stronger, and live up to the expectations of the municipal party committee and municipal government and the family members of the entire plant. Finally, under the witness of Chen Da, Zuming and the secretary of the county party committee Gaping signed a contract with each other. There was an enthusiastic applause at the scene. Everyone knew that from this moment onwards, the 760 factory would be surnamed Zhu. At the end of the signing ceremony, Wang Chunhui, the old factory director of the 760 factory, stepped onto the stage. This is an old senior who is very experienced in Nanhui County. Zuming's parents were in awe when they saw him. Even the county party secretary Gaping saw him. He had to call the old factory director respectfully. The old factory manager, he gave up his job in the province and voluntarily transferred to Nanhui County as the factory manager. He has been in this position for more than 10 years. There are many opportunities for promotion but he gave up. Therefore, it is very prestigious in the factory and even in the entire Nanhui County. Seeing this old factory manager stepping up to the stage, Zuming took the initiative to step forward and said, Hello, old factory manager about the position of the factory manager in the future. The old factory director is so sophisticated. Of course he guessed what Zeming wanted to say, so he waved his hand and said, I'm old, the factory director can't do it, so let's do it for you young people. Zeming nodded and said to Wang Chunhua, thank you, the old factory director, but Secretary Ga said that the county committee retains the party branch in the factory and will invite you to be the party branch secretary at that time. What do you think? Well, then Secretary Ga is too dear to my old bone. Wang Chunhu said, Gaping, the secretary of the county party committee, was just beside him. He heard it and said, the old factory manager is polite. You are the old revolutionary of Ananhui County. You are also the most thought conscious leading cadre of the 760 factory, regardless of policy and how to change the situation is for better development in the factory, but the spirit in you, the old factory director, can never be lost. Wang Chanhui laughed, then looked up and down Zuming a few times, patted Zuming's shoulder, and said earnestly, Young people are very hardworking, but some things may not be what you think. After the 760 factory, it will be yours. Once it's set, I can't do anything with this sold bone. It's up to you whether the 760 factory can regain its former glory. Wang Chunhua's words surprised Zhu Ming. Obviously, the old factory director meant something, but before Zhu Ming asked more questions, the old factory director left. After the old factory director left, 
Another deputy factory director K.I. Zongxian walked over. He smiled and said to Ziming, Boss Zhu, the workers' assembly is ready. I don't know when you plan to go there. Ziming grew up in the 760 factory, and he is basically clear about the leaders of the factory. Although there are many deputy directors in the factory, most of them are named leaders. Only Ma Jianjun and K.I. Zongxian have real power. Compared with Ma Jianjun, K.I. Zongxian is usually a loc, but because his name is very similar to a famous eunuch in history, he is also called 9,000 years old in the factory. Compared with Ma Jianjun, Ziming has relatively little understanding of this 9,000 year old, but judging from his ability to control the real power of the factory together with Ma Jianjun, he is not a fuel efficient lamp. Ziming nodded and said, Okay. I will go there when Mayor Chen and county leaders are sent away. Ziming just finished talking here, and Chen Die's secretary over there asked Ziming to take a group photo. After Ziming took a photo with Mayor Chen Die and other county officials, he followed K.I. Zongxian to the factory. At this time, an old factory building had been cleared out of the factory, and by the time Ziming arrived, there were already nearly a thousand employees waiting here. It was Ziming's idea to convene a workers' meeting. After all, it was just a signing ceremony that could only represent official recognition. Through this workers' meeting, Ziming could tell everyone that the 760 factory would be named Zhe from now on. My father, Zhang will be the new director of the 760 factory from today. Walking into the factory, there was thunderous applause. Ziming, his parents and Su Han walked onto the rostrum together. Ziming wanted his parents to speak first, but watching the black and overwhelming crowd of nearly a thousand people below, Zhang Guoping and Wang Fengkin were instinctively timid, and Ziming had to go forward and speak first. Hello, comrades from the 760 factory, I am Ziming, the son of Zhang Guoping. I believe some of you should know me and everyone else should have heard of my name. I stand here now, just want to tell you guys, at the signing ceremony hosted by Mayor Chen and other county leaders, the 760 factory has been officially contracted by me, Ziming said. Since the propaganda and ideological work in the factory was done very well before, now facing Ziming, there are still some whispers below, but overall there is no big commotion. This situation made Zhu Ming very satisfied. He went on to say, Next, I will read out a personnel appointment and dismissal. First, the old factory manager Wang Chunhu voluntarily resigned from the county as factory manager of the 760 factory, and only served as the secretary of the factory party branch, the factory director. Zhu Guoping will hold the position and Wang Fengkin will be the deputy factory director. At the same time, the 760 factory will set up the 760 limited liability company in the future, with Su Han as the general manager, managing all internal and external affairs of the factory. Regarding the appointment and dismissal announced by Zhu Ming, all the employees of the factory below are not surprised. After all, people don't die for themselves. Which person with power would not want to arrange a good position for the family in the factory? Which leader in the factory did not do this? Not to mention that the entire 760 factory is now contracted by Zhu Ming. If he doesn't arrange for his parents to be the leader of the factory director and deputy factory director, that would be a big dishonor. In addition, I would like to inform you about one thing. Today, there is news from the county party committee. The interrogation of former deputy factory director Ma Jianjun and former sales office director Huang Zheng has achieved a major breakthrough. It has been confirmed that they have stolen state-owned assets and organizations. The fact of adultery. Now 15 people, including Ma Jianjun, Huang Zheng and their family members, have been moved to the procuratorate, and prosecution will be filed in the near future. Zhu Ming's tone was very flat but it caused an uproar in the bottom. These are all employees of the 760 factory. In this era, most of them have never traveled far in their lives. In their hearts, the factory leader who holds the power is the sky, but now they have not expected, who is also a child of an ordinary worker in the factory, actually stabbed this sky upside down, 
which is really unbelievable. For some other grassroots carders and representatives of old workers, they were frightened, because they all knew that the reason why Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun were so easily imprisoned was basically planned by Zhu Ming. What worries them even more is that they used to look down on Zhu Ming's family, and they bullied their family together with Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun, to see if Zhu Ming's method would retaliate on themselves. Looking at the faces of these people below, how could Zhu Ming not know what they were thinking? But Zhu Ming just didn't say it, just let them always be afraid of themselves. If the boss doesn't have this fear, then maybe these will climb to his parents one day. Zhu Ming pressed his hands down to signal the lower voice to be quieter, and then continued, the affairs of Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun are a wake-up call for us, especially the leading carders in the factory. Hearing Zhu Ming's words, the carders below all shuddered subconsciously, but I believe this is more of a spur to encourage us to continue to work hard. Zhu Ming continued, in response to the city's support for the major policy of our factory restructuring, the 760 factory will usher in a major event in the future. In the future, we will break the current production model of big pot rice and use a more advanced record model that links wages and work efficiency in the future to improve our work efficiency. Zhu Ming paused at this point, and then continued, but before that, I know that our factory has not paid wages for three months due to poor efficiency. I can assure you that it will be next week at the latest. One, all the wages in arrears will be sent to everyone. Zhu Ming's words fell and the bottom immediately boiled. Nearly a thousand workers happily waved their arms and shouted in excitement, Long live Director Zhu. You are here to save our Guanxi and Bodhisattva, Director Zhu. No matter what you are, Director Zhu. We must all raise our hands to support how we want to reform. Listening to the following cheers one after another made Zhu Ming a little embarrassed. These lovely workers, they just did what they should do but they didn't expect to behave like gods to these people. Chapter 81 The New Leader Question mark In the evening, in the box of the factory guest house, Zhu Ming took his parents Su Han to a meal with K.I. Zongxian and the carders in the factory. This was a celebration dinner for the new owner of Zhu Ming, a family carder in the factory. K.I. Zongxian asked the guest house to serve good wine and food, and then brought a group of carders to a toast. Master Zhu, now it should be called Director Zhu and Factory Manager Wang, as well as Boss Zhu and Manager Su, on behalf of all the family members of the factory employees, we toast you a cup. Congratulations on becoming the new leader of our 760 factory. After that, K.I. Zongxian took the lead and had a drink. Zhu Oping and Wang Fengkin were both honest people. Seeing these former factory leaders toasting to themselves, they subconsciously accompany each other to drink, saying that Director K.I. was polite. With their parents like this, Zhu Ming and Su Han could only accompany K.I. Zongxian to drink together. Then K.I. Zongxian poured another glass of wine and said, in recent years, the factory has not been profitable. Paying workers has always been a difficult problem, but today Zhu as soon as the boss came, he solved the problem that has plagued our factory for many years. Boss Zhu is really a great savior sent to our factory. On behalf of all the employees and families in the factory, I thank Boss Zhu very much. You are a mouthful in the desert. Tanjing, even in the twelfth lunar month of the cold winter, we are sending carbon and selling charcoal to the people. We will offer you another drink to Boss Zhu. Where did Zhu Oping and Wang Fengkin have been so flattered? especially the former factory leaders, the two elders hurriedly waved their hands and said, Director K.I. is too polite. We are also part of the factory. This is what we should do. Zhu Ming also said to K.I. Zongxian at this time, Yes, Director K.I., my father, mother, and Su Han can't drink. Don't respect this wine. Facing Zhu Ming's words, K.I. Zongxian's expression was unnaturally stunned. Obviously, it was the ordinary workers in the factory who did not give face. He was a little surprised, but he also understood that with the restructuring of the 760 factory, Zhu Ming has become too. The supreme owner of the factory does not need to give him this face at all. To understand this, K.I. Zongxian put a smile on his face and said, That's right, Boss Zhu, 
You see that I haven't turned my mind at this moment. Director Zhu is a person who has undergone surgery. Both Director Wang and Manager Su it's a lesbian. There will definitely be some taboos. K.I. Zongxian is worthy of being a 9,000 year old in the factory. Ziming followed his words and said, but again, even though my parents have taboos, I am okay here. Everyone here is the backbone of the factory. Although the factory is now restructured, the overall the management and operation still depend on your uncles. As long as the efficiency of our factory is good, I will definitely not treat everyone badly in terms of salary. I think our salary level should at least be in line with Nanjian. Hearing Zuming's promise, everyone in the room brightened their eyes. Boss Zhu is too interesting, you can rest assured. Boss Zhu, we will definitely fulfill our duties and create a brilliance tomorrow for the 760 factory together with Boss Zhu. Then I am here to thank you all. Ziming said that he raised his wine glass, and Suhan had a drink with these people instead of his parents. Dot. The second day was also the first day after Ziming went to the 760 factory. Ziming. His parents and Suhan got up early and went to the factory. This was originally the daily work process of Zhu Ming's parents, but today is different. They all went to the workshop, but today they went directly to the office building. K.I. Zongxian and a group of factory officials greeted Zhu Ming under the building, and K.I. Zongxian personally took Zhu Ming and them to their offices. Originally the offices of the four factory directors and deputy directors were vacated. Zhang Yuoping and Wang Fengken were assigned to the original factory office, Su Han was assigned to the original office of Ma Jian Jun, and Zhu Ming's office was let out by K.I. Zongxian. In response, Zhu Ming glanced at him and said, Director K.I., you are also an old carder in our factory. My parents and my mum used to work under your leadership. Now even though I have taken the factory, I still hope that everything will be business as usual. Since this is Director K.I.'s office, it is still your office. You should not move. The trouble of moving around has also delayed your work. How can this work? What do you want to do with Boss Zhu? Or Boss Zhu doesn't think my office is good enough? K.I. Zongxian asked in surprise. Of course not, Zhu Ming said, shaking his head, I came back from Hong Kong City without fake, but I didn't catch the bad capitalist habits of Hong Kong City. I said that it is not really necessary. As for my office, dot. Zhu Ming pointed to Su Han's office and said, I think Ma Jianjin's office is quite large. I'm afraid that Su Han is afraid of her in that office alone so we'll just work with her. K.I. Zongxian immediately showed a sudden smile, it turns out that Boss Zhu had planned for it a long time ago, but I am good at advocating. K.I. Zongxian didn't doubt what Zhu Ming and Su Han had. On the contrary, if they had nothing, he would be surprised. After all, seeing Su Han wearing that formal dress and high heels today, and also painted a touch of professional attire, even if he is the famous 9,000 year old, it is tickling, let alone Ziming, a young and energetic guy, listen, it is not surprising to say that they have been childhood sweethearts since childhood, now that Ziming has proposed to be in the same office with Su Han, and the other young couple want to live in a topperson world, let them go, anyway, the 760 factory is not a collective unit in that county in the past. It is already a privately contracted factory by Zhu Ming. Since it is his site, it is not what he wants to do. Besides doing it, I can only do it. Zhu Ming was too lazy to explain to K.I. Zongxian, so he just guessed it. After K.I. Zongxian was sent away, Zhu Ming walked into Su Han's office. This was originally the office of Ma Jian Jun the deputy director of the factory. Zhu Ming looked around the office and nodded silently. Although Ma Jianjun is not very good, he is still very tasteful. At least this office is not very fancy. The whole is very simple. The entrance is the reception room with sofas. On the coffee table, there is still a picture of galloping horses hanging on the wall. Inside is a large desk, a boss chair. Behind the desk is a bookcase. There are many books in it and a box of high hen tea. Finally, Zhu Ming's eyes fell on Su Han. Seeing Su Han standing by his desk, Zhu Ming couldn't help asking, Xion, what are you doing here? Why don't you sit down? Zhu Ming, you are the boss. Of course, 
Only you can sit in this position. Su Han replied. It turned out to be for this reason. Ziming reluctantly said to Su Han in the past. Xion, this office will be called the manager's office in the future. As the name suggests, it is your office, the general manager of the 760 factory. So of course you are sitting here. Ziming asked Su Han to sit down as she spoke, but she stood up again as soon as she touched the chair. Faced with Ziming, she desperately shook her head, no, it's Ziming you sit here and I feel at ease. You feel at ease, I'm not at ease. Ziming said, Xion, think about how far I am now. There is a fund company in Hong Kong City and a real estate company in Nanjian. Now I have to take care of this. 760 factory, I'm afraid of pulling the egg with such a big step, can't you let me stop? Su Han lowered his head, I'm sorry. Then I will sit here and be the general manager for you, and just help my uncles and aunts manage the factory. Ziming smiled and said, This is my good little Han. Su Han suddenly thought of something at this time, and Ziming said in vain, But what did you just talk about, Ziming? Was it a mess? It's so ugly, real rascal. Ziming stayed for a while. Of course, it wasn't because Su Han was complaining. But Su Han's shy look was so beautiful. She pouted a small moist mouth, and there were two lovely blushes on her pretty face. Look, it looks like a ripe little apple, and it makes people want to take a bite. Seeing Zhu Ming's expression, Su Han's heart beat quickly, and she nervously said, Zhu Ming, what are you doing looking at me like this? Xion, you are so beautiful, my eyes can't bear to leave you. Zhu Ming said, listening to Zhu Ming's direct words. Su Han's pretty face turned red. She lowered her head hard and said shyly, Ziming, what are you talking about? Shame. Su Han's voice is like a mosquito, but it's just like that. It's even more sweet to the heart, making people feel itchy. If you don't consider that today is the first day to come to the factory, K.I. Zongxian is very close. He might come over at any time. Ziming really wished he could hug Su Han and give him a kiss. Ziming swallowed hard, and worked hard to shake Chi Nian out of her mind, and then said to Su Han, Xion, since you are now the general manager of the factory, then I won't be kidding you, you want to get into the role as soon as possible, and think of ways to modify the out of date rules and regulations in the factory. Turning away from the shameful things of men and women and talking about work. Su Han calmed down. She nodded and said, This is for sure. The factory has always been eating big pots of rice. Anyway, if you do more or less, you can get the money. There is no enthusiasm for the workers. It is better than the reform plan proposed by Zhu Ming at yesterday's thousands of workers conference. You completely smashed the big pot of rice. Instead record the work of the employees in the form of records and calculate the wages according to the work efficiency of the employees. It can make people more motivated. Ziminjin said in a loud voice, then Xion, think about it from this perspective, and come up with a practical reform plan as soon as possible. I know, leave this to me, I will take it out as soon as possible. Su Han said. At this time, the door of Su Han's office was knocked. Ziming and Su Han turned their heads subconsciously, and saw Wang Fengkin push the door in. This made Zhu Ming secretly relieved. Fortunately, he just held it back. If he was hit by his mother, it would be troublesome. However, the first sentence Wang Fengkin came in to say made Zhu Ming and Su Han stunned. Your dad is not used to it, Wang Fengkin said. Chapter 82 Master Zhu. Zhu Ming and Su Han hurriedly followed Wang Fengkin to the factory director's office. They saw Zhu Gu Oping standing in the office. Zhu Ming asked in surprise, Dad, what are you standing there for? Why don't you sit? Your dad usually stays on the bed for a day when he goes to work in the factory. He has been used to standing for a long time. Where can he sit down? Wang Fengkin said. When Zhu Gu Oping saw Zhu Ming coming in, he came up and said to him, Ziming, you should arrange for me to go to the workshop, I am not used to this office, so I should drive my lathe to rest assured, dad, it's so comfortable here, a cup of tea and a newspaper can spend a day, how easy it is, and air conditioning, Ziming said, Wang Fengkin said, 
your dad is just a worker. How can he be free? You let him play the air conditioning here and read the newspaper. It's easy to relax, and it's cool here, but he just feels uncomfortable. My dad is a model of hard work and getting rich. If he evaluates the advanced model of the factory again this year, it will definitely be my dad. Ziming smiled. In the previous life, because his father passed away early, Ziming's memory of his father is no longer so profound. Now that he is mentioned by his mother, Ziming suddenly remembered some things about his father in the past. His father was indeed such a hard-working person. Since his father didn't want to sit in the office, Ziming had to arrange his father back to the workshop, using the old lathe in his old workshop. Ziming and Suhan accompanied their father to the workshop, while their mother stayed in the factory director's office. On the way into the factory, Ziming said to his father, Dad, the entire factory is owned by us anyway, and I have businesses in Nanjiang and Gangqing. We are not short of money at all at home, and there are so many people in the factory. I'm working for our family, so don't fight like that. You had an operation. If you feel unwell, sit down and rest. Don't force yourself, okay? Zagu Oping nodded and said, well, I just do it casually, otherwise I can't sit still if you let me sit in the office. Ziming smiled and nodded. In fact, Ziming also understands that it is very leisurely to sit in the office every day as a factory manager, but in this era, a newspaper and a cup of tea are sitting in the office a day. It is really not ordinary people can sit down. Of before entering the factory. I saw workshop director Wang leading a few people at the door from afar. Zuming knew that K.I. Zongxian must have notified this side. Hello Boss Zhu, welcome Boss Zhu and Director Zhu to inspect the workshop. Director Wang said enthusiastically. Zuming waved his hand and said, I'm not here to inspect, I'm sending my dad to work. Unexpectedly, Director Zhu has already become the factory manager and came to experience the life of ordinary workers in the workshop. This spirit of making the factory home is worth learning from everyone in the factory. Director Wang admired. Zhu Ming was too lazy to talk too much nonsense with him, and asked directly, Is my dad's lathe still there? Director Wang hurriedly nodded and said, Of course. Lao Zi has always been an advanced model worker in our workshop. He was only unjustly wronged before. We all firmly believe that Lao Zi will definitely come back. His lathe has been kept there for him. Zhu Ming nodded and did not speak, and accompanied his father into the workshop. The lathe from Zhu Gu Oping was in the middle position. All the way, workers were greeting his father and saying hello to his father. Old Master Zhu, you are back but you are the most powerful master in our workshop, if you don't have a problem, we don't know who to call. The words of these workers made the workshop director Wang's eyes stare, what are you talking about? Now Master Zhu is the director of the factory. It was the workshop director. When he stared, these workers were afraid to speak. Zhu Oping said to director Wang, don't be so angry, director Wang. In fact, I am more willing to listen to them calling me than Director Zhu. Master Zhu, kind. Hearing what Zhu Oping said, these workers became happy again. I said Master Zhu is a good person, someone who speaks to our workers, and will never forget our old brother in a workshop. It is us now that Master Zhu is the factory director. What I want to see most is the good factory manager who really takes charge of us. Uncle's reputation in the factory is very good. Everyone is speaking for Uncle. Su Han whispered to Zhu Ming. Zhu Ming nodded to Su Han and said yes. In the few memories, Zhu Ming still remembers that his father is such a person. He usually doesn't speak honestly but he does things meticulously and willingly, a workshop, no matter what questions the workers ask him, he will teach them carefully until they explain clearly to the other party. In addition, Zhu Oping has no temper. He has been working in the factory for half his life, and he has never blushed with anyone. So now his father is the factory director and the workers in the workshop are also very supportive. When he came to his father's lathe, his father patted the lathe and said, old man, I haven't been here for two months. I don't know if you are rusted. In this regard, Director Wang next to him said, Director Zhu, 
your lathe workshop will be regularly maintained. Just now I knew that you were coming, I also debugged it. It must be no problem, Zaguo Ping thanked Director Wang, and then started debugging the lathe. After seeing that everything was running normally, the sailing car came over and put a mold on it. Zaguo Ping looked at the drawing and adjusted the angle of the turning tool before starting the lathe. Dot. As the lathe started and the roar of the machine rang, Zaguo Ping found a familiar feeling. Seeing his father's happy appearance, Ziming went up and said, Dad, if you are doing it here, you can ask Director Wang for anything. Anyway, you can do it if you want to do it, and don't do it if you don't want to do it. It doesn't matter if you do it badly, Zaguo Ping said after he knew it. He waved his hand to let Ziming go back first, it's so noisy here. You go back first. Ziming nodded and said yes. Then he pulled Director Wang aside and said, Dr. Wang, my dad is working here. You are the workshop director here. Whether it is safety or other things, my dad will do everything. Please. Director Wang nodded and said, Boss Zu, just put a hundred and twenty hearts. You have seen the situation just now, Boss Zu. Director Zu was originally the most respected teacher in our workshop and he has also been the most respected teacher in our workshop. He's the first model worker who is now the factory director and has worked tirelessly in the workshop. What I said will help Boss Zhu take good care of him. Ziming patted Director Wang on the shoulder and said, Thank you, Director Wang. After talking, Ziming thought about it again, and then said, Director Wang, I know that your family is also having a bit of difficulty recently. After I go back, I will give you some personal allowances and compensation, and I will give you more than 200 yuan a month. Hearing this, Director Wang's eyes brightened, and he excitedly said, more than 200 yuan a month. Boss Zhu, are you serious? This has helped me offer a full three-level post-level treatment. Isn't that a problem? You call me Boss Zhu, what's the problem? Ziming said, and this allowance is not included in the salary. But I personally want you to help take care of my father, and it's my personal issue. Bonuses are not included in the salary and do not violate any regulations. Director Wang was stunned. Of course. He also understood that Ziming is now the owner of the entire 760 factory, and that Ziming's identity is not comparable to that of the previous factory director. At least the previous factory director has to be restrained by the county. But now the entire 760 factory is really up to Ziming alone. Under such circumstances, who is going to increase his salary? Isn't that a matter of one sentence? But that's it. Ziming still follows the rules. He wants to take care of his father who works in the workshop. He personally pays 200 bonuses for himself every month, so that he doesn't let others talk about it. This is meticulous. Worthy of being the big boss back from Hong Kong City. Thinking of this, Director Wang suddenly respected Ziming. Please rest assured, Boss Zhu. I will take good care of Director Zhu, Ziminjin said. Although Director Wang's promise sounds almost the same as before, Ziming can tell that he was just being respectful to his boss, but now, he is sincerely trying to help himself take care of his father. Dot. After all, in this era, working in the factory for a month is only a salary of early 100, even if Director Wang is a workshop director. His monthly salary is not more than 300, and now he immediately promised to give him a bonus of 200 per month. It's almost equal to his monthly salary. How can he not be grateful to himself, especially when something has happened in his family and he needs money? It's just that for Ziming, 200 yuan is not worth mentioning, let alone 200 yuan a month, even if it is 2 million yuan a month. As long as it can be exchanged for the safety and happiness of his father, Ziming will not blink. Dot. Director Wang, as long as you work hard and do things down to earth like my father, I won't treat you badly. Ziming confessed to Director Wang that he was about to leave, but at this moment, when he heard a noise coming from the door of the workshop, Ziming was a little surprised and asked Director Wang, What happened there? It's nothing. It may be a dispute between the workers. This is a common occurrence in the workshop. I'll take a look. Director Wang said. Director Wang said this, 
But Ziming noticed that his expression was a little unnatural just now, Ziming has reason to judge that this matter might not be as simple as the disputes between workers as he said. So Ziming waved his hand, okay, let's go over and see what happened. Director Wang froze for a moment and persuaded Ziming, boss Zu, don't go there. They are all working workers. They are dirty and unreasonable. In case you do something wrong with me, but I can't afford it. What's wrong with the workers? Isn't my dad also a worker in the factory? If I didn't go to school, I would also be a worker in the factory. Seeing what Director Wang wanted to say, Ziming finally made a decision. Okay, don't talk about it. Since I am the owner of this factory, I have a reason to understand everything that happened in the factory. Let's go over. Director Wang nodded and said yes. Chapter 83 I will pay if I have no money in the factory. Let me in, why don't you let me in? I'm looking for Director Wang. Our old Jiang is still at home waiting for the money from the factory to save his life. Sister Fang, it's not that we let you in. But the director is inspecting work in the workshop. Is Director Wang here? That's right. I'll ask Director Wang to say that this factory does not care about the life and death of the employees. If you don't let me in, I will die with you today. Dot. When Ziming and Director Wang came over, they saw a few workshop workers stopping a woman who was in her thirties at the door and preventing her from entering the workshop. This woman looked anxious and had to go in, and was noisy here. Yes, it should have been a while since Ziming and Director Wang arrived here and there were already many workers watching here. Ziming was surprised when he saw this woman, Aunt Xiao Fang. This woman Ziming knew her. Her name was Wan Fang. She was the wife of Zhang Jianjun, an apprentice brought by her father. Although the apprentice's name was the same as the annoying deputy director of Ma, their personalities were completely different, perhaps with by his father's side. Zhang Jianzhen's personality resembled his father's ears and eyes. They were both honest and kind. His wife Wang Fang was also a very good person. Ziming called her Xiao Fang auntie. Ziming also, I remember that when I was a child, Aunt Xiao Fang often bought snacks for herself without telling her parents. Hearing Ziming's voice, Wang Fang was also taken aback. She didn't expect to see Ziming here. Why are you here? Ziming. But then she saw Director Wang next to Ziming again, and immediately went up and said, Director Wang, you are great here. We can't delay things on Lao Zhang's side. I beg you, you must help quickly. Let's solve it. Director Wang glanced at Ziming with a little embarrassment. Seeing Ziming also looking at him, Director Wang immediately said to Wan Fang with a straight face, Wan Fang, the factory already knows about your family's affairs and is working to help you solve it at home. You also know that the current deficiency of the factory is not good. Don't cry here. If something happens, be careful that I call the factory security office to arrest you. Wang Fang said, Director Wang, I don't want to make trouble here, but the situation of Lao Jiang in my family really can't be dragged on any longer. I beg you, Director Wang, you must save Lao Jiang in my family. Wang Fang. Director Wang said solemnly, I said that your family is thinking of ways in the factory. Go back quickly and don't make trouble here. I'm not leaving. Wan Fang cried and cried. You always say to think of a way, but do you really think of a way? Our old Jiang is now lying in the hospital. Can you all go and see? Hearing what Wan Fang said, Ziming frowned and asked Director Wang, what's the matter? Facing Ziming's questioning, Director Wang hesitated and couldn't say anything. Ziming stepped forward and said to Wan Fang, Aunt Xiao Fang, don't worry, what happened? Can you tell me about it? Seeing Ziming, Wan Fang came up and grabbed Ziming's hand as if he had caught the last straw. Ziming, Aunt Xiao Fang knows that you are a good boy. You can help Aunt Xiao Fang find the Director Wang, okay? They said that Director Wang is now inspecting in the workshop. Ziming knew that Wan Fang was talking about the former Director Wang Chunhui, Aunt Xiao Fang. Director Wang is not here, and he has already resigned from his position as director. If you have anything to do with me, it is the same. When Ziming finished speaking, she saw Wan Fang's body swayed. Her eyes suddenly became empty as if she had lost vitality, and her face was filled with despair. She pointed at Director Wang and said, Liar, 
you are all liars, you are all lying to me, are you, you are also lying to me when you say that the factory is researching and that the factory manager is inspecting work here, right, seeing her like this, Zuming hurriedly said, Aunt Xiaofang, don't worry, now my dad is the director of the 760 factory, what you have to say to me is the same, Wan Fang smiled miserably at Zuming, Zuming, I know you are a good boy, so don't lie to your aunt Xiao Fang. Director Wang said to Wan Fang, what he said is true. Master Zhu is indeed the director of our factory now. Is this true? Wan Fang rekindled hope, and she hurriedly said to Ziming, Ziming, then you must tell your dad that our old Jiang is going to be dying in the hospital now. This made Zhu Ming's heart startled. He promptly asked Su Han to inform his father. After a while, his father hurried over with Su Han, and then they followed Wan Fang to the factory hospital. Seeing his father, Wan Fang hurriedly said, Master Zhu, I heard that you are now the director of the factory. This is great. You must save our old Jiang. Aunt Xiao Fang, don't worry, let's go to the hospital to see Uncle Jiang. You tell us what's going on. Ziming said. Wan Fang had no sense at this time. Hearing Ziming's words, she promised to be okay and rushed to the hospital with Ziming and the others. Along the way, after listening to Wan Fang's account, Ziming finally understood this matter. It turned out that just last week, Zhang Jianjun was inadvertently scalded by iron pins when he was at work. It was a large number of iron pins that burned his entire back. Although he was sent to the hospital for emergency treatment in the first place, he was a small child in this era. After all, the conditions in Xiacheng Hospital were not enough. After seven or eight days, his wound became infected. The doctor diagnosed that it might be tetanus, and the wound needs to be treated again. Speaking of tetanus, it is not difficult to treat, but the key is that there is no money for treatment. First of all, Jiang Jianjun's family is the same as that of other factory employees. Because the factory was not profitable by Huang Zengma and the others, they could not pay wages for a long time. Zhang Jianjun's family could no longer afford to pay after the initial emergency treatment. All the hospitalization fees during this period are borrowed. When Wan Fang came to find the factory, the factory leader pushed it to the workshop, saying that the accident happened in the workshop and asked the workshop to be responsible for the medical expenses. Wan Fang came to the workshop again, but the workshop had no money at all, so the matter has been dragged down. Wan Fang seeing Jiang Jianjin's condition worsening day by day, he was very anxious, so he came to the workshop every day to make trouble. Before that, he ended up in vain. Today, he just ran into Ziming. How can this be? Uncle Jiang originally suffered a work injury while working in the factory. Why did he push it around in the factory? What's the matter with the factory leader? Su Han said immediately after hearing this. Director Wang lowered his head and didn't know what to say, while Zhang Yuoping said to Wan Fang, Don't worry, I am the factory manager now. Xiao Jiang, I won't leave him alone. Wan Fang cried and said, Thank you Master Zhu. The factory hospital is not far away. A few minutes later, Zhu Ming and the others arrived at the factory hospital and followed Wan Fang to Jiang Jianjun's ward. Jiang Jianjun was lying on the hospital bed in pain, with a large piece of gauze wrapped around his back, which had been stained yellow with pus. He grinned at the crowd and smiled bitterly at the crowd when he saw Zhu Ming coming in. There was a faint faint wound infection in the air. Smelly, you can save Lao Jiang. Now Master Zhu is the director of the factory. He will definitely find a way to help you solve the medical expenses. Wan Fang stepped forward and said to Jiang Jianjun. Hearing this, Jiang Jianjun should feel very happy, but at this time tetanus has affected his muscle control, coupled with the pain of his wound infection. His mouth moved for a long time, and finally he just said with difficulty, Thank you Master. Congratulations to Master. Zhang Yuoping hurriedly stepped forward. You don't want to talk for now, I blame Master for being bad. I haven't come to see you much during this period, and I don't know you are injured. Wan Fang said to Zhang Yuoping, Master Zhu is not to blame. Lao Jiang knew that your family's situation was not good, so he didn't tell you. While talking, 
Dean Huang of the factory hospital walked in. He already knew about the restructuring of the factory and hurriedly said hello to Ziming, Zagu Oping and Suhan. Zagu Oping asked Dean Huang, Dean Huang, why didn't you give Jiang Jianjun treatment? Didn't you see how his pain is now? You are still not a doctor in the factory hospital? Dean Huang immediately cried out in justice, Director Zhu, you may have misunderstood me. It is true that Comrade Jiang Jianjun's situation is too complicated and may require carrion removal surgery. The current conditions in our factory hospital are not enough, so I dare not dare to take it lightly. Make a decision. If Director Zhu doesn't believe it, I'll show you Comrade Jiang Jianjun's wounds and you'll know. Speaking of Dean Huang, he asked the doctor who was accompanying him to slowly uncover the gauze behind Jiang Jianjun, and suddenly a shocking sight appeared in front of everyone. A huge wound was festering and pus, and a smell came on. Make everyone present feel scared. Su Han couldn't help turning his head and retching. Ziming frowned and patted Su Han's back. He was about to help Su Han out of the ward. Deputy Director K. I. Zongxian hurried into the ward. Zoom here, boss. Hearing K. I. Zongxian's voice, Zuming was so angry that he slapped him on the face with a slap in the face, pointing to his nose and cursing, Director K. I. Are you still the deputy director of the 760 factory? Originally, Uncle Jiang was injured when he was working in the factory. The factory was supposed to compensate for the medical expenses, but you actually pushed it around. Look at what Uncle Jiang is now like. Ziming's scolding was taken for granted. After Huang Zheng and Ma Jianjun were arrested a month ago, K.I. Zongxian was the actual leader of the factory. The factory director Wang Chunhua was more of a symbol. And listening to Wan Fang's previous statement, Jiang Jianjun's thing was exactly what happened. K.I. Zongxian pushed it off to the workshop. K.I. Zongxian stunned Ziming. He subconsciously glanced at Jiang Jianjun's side, and suddenly nauseated with Su Han. But K.I. Zongxian still resisted and explained to Ziming. Boss Zhu, this dot 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 in not to blame, I can't help it if the efficiency of the factory is not good. Zuming directly interrupted K.I. Zongxian's words and unceremoniously accused, there is no way that the benefits are not good. I think this is your refusal. Is it that the benefits of the factory are not good enough that even the cost of treatment for a scald of an employee cannot be afforded? Do you want to get up? Then there is no need for this factory to exist and forget it. I think it's clear that you have to shirk responsibility. K.I. Zongxian was scolded by Ziming and he lowered his head and did not dare to speak. Ziming did not continue to scold him. He knew very well what the current priorities were, so Ziming hurriedly said to Dean Huang, Dean Huang, I want you to immediately contact the central hospital to help Uncle Zhang transfer. If there is no money in the factory, I will pay for all the medical expenses of Uncle Zhang. Hearing Ziming's words, Wan Fang cried out suddenly, Thank you Ziming. You are really our family's great savior. Our old Zhang has been saved after suffering for so long. Thank you. I knelt down for you. Exclamation mark. Chapter 84 Nothing but thanks. Question mark When Ziming and Zagu Oping were too late to respond, Wan Fang suddenly knelt down for them. Aunt Xiao Fang. What are you doing? Get up, Emma Jr., I can't stand this. Ziming hurried up to pick up Wan Fang. Su Han also resisted the nausea when he saw it, and helped Ziming to beat him together. But who knew that Wan Fang was really determined to kneel? Ziming didn't dare to use too much force, all of a sudden. Can't pull it up yet. Master Zhu, Ziming, I really don't know how to thank you anymore. You don't know. I am here watching Lao Jiang's wounds rot day by day, listening to Lao Jiang's screaming in pain day by day. No one cares. I don't know what it feels like. Today I heard from the doctor that if Lao Jiang is not treated, his life will be in danger. I really can't do anything. If Lao Jiang just goes like this, I'll be really I don't know what to do. Wan Fang cried to Ziming. Feeling very emotional, Ziming could understand her mood at the moment, because the same was true when his father had a perforated appendix in the hospital in the previous life. So Ziming can empathize. Aunt Xiaofang, can you get up first? We are in the hospital, 
and now Uncle Zhang's illness is the top priority, Ziming said to Wan Fang. After Ziming's reminder, Wan Fang reacted, Yes, Ziming, what you said is right, Lao Zhang's disease needs to be treated. That's why Wan Fang got up from the ground and said to Zhang Guo Ping, Master Zhu, I still have to rely on your help for Lao Zhang's illness. Don't worry, Aunt Xiao Fang. Dean Huang has now contacted the central hospital. I believe the ambulance will be here soon. When Ziming's words fell off, Dean Huang pushed the door and walked in. Ziming hurriedly asked Dean Huang what's going on. Dean Huang said that the central hospital was ready and Jiang Jianjun could be sent there. Dot. Ziming nodded, and immediately issued orders, Dean Huang, Uncle Jiang should be disinfected and bandaged here as well as stretchers and the doctors and nurses accompanying the road. In short, we must make all preparations for transfer as soon as possible. Director K.I., you immediately contact the factory team and immediately send a car that is spacious enough to take Uncle Jiang to the city center hospital. K.I. Zongxian and Dean Huang immediately took their orders and said yes. At this moment, in their eyes, although Zhu Ming was only in his twenties, they had a kind of aura that only a superior person possessed, which made them irresistible. After about ten minutes, everything was ready. Zhang Jianjun was moved to a stretcher with the help of several doctors and nurses, and then to the car. The factory fleet sent a total of two vehicles this time. One van was used to transport Zhang Jianjun and the accompanying doctors and nurses, and one crown sedan was prepared for Ziming. Zhang Ping and Su Han. Because the roads of this era are not good, in order to ensure that Zhang Jianjun's road is not bumpy, he must reduce the driving speed. Therefore, it is only an hour and a half later to get to the central hospital. Fortunately, the city center was prepared early. As soon as Ziming arrived, someone from the city center hospital immediately brought Zhang Jianjun into the diagnosis room. About 15 minutes later, the chief physician Chen Zhe walked out of the diagnosis room. This Chen Zhe physician Ziming still had the impression that he was not only an experienced chief physician of the central hospital, but also an assistant to the vice president, the person in charge of outpatient surgery. The last time his father Zhang Guoping came to the hospital for surgery for appendicitis, he was solely responsible for it, and he can be trusted. Chen Zhe stepped forward and said to Ziming, the patient's condition is already very serious, and he needs to undergo debridement surgery immediately to remove all the decaying muscle tissue to avoid continued infection. In addition, from the patient's persistent muscle spasm, we suspect that bacteria have entered the blood. Antibiotic treatment is needed and the bacterial toxins in the blood must be removed. It is estimated that the overall treatment cost will reach about 30,000 yuan. Hearing this number? Wan Fang exclaimed, 30,000 yuan, so much. Wan Fang turned his gaze to Zhang Guoping and Zhu Ming. Without waiting for her to speak, Zhu Ming waved his hand happily. No problem, please arrange surgery immediately, using the most appropriate drugs and treatment methods. All medical expenses are not a problem. Dot. Okay. He'll make arrangements right away. Chen Zi nodded and walked back to the diagnosis room. Ziming turned around and came back and said to Wan Fang, Aunt Xiao Fang, please wait here. Xiao and I will go and settle the medical expenses first. Thank you, thank you so much. Wan Fang thanked Ziming and Zhang Guoping. Her voice was choked and trembling, which shows her mood at this time. Ziming and Su Han went downstairs to the bank to withdraw the money and then went back to the hospital to pay the money. After receiving the receipt, Ziming let out a sigh of relief. Turning his head to see Su Han tilting his head and looking at him, Ziming couldn't help asking, do you think I'm a bit of a good person? Obviously they are not important people, but I spent 30,000 yuan to save him and treat them like this. You are polite. Su Han smiled. How come? I think you did a good job. You can help Uncle Jiang and Aunt Xiao Fang when they need help the most, which shows that you are a hero with a sense of justice. On the contrary, but if you don't care about them, then you really become a cold-blooded capitalist. I'm cold-blooded, I'm ruthless, I make trouble unreasonably. It's really Kai and Yao style. Zuming joked. Su Han looked blank. 
What Kyan Yofeng, it's nothing, it's just a mode of neurosis in which you are cruel, you are ruthless, and you make troubles unreasonably, Zhu Ming waved his hand and said, but Xion, you are right to say that, but do you know another reason for helping them like this? Su Han shook his head and said, I don't know. Zhu Ming sighed and said, Xion, you should know that my father was hospitalized with appendicitis just before. If I had no money at that time, I am afraid that my mother and I would be like Aunt Xio Fang because of my dad's illness. I am so desperate and helpless, but I'm afraid I'm not so lucky, and there is no other self who can help me like this. I don't know why. After listening to Ziming's words, Su Han suddenly felt an inexplicable depression, which made her feel very uncomfortable. She said to Ziming, Ziming, no, uncle's illness is not already has it been cured, didn't there also be director Dai of the county agricultural bank who helped you contact the ambulance of the central hospital? Why do you think that? Your assumptions don't exist. Doesn't it exist? Ziming smiled bitterly in his heart. This was a real thing that happened in his last life, and it was a pain he would never forget. Ziming will always remember that in his previous life, because of his father's illness, his mother wiped her tears at home every day took all the valuables in the family and sold them out, hiding herself from her relatives and friends, and because of his father's absence in the hospital, Kian Xioi an injection moaning in pain. Whenever he thinks of this, Zhu Ming hates to kill himself. How could he be so useless at the beginning? He was obviously a college student who came back from graduation, but he couldn't help his parents reduce the burden. He couldn't help him when his parents needed him most. Dot. Zhu Ming suddenly felt a softness on his face, turned his head in surprise, and saw that Su Han was stroking his cheek. Su Han stared at Zhu Ming and said, What's wrong with you Zhu Ming? Your expression just now makes me look so distressed. Zhu Ming shook his head lightly and did not speak, but Su Han directly reached out and hugged Zhu Ming. Su Han whispered to Zhu Ming, Don't worry, I won't worry you anymore. You want me to be the chief executive manager. I will help you manage the factory well and help you do a good job in the restructuring of the factory. Even if I die, I have to improve the efficiency of the factory so that you don't have to worry about it in the future. When Xian Nefrite embraced him, the weather was not cold now. Su Han was wearing thin clothes. Ziming could feel her slim figure, but Ziming didn't have any thoughts at this moment. Ziming patted Su Han's jade back. Silly girl, I should be the one who said what you said. I want to let the people I care about and those who care about me no longer worry about money matters, and I can eat well every day. Sleep well and happily. If you are sick, you can afford to get sick, and you will not be bullied by the factory. Zhu Ming's words were not only talking to Su Han, but also warning himself that he must not forget this goal. When Su Han heard Zhu Ming's words, he was fascinated for an instant. Although Zhu Ming's words were just some ordinary wishes, they were the responsibility of a man. After a while, Zhu Ming said to Su Han jokingly, Okay, Xion, don't hold me like this, you will make people around you laugh. Su Han then remembered that he and Zhu Ming were in the hospital lobby. Seeing the people coming and going, Su Han's beautiful face immediately showed two blushes which were extremely alluring. There was a person next to him who was a successful person with a bag. He didn't stare at this scene. He turned his hateful gaze on Zhu Ming. He hated Zhu Ming for being so lucky. There was such a person. The beauty is throwing in her arms, if he must be so beautiful. But Su Han doesn't care about this. Although she usually looks soft and weak and feels very in need of a man's protection, in fact there is a stubbornness in her bones. No matter how others look at the man she looks for, she doesn't care. Zhu Ming could feel Su Han's sincerity for himself. He gently said to Su Han, Xion, let's go up there. My dad and aunt Xio Fang are still waiting for news from us. Su Han nodded, then let go of the hand holding Zhu Ming and then Zhu Ming took Su Han's little hand and walked upstairs. When Zhu Ming and Su Han went upstairs, Zhang Jian Jun had been pushed into the operating room. Seeing Wan Fang worried, Zhu Ming comforted her, Aunt Xio Fang, don't worry, our city center hospital is well known throughout the province. In the hospital in China, 
tetanus and wound infection are not incurable diseases. If the chief physician performs the operation himself, Uncle Jang will definitely be fine. Yeah, he will definitely be fine. Wan Fang turned his head and said to Zhang Guoping, Master Zhu, Lao Jiang is really lucky to have a master like you, and Zming, you are really our family's savior, except thank you for not knowing what to say to you. Then don't say anything, Aunt Xiaofang, you should pray more for Uncle Jiang, Zming said. Chapter 85 Salary Reform First Change Question mark First in the morning. In the morning, the door of the factory director's office was knocked open. Deputy Director K.I. Zongxian came in to say hello to Zming. Wang Fengkin and Su Han. Since his father had to go to the workshop, Wang Fengkin did not want to stay in the office alone, so Ziming had to and Su Han. Han Du moved to the factory director's office. Regarding this situation, the other carders in the factory felt unreasonable, but there was nothing to do. Boss Zhu, did comrade Jiang Jianjin's surgery succeed yesterday? K.I. Zongxian asked cautiously. The debridement operation was very successful. All the carrion on the back of Uncle Jiang was medically removed. However, due to the large wound area and the long delay in the optimal treatment time, the bacteria entered the bloodstream. Follow-up antibiotic treatment and long-term treatment are needed. Convalescence. Ziming said to K.I. Zongxian again, Director K.I., as the director of the 760 factory, you always said that you want everyone to be the owner of the factory and have a sense of ownership, but now our employees have suffered accidental work injuries. The most basic medical expenses are not burdened. If I were not present yesterday, you would have Uncle Jang die in the hospital bed. You don't care. Your actions like this will only make people chilling. How can we make our employees have the spirit of ownership? How to get them to fight to be the master of the factory? Is this just an empty slogan? Facing Ziming's question after question, K.I. Zongxian lowered his head, but he heard Zhu Ming's sentence again. Look up and look at me. K.I. Zongxian looked up, Ziming saw cold sweat on his face, his eyes dodged, Ziming stretched his finger to K.I. Zongxian's nose and continued, K.I. Zongxian, remember, I am not scolding you today, but I am condemning on behalf of all the factory employees. You, if Uncle Jiang really had any accidents because of this incident, you, the deputy director, will be the worst carder in the history of our 760 factory. After Zhu Ming finished speaking, Wang Fengkin pulled him behind him. Wang Fengkin felt that K.I. Zongxian was also the old leader of the factory, and he was almost 50 this year. Even if Zhu Ming bought the factory, it would not look good to scold him like that. Of course Zhu Ming understood what his mother meant, so he waved his hand and said, forget it. How is the preparation for the meeting? Hearing Ziming finally changed his tone, K.I. Zongxian dared to breathe out a sigh of breath. He didn't even have time to wipe the cold sweat on his face. He immediately replied to Ziming, Boss Zhu, the meeting is ready. All the carders have arrived. Just wait for Zhu. Boss, you go over and start. Ziming nodded and walked out of the office with Wang Fengkin and Su Han to the meeting room. As expected. As K.I. Zongxian said, the meeting room was already full of people. Ziming glanced over, several deputy directors office directors and each the heads of the department are here. Ziming and Wang Fengkin and Su Han sat down. Of course, Wang Fengkin sat in the middle, and Ziming and Su Han sat on the left and right sides. At the beginning of the meeting, the director of the office will roll the call first and the leader will be invited to preside over the meeting after it is confirmed. Ziming said, like the last thousand workers conference, I don't like to engage in vain things. The main content of today's meeting was announced yesterday. Let's talk when you are ready. After saying that, Ziming gave a gesture, Director Bai, you can first talk about the current financial situation in the factory. The person named was Bai Yong the director of the finance department of the factory, and he immediately took out a prepared document and proclaimed it according to the script, Boss Zhu, the factory is currently in arrears with all employees for three months of wages, because there are two months in the summer, plus the usual ice room allowance for employees, 
the total is 550,000. In addition, the factory has also defaulted on waste disposal fees and some other official expenses, totaling a total of 250,000. At the end Bai Yong was a little embarrassed to say, because all the carders in the room here, who didn't know the so-called other official expenditures, were actually the carders who spent it for themselves, and finally found various reasons. The money reported by the factory alone has reached half of the three-month salary of all employees. How can you report this money to the boss? As for the ice room allowance, it's okay. This is a place in the factory that sells cold drink popsicles for factory employees in the summer. All factory employees can buy them with ice tickets issued by the factory. Zuming was not surprised by this situation. On the contrary, it would have surprised Zuming if there was no such situation. In other words, the current financial gap is 800,000 in total. Zuming asked, his eyes swept over everyone. These carders who usually dominate the factory, lowered their heads unconsciously by the look of Zhu Ming's eyes, no one had the courage to look at Zhu Ming. Zhu Ming looked around and asked, if I remember correctly, there should still be part of the processing fee and payment in the factory that has not been recovered. Yes. This time the answer was Yu An Zigang, who succeeded Huang Zheng as the director of the sales department. But the money is mostly triangular debt? And it's all from director Huang. Oh no, it's from Huang Zheng's relatives. How many in total? Zhu Ming asked. A total of 300,000 yuan. Yuan Zigang thought for a while and added, it is about Huang Zheng and his family and the money he has received is 200,000 yuan. After listening to Yuan Zigang's answer, Zhu Ming nodded, and then said, now you listen to the direction of restructuring planned by Su Manager. This made everyone stunned, including K.I. Zongxian and Yuan Zigang. Everyone looked at Zuming with a blank look. No one understood why Zuming didn't say anything after hearing about the financial gap and the sales payment. They just jumped. After this period, the issue of restructuring in the factory was brought up. Everyone looked at each other, what's the situation? Do we all have amnesia? Boss Zhu said the decision just now, don't we remember it? Regardless of these people's thoughts, Zhu Ming gestured to Su Han. Su Han took out a notebook and opened it. In the future, all carders and employees of the 760 factory will cancel the fixed wages, and they will all adopt the calculation of fixed wages plus floating wages method. Floating wages will be higher than or equal to the basic fixed wages. Ordinary workers will calculate floating wages based on the number of molds completed. The faster the completion, the better, and the higher the floating wages, workshop carders will calculate floating wages based on overall workshop work efficiency. If safety occurs in the event of an accident, half of the floating wage will be deducted for all workshop carders. Suhan paused when he said that. Everyone present pricked their ears, because everyone knew that the next thing they should talk about was the calculation of their wages. The floating wages of leading carders will be calculated based on the completion of the quarterly tasks of each department, and the floating wages will be doubled in excess, and all floating wages will not be deducted. As Su Han's cold voice fell, everyone in the conference room took a breath. No one sitting here is a fool. Everyone understands what this salary reform means. From then on, everyone will be exhausted. Working hard for Zeming, the leisure days of having a newspaper and a cup of tea in the office are gone forever. But what they didn't expect was that Zeming's purpose of throwing out wage reform at this time was not only that. Well, Everyone already knows the floating wage system that manager Su said. It must be implemented within a week at the latest, so that every employee must understand that this wage system will be officially implemented from next month. Zhu Ming then turned his gaze to Bai Yong, the chief financial officer, this afternoon. I will pay 500,000 yuan to the financial account. First, I will pay the wages owed to all employees in the factory as well as a part of the summer allowance for the ice room. Hearing Ming's words, not only Bei Ayong, but everyone else was stunned. 500,000? How about 300,000? This question just came up in everyone's heads, and there was an answer immediately. Everyone turned their heads to look at Yu Zigang, the director of the sales department. 
which made his expression change. Sure enough, Ziming went on to say, the remaining financial gap of 300,000 yuan will be solved by your sales office. Yuan Zigang was embarrassed, but boss Zhu, this 300,000 yuan is not worth it. That's your sales office. Ziming said, I am a businessman returning from Hong Kong City. In my opinion, I can sell things and get the money back. This is a deal. If you only have the ability to sell things, but you don't have the ability to get the money back. Then what do I want you, the sales director, to do? Will you help to make the factory run out? Ziming thought for a while and said, Direct Yuan, your current salary is 400 Yuan a month. After you change it to a floating salary, it will be a basic salary of 200 plus a floating salary of not less than 300. But if you do if you can't collect the 300,000 Yuan, then all your floating wages will not be able to get a penny. Boss Zhu, this is not fair. Yuan Zigang cried out. How do you feel unfair? Say it. Ziming said. Yuan Zigang gritted his teeth and said, Boss Zhu is like this. It's not that I don't want to work hard. It is true that most of these debts are triangular debts, and some of them are also debts of related households in the county. They are all large debtors who are in arrears all year round. There is no way to ask for it. After listening to you on Zigang's complaint, Ziming said, Maybe you didn't hear clearly just now, so I'll repeat it again. Yu Yu Anzi was the director of the sales department just now. It's your job to collect the arrears in business. How do you collect it? It's your business. I'm sorry, boss Zhu, I can't do this at all. Yu Anzi Gang simply broke the jar. Ziming sneered, really? Did director Yu An intend to give up his position as sales director? What? Yu Anzi Gang's eyes widened and looked at Ziming incredulously. I said, if you don't have the ability to collect money, what do I want you, the sales director, to do? Of course, someone who can collect money has come. Do you think I will still support you? Ziming said. Yu An Zigang mentioned that he wanted to argue with Ziming, but he opened his mouth and couldn't say anything in the end. In the end, he was discouraged and said helplessly, Good boss Zu, I know, I will definitely strive to get all these debts back. That's fine. Of course, I also know that a large part of these funds are accumulated old accounts. As long as you encounter that kind of nail account and you can't get it back by normal means, you can come to me, and I will find a way. Ziming continued, as long as you can complete all the tasks of 300,000 yuan within this month. I will personally give you a bonus of 300 yuan. This sentence suddenly made Yuan Zigang's eyes light up, who was just discouraged. He said excitedly, Please rest assured, Boss Zhu, I will definitely work hard to complete the work. Chapter 86 An Angry Announcement Two more. Question mark The second one is served. La 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 la. Ziming, you were so good just now. All the leading carders in our factory have been suppressed by you especially Yu An Zigang, who is just what you said, what he is. After returning to the office after the meeting, Su Han said to Ziming with excitement, watching Ziming's wonderful eyes were full of admiration. Facing such a girl whose hearts were all on her, Ziming scratched her head embarrassedly and said, this is just a basic routine of slapped sweet dates. There is nothing powerful. Su Han didn't think so, Ziming. You are very good. Those are old leaders in the factory. Even the leaders in the county used to be able to train them to be so obedient, but Ziming when you sit there now, they are all sitting obediently like elementary school students. Ziming stretched out his hand and pinched Suhan's Xiaokian's nose and said, Don't you always say that I'm great, Xiaohan? You are the general manager of our 760 factory in the future and the head of these guys. You have to learn this routine. You can use it flexibly, and you have to restrain them. I'm afraid it won't work. After all, these people used to be the leaders of the factory. I would be scared when I see them. So Han said, if you can't, you have to do it. Ziming said domineeringly, don't forget that you promised me, you have to work hard to be the general manager help me manage this factory, and develop this factory. Well, I didn't say I don't work hard, Suhan said. At this time, there was a cough next to him, 
and Zhu Ming and Su Han remembered that they were in the same office with Wang Fenkin. Su Han's pretty face suddenly became red. After all, flirting with her son in front of Wang Fenkin was really embarrassing, especially because of Huang Zheng's reasons, he used to have a bad reputation, and Wang Fenkin also had a prejudice against him. Zhu Ming, come here, I have something to tell you. Wang Fengkin called Zhu Ming out of the office and walked to the corner of the corridor to ask Zhu Ming, you and I honestly, do you have something with that girl from the Su family? Zhu Ming replied that no, Wang Fengkin was relieved, that's good, Zhu Ming, you have to remember that you are a college student, and now you are the boss back from Hong Kong City, you can buy the 760 factory in two months. It is destined to have a boundless future. Your wife must be someone who is of great help to you, so you must not entangle that Suhan, you know. Mom, don't you already know everything about Xiuan? It was Huang Zheng who slandered her. Ziming tried to help Suhan speak, but Wang Fengkin didn't listen at all. I don't care if the previous is right or wrong, and I have no prejudice against her, but your daughter-in-law must not be her. Ziming wanted to say something. But at this time he saw Su Han coming from the corridor, Zhu Ming had to put the matter down first. Zhu Ming went up and asked Su Han, Why are you here, Xiuan? Is something wrong? Secretary Jiang Xia of the propaganda department came over and said that he was looking for Zhu Ming to discuss the propaganda plan for salary reform. Su Han said, Zhu Ming could clearly feel that Su Han's mood was a little depressed. Obviously Su Han Bing Su was smart. She had guessed what her mother was saying when she called herself out of the office, but she really couldn't help it in such a situation. At this time, Zhu Ming felt that the emperor could not marry folk girls in the past. But the key point is that he is not an emperor now, right? In contrast, Zhu Ming was envious of those tall, rich and handsome 30 years later, how many beautiful women were sent to the door in a line, and no one was concerned. However, it is obviously not the time to care about this. How to implement the wage reform plan is the most urgent task. So Zhu Ming nodded to Su Han and followed her back to the office. Jiang Xia saw Zhu Ming coming in and immediately stood up and greeted Zhu Ming. Zhu Ming gestured to him to sit down, and then Zhu Ming and Su Han also sat down with him. Opposite, Jiang Xia took out the notebook and handed it to Zhu Ming. This is a publicity announcement written by our comrades in the publicity department at your request. Boss Zhu, please check it out. Zhu Ming took the notebook and looked at it carefully, then passed it to Su Han and Wang Fengkin to read it, and then said to Jiang Xia, Secretary Jiang is indeed an old man on the propaganda front of our 760 factory. There is no problem with this propaganda announcement. Hearing what Zhu Ming said, Jiang Xia was a little relieved. But immediately after Zhu Ming's next sentence, he raised his heart again. But after all, we are going to smash the old big pot meal system. I am afraid that a publicity announcement will not make all the employees in the factory accept this new wage system, right? Zhu Ming said. Jiang Xia nodded and said, what boss Zhu said is extremely true. I think that in addition to posting publicity announcements on the bulletin board, our publicity department will also mobilize people to each workshop so that the workshop carders will cooperate with us in publicizing the employees. Zhu Ming still shook his head and said, it's still not enough. I think it's impossible for the factory employees to accept this. But this is the best effort of our propaganda department. Jiang Xia said, boss Zhu, I think we should have a little confidence in our factory employees. They will support the restructuring work in our factory. Secretary Jiang, you take it for granted. Zhu Ming said, people have inertia. When people become accustomed to a life habit, you suddenly want to change him. Whether the result is good or bad, it is difficult for people to accept. Not to mention that our salary reform this time is still going to smash the big pot of rice. Everyone has a lazy devil in their hearts. The workers in the factory have become accustomed to a comfortable life. They are used to work no matter how they work in the factory. You can get a fixed salary. Now you suddenly let them compete for the salary. It is strange that they will accept it. Of course. I know that I didn't blame Secretary Jiang. I know you have tried your best. I mean we can change our way of thinking, Zhu Ming said. Jiang Xia was stunned for a moment. He said to Zhu Ming blankly, 
change your way of thinking, I don't understand what you mean, boss Zhu, actually, it is very simple to understand, Zhu Ming said, first of all, why do you think we have to reform, of course it is to enhance the competitiveness of the factory, enhance the efficiency of the factory, and make the factory better develop, Jiang Xiao answered without hesitation, the competitiveness of the factory has increased, and the efficiency of the factory has improved, what does it have to do with ordinary employees, Zhu Ming asked again, Jiang Xia felt that Zhu Ming's question was basically on the table, he didn't understand why Zhu Ming asked it, but he still answered honestly, the efficiency of the factory is good, and the wages of ordinary employees can be paid on time, moreover, the salary reform proposed by Mr. Zhu this time, on the whole, as long as the task can be completed, it will add a portion of the salary to the workers, if you say you add it, you can add it, ordinary employees can see it, let alone ordinary factory employees, when you hear about the salary reform, aren't you leading carders with a look of reluctance, faced with Zhu Ming's question, Jiang Xi bowed his head embarrassedly, and Zhu Ming went on to say, so what I mean is that since we want the factory employees to accept the salary restructuring this time, should we change to a more intuitive one, way of publicity, can there be a more intuitive way of propaganda, Jiang Xiao asked cautiously, Zhu Ming did not answer directly, but instead asked Jiang Xia, does secretary Jiang like to read history, Jiang Xia was asked by this question, making Jiang Xia feel that his entire mind was suddenly confused, he looked at Zhu Ming blankly, he didn't understand that Zhu Ming was not talking about intuitive propaganda just now, is it, why did you jump to history all at once, does the wage reform propaganda in this factory have anything to do with history, seeing Jiang Xia's unclear face, Zhu Ming smiled and said, only by learning from history can we know the rise and fall, dot. Early the next morning, people from the propaganda department posted a publicity announcement about the salary reform. In the morning, when the factory workers went to work as usual, they immediately exploded when they saw the announcement in the publicity board at the entrance of the factory. When Zhu Ming and Jiang Xia came here, the bulletin board was already full of people, and everyone was aggrieved over the salary reform, why is this in this factory, how can this salary be changed, look at this basic salary, it was cut almost half of the time, if we take this salary, we will not have enough to eat, so what else, what is the class doing, didn't it mean that the old masters in the metal working workshop is now the factory manager, he is usually a very good person, shouldn't he make such a rule, master Zhu is a good man, but I heard that the real director of the factory is his son Zhu Ming, who is a big capitalist who came back from Hong Kong City, who specializes in exploiting our workers, you see, don't you just take ours now, has the salary been cut, one cut is nearly half of the salary, according to his method, we might as well build a field next to the factory and become a farmer, that's right, Zhu Ming is just fooling around, he didn't restructure before, and his factory was almost profitable, and he often defaulted, but after all, he was able to get so many wages in the end, but now it's not good, he is a capitalist, come, even our salary will be cut, dot. Hearing this fierce discussion, Zhu Ming touched his nose madly, he couldn't think that his authentic factory kid had become a big capitalist full of evil in the eyes of these people, it's really impermanent, Jiang Xia obviously heard these comments, and he could not help suggesting Zhu Ming with some worry, boss Zhu, should we go back first, now that these workers are in such a state, we can't communicate with them at all, in case you get out, what can I do, Zhu Ming waved his indifferent big hand, it doesn't matter, they just vent their unhappiness, if they scold me like this, it will definitely be fine, on the contrary, they read the announcement without saying a word, and in going to turn around and leave, seeing Zhu Ming's appearance, Jiang Xia became even more worried, boss Zhu, you must not take personal risks, these workers are unreasonable, didn't you tell secretary Jiang about my approach yesterday, don't Secretary Jiang have confidence in me, Zhu Ming asked, of course not, I am very confident in your approach, boss Zhu, but, before Jiang Xia had finished speaking, Zhu Ming said, that's all right, 
Let's go. Chapter 87 Migrating Woodlicks in Three Shifts. Question mark third more. Thank you Feng Shen Yu Xiao for your support, and thank you Feng Shen Yu Xiao and a grain of sand on the beach for your monthly pass support. Look, the capitalist who cut our wages is here. I don't know who yelled this. The noisy workers who had been watching the bulletin board suddenly turned their heads to Zeming. They immediately gathered around Zeming. You said something to me, questioning Zeming. Why are you cutting our wages? You also came out of our 760 factory. Although you made a small fortune in Hong Kong, you can't forget your roots. The life of our factory workers is not rich. Why do you want to change our salary? Thinking of how honest and kind a teacher your father is in the factory, how did he become like this when he got here? Your kid has been a bad student in Hong Kong City. Listening to the complaints and grievances of these workers made Zhu Ming feel that he was one of the top two, while Jiang Xia stood next to Zhu Ming and was very nervous for fear that these workers would lose their minds and rush to beat him and Zeming. Zeming hurriedly called everyone to be quiet. After shouting several times, these workers calmed down. Zeming said loudly, I know you have questions about this new wage system, and I have heard all of your comments just now. Have you ever thought about it? You only saw the fixed wages that were cut above but there are also floating wages written on it. Your monthly wages are paid together with fixed wages and floating wages. If you can be on time complete the tasks according to the amount, then the salary you can get will exceed your previous salary. What variable wage? I think you guys used it to coax us. Someone in the crowd sneered, and others agreed and said yes. Seeing that everyone was making noise again, Zhu Ming hurriedly made a gesture to press down. After everyone's voice became quiet, Zhu Ming said again, Well, since everyone doesn't believe me, do you want to make a bet with me? What bet? Someone asked. It's your bet on going to work today. Zhu Ming said, The floating wage system will be implemented from next month, but today I can give you an exception to try out a bonus system. Hearing about the bonus, someone below came to the spirit. What bonus system? Boss Zhu, do you want to give us a bonus today? Yes, I am going to give you a bonus today. Zhu Ming said, today, if any of you can complete more than four mold tasks before leaving get off work and do not need to rework, I will give someone a bonus of 100 yuan! Exclamation mark. This sentence caused an uproar at the scene. Everyone began to discuss the 100 yuan bonus. But then the discussion turned to booze, boss Zhu, we are boring if you are so foolish. We usually work hard. The salary is only 100 yuan a month, and you only have to pay 100 yuan for completing more than 4 mold tasks today. How is that possible? That is to say, how can it be possible to complete more than 4 mold tasks during working hours? It is even more impossible if you don't rework. Another person also said his own question. In this regard, Zhu Ming said, How can it be impossible with 4? My father, you all know, he can easily process 5 molds in one day, and there is no need to rework. As for the bonus of 100 yuan, as I said, Today is a bet with you. It is limited to one time today. You also know that I am a capitalist, so I can take out this money casually. The crowd broke out again, accusing Zhu Ming of bragging. Zhu Ming couldn't help but stretched out two fingers. If you think $100 is less, then $200? How did you increase the bonus? I think you are fooling us. Seeing that these people still didn't believe it, Zhu Ming stretched out five fingers. So what about 500 yuan? As long as anyone can complete the task, I will pay it on the spot. The number of 500 yuan made everyone gasp. Everyone looked at each other. No one knew whether to believe Zhu Ming or not, but 500 yuan was too tempting. Just when everyone was hesitant, a thin worker stood up and said, OK, I believe you. The worker's voice shook everyone like a thunderstorm. The other workers looked at the worker in amazement and said in a rush, I didn't expect to believe it. Jiang Oh, this is obviously what he fooled us. You how can you believe him? He walked up, and Zhu Ming saw that he was familiar. He reported to his family and said, 
My name is Jiang Jiang oh, I am Jiang Jianzhen's younger brother, you may not have seen me, but I am very grateful that you saved my brother, so I am willing, I believe you, Ziming smiled slightly, and patted him on the shoulder and said, very well, I am also very grateful for you to believe me, then you can do it today, as long as you can complete more than 4 molds without rework. 500 yuan, it's yours. Jiang Jiango nodded and said yes, then turned around and walked towards the factory. At this time everyone saw that he really wanted to make this bet with Ziming, and they all went up to persuade him, Jiang Oh, don't be stupid, you didn't see that the boss was here this week, fudge you, even if you finish at the end, he will definitely not give you money. Let's not work. Is it possible that he can turn us all on? Hearing these people's advice, Ziming's face sank and he shouted. What are you shouting? You have no abilities and guts to allow others to make money. Don't interfere with him. If you want to bet, you have to bet a little bit ambitious. You are the workers of the 760 factory not the rogue on the street. Ziming's words obviously got into the hearts of these people. They turned around and pointed at Ziming. Ziming didn't care about these people at all, and personally sent Jiang Jiango to the workshop, today I will also be in the workshop for one day. Let you see if I fooled you. Ziming sent Jiang Jiango to the workshop. Jiang Jiango came to his machine tool and started to work. After a while, there was a circle of people next to his machine tool. Everyone pointed to Jiang Jiang Oh, you see this fool, what do we say? He didn't listen, but he wanted to believe that Zhu's boss, that's $500. We can't pay our wages. We issued an announcement this morning and cut our wages. How could he give Jiang Oh fifth to such a person? For a hundred yuan, only Jiang Oh, who is a fool? can believe what boss Zhu said. Hearing the discussion next to him, the workshop director was originally going to rush people, but he was stopped by Zhu Ming. Zhu Ming said, let them watch here. Anyway, as long as it doesn't affect his work. The workshop director gave up, and then Jiang Jiango started to work. At first he was not used to working under the crowd of so many people, but then, with Zhu Ming's encouragement, he himself gradually released the 500 yuan bonus. After I opened it, I gradually became accustomed to the onlookers and opinions of the people around me, and began to carefully debug the turning tool, and started the lathe to process the mold. Seeing Jiang Jiango gradually entering the state, Jiang Xia who had been with him took a sigh of relief and said to Ziming, Fortunately, fortunately there is Jiang Jiango here. Fortunately, Boss Zhu, you saved his brother. Otherwise, this will happen. Trouble. Zuming glanced at Jiang Xia but said, I don't think so. Even without Jiang Jiango, there will be other King Li Ji and Jiang O who will stand up. Jiang Xia was surprised by this. Zuming went on to say, There must be a brave man under the reward. If 500 is not enough, then 1000. I don't believe that everyone in our factory regards money as dung. Isn't that what you did when you did it? If Ziming's words just surprised Jiang Xia, then Ziming's words shocked him now. Jiang Xia suddenly remembered Ziming's method. Jiang Xia still clearly remembered yesterday that in the factory director's office, when he and Ziming were discussing propaganda methods, Ziming asked himself to change his way of thinking and even told himself a story about Shang Yang Yu Malixin. The story, it is said that during the Warring States period, Qin was weak and Shang Yang entered Qin to become a strong country, but the people didn't believe in Shang Yang. In order to make the people believe in himself, Shang Yang set up a wooden pole at the south gate one day and said who could do it. The wooden poles were moved to the north gate and they were rewarded with ten golds. The people were surprised but they didn't believe it. So Shang Yang raised the price step by step until he reached 50 golds before someone finally stepped up to move the wooden poles. Shang Yang really rewarded him. At 50 gold, the people believed in Shang Yang. At that time, Zhu Ming said that he would also learn from the ancients using the method of Yimalixin, so that the workers in the factory believed that this wage reform was really beneficial. Jiang Xia didn't believe that Ziming could succeed at that time, but from the bulletin board at the door to the workshop, 
isn't this scene exactly the same as the story of Yimalixin? But there is one problem. Jiangxi looked at Ziming and hesitated to speak. Ziming sensed Jiangxi's attitude and turned to ask him, Are you trying to say what if Jiang Jiang can't finish it? Jiangxi nodded, and Ziming smiled and said to him, Don't worry, I asked my dad. My dad said that as long as everyone is working hard and not being lazy, it is absolutely fine to complete five on that day. The standards have been decentralized. As long as Jiang Jiang is not too bad, he will definitely be able to complete it. Jiangxi stared at Ziming with wide eyes. He didn't expect Ziming to have considered this issue long ago. He also knew that Ziming's father was a master in the factory and was very researched on lathes. If this is the case, maybe Ziming can really complete a modern version of Yimalixin. Thinking of this, Jiangxi remembered that the founding leader once said that Shang Yang was a great figure second to none in the ages. So, is Ziming also? Ziming turned around and said to Jiangxi at this time, Secretary Jiang, don't look at me like that. Now our migration to Lixin has just begun. We have to stay in the workshop all day to see if he can complete the task. Yeah? Yes, it must be possible, even if he can't. It's the same if someone else can do it. Boss Zu, your idea will definitely be realized, Jiangxi said enthusiastically to Ziming. Ziming smiled and patted him on the shoulder, thank you. Chapter 88, saying it is worse than doing it fourth more. Question mark today is the fourth one. The small square film asks friends who like this book to give more support and simply order a red ticket for the collection. It is a great support and encouragement for the small square film. The small square film will be grateful. Endless. Finally, Xiao Fang Pian seeks to support various positions. One day passed quickly. Five o'clock in the afternoon was the off-duty time set by the 760 factory. The workers in the workshop turned off their lathes as usual. The difference was that they were not in a hurry to get off work today. They all gathered around Jiang Jiango's lathe, waiting to see the result of the bet between Ziming, the capitalist, and Jiang Jiango. Seeing the increasing crowd around him, Su Han, who came to wait with Ziming after lunch at noon, pursed his mouth in dissatisfaction. These people are really annoying. I don't dare to wait here for a day like you are Ziming. Come and watch the excitement when the results are coming out. Hearing Su Han's complaint, Ziming smiled indifferently, I don't blame them. After all, the work in the factory is still going to be done. I can't stop the factory for a day because of my bet right? And you don't eat at noon too. Did you come here after dinner? Su Han gave Ziming a white look, that's not all the tasks you assigned to me. Ziming still wanted to tease Su Han, but Jiang Jiango's lathe suddenly stopped at this time. Ziming turned his head and saw Jiang Jiango on the steps carefully inspecting the mold to see if there were any problems. Waited for a day, just wait for this moment. Ziming thought so in his heart and Jiang Jiang O oh, over there after finishing the inspection, called the navigation vehicle to come and unload the mold from the machine tool, and then the workshop director stepped forward to check and nodded to Ziming to indicate that there was no problem. At this moment, everyone's eyes were focused on Ziming. After all, everyone did not get off work at the end of get off work today just to wait for the result of Ziming and Jiang Jiango's bet. Now that the workshop director has completed the inspection, there is no problem and there is no need to rework. Then it depends on the statement of Ziming, the capitalist. Will he be shameful or will he pay on the spot as agreed? Under everyone's gaze, Ziming slowly walked up the steps next to Jiang Jiango's lathe, looked around and said, I know everyone is here to wait for this moment. Ziming asked Jiang Jiango to step up the stairs. Faced with so many people, Jiang Jiango seemed a little nervous. Ziming signaled that he should not be nervous. Today I will be in front of you, under your witness. Personally hand over the $500 I promised to Jiang Jiango. After Ziming finished speaking, he took out 500 yuan like a trick, and then under everyone's attention. The money was handed over to Jiang Jiango. The moment Jiang Jiango received the money, cheers broke out on the scene. 500 yuan. 
there is really a 500 yuan bonus. Jiang Jiang oh really got 500 yuan. It seems that Zhu Ming is just like his dad, who is an honest person who believes in his words. He will not cheat. Our workers, some people sighed with regret, this piece of founding luck is really good. If I happened to be watching the bulletin board this morning, I would also make this bet with Boss Zhu. I really don't know what other people think and how it makes such a good profit. I didn't make any money. This is 500 yuan. Almost almost equal to our salary for half a year. I really don't understand what those people think. Others are looking forward to. Boss Zhu, we can also complete 4 molds a day. Will you still give us bonuses? Of course it will, Zhu Ming said. It's just that this bonus is the floating salary in the new wage system that will be implemented in the factory from next month. If you can complete so many tasks every day, then you can get 100. With a salary of more than 200 yuan, the more tasks you complete, the more wages you will receive. Can you get more wages? Of course, all the workers shouted in unison. Some people in the crowd tried to protest. Don't be fooled by Zhu Ming. He is fooling you into accepting the new salary system in the factory. Our basic salary has been cut in half. Cut our salary. Only these words were said, and he was immediately sprayed back. That's you lazy, you can't do a job for a few days. Why do you get the same salary as us? Of course your salary will be cut. Some people commented on the new salary. I also saw the new salary system. The floating salary can reach up to 200, so I can accept it even without the basic salary. Not to mention the floating salary and basic salary. They are all added together. It's a pity that it won't start until next month. I really want to implement this new salary system this month. He did it. Zeming did it. He was really amazing. Su Han stood in front of the crowd. Listening to the discussion among the crowd. She was very happy for Zhu Ming's success. Watching Zhu Ming's wonderful eyes were full of admiration. Zhu Ming walked down the steps, took Su Han and Jiangxia out of the workshop, looked at the back of Zhu Ming's departure, and didn't know what Jiang Jiango thought, suddenly shouted, Long live boss Zhu. His shouting immediately infected everyone else, causing everyone else to shout long live boss Zhu. Jiangxia was startled by the shouts of countless people behind him and he looked at Zhu Ming with an incredible expression. Jiangxia thinks that he has worked in the 760 factory for 30 years and is considered a veteran in the factory, but he has never seen a factory leader like Zhu Ming in half of his life in this factory. Let the workers in the factory embrace him so much and call him long live. Even the most prestigious old factory director in the factory has never experienced this kind of treatment in his entire life. But neither the old factory manager nor the county leaders can get that treatment, how can such a young guy like Zhu Ming get it? In addition, Yamalixen is only a story after all, and the ancient people have simple thinking. Now that the workers in the factory are all ghosts and ghosts, how can they be so easily deceived, not only accepting the new wage system, but also for the new wages. Long live the system. Obviously they still hated this wage system in the morning. This week Zeming dot 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 what kind of magic does he possess? Zeming felt Jiangxia's gaze and turned to ask him, does it feel incredible? Jiangxia nodded blankly and said, if it weren't for my personal experience, I would never have believed it. Zeming smiled slightly, in fact, there is nothing to believe or disbelief. Who the workers will support is not because of how high this person is or how powerful he is, but because this person can bring them tangible things. The benefits, for example, I give these workers processing money. Zeming paused when he said that, and then continued, as a for the story of Yimalixin, to put it simply is a role model. Secretary Jiang, can you imagine why in the morning, no matter how we promote it, Everyone can't accept it. It's because no matter how much we talk about, we still don't have a practical concept. Only who actually gets the money, everyone does. They want to take this money, they have to persuade themselves to accept it. Zeming said, this is a thousand great principles, and it can't compare to what you do in reality. Zeming's last comment made Jiangxia take a deep breath. You know, just like this sentence itself, everyone can say it. But if it really wants to be applied to reality, not everyone can do it. Jiangxia looked at Zeming, 
Boss Zhu, I can't believe you are so young. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would have thought you were a 50 or 60 year old university professor. These words made Zhu Ming burst into laughter. Yes, maybe I am in my 50s or 60s this year. It is 87 years now, not 30 years after the passage and rebirth literature was popular. So Jiang Xia heard Zhu Ming's words and suddenly felt that his whole person was messed up. At this time, Jiang Xia could only tell himself that Zhu Ming was joking, but he would never think that even if he broke his head. What Zhu Ming said was actually the truth. If he counts the 50 years of his previous life, then his current psychological age, it is indeed 50 or 60 years old. It is precisely because Zhu Ming has more than 30 years of memory in the future, he is more fortunate than Jiang Xia today. You know, in Zhu Ming's memory, how difficult it is to break the big pot of rice and change the fixed salary to a performance based variable salary. As I said before, everyone lives in a lazy devil, since now whether I do it or not, I can get so much salary if I do more or less. Why do I have to accept a hard work to get so much salary? Fortunately, everything is going very smoothly today. Zhang Jiango stepped up in a timely manner and took on this important task. He fulfilled the task on time and according to the expectations, so that everything can be completed smoothly. On the contrary, if there is a little problem in the middle, I am afraid it will be another ending. Ziming. The most important hurdle of our 760 factory restructuring has passed, right? Su Han asked suddenly. Zhu Ming nodded and said, yes, as long as we can break the big pot of rice and adopt a floating wage to introduce a competitive mechanism, we can easily increase our production efficiency. In this era when everyone is eating big pot of rice, as long as our factory has work efficiency, it is easy to bring the whole factory to life. Su Han would be very happy when he heard Zhu Ming's words, but Su Han's interest was not high at this time. She looked up at Zhu Ming and said, Then Zhu Ming, you are going to leave, right? This sudden question made Zhu Ming stunned for a moment. He then remembered a paging from Du Peng from Nanjian that he had received this morning, saying that the land speculation he predicted had finally begun and Du Peng had never experienced such a thing. I didn't know what to do. The chaotic situation left him clueless, and he urged himself to go to Nanjian to help him. Of course, if it's just Du Peng, it's okay for Zhu Ming to be a few days later. Anyway, this kind of land speculation will not reach the peak in a month or two. But when it was about noon, the mayor of Nanjian Chen Yunfei also beat him. The paging made him make sure to go to Nanjian. This made Zhu Ming couldn't take it seriously. Thinking of this, Zhu Ming apologized and said to Su Han, I'm sorry, I haven't been able to stay with you for long. Su Han shook his head and said, I didn't mean that. I know Zhu Ming, you are destined to fly thousands of miles. You can't always stay in the 760 factory. I dot 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 I just can't bear you. At this time, all the words seemed redundant, and Zhu Ming directly hugged Su Han into his arms and hugged him tightly. Chapter 89 He must be the leader. Question mark As the saying goes, every train has such an uncle who knows astronomy and geography. 500 years after knowing 500 years ago, who can speak and talk, and is even more brilliant than Bowen Liu. For such a person, Zhu Ming's previous life I've seen a lot, but I didn't expect to see it again in this life. Zhu Ming took the train from Lin Yang to Nanjian, and his ticket was still bought by Dai Zhenjian's relationship. When Zhu Ming walked into the sleeper compartment, he saw an uncle sitting on the lower berth and bragging to others. Zhu Ming didn't want to bother about it, but this uncle was sitting on his lower berth. Zhu Ming went over and asked the uncle to get out of the way. The uncle was also acquainted and sat directly on the lower bunk opposite. Zhu Ming put his luggage and prepared to lie down on the sleeper for a while, and then listened to the uncle opposite to say, Brother, are you going to Nanjian too? Are you going to work or go with relatives? Seems like you should be a scholar. It's not like a part-time job. There should be relatives in Nanjian, right? Facing the uncle's endless questions, Zhu Ming just glanced at him. Zhu Ming has always been unwilling to pay attention to people like this on the train. But this time the uncle obviously has a spirit of perseverance. He saw that Zhu Ming did not give up. Pay attention to him and continue to say to Zhu Ming. 
Is this the first time you go to Nanjian? Now it is developing very fast there. Houses are being built everywhere. I heard that a very tall hotel was built not long ago. It's spectacular. Little brother, I think a city like Nanjian needs young people like you to contribute knowledge and strength. I went there to do business. If the little brother is interested, I can introduce you to some business. I have been developing in Nanjian for a while. And I know a lot of people in all aspects, so I can help you a little bit, the uncle said again. At this time, a young man on the opposite side came out and said, This uncle is really amazing. He has a factory on the other side of Nanjian, and he can earn tens of thousands of dollars every month. Zuming looked at the pair of bunkers with some unbearable feeling, and said with a thumbs up, I'm really sorry for your eloquence if you two don't engage in MLM. These words stunned both of them, MLM? What is that? Zuming then remembered that MLM might have entered the country in this era, but it hasn't reached the point where it has become an overwhelming rat, but it didn't matter. Zuming didn't know these two people, so there was no need to explain to them. The train from Linyang to Nanjian took more than 10 hours. During this time, Zuming was able to see the uncle's banter skills. Except for Zuming himself, everyone in the carriage believed that he was a very rich man in Nanjian. The boss is out. In the end, Zuming couldn't help but asked him, Uncle, your name is Yang Yong, right? Hearing Zuming's question, the uncle showed a surprised expression for the first time. How do you know? Will you read the words face to face? Zuming was surprised. Of course. He was not a fasto face magic stick. In fact, he just asked casually, but he didn't expect it to be true, because Zuming remembered the number one MLM case in the country that broke out in the future. It now appears that this uncle does have the potential to be the godfather of MLM. Of course, Zuming would not say this to Yang Yong. He just waved his hand and said nothing, and continued to look at the book he had brought out from home. When the train arrived in Nanjian, Zuming got off the train with the luggage and followed the crowds, but only when he walked out of the station, everyone was stunned, because at this time Nanjian railway station was not as bustling as it used to be, but rather deserted. There were only a few police cars crowded with a black Audi car parked in the square inches front of the station, and a group of uniformed police officers stood in front of the exit and seemed to be waiting for something. Brother Yang. Didn't you say that there are a lot of people here in Nanjian? Why is Nanjian railway station like this? Zuming heard someone ask behind him, the voice was the young man on the opposite side. You don't know this? The situation is that a big leader came to the train station to inspect. Did you see the car over there? It is a luxury car, which is more advanced than the Toyota Crown. Nanjian is reformed and opened. In big cities, there are often such situations. So don't make a fuss, Uncle Yang Yong replied, immediately people admired him and praised him as the big boss of Nanjian, only when the words here fell off, I saw the police over there approaching. One of the leaders came to Zuming and saluted and said, Hello, Mr. Zhu. I am the deputy director of the Dongman District Public Security Bureau. My last name is Liu, I have been ordered to pick you up. As soon as Director Liu said what he said. He immediately shocked everyone at the exit. Everyone looked at Zuming with eyes wide in disbelief. They couldn't believe it. That was a deputy director of the Public Security Bureau. How could he come to pick up people at the gate of the train station in person? If all this is true, then what is the identity of the person who is qualified to let him pick him up? Thinking of this, Zuming's image suddenly became tall and majestic in the eyes of these people feeling a little out of reach. Uncle Yang Yong asked, that dot 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 leader, you must be the great leader who came down from the capital Yanjing, right? Zuming shook his head and said, I'm not a leader, I'm just an ordinary worker's child. Yang Yong heard Zuming's answer first, and then suddenly nodded and said, yes, you are an ordinary worker's son, leader Zu and the worker's son who leads our country to prosperity and strength. All of our leaders are from ordinary workers. Come out of the children of workers. This is called a good leader who stands out from the masses and can return to the masses. In the face of Yang Yong's praise of Zuming, other people also agreed, and they all praised Zuming as a rare good leader. He must be a great man, 
because only a great man can be so humble. Listening to the praise and praise from you all around me, Zuming's head was sweaty. At this time, Zuming really wanted to explode, damn it. Lao Tzu is really an ordinary worker's child, and it's not a big leader who came down from Yanjing. Now Lao Tzu, like you, doesn't know what's going on. But in the end Zuming still held back. Anyway, these guys didn't know him, it was up to them what they thought. Zuming stepped forward and gave Director Liu a gift, hello, Director Liu, this is Zuming. Mei Chen sent you to pick me up? He shook his head and said, we are here to pick you up on the instructions of the municipal bureau. Please get in the car and leave your luggage to us. Zuming looked at the Audi parked in the station square, nodded to Director Liu, handed the luggage to a police officer who came over, and then followed Director Liu to the Audi car. Zuming walked away, and immediately heard that the future MLM godfather behind him began to talk endlessly, is it true? This is Yanjing's great leadership style. I have long seen that this little brother is very it's not easy. I've been talking to you in the car, but I never look for him. It's because I feel a very different aura in him. That kind of aura is invisible to the naked eye. I can feel it by feeling and maybe some special people can see it. It's a kind of aura that can only be exuded by a person with a king's blood in a high position. Yang Yong's speech behind him made Zhu Ming helpless. Isn't this guy engaged in MLM? Why are you still talking about the romance of the three kingdoms and Feng Shen Bang? How come out even the domineering spirit? But what made Zhu Ming feel speechless was that Yang Yong's words were obviously nonsense and the people next to him actually believed it. Zeming could feel that they all looked at him with a kind of admiration, as if they really came from Yanjing. A certain leader privately interviewed by the microservices is average. At this time, Zeming wanted to say to Director Liu, Uncle the policeman is trying to trick the crowd and arrest him soon, but in the end he gave up. After all, others are helping themselves with publicity and they are sparing no effort to say that they are good. I'm a bit too humane to treat him this way. Zuming followed Director Liu to the Audi car, the door opened, and a familiar face suddenly appeared in front of Zuming. Damn, it really is Du Peng, you guy. Zuming cursed. The person sitting in the Audi car is Du Peng. Compared to more than two months ago, this guy is now wearing a brand name suit which is more of a descendant of the capital's rich and powerful. Zeming did think that it was Du Peng. After all, he only knew Tang Ran and Du Peng here in Nanjian. The little girl Tang Ran certainly didn't have the skills, so it could only be Du Peng. Zeming got into the car and closed the door. Du Peng ha ha said to Zeming, how is it? Are you surprised? I was surprised, but there was not much joy. Zeming said grimly, but what's the situation with you guy, Du Peng? Driving out of an Audi that is not officially sold in China, the police car cleared the road and brought the police. Come to the station to clear the scene to pick up people. Are you so high profile that you are not afraid of making trouble for your family, and you are not afraid that someone will talk about your practice after it is exposed? Du Peng held up the country with his hands and made a surrender, saying, Zeming you have misunderstood me. I didn't decide this privately. I was also appointed by Uncle Chen. Mayor Chen Yunfei asked you to do this? Zuming asked in surprise. Du Peng nodded affirmatively and said, Yes, Uncle Chen asked me to receive you with high standards. I think since Uncle Chen said so, I will use the biggest pomp to pick you up. Du Peng said while looking at Zuming and then explained, You believe me this is true? or else you think I can mobilize the police. I am not a leader, even if my grandfather is Du Zongyi Yuan, but I don't belong to one system, without Uncle Chen's approval, I still can't command. Zhu Ming nodded in agreement. Although Zhu Ming had not contacted the powerful children in his previous life, he still wanted to come. If there were no local officials nodded and the police car cleared the way, some public security chiefs would really not dare to call the shots. But this way, Zhu Ming was puzzled again, because if Du Peng wanted to do this, he might be young and vigorous. After making a lot of money, he was a little self-confident and wanted to show off in this way. This is understandable, but it was not his idea, but Nanjian Mayor Chen Yunfei asked him to do this, which made Zhu Ming a little confused. Then Chen Yunfei is the mayor of Nanjian anyway. 
How could he do this? Chapter 90 is not impossible. Question mark riding in Du Peng's car. Ziming quickly arrived at the Nanjian city government under the police car of the Dongmen District Public Security Bureau. Chen Yunfei's secretary greeted Ziming at the door and told Ziming that Chen Yunfei had something to do, and arranged for Ziming and Du Peng to go to the reception room of the municipal government to wait for a while. The two came to the reception room of the municipal government to sit down, and Du Peng excitedly said to Ziming, Ziming. You guys really know everything, according to what you said, I spent 7 million on the government's land auction. I took a picture of a piece of land and kept it there and waited for it to be resold. The asking price was 10 million. In less than a week, many people came to buy it. I didn't do anything. I just turned it around and made a full 310,000. Compared with Du Peng's excitement, Ziming's emotions were much colder. It's not surprising that Nanjiang City, as a special economic zone, is constantly being transported here in terms of policies and resources, and everything is in accordance with the international standards. It was built by the standards of a metropolis. The land here is very valuable, not to mention that the country has just begun to liberalize land sales. If the price does not rise, then there will be a problem. Speaking of this, Ziming looked up and down Du Peng and asked, but then you guys will enjoy it here in Nanjian. Even Audi has bought it. If I remember correctly, Audi hasn't got it yet. Enter our domestic market formally, right? Du Peng laughed and said, Ziming, you don't know anything about it. What you said was not officially entered, it was just official words. In fact, Audi has already come in and it's just a small-scale communication with government departments. In the preliminary test of the water, no official announcement has been made. Those leaders did not dare to ride the car because it was too luxurious. In the end, it was cheaper for me. It turned out to be like this, Ziming said to Du Peng. Then you can get me one too. Damn. Ziming, you all know that Audi hasn't entered the domestic market and you told me to do it. Are you embarrassing me? It took me a lot of effort or some luck to get it. You think it's everywhere. Is it for sale? Du Peng protested. Ziming's answer is very reasonable. If I officially enter the domestic market, what will I ask you to do? I just pay for it myself. Du Peng still wanted to protest something. But at this time Ziming slapped him on the shoulder and said to him earnestly, Comrade Du Peng, as a noble and powerful child in the capital, you can't say number. As a shouting to Mayor Chen Uncle's people, you can't say that you have nothing to do with it. The big deal is that you can think of a way to smuggle a car from Hong Kong City. The so-called forced prostitution must be Ziming, you are like this. Du Peng hummed. Ziming laughed happily. It was said that Ziming wanted to buy a car. After all, it was easy to go out. It didn't matter whether it was Audi or not. He was just joking with Du Peng. Just as Ziming was talking with Du Peng here, the door of the reception room was suddenly pushed open, and Nanjian Mayor Chen Yunfei walked in. Ziming and Du Peng wanted to stand up and greet Chen Yunfei. But Chen Yunfei gestured to them not to get up. Chen Yunfei bypassed the sofa and sat in front of them. It is not difficult to see that the mayor of Nanjian is a bit tired. He rubbed his temples, and after a while, he raised his head and asked Ziming, Listen to Du Peng about the land storage in Nanjian. You had expected the land speculation a long time ago, and you gave the idea that Du Peng went to auction the land and then hoarded it and sold it. What Chen Yunfei asked so directly surprised Ziming, but Ziming still nodded and said yes. Chen Yunfei sighed, pointed at Ziming and said, You little guy, but you have given us a party and the government problem. Chen Yanfei's words surprised Zhu Ming. He asked Du Peng, why is Nanjian's land speculation already crazy now? That's not true, it's just that this trend is already there. Now all companies that have bought land are learning that we don't develop but only stock up on land, and when we find a buyer with a higher bid, we sell it directly. Du Peng hesitated at this point, and then continued, and just last week, a leader of the central government called Uncle Chen, so Uncle Chen must find a way to control this situation and not let Nanjian the land has become a hotbed of speculation. Hearing the name of this central leader shocked Ziming's heart. This name is really amazing. 
He is the founder of reform and opening up. He was the special economic zone that Nanjian was designated as a special economic zone. In the history of China, this central leader cannot go around in any way. But I didn't expect that just because of the land speculation he had caused, he would have alarmed such a big man. This news is incredible. However, it was this news that made Zhu Ming suddenly figure out a lot of the key points. He figured out why Du Peng was so anxious to let himself go back to Nanjian, why the mayor Chen Yunfei would paging himself, and why Chen Yunfei when he arrived in Nanjian will allow Du Peng to give himself such a high standard of receiving treatment. If someone else heard the news, they might think that the leader had made a fuss, but Zhu Ming would not. Zhu Ming thought about it for a while and suddenly realized that he seemed to have missed a very crucial question, that is, the land auction in Nanjian is not the same as the real estate bubble in Kyanghai province, which is just to create another special economic zone. Incidentally, there were unexpected circumstances, but this time Nanjian was the first land auction led by the government after the reform and opening up. In the domestic political environment, since it is the first activity, it means that no problems are allowed. This is because once a problem arises, it is discrediting the central government's policies. If the policies are discredited, how can they be implemented? Therefore, for the first time, success must be guaranteed at all costs. The above order was suppressed, but whether it was Chen Yunfei or Du Peng, they had never known that land sales could still be carried out in this way. Now facing the land hoarding and speculation activities of various real estate companies, they do not know what to do, where to start, in the end, there was no way. I thought of myself, called myself from Lin Yang, and gave myself such a high standard treatment. Having figured out these key points, Zhu Ming said embarrassedly to Chen Yunfei, I'm sorry Mayor Chen, this is because I didn't consider it thoroughly, which caused trouble to the party and the country. Chen Yunfei waved his hand and said, actually, I don't blame you. After the economy is released, there will indeed be various speculative behaviors. If you let Du Peng do this, it can be regarded as a wake-up call for us. If we can handle it properly this time. We will accumulate great experience for the future housing reform. If we encounter this kind of thing in the future, our party and country will not be helpless. Zhu Ming thought for a while and said, Mayor Chen, it's not difficult to solve this problem, as long as the government stops it and asks the company that has obtained the land to develop it, this method won't work. Chen Yunfei immediately rejected it. Zhu Ming said, and Du Peng next to him explained to Zhu Ming. Reform and opening up are now a major policy, and it is also a major policy to allow land to be bought and sold freely. As the mayor of Nanjian, Uncle Chen cannot go against the major policy. Even reform and opening up are subject to the government's macro control, and it is impossible to truly let the economy develop freely. Therefore, the government's policy is generally not considered to be contrary to the big policy. Zhu Ming said his own views. Du Peng shook his head and said to Zhu Ming, it's not counted, but things are not like this. Hearing Uncle Chen said that the central leadership meant that since reform and opening up is an economic problem, it is natural to use economic means to solve it. If administrative intervention is used, it will go against the original intention of reform and opening up, and it will not allow our market to be truly tested. That's it, Zhu Ming said. So if administrative intervention could be used, Uncle Chen would have done this a long time ago, because the above has already clarified the idea, that is, it must be solved at the economic level, and the administrative power will not directly interfere, otherwise it will not be so troublesome, Du Peng said, now Zhu Ming, you also understand the difficulty of Uncle Chen's side, then we will go back and think about it before, before Du Peng finished speaking, Zhu Ming said, if you don't directly intervene, there is no way. Hearing Zhu Ming's words, both Chen Yunfei and Du Peng were stunned. They both looked at Zhu Ming in surprise, and they couldn't believe it. It is said that newborn calves are not afraid of tigers. I think Zhu Ming, you are a typical example. Chen Yunfei said to Zhu Ming. Du Peng hurriedly said to Zhu Ming, Zhu Ming, 
you can talk nonsense about this, Uncle Chen has organized several meetings between city officials and Nanjing experts and scholars. He also made a special trip to the capital city of Yanjing and Nhai to consult experts. Yes, but there is no good way, and the central government has not given instructions. Now Ziming, you have only arrived in Nanjing and you don't even understand the situation. This concept of land speculation was originally proposed by me. What else do I need to know? As for other experts and scholars, they can't help it. I'm not saying that their level is poor, but the long-term planned economy has fixed the thinking of many people. Many methods are not unexpected, but they don't have that concept at all. Ziming said. Really? Then I would like to hear your young Jun Yan's advice and see what we can't think of, Chen Yunfei said. Then I said, is there any benefit to me? Ziming asked. Ziming's question made both Chen Yunfei and Du Peng stunned. For Chen Yunfei, he had never seen anyone make such a request to himself, and Du Peng felt that Ziming was a little too daring to do so. I dare to ask for benefits from Chen Yunfei. You must know that he is a highly regarded student of his grandfather. He is the deputy governor of Lingnan, the mayor of Nanjian. He is a man who has been delegated from the central government and is qualified to talk with the leaders of the central government on the phone. You little guy is so courageous, Chen Yunfei was amused at Ziming. Well, what good do you want? Ziming scratched his head and thought for a while, I haven't been to Nanjian for less than half an hour, and I haven't thought about it yet. Chen Yunfei and Du Peng were immediately dumbfounded. Chapter 91 I'm not happy to be an official for you. Question mark bow thank you Yui Langxing for your support. Thank you Yui Langxing and don't cheat for your monthly pass support. Chen Yunfei is really dumbfounded. It can be said that Ziming is mentally prepared no matter what benefits he asks for at this time. After all, from the situation just now, this young man is very courageous and confident of himself, but Chen Yunfei is from the central government, in Nanjian, for half of his life in the officialdom, I never thought that Ziming would say so directly that he hadn't thought about it yet, haven't thought you started talking so lively, are you fucking kidding me, with this thought, Chen Yunfei's expression turned gloomy, looking at Chen Yunfei's expression, Du Peng said anxiously, what are you doing, Ziming? Don't talk nonsense in front of Uncle Chen. Compared with Du Peng's eagerness, Ziming said calmly, Mayor Chen, I'm not joking with you. Good, doesn't it mean that I've been prepared, or a little bit more heartfelt? I can simply say that I provoked the land speculation this time, but unfortunately it's not like that. Chen Yunfei's expression looked better now, he waved his hand and said, you don't need to explain it, I'm not as stingy as you think. Chen Yunfei thought about it for a while, and then said, since you can think of it for the time being, don't think about it. As the mayor of Nanjian, I can give you a promise without violating any party discipline laws. Is that okay? Ziming thanked Chen Yunfei, but Du Peng looked stupid beside him, because he knew Chen Yunfei better than Ziming. He knew very well that Chen Yunfei was a very strict person under the guidance of his grandfather. How could he easily give it this way? If Du Peng hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he would never believe it. Don't rush to thank you. If you can't explain why, then you are in trouble. Chen Yunfei said to Ziming. Ziming smiled slightly. How can I dare to do porcelain work without diamonds? In fact, it is very simple to control the speculation, but before that, I want to ask Mayor Chen a question. What is the current income level of Nanjiang City? Question mark or how many rich companies do we have in Nanjiang and even the entire Lingnan province? I mean the kind of companies that can give out a lot of cash. Chen Yunfei and Du Peng looked at Ziming in surprise. They didn't understand what Ziming's thinking was about. Didn't they also talk about controlling land speculation just now? Why did he talk about the company's problems in a blink of an eye? Is it possible that he still wants the government to directly interview the company's person in charge? But isn't this method just because the government has intervened in the economy? Isn't it forbidden by the above? If not, what do you mean by that? Of course Ziming can guess what the two of them think. Ziming said. I think I already know the answer. It seems that there are not many such companies, 
but very few, of course there are very few, after all, we have just reformed and opened up, even if Nanjian is a special economic zone with national support, it is only a few years old, when it comes to real development, it is the last few years, how can there be many rich people, what about the company, even fewer companies can spend tens of millions to buy land at once, Du Peng couldn't help but said to Ziming, the crux of what I said is here, Ziming said, Chen Yunfei and Du Peng froze for a moment, and then fell into deep thought, Ziming continued, since we don't have so many wealthy companies in Nanjing and even in the entire Lingnan province, how did land speculation start? There will not be only a few rich companies. Isn't your company going upside down? If it's not just a few big companies going upside down, where does the money from other companies come from? These words made Chen Yunfei and Du Peng's eyes lit up, and they said in unison, Bank, it's here, Ziming said. Many people have seen that the land in Anjian will rise, and land speculation can make a fortune, but many people suffer from lack of money, so most people want to catch up with this train of speculation. You can only choose to go to the bank for loans. This is nothing, but the key is that the land speculation itself is a kind of bubble economy. Once the bubble bursts, then the bank will be left with a pile of bad debts. If the government does not strengthen the bank starting with the supervision of accounts does not itself interfere with the economy, and it can also kill speculation all at once. Chen Yunfei and Du Peng suddenly realized that, Chen Yunfei patted his thigh and said, yes, why didn't I think about it? I said, why are so many real estate companies popping up all at once? Feelings these guys are all temporarily registered, their money is also all borrowed from the bank. Then Chen Yunfei said to Ziming with emotion, this is really like what you said, whether it is our government carders or those experts and scholars, our minds are fixed by the original planned economy, and even this most basic direction can't be thought of. Du Peng was very excited and said, Ziming, you are too strong, unexpectedly, so many people are helpless and the problem of Uncle Chen not sleeping well for a few days is actually so simple here, you are simply not, people, Ziming shrugged and said, this can only be said to be a different way of thinking, after all, Mayor Chen and the experts and scholars, you are all from a macro standpoint, from a top down perspective, look at the problem, but I'm different, I'm a businessman, and what I want to do is how to make money, as for the first time I can figure it out, it's because if it's me, I will do the same. Yes, our government card has just lack such an ability to think about empathy. Chen Yunfei shook his head. As the mayor of Nanjing appointed by the central government, he would be emotional, but he would not be too entangled with any emotions. He then asked Ziming, then, according to what you want, just think of a way to tighten the bank's mouth. Take the capital of those companies, as long as their capital chain is broken, the land speculation will naturally not go on, right? Ziming nodded and said, yes, even if the speculation is profitable, there is no way if you don't have the capital in your hands. You are right. I will communicate with the banking system tomorrow, not today. I believe the comrades over there will support our work, Chen Yunfei said. But Mayor Chen, one thing is that this kind of bad debts can only be discovered after the fact. The current economic bubble has just risen. Crazy money will make people lose the most basic ability to distinguish, and simply let the upper level banking system go. Standardization, I am afraid it will be difficult to achieve results. Ziming worried. In fact, there is another sentence Ziming did not say, that is, the bank and the government belong to two different systems. Although the bank has always respected the local leaders, it is just a kind of polite. After all, he is still here, in many aspects. If you need help from the government, you can save face. If once it comes to this kind of real interest entanglement, since you can't move his position, then he may not buy your account. Chen Yunfei thought for a while and wanted to ask, you are right. What do you think should be done? I think it's best to do both. On the one hand, Mayor Chen, you can find a way to strengthen the supervision of bad debts and provide some corresponding policies. On the other hand, please ask Mayor Chen to help me make an appointment with the local banking system. 
people, I will give them a meeting and explain to them the current situation, I believe it will be much better, Ziming said. Chen Yunfei was surprised and asked, you said they would listen to you if you held a meeting for them. Ziming spread his hands together, Mayor Chen, I don't dare to give you any ticket, but I am at least 99% sure. If others said this in front of Chen Yunfei, Chen Yunfei would definitely think that he was uttering a lot of words. But to Ziming, Chen Yunfei thought he really had this confidence. Okay, Chen Yunfei nodded and said, it takes about two days for me to communicate with the provincial bank, and it takes about one day for the administrative order to be issued, so the meeting between you and the local bank will be set in three days. Can you see it? Question mark. No problem. Ziming was very confident. Chen Yunfei pondered for a moment, and then said to Ziming, however, it's not right to let you go to a meeting with comrades in the bank. I will arrange for you a position as a special consultant for Nanjian development. Ziming scratched his head and said, Thank you Mayor Chen, then. Chen Yunfei raised his brows, Why are you not happy to give you an official title? Mayor Chen, you are right, I really don't want to be this development consultant. Ziming replied. Chen Yunfei asked puzzledly, why is this? Others seem to have sharpened their heads and want to take up positions in the government. They are them and I am me, Ziming said, I just want to be my businessman quietly and make my money. I don't want to be linked to any politics. It turned out to be like this, Chen Yunfei smiled, but you must also understand that this is impossible. In the end, any commercial activity is inseparable from politics. This is the case both at home and abroad. Ziming nodded and said, of course I understand, but I don't want to get involved too deeply, and I don't want to be a victim of politics. After all, no matter how much money I make or how much status I have in society, I will still be unable to compete with the state apparatus. Yes, if I made no mistakes but got me involved because of the previous incident, wouldn't I be wronged too much? Chen Yunfei sat upright and looked at Ziming in surprise. If Ziming's performance at the beginning can only be said to be his extraordinary talent in economics, then Ziming's words can show that he really is. Sharp eyes. Maybe it sounds like Ziming's remarks are not surprising. In fact, many people can think of it, but the key is that when faced with the temptation of power, how many people can still keep their original refusal? I'm afraid Zhu Ming is the only one. It is conceivable that if nothing happens to Zhu Ming, his name will surely resound throughout the country and the world in the near future. Thinking of this, Chen Yunfei said to Zhu Ming, in this case, then I can assure you that the special advisor you linked to is only aimed at the economic development of Nanjian city, and does not mean any political activities. Thank you Mayor Chen, Ziming said. Chapter 92, Toyota. Question mark bow to thank Clarion in the wind two inches and dead under the tomb for their support. Damn, Ziming, you fellow dare to say. Du Peng said to Ziming. Nanjian city is a special economic zone. As the mayor, Chen Yunfei has a lot of things every day. Therefore, after talking to Ziming, Chen Yunfei left the reception room. When Chen Yunfei was gone, Du Peng lost the pressure of Chen Yunfei and began to become nervous. After all, the words Ziming said before Chen Yunfei were really shocking. I'm afraid that besides Ziming, no one would dare to say that. Ziming didn't care about this. Is there anything I dare not say? I am a typical barefoot person who is not afraid of wearing shoes. There are benefits and no benefits. Two months ago, I also had nothing. Du Peng also knew Ziming's family history, but it was because of this that he was even more shocked, because for most people, they dare to fight when they have nothing, but once they make money, they will be afraid and loose. The kind of hard work before. But then again, Ziming. Are you really sure to persuade those bank presidents? I know that these guys can hardly be served one by one. Du Peng asked. If you asked me this question yesterday, then I will tell you that I am basically not sure, but today, I will tell you that I am completely confident, Ziming said. Du Peng was stunned for a moment, why is this? Because I met a very special person on the train. He gave me a lot of inspiration. When I saw him, 
I suddenly remembered that there is a routine that is very persuasive, Ziming said. This made Du Peng's head confused. He didn't understand what Ziming was talking about. Because Yang Yong was not the godfather of MLM in the future, Ziming didn't explain much to Du Peng. After leaving the Nanjian city government building, Ziming came to the exit entry administration office to pick up Tang Ran. Tang Ran hadn't seen Ziming for more than a month. He missed Ziming very much. So today he asked for a leave of absence from his unit. He originally wanted to go to the train, standing to pick up Ziming, but Du Peng said that Mayor Chen Yanfei was looking for him, so Tang Ran didn't let Tang Ran pick him up, so he had to come to her after finishing the business. Before Ziming left the city government, he called Tang Ran. When Ziming came to the gate of her unit's dormitory, he could see Tang Ran standing there and looking around from a distance. Ziming beckoned to her, Tang Ran also saw Ziming, with a smile on his face. He ran towards Ziming, but Tang Ran didn't walk two steps. Suddenly a white Toyota drove over and stopped in front of Tang Ran, surprised. Then Toyota's car window rolled down, and a face wearing sunglasses came out, speaking to Tang Ran in a half-baked Lingnan dialect, pretty girl. Where are you going? Is it convenient for me to take you for a ride? After listening to these words, Ziming knew that he had come up to talk to Tang Ran on purpose. Today, Tang Ran was wearing a shirt and skirt that Ziming brought back for her from Hong Kong City. He was wearing a small white cap, coupled with her cute temperament. The whole person is like an innocent girl next door making men involuntarily want to love her. This guy can afford to drive a car now. He is probably also a rich boss, of course he will want to come up and have a look, but you fucking chose the wrong target. No dot 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 no, my boyfriend is waiting for me, so he came over. Tang Ran said hurriedly, and at the same time stepped back two steps, subconsciously pulling away from the Toyota car. Hearing what Tang Ran said, the Toyota man screamed in surprise, turned his head to look at Ziming's side saw Ziming walking towards this, and smiled disdainfully, and then said to Tang Ran, beautiful girl, look, it's so hot and the sun is so big, how convenient is it that you don't have a car, or take my car and I will take you for a ride, it's so convenient, don't you think, Tang Ran shook his head vigorously and said, no need, no need, just take a taxi. Taking a taxi is so troublesome, I have to stand on the side of the road and wait to eat the dust like a fast road sign, it's okay. Anyway, I'm fine now. The Toyota man persevered. Ziming walked over at this moment. Before Ziming could speak, the Toyota man asked Ziming with his eyes slanted, are you the boyfriend of this pretty girl? Ziming nodded and asked him what's wrong? The Toyota man looked up and down Ziming a few times and said, You should be considered a cultural man like this. Well, I opened a company outside the East Gate. You can go to work in my company. I can open four for you. Hundred yuan a month. This treatment is very good, right? No way. Who will let me and your girlfriend hit it off? Listening to Toyota's words, Ziming was a little bit dumbfounded. This guy really feels good about himself. However, Ziming glanced at himself and understood that this guy was like this. Today he was taken to the city government by Du Peng when he got off the train. Now that the city government has not had time to change his clothes, the Toyota man looking at my dress for catching a train, I obviously thought I was a poor student working in Nanjian. I was lucky enough to have a girlfriend like Tang Ran. Ziming. Ignore him, I don't even know him. Tang Ran hurriedly explained to Ziming. Hearing Tang Ran's words, the Toyota man said to Ziming again, So your name is Ziming? This is a good name, how about it? 400 yuan a month, this is a rare good thing, but I and this pretty girl are pretty good. You understand, Ziming, let's ignore him, he is just a neurotic. Shall we go? Tang Ran said to Ziming. Ziming patted Tang Ran's little hand, gave her a relieved smile, and then asked Toyota Man, Are you rich? Seeing Ziming finally talking to him, Toyota Man immediately became energetic. But how did he know that Ziming was deliberately talking to him? After all, 
he dared to strike up a conversation with Tang Ran in front of Zhu Ming, and he still felt so good about himself. It made Zhu Ming feel that he would be sorry to his parents if he didn't teach him a lesson. However, the Toyota man didn't realize it. He patted his car proudly and said to Zhu Ming, Look at my car, Toyota Crown, luxury sedan. Do you think I have money? These words made Zhu Ming feel funny. When did Toyota become a symbol of the rich? But then I think that in this era, Mercedes Benz and BMW have not yet come in, and Toyota seems to be a luxury car. Seeing Zhu Ming's face, the Toyota guy thought Zhu Ming didn't know Toyota, so he said in another way, Well, I don't think you know what Toyota Crown is, or you can get in the car with this pretty girl. I invite you to lunch and you will know that I have no money. Invite me to lunch, Zeming sneered in his heart. Are you sure? I can eat it very well. Toyota man smiled contemptuously. How much can you eat? Get in the car quickly and watch brother take you to a big meal. Okay, since you are so generous, then I will go with you to meet the world, Zeming said. When speaking, Zhu Ming's eyes flashed with a gleam. In fact, he was saying in his heart, since you like showing off so much, you deserve to die. After Zhu Ming finished speaking, he took Tang Ran into the car. After getting into the car, Tang Ran hugged Zhu Ming in fear, as if everything in the car was a poisonous snake and a devil. Zhu Ming hugged Tang Ran, gently patted her jade back, and comforted her. It's okay, you can just take a taxi. The one in front is the driver's eldest brother. The Toyota man was about to start the car. He almost did not lose his breath when he heard Zhu Ming's words. He gritted his teeth fiercely and scolded Zhu Ming in his heart. Damalozi kindly drove you to a big meal. You his mother used Lao Tzu as a taxi driver. Have you seen a damn luxury taxi? If it were not for that pretty girl's sake, I would leave you out of the car. Toyota man scolded in his heart. But on the surface he still asked with a smile, it seems that pretty girls rarely ride in cars. Yes, we usually take taxis, Zhu Ming said. Then I'm going to talk about you, look at this beautiful girl, how can you bear to take a taxi with her? If it were me, why would I not let my woman take a taxi, or drive by myself, you say isn't it? Toyota said deliberately, Zhu Ming said he was too lazy to take the conversation. Toyota guy thought his words were irritating Zhu Ming, so he went on to say, little brother, it's not that I said you, you really should make money, you can consider going to work with me, I'm the boss, I can open a back door for you and give you some good treatment, I can still drive this pretty girl to and from get off work, she's accustomed to taking a car, after all, I will always take a car in the future. Zhu Ming didn't have time to listen to Toyota man taking ideological and political classes here, so he said, can you drive to the hotel, I'm hungry. At this time, Toyota man was talking about happiness, and was choked back by Zhu Ming's sudden words. He started the car while muttering to Zhu Ming, the poor ghost is the poor ghost. After a ten minute drive. Toyota man took Zhu Ming and Tang Ran to the Dongman Hotel, parked the car, and Toyota man walked out of the car and introduced to Zhu Ming, this is the Dongman Hotel, which is also our entire Anjian city. How about the most luxurious hotel? Haven't been here before? Zhu Ming completely ignored his ridicule, and asked him, I heard that a new and best Nanu hotel was built on the Nanu side, and it's a tall building, that's the best? Right? Toyota man glanced at Zhu Ming and said, Huh? I didn't expect you guys to have a lot of money and know a lot of money. Yes, a new hotel has indeed been built on the South Lake side, but that hotel has only been renovated. Everything is imperfect, and the food is not as complete as here. This Dongman Hotel is after all our old name in Nanjian. For people with status like me, this old name is usually the first choice for eating. Zhu Ming said in his heart. Zhu Ming heard Du Peng said that Nanu Hotel was built in accordance with the standards of a world-class hotel, and it must be the number one hotel in Nanjian. Of course, the dishes and supporting facilities are first class, so consumption is naturally high. According to Du Peng, if you eat in a better box, it is generally about 30% more expensive than the Southgate Hotel. If it is a top box it's more expensive. Looking at this Toyota man, 
I am afraid that he is just an ordinary little boss. He and Tang Ran are not customers who must accompany him. He just wants to show himself in front of Tang Ran, so he can save and save. The expression in Zhu Ming's eyes made Toyota Man very uncomfortable. He quickly waved his hand and shook his head and said, Hey, what did you say I said to you? You know you don't come to such places to eat often, and it's meaningless. Say, shall we go in? Okay. Zhu Ming answered like this, and walked in with the Toyota Man with Tang Ran, thinking, Dongman Hotel is the Dongman Hotel. It can make you cry like this and I am more familiar with it here. Chapter 93, Alternative Fox Fake Tigers Question mark Bao thank you P7878 for your support. Zhu Ming took Tang Ran and followed Feng Shen Man into the East Gate Hotel. Tang Ran nervously took Zhu Ming's hand and asked in a low voice, Brother Ming, will there be any problem, right? Zhu Ming patted Tang Ran's little hand and said, Don't worry, we are not here for the first time. As long as I am not recognized, we can order food when we enter the box later. Is it good for him to be poor? Tang Ran nodded heavily, Brother Ming, I will do what you say. This guy is really annoying, I don't like him. Good. Zhu Ming praised Tang Ran. Coming to the door of the hotel, Miss Yingbin saw Zhu Ming come over and bowed and said, Mr. Zhu is good. This made Zhu Ming feel a little helpless. It seems that the last time I auctioned the land here and talked with Mayor Chen, these things have already been done. The hotel has already remembered herself, even if one month has passed now, the lady welcoming guest at the door actually remembered herself. But Zhu Ming didn't say anything. He saw the Toyota man in front waved his hand to the welcome lady at the door and said, Okay. So are you guys. Seeing the surprise in the eyes of the two welcoming ladies, it was obvious that they did not know the Toyota man. Zhu Ming couldn't help asking him, what is your surname Zhu Tu? Toya Dao answered as expected, of course, you didn't hear the two welcome ladies saying hello to me. Zhu Ming was dumbfounded. I didn't expect that today's thing would be a coincidence. This Toyota man was also surnamed Zhu, but that's okay because after all, it wouldn't be fun if he was recognized by the hotel, since this Toyota man is so self-confident. I thought I was saying hello to him, and the hotel probably thought he was some important guest of his own, and he would definitely not reveal it, so I would finish the wrong trick and let this Toyota male behave like a tiger and let him enjoy the real big boss. Feel it, but the price will be quite high. Toyota man is really self-confident. He didn't expect that his luck was very good. The welcome lady at the door would actually say hello to himself. It seems that this big hotel is different. He remembered it after only a few visits. When he walked into the hotel, Toyota man came to the front desk. Originally, he just wanted an ordinary box. After all, the premium box is very expensive, and it is usually reserved for the bigwigs. He can't book it at all. What he didn't expect was that the lady at the front desk took the initiative to tell him that there was a VIP box. VIP box. Can I book it too? Toyota man was a little surprised. Of course. The lady at the front desk answered him with a smile. The Toyota man was stunned. At this time, Zhu Ming said to him behind him, What? Boss Zhu won't be unable to book the VIP box, right? Hearing Zhu Ming's voice, Toyota Man's face stiffened for a while, then he straightened his chest and said, How is this possible? Isn't it a VIP box? I go there often, otherwise you think you think of a luxury hotel like Dongman Hotel. VIP boxes are specially reserved for people, can they be booked at will? Today is your luck, I am here you will be lucky enough to go to the VIP boxes. The lady at the front desk was a little surprised at what Toyota said, and Zhu Ming nodded and said, I believe that whether others believe it or not, I believe it anyway. Toyota man opened a VIP box at the front desk, and then ordered the waiter to take them to the box. Sat down, the waiter brought the menu to the three people, Zhu Ming opened the menu, and raised his head to ask the waiter, what kind of dishes are you here best? Expensive? This sentence made the Toyota guy who had just opened the menu almost lost his breath. He said to Ming, can you be a good guy? This is the Dongman Hotel. It is a very high-end place, 
not a roadside food stall. You didn't order like this. Ziming raised his eyelids. If you don't order food like this, how do you order it? Or are you afraid that you will be shy when you check out? The Toyota man was stunned. He glanced at Tang Ran and saw that the little girl was looking at him with a pair of innocent big eyes. The Toyota man had to grit her teeth and waved her hand. How is it possible? Do you think I am like you? A poor student who can't afford it? I'm the big boss of Toyota. Don't hesitate to order whatever you want. I will open your eyes today. Zuming Kiang suppressed his laughter. He gave Toyota a thumbs up. Okay. You deserve to be the big boss. So bold. Then Zuming put together his own menu and handed it back to the waiter in the box. Don't look at it. Just what kind of dish is the most expensive? Anyway. There is a big boss here to check out. The box attendant also thought of the big Toyota driving boss, and chuckled, but soon held back, nodded to Zuming and Toyota with a smile, and then asked softly, Mr. Zhu, what do you need to drink? What? I'll take a look first before talking. Toyota said. Zuming said unceremoniously, let's have a bottle of Lafite from 82 years, and Henry Ives brandy. Is there any here? Okay. Let me ask for you, please wait a moment. The box attendant went to ask about the intercom, and came back soon and said to Zeming, Hello sir, we have 82 year old Lafite here, but we don't have the Henry IV brandy you mentioned. I'm sorry, it doesn't matter, then change to another brandy or agave, Zeming added at the end, it must be the most expensive. Originally, the bunch of names that he hadn't heard made Toyota Man's heart jump. It was just because he wanted to maintain his demeanor in front of the beautiful woman, he could not say anything. He almost vomited blood when he heard Zuming's last words. Toyota Man reached out his hand to signal to the waiter, and was about to speak. Zuming preemptively said, Oh, yes, the boss over there is different from us. Give him a cup of heartache. The box attendant and Toyota man were stunned. They looked at Zeming without knowing it, and asked in unison, What is the feeling of heartache? Zeming gestured for the box attendant to come over, and quietly explained to her that it was a glass of 20,000 yuan worth of boiled water. The box attendant laughed out loud and wanted to tell Zeming that the hotel did not sell it like this, but Zeming told her, You and the manager said that it would be right to let him go like this. The waiter nodded and walked out of the box. Go and order food for Zuming. When the waiter walked out of the box, the Toyota man looked at Zuming in confusion and asked, What is the feeling of heartache? I heard that this is a unique drink in this hotel. Why don't you know that such a big boss? Zuming asked pretendingly in surprise. Toyota man felt a little bit frustrated, so he immediately slapped his chest and said, of course I know, how come I don't? I'm afraid you don't understand. After speaking, the Toyota man turned his gaze to Tang Ran again, and said to Tang Ran in a gentle voice, Pretty girl, you have ordered all the food, I don't know your name yet. Tang Ran exerted her natural black skills, looked at Toyota man with big black eyes and asked, Are you really rich? This meal might cost a lot of money. Toyota man waved his hand meaninglessly and said, you look down on me, didn't I tell you all? I am a big boss, a rich boss, I usually eat like this, and I can eat well. It's more expensive than today. Today, I just looked at you and fell in love with you. I especially like you, so I made an exception and brought you here to open my eyes. Tang Ran let out a cry, then turned his head and said to Zeming, Brother Ming. It seems that we were really taken advantage of today. If Zeming's words just made Toyota Nan want to vomit blood, then Tang Ran's words gave him the urge to go violently. What's the matter? Brother drove you to the best restaurant in Nanjing, and let you order the most expensive dishes and the most expensive wine at will. Is that what you say about your brother in the end? Take advantage of. Zeming also severely criticized Tang Ran and said, Of course. How can you say that? If it weren't for this uncle, how could we come to this Dongman hotel today to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the most expensive wine? Want to eat western food? Tell you, this Lafite is the best red wine in the world. Tang Ran nodded, seemingly understanding, and then said to Toyota Man, Thank you, 
Uncle, Toyota's gentlemanly demeanor can no longer be maintained. He gritted his teeth and said, I'm not 30 years old. Okay, don't get excited about this big brother. I know that when you are less than 30 years old, it is amazing to drive a Toyota that shows the status of aristocracy. Zeming persuaded the Toyota man, only the smile on Zeming's face however, Toyota man could not feel any respect, but he was a little mocking. Toyota sat down and said angrily, the poor ghost is the poor ghost, and there is no quality of politeness at all. At this time, the door of the box was suddenly pushed open, and the hotel manager walked in. He looked around in the box and finally fixed on Ziming, and said respectfully, I'm sorry to bother you, I'm the hotel manager and my surname, Wang, maybe you don't remember me, Mr. Zhu, the hotel manager said that he was about to come over to shake hands with Ziming, but at this time, Toyota man hurriedly stood up and shook hands with him, at the same time, he said, Mr. Wang, you are so polite. I didn't expect you to come here in person for dinner. We are a little flattered. Manager Wang looked at the strange face of Toyota man in a daze. He really couldn't remember which god this was, but he still smiled and said hello to him. After saying hello to Toyota man, he will leave. I said hello to Ziming in the past. Hello, Mr. Zhu, and welcome you to eat with us. I hope our service can still satisfy you. If there is anything wrong, Mr. Zhu can bring it up at any time, and we will improve it immediately. Zhu Ming waved his hand and said, Manager Wang is polite, you are fine here. The scene in front of him was stunned for a moment. He asked Manager Wang in confusion, Manager Wang, do you know him? Of course I know him, he is Mr. Zhu Ming Zhu. Manager Wang answered naturally, Zhu Ming. Toyota frowned, thinking carefully. Suddenly, Toyota man seemed to have thought of something terrible. He looked at Zuming incredulously, and said in surprise, Zuming, are you that Zuming? Chapter 94 You are asking yourself. The Toyota man pointed to Zuming as if he had discovered the new world. His eyes were wide open, and his eyes were full of weirdness. Now that he was recognized, Zuming didn't bother to continue acting with him. He nodded to the Toyota man and said, I am that Zuming. This is my girlfriend. Ziming's words sounded like five thunders in Toyota's ears. His head was completely short circuited, and there was no thought at all. He could only stare at Ziming blankly. This scene made the hotel manager Wang dumbfounded. He stared at Ziming and looked at Toyota man in a daze. He didn't understand that the two of them had come to eat together. Why did they seem to know each other? Look like. He opened his mouth to ask. But in the end he didn't know how to ask. Zuming kindly answered him, don't be surprised, Manager Wang. I did meet this boss Zhu, to be precise. It was the first time I met half an hour ago. At that time, my girlfriend was at the entrance of the unit, waiting for me. He said that he and my girlfriend hit it off and wanted to invite my girlfriend to dinner. I saw that he was so bold and could not refuse. So he came with my girlfriend. As the manager of the Dongman Hotel, Manager Wang was also very knowledgeable. Hearing Ziming's words, he immediately understood what was going on. Obviously it was the Ziming who saw that Tang Ran was pretty, and Ziming was not dressed well today. He also made some money. He felt that he was the big boss. So he looked down on Ziming and deliberately put a stick in the middle, thinking, show it off in front of the beauty to see if there is a chance for further development, but I don't know if I have encountered a hard stubble. On the other hand, Zuming is certainly not a bully, especially when someone is robbing a woman face to face. This kind of thing cannot be tolerated as long as a man with a handle, so Zuming brought him here and deliberately ordered it. The most expensive dishes, I also ordered Lafite and Brandy. This table just cost tens of thousands of yuan, this is deliberately to teach him a lesson. Thinking of this, Manager Wang glanced at Toyota Man with some pity, saying that this guy is not a character at first sight, and he has no eyesight at all. Just think about it. Most people who are robbed of a girlfriend face to face will either be blindfolded and don't know what to do, or they will fight hard with each other. How can they go to the hotel for dinner with you like Zuming? If you just use your brain a little, you will find something is wrong. 
Right, this person actually came with Zuming. Didn't you stretch your head over and let others take pictures? Toyota also knew that he was silly today, his face suddenly became very embarrassed, and he didn't know what to do. Zuming greeted at this moment, don't stand up anymore. Let's sit down and have a chat, Manager Wang. Should we be cooking? Manager Wang nodded and said, it's already being done. The dishes in the VIP box are given priority and will be delivered soon. That's fine. Let's sit down and wait for a while. Manager Wang, if you have nothing to do, let's eat together. Ziming said. At this time, the Toyota guy held back for a long time before he made a decision and said to Ziming with a smile, um dot 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 Mr. Zu. Should I not eat it? Leave if I have something to do. Are you leaving now? You don't want to eat a bite of food? Ziming said, it doesn't matter, Manager Wang, you can take him to pay the bill first. Toyota man was stunned at the time, pointing to himself and saying, should I pay the bill? How about it? You said that you were a treat, but I didn't force you, and you didn't object when I ordered the food just now. Now Manager Wang says that the food has already been done. So you are not escaping the order, right? Ziming said, raising his head and asking Manager Wang, since he is leaving, you can help him calculate how much the meal is. Manager Wang nodded and said, the food includes drinks together, minus the fraction, the total is 35,000 yuan. Is there still a cup of heartache? Does it count in it? Ziming asked. No, if it counts in it. The total is 55,000 yuan. Manager Wang replied. This figure made Toyota petrochemical there at that time. He probably never thought that a meal could eat so much money in his life, especially what is the heartache, it actually cost 20,000 yuan? The box attendant opened the door and brought a glass of boiled water in. Ziming waved his hand to let the waiter come over, took the glass of water from her hand and said to Toyota Nan, this is a glass of ordinary boiled water, sold to you for 20,000 yuan, do you have it? Feeling heartache, the Toyota man nodded and said his heartache, Ziming went on to say, heartache is the right thing, that's why it is the feeling of heartache, here you are, I ordered this specially for you, Ziming handed the water over, Toyota man took the water blankly, looked up at Ziming, and Ziming raised his hand to signal him to drink, drink. 20,000 yuan a cup, it's a pity not to drink. A bitter smile appeared on the face of Toyota man. He said to Ziming, Mr. Zhu, you. Don't joke with me. With such a high status, I. Before Toyota man finished speaking, Ziming slapped the table fiercely, stood up and pointed to Toyota man's nose and said, who the hell is kidding you? You said you were pleased for this meal and this cup of heart hurts. It feels like 20,000 yuan is 20,000 yuan. If manager Wang gives you a discount, it's a hotel business, but what I'm talking about is what I'm talking about. I won't pay a dime for this meal. Toyota man trembled with fright to Ziming, and then he looked at Ziming and said, Mr. Zhu, I was wrong. I really know that I was wrong. I apologize to you. Please raise your hand high. You adults don't remember the villain's fault. Don't worry about me. Seeing that Zhu Ming was indifferent, Toyota Nan said, Mr. Zhu, my father Zhu, Grandpa Zhu, I really know that I was wrong. I beg you, don't worry about me, okay? I'll kneel down for you. Yes. I beg you, said that the Toyota man really thumped and knelt down to Ziming, and said to Ziming with his nose and tears, Mr. Zhu, I was wrong, I really didn't know it was you, it's all because I have eyes, I don't know Mount Tai, and I'm so blind, I don't even recognize you, Mr. Zhu, I'm so damned, Toyota slapped himself as he spoke, the loud voice was sour, Brother Ming. Why is this person like this? What's the responsibility for doing something wrong? Why do you want to behave like this? There is no backbone at all. Tang Ran looked at Toyota Nan with disgust. Have you heard? My girlfriend is more sensible than you. As a man, at the very least, you have to be a little bit more responsible. Whatever you do or say, you have to bear the consequences. It's no longer what you are so old. I'm a primary school student. Is it because you offend someone to slap and roll and you can treat it as if it didn't happen? Do you know that you are living in a dream? 
Ziming said. Tang ran and Ziming's words pierced Toyota's heart. He suddenly raised his head and shouted at Ziming, I'm a scumbag, I live in a dream, you said lightly, and today's unfortunate is not you, you are a big capitalist with tens of millions in my hand, but I'm just an ordinary little boss. I have an 80 year old mother in my family and a 3 year old child who is waiting to be fed. How could I not be like this? Do you now remember that you are an ordinary little boss? You now remember that you have an 80 year old mother and a 3 year old child in your family? Then why did you do that? Ziming knocked on the table and said to him, let's think about it in another way. If it's not me or her that you met today, but two other people, are you ready to humiliate me and then take her tricked and played a bit, and when you have a big belly, you will start to mess around and finally abandon it. Toyota was speechless because he really thought so. Ziming continued, then I will ask you again, if we change positions today, if I am really a poor boy, I will grab your wife in front of you. Will you let me go? Toyota man lowered his head, he dared not look at Ziming's eyes, because if he had been for him, he would definitely not let him go, and would do more than Ziming is doing now. So when it comes to being a human being, don't think about how miserable you are all day long. Why don't you think that this is what you asked for? Now this story is to educate you, whether you have money or not, be loke. Don't him after my mother has a few stinky money, she thinks she is aloof, she can be blind outside, she can show off everywhere and grab someone else's girlfriend. Ziming finished speaking and stood up, well, He'll just say so much. You should spend money on this matter today as a lesson, then let's go. Ziming took Tang Ran's hand to leave the box. Toyota man looked at Ziming and begged, Mr. Zhu, please, please. But Ziming ignored him at all and left the box with Tang Ran directly. Walking out of the box, Ziming let out a long sigh and turned his head to see Tang Ran looking at him with big beautiful eyes. Ziming smiled and said, do you think I've done too much? Tang Ran shook his head and said, no, I think brother Ming, you did the right thing. He dared to do it or not. Ziming rubbed Tang Ran's little head, you are the only silly girl who thinks that way. I am afraid that many people will think that I have done too much, so just give him a lesson. Why should he catch him? What? For a small boss like him, 50,000 yuan can make him bankrupt. Ziming didn't say anything false. In this era when the monthly salary was only 1 or 200, 50,000 yuan was definitely a huge sum of money. You must know that Pan Wai and Wai Hua, who met at the Western restaurant, were both at home. Those who set up factories are all considered wealthy on the Nanjian side. A loan of 100,000 yuan is enough to determine their life and death. Now this Toyota man is naturally the same. He asked for bankruptcy. Tang Ran said firmly, he obviously has a family and a wife, but he is still doing this kind of thing outside. It's so annoying. Just like brother Ming Yu said, if it's not you, you have to if you change to another person, I'm afraid you will be humiliated by him. Tang Ran paused when he said that, and then continued, in addition, even if 50,000 yuan really makes him bankrupt, it's a big deal to start all over again. Why do you need to beg such a humble person? Don't you dare to do it like this. Dare to be, even if nothing happened today, if his factory encounters an accident in the future, will he also dare to leave the workers in the factory and run away? Wouldn't the workers in the factory be more pitiful then? Brother Ming. What you did today is right. A bad guy like him should learn a lesson. Ziming was dumb in his heart. He didn't expect that Tang Ran usually looked dull and cute. Once he opened his mind, he could actually say so many principles. Looking at Ziming's appearance, Tang Ran was a little embarrassed. Brother Ming, did I say something wrong? Ziming shook his head and said, No, you are right, and it's all I didn't expect. Then Brother Ming, what did you think at the time? Tang Ran asked me. Ziming said in a sad tone, I just remembered a little bit of the past. Starting from today, I must guard the one I love and never let others take it away. Tang Ran was infected by Zhu Ming's tone. She clutched Zhu Ming's hand tightly and said, No, of course you will never leave brother Ming, absolutely not. Chapter 95, 
Young people can't hold back the scene, question mark Nanu Hotel is a hotel specially built by Nanjian City in order to adapt to its identity as an international metropolis, all built in accordance with the standards of international first class hotels. But let's talk about it, but most people are more accustomed to going to the old Dongman Hotel, including many business meetings and government meetings. After all, they are more familiar there. But no one thought that shortly after the establishment of this hotel, a meeting that could affect the entire Nanjian financial circle was held here. Kong Xilin is the manager of Nanu Hotel. She is a very powerful and legendary superwoman. She was also a small cadre of the municipal government. Later, under the call of the central government to reform and opening up, she went to sea to do business and made a little money. Later, Nanu Hotel after opening. She resolutely gave up her career and came to Nanu Hotel as a manager. That morning, Kong Xilin came to Nanu Hotel. She was dressed in a decent black professional suit with her hair curled up and looked domineering. The welcome lady at the door greeted her. Kong Xilin nodded. She seemed to see the two welcome ladies. Some slack. I can't help but frown. All cheer me up. Today is the most important day since our hotel opened. There are many big people coming. Don't shame our hotel. When Kong Xilin said so, the two welcoming ladies straightened their waists straighter, and their appearances were perfectly outlined in a Chong Sam. At this time, an Audi car stopped at the entrance of the hotel. This was Du Peng's car. Seeing this car, Kong Xilin, who was about to enter the hotel, hurried out. Zhu Ming and Du Peng got out of the car. Kong Xilin said with a smile. Welcome to Mr. Zhu and Mr. Du. Zhu Ming nodded to Kong Xilin and asked, Are the meeting rooms ready? Kong Xilin replied, It is ready. Mr. Zhu and Mr. Du can go to the lounge and rest for a while, and I will invite you when someone comes. Zhu Ming said yes and let Kong Xilin lead the way. After they left, the two welcome ladies breathed a sigh of relief, and one asked, who are the two young people? Why are manager Kong so scared? What do they look like? I don't know, but we don't know the car they ride in, but it looks like a high-end car, so the identity should not be simple. Another person guessed. After a while, a few more Santana drove over. They knew this car. Then when they saw the people coming down from the car, their eyes widened. Look, look. That's not his Bank of China President Tam. There are also President Xu of China Construction Bank, President Xu of Agricultural Bank of China, and President Wu of Bank of Communications. This is incredible. No wonder Mr. Kong was so nervous just now. It seems that today is an important gathering in our hotel. It's just that these two are just welcoming ladies. They can only see these presidents walking into the hotel. If they see these presidents holding huge sums of money in their hands, they walk into the hotel's conference room. Being able to sit down, I don't know how they would feel. In the lounge. Du Peng and Zhu Ming were sitting on the sofa. Zhu Ming casually watched TV and drank tea, but Du Peng looked a little irritable at the time from time to time. Zhu Ming, are we too okay today? If Uncle Chen doesn't come, at least we should also invite Uncle Chen's secretary. No government official is here to oppose the battle, and the bank presidents are all very proud people. It must be difficult to speak. Du Peng asked Zhu Ming with some worry. In fact, Without the presence of government officials, these presidents will show their true thoughts and will not perfuse us. Zhu Ming said, seeing Du Peng still a little worried, Zhu Ming continued, Don't worry, it's not okay today. It's all in different things. Anyway, Mayor Chen has already communicated with the provincial bank, and we are just going through the scene at best. Du Peng waved his hand and said, Whatever you do, anyway. You guys have done things. You guys are also non-human and cannot be inferred by common sense. Zhu Ming laughed, and then the hotel manager Kong Xilin came in and said that the president has arrived. Zhu Ming and Du Peng got up and went out. When Zhu Ming and Du Peng came to the meeting room, these presidents were already seated below. Du Peng sat down next to him. Zhu Ming walked onto the rostrum. Kong Xilin personally brought him the microphone. Zhu Ming patted the microphone and said, All of you here are the financial giants of Nanjiang City, 
so I am very grateful to everyone. I can take time out of my busy schedule to participate in this meeting. My name is Zeming. I believe some of you should already know me. I am the development consultant specially appointed by Mayor Chen Yanfei. The first land auction in Anjian City was also me, hosted. Listening to Zeming's words, someone below said impatiently, Boss Zeming, don't say these things anymore. We are all busy, so you can just talk about the main points. These words made Du Peng's heart beat. He said that there are no government officials here. These guys really jumped up. Ziming is also a development consultant specially hired by Uncle Chen, so he doesn't give him any face. But for Ziming, he thinks this is normal. After all, these guys are people with status in Nanjian. If they are in peacetime, they will naturally give people three points. But today they were invited by Mayor Chen to the meeting, but they wanted listening to a junior chattering on stage, everyone will feel upset. Which of them has a slight temper will naturally express dissatisfaction. So Ziming smiled slightly and said to the man, This is Bank of China's chief temp, please be safe and I will get into the topic soon. The reason I want to start with my own introduction is because I auctioned off the first piece of land in Nanjian. It was also because I asked Du Peng to go to the government to auction the land, then hoard it and resell it. I say this, everyone should know me. What are you going to tell you today? Ziming asked. Are you trying to talk about the current land speculation trend in Nanjian? What does that have to do with us? Someone said below. Of course there is a relationship, and the relationship is getting bigger, Ziming said. As far as I know, there are only a handful of companies in Nanjian city and even the entire Lingnan province that can spend 10 million to buy land but now they are participating. There are dozens of companies that are speculating on land. These companies have no money at all, and all of their money comes from bank loans. Next, President Sun of ICBC said, Consultant Zhu, I understand what you mean, but these companies use land as collateral to make loans. All the procedures are reasonable and legal. What's the problem? Does President Sun really think there is no problem? If President Sun really thinks there is no problem, then President Sun can leave. Anyway, I know you don't want to open this meeting anyway. I don't care. Ziming shrugged and said. Ziming's remarks immediately made the following boil. They patted the table and pointed at Ziming and cursed. You are too arrogant. We respect the municipal party committee and city government and respect Mayor Chen before calling you advisor Zhu. You don't think you are really a leader, and you don't want to think about what you are. If we ignore you, you won't even be a fart. Ziming listened quietly to the clamor below. Although these guys were screaming fiercely, they also knew the importance of today's meeting, so they just cursed, but none of them dared to leave. After listening to them, Ziming said, actually, whether you believe it or not, I am here for your good. I will stand here today. As for why, you are all in the banking system. I think you should all know. The notice is issued by your respective provinces recently, and the recent merchants frequent trips to the province, right? Originally, after listening to Ziming's previous sentence, there were still some unconvinced below, but after hearing Ziming's next sentence, these people stopped talking, because what Ziming said was exactly what they were worried about and wanted to figure out. Seeing no more words, Ziming went on to say, Recently, the provincial bank issued a notice requesting all banks to do a good job of checking bad debts and bad debts, and use this as an evaluation of the work of the bank's leading carders. Although this notice seems to be just temporary policies within the banking system, but in fact, this is closely related to the current land speculation in Nanjiang City. At this time, President Xu of China Construction Bank said, Councillor Zhu, since you are the development consultant of the municipal government, you must have come up with this idea, right? One stone caused a thousand waves of waves, and President Xu's words immediately aroused the indignation of other people. That is to say, you, a young man, can't do anything at all. You have no ability to curb land speculation, nor have the ability to deal with profiteers and reduce land prices. What does it mean to come down and take our banking system? Do you really think our banking system is easy to bully? This scene made Kong Xilin next to her look dumbfounded. 
because this time was a very important meeting since the opening of Nanu Hotel, she, the hotel manager, accompanied and served the whole process, but she didn't expect to see this scene of the meeting. Kong Si Lin was also a member of the agency before, and she has participated in various agency meetings, but she has never seen such a meeting. How can the host of the meeting and the comrades participating in the meeting still have such a quarrel? Is there any basic meeting discipline? Do you still want to open the meeting if the noise goes on like this? Do you want to say something? It seems that this young man still can't hold back the scene. Kong Seal inside in her heart. Although he is a development consultant specially hired by Mayor Chen, he is too young after all, and he is not any government carder himself. How could he let these 40 or 50 year old presidents convince him? Especially what he said today is still so aggressive, this is completely provoking a war. It seems that today's meeting is going to be a farce. I really didn't expect that the first such important meeting in Nanu Hotel would be the result. Kong Xilin thought this way. She subconsciously glanced at Zhu Ming on the stage, but saw that Zhu Ming was still calm and calm, and not anxious at all. This made Kong Xilin's heart move. Did he deliberately? Kong Xilin at this time just felt strange, but she never expected that she would witness a scene she had never seen in her life. Chapter 96 Brainwashing Bank Governors Zhu Ming raised his hand to signal everyone to be quiet before saying, I know how dissatisfied everyone is with this new policy. I can also tell you that this policy is indeed my idea, but you believe it, no believe it. The idea I came out is actually to help you. When the voice fell, there was a booing immediately below, who are you fooling? You will be so deceived at a young age. You are a three-year-old child who won't believe it, right? That is to say, the other person echoed, while you encourage Mayor Chen to go to the province to issue a policy to control us, you say that you are helping us. Your logic is really slippery. That's it. According to what you said. Did I slap you today and I said it was for your own good, so you would be grateful to me? It's naive, believe it or not. Don't rush to conclusions. Please patiently listen to me. After Zhu Ming finished speaking, someone said, Okay. Just listen to what else you guy has to say. You all know that I presided over the auction of the first piece of land in Nanjian. I finally sold that piece of land for 8.5 million yuan. It can be said that this price really made the city government determined to engage in land auctions. It is shameless for Zhu Ming to say this. Zhu Ming himself felt blushing, because he knew very well that even if he did not have himself in his previous life, the Nanjian city government ended up auctioning the land in order to conduct a pilot housing reform for the central government. But Zhu Ming still wants to say this, on the one hand because of need, on the other hand, it is true. After all, he has been reborn and is different in this life. Having his own jade in front has given Nanjian city government great confidence. So Zhu Ming's words are taken for granted to everyone. You all know how much money I sold. But does anyone of you know how much money I bought for that piece of land? Zhu Ming asked. Zhu Ming asked all the people below, and all of them looked at each other. Everyone looked at me and I looked at you. Obviously no one knew the answer. One and a half million, this is the price I bought this piece of land from the government. Zhu Ming answered for everyone. Zhu Ming's answer surprised everyone. Everyone looked at Zhu Ming with wide eyes. How is this possible? No one believes this answer. You have to know that the starting price of the land auction was 5 million. If the purchase price was only 1.5 million, how could he dare to set such an outrageous starting price? Isn't he afraid that no one would buy it? Is it a fuss in the end? Moreover, the final price has risen by 3.5 million yuan. It can be said that he made a net profit of 7 million yuan after entering and exiting like this, and did nothing. Isn't the bank and out printing company unable to keep up with this speed? Is it impossible? But that's the truth, Zhu Ming said. As you are, I don't have to lie to you on this point. The heads of each bank nodded. Zhu Ming really didn't need to lie on this point. After all, as everyone, it is easy to inquire the true news, so what this guy said is true? He really sold 1.5 million land to 8.5 million? Thinking of this, everyone looked at Zeming with admiration, 
who is this person, it's a bit too bullish, with admiring eyes, Zuming said, I'm telling you this not for anything else, but for everyone to think about the current land price, I asked yesterday, now if you want to buy land again, don't even think about it without 15 million, Zuming said, from 1.5 million to 15 million, let's Nanjiang the price of land in Nanjiang has doubled tenfold in just over a month, do you think this number is scientific, is the land in Nanjiang really so valuable, there was silence below, the bank leaders who were still clamoring just now stopped talking, Zuming went on to say, you are all the bank presidents, and we are all financial giants in Nanjian, I believe you all listen, past the term bubble economy, Councillor Zhu, are you saying that our land prices in Nanjian city are now in a bubble economy, someone asked subconsciously below, Zeming replied somewhat amusingly, isn't this obvious, the person who asked the question blushed, indeed, if it were not for a bubble economy, how could this land price rise so fast? It is shameful to ask this question as the president. Since it is a bubble economy, then this bubble will always explode one day. If this is really some capitalists speculating, it would be okay, but the key point is that there are no capitalists in our country. The money for speculating on land comes from each of your banks. If you have loaned it out, you can imagine who will pay for this bubble after the land speculation craze has passed, no one answered Zuming's question, and no one dared to answer it, because everyone knew the answer, it's all of you here, Zuming said word by word, imagine that when the bubble explodes, your bank is holding a pile of land, the land itself is not worth so much money, eventually, there will be what is the result, a pile of bad and bad debts will form, and even a bank payment crisis will occur, in the end, your superiors will be furious and accountable, not only will you lose your position under your buttocks, you will also go to jail, this made everyone's minds tremble, everyone thought of the result, but some people tentatively said, are you saying something too serious, if you think I'm alarmist then you can leave here right away, Zeming said, if Zeming said this a few minutes ago, it would definitely arouse the anger of the leaders of the following lines and be attacked by the crowd, but the bank leader who is now scolded by Zhu Ming can only be like a pupil who has done something wrong, the same obediently lowered his head to admit his mistake, and the other people next to him looked at him disgustingly, and they all felt that this person was really talkative, why did you want to confront consultant Zhu, this contrast made Du Peng and Kong Xilin looking at him dumbfounded, Du Peng was okay, anyway, Zhu Ming had performed too many miracles in front of him, it was not bad this time, but the hotel manager Kong Xilin was completely stupid, now, she couldn't believe what she saw and heard, she couldn't imagine how the group of people who were still rebellious just now were obedient like good students, what kind of magic Zhu Ming did this week, it's just that Kong Xilin didn't think of it at this time, it was just the beginning, and there were more unexpected things in the back, you are all the presidents and leaders of major banks, you know some things more deeply than me, then I am alarmist, I believe you have judgments, and what do you think will be better than me, yours is more convincing, Zeming paused deliberately at this point, and then continued, here, I only have one question to ask you, and that is whether you are willing to pay for this economic bubble and put these speculators in jail, unwilling to be promoted and raise salary, sit on a higher position, become a bigger official with more power, tell me, Zhu Ming's voice only fell, and someone immediately replied, of course it is to be a greater official, Zhu Ming didn't seem to hear it, he raised his tone and asked, tell me, do you want to be high officials, yes, the following said in unison, however, Zhu Ming was still dissatisfied and asked again with a higher tone, and the bank presidents below also replied loudly with more excitement, very good, Zhu Ming asked immediately, then since you want to be promoted and become high officials, but now someone wants to stop you, not only to prevent you from being promoted, but also to put you in jail, what should you do, question mark, of course it is to move him away, someone below said with clenched fists, Zhu Ming immediately asked, but now that land speculation is so fierce, there are many companies that want loans to speculate on land, their loans are reasonable and legal, 
and they will give you a lot of benefits. What should you do? Of course, our future is more important. Those guys don't have the money and don't speculate on the land. Those speculators should let them die. Someone shouted out below. Zuming clapped his hands vigorously at this time and said, That's right, it's because I understand your mood, I will do this. Afterwards, Zuming relieved his mood and continued, In fact, when I suggested to Mayor Chen that the financial system should be used to control funds to curb land speculation, I was not understood by many people, and they all thought that I was cowardly, I was useless, and I didn't dare to head to head with speculators that made me choose the financial system. Some people even want to kill me with a knife. But, Ziming turned round and said, I didn't back down. That's because I am a friend of all of you, and I want to help you all. It's true that I started with finance through finance. You may have heard of the treasury bond business in Jingchu province. That was the business I first started. Later, I had the opportunity to go to Hong Kong City to speculate in futures, also through the bank. Therefore, the bank treats me like a brother. Seeing that the banking system is going to be the culprit for a group of speculators, I really can't stand it. Ziming said bitterly, Ziming's emotions and words have infected everyone, and Bank of China's President Ten said on the spot, Councillor Zhu, I'm sorry, we blamed you, you really think for our sake. Later, President Wu of the Bank of Communications also said, I'm sorry, Consultant Zhu, we all misunderstood you, you really treat our banking system as a relative. Don't worry, Consultant Zhu. I will take back those funds when I go back and take those damn speculators money. The funds are broken, let's see what they are still using for speculation. With the leadership of these two old bank presidents, other presidents have also expressed that they will listen to Zhao's advice and will definitely cooperate with Zhao's advice, and Zhu will do what they say. Seeing the statements of these bank presidents, Zhu Ming took a sigh of relief in his heart. It seems that he performed well today, and the brainwashing of these bank presidents was very successful. Chapter 97 MLM Brainwashing and Corporate Management Question mark few. Ziming took a deep breath and sat down. After listening to his passionate speeches, the governors of the major banks have all gone back now. They will take advantage of the fact that their loans have not become real bad debts and bad debts. As much as possible to get the money back. For them who have been brainwashed by Ziming, any good rebate is a cloud in front of their own future. Ziming still clearly remembered the way they shook hands and thanked them from the bottom of their hearts before leaving the house, and what they said to themselves. Councillor Zhu. Thank you so much. You are really a great benefactor to all the bank carders in Nanjian. We never thought that this land speculation would cause such great harm to us. If it weren't for the councillors at Mayor Chen it is recommended to supervise the bad debts of banks and give us meetings in person. I am afraid that we have no chance to reign in the brink. Yeah? We also misunderstood Advisor Zhu before, which is really unacceptable. Advisor Zhu is a really good person who really thinks about me. A financier who considers the whole market. Council Zhu, please rest assured that we will recover our loans as much as possible. Those nasty speculators will run away after making money, leaving us with a mess. Let them dream. I have to say that these bank leaders are too cute, but as long as they hold this belief, they will definitely be able to recover the loans in the market when they go back, and the land speculation will be solved. Ziming came back to his senses and saw Du Peng and the hotel manager Kong Xilin next to him looking at herself in surprise. Ziming smiled and said, Why, you two were also brainwashed by me, right? After Ziming said this, Du Peng reacted. He came over excitedly and said, Ziming, you guys are too fierce. I know these bosses. They are all the same as the uncle outside. Why did you get here? It's just like my grandson here. You guy won't be the reincarnation of Monkey King. Did you practice any deceptive spells? Kong Xilin was also very excited, but compared to Du Peng's open mouth, she was a lot more reserved. Councillor Zhu, you are really incredible. When those bank leaders came in, they were all arrogant. What are you talking about? That's nothing like two people. If it weren't for what I saw with my own eyes, I couldn't believe it. How did you do it, Advisor Zhu? Ziming smiled and waved his hands. In fact, 
it's not as evil as you said, this is just the most common MLM brainwashing method. MLM? Brainwashing? Du Peng and Kong Xiline were stunned. They obviously hadn't heard of this. Du Peng is from a good background and understands something. He tentatively asked Ziming, are you brainwashing and hypnosis the same? Isn't that a means to deal with spies? It's not that wicked. It's actually a kind of secret exchange of concepts, letting you not think, let your thinking follow me, and believe in the ideas I instilled in you. This is brainwashing, Ziming said. This thing started from the beginning. Perhaps the spies were dedicated to missions but later developed into a financial fraud, that is, pyramid schemes. Simply put, pyramid schemes are the continuous development of offline, brainwashing offline classes, and letting them give money to themselves. Let these downlines deceive other downlines to come in, so that more people and money can be rolled in. Listening to Zeming's introduction to MLM, Du Peng and Kong Xiline were stunned. Du Peng wondered, this is also okay? Didn't those people find that they were used as a tool to make money by going online? So brainwashing is necessary. Ziming said, what I did just now was actually a brainwashing behavior. Otherwise, these people looked down on me at all and were unwilling to take back the loans. How could they be willing after a meeting? Now, this is the result of brainwashing. But Ziming, didn't you say that it was for their future considerations? Of course they will do this. Du Peng said as it should be. That's just a guide. I'm not a god. How can I let them give up their own interests for no reason and go with me to recover the loans in the market? Ziming's words made Kong Xilin suddenly realize, no wonder advisors who said you don't want them to think. Is this what you are referring to? Use guidance to let them think about their future, instead of thinking about the benefits they have gained in the speculation, let them follow your ideas, in the end, they will naturally act according to the ideas you instilled in them, and will not repeat the hassle of weighing powers and disadvantages. Yes, that's what it means, Ziming said. Kong Xilin took a deep breath a pair of beautiful eyes full of admiration for Ziming, Counselor Zhu, you are really amazing, you can actually think of this way, if it weren't for me here today, I wouldn't believe it, miracle, Ziming was a little embarrassed to be so praised and admired by a hotel manager with such a temperament, actually, I am not a big deal, but these managers have never experienced it, no, I can succeed, if the person I met on the train when I came to Nanjian was allowed to do it, he would definitely be much better than me. Hearing what Ziming said, Du Peng suddenly remembered, Ziming, what do you mean Yang Yong? Ziming nodded and said, it's him, that's the godfather of MLM. Didn't you see, the time when we were on the train? All of us in the train carriage are his believers. Kong Xilin shook her head and said, no matter what Yang Yong is like, but if you ask him to come to this meeting, he may not be as good as Zhu advisor. Kong Xilin paused for a moment when she said that, then she thought about it and said, and if this method is used to teach employees, it might be a miraculous effect. Listening to Kong Xilin's words, Ziming frowned, what did you say? Confronting Ziming's words, Kong Xilin hurriedly lowered her head and said, I'm sorry for the mistake of consultant Zhu. How can such a good method as consultant Zhu be used to teach employees? I shouldn't have this mouth. Zhu Ming waved his hand repeatedly and said, I didn't mean to blame you. I'm just curious why you thought of using this method to teach employees. Have you heard of this method before, or have seen something similar? No, Kong Xilin replied. I just think that if this brainwashing method of consultants that can be used to teach employees, it can very well inspire positive beliefs in the hearts of employees, and it should be able to better mobilize employees. Can the enthusiasm of the company better manage employees? Kong Xilin said with some trepidation, I'm sorry, advisor Zhu, I'm so crazy. No, what you said is very good, very good, Zhu Ming exclaimed. Zhu Ming couldn't help but admire because in later generations, the method Kong Xilin said has already begun to be used, but at the time he had another name, successful encouragement or potential encouragement. Although the name has been changed, it is still a kind of brainwashing in essence. Through brainwashing, it gives people great psychological hints, 
and finally achieves the goal of making people successful and upward. This method is even integrated into the corporate culture of many companies. For example, many later generations of companies, especially service companies, gather together in the morning to shout and play games, which is actually a brainwashing process. It's just that it's all the experience summed up after more than 10 years of groping by countless people, but I didn't expect Conxielan to hear this for the first time today. She can actually connect brainwashing with business management, so she can't help people I was amazed. It seems that she was able to become the manager of Nanu Hotel at such a young age. She really got it through her own ability. Thinking of this, Zeming quickly asked her, Do you have a pager? Can you leave me a pager number? Hearing Zeming's question, Conxielan was taken aback for a moment and then said in disbelief, Counselor Zhu, you dot 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 you said you want to keep my page number? Ziming said, yes, is it a bit too abrupt for me to ask a lady for the page number like this? Kong Xilin shook her head hurriedly and said, no, I was thinking about how I could get your contact information, but I didn't think you would take the initiative to ask for my call number. I was so excited, Ziming joked. But I want your pager number. I'm afraid it may not be a good thing when I call you. Maybe it's just to dig you to quit. If it is consultant Zoo, it doesn't matter what you do. Conxilin said, because I saw your speech just now, I really admire you, consultant Zoo, you are my idol. Zeming smiled and said, well, then you have to perform well in front of me. As you mentioned earlier, use my brainwashing method to train employees or conduct business. You can't just stay in the idea stage when managing to build a corporate culture, you have to come up with a specific implementation plan. Conxilin nodded heavily and said, Council Zoo, please rest assured, I will definitely think hard to improve this management plan. That's good, I hope you can give me a surprise when I contact you next time to see you. Zeming patted Conxilin's scented shoulders, come on, work hard. You have to believe that you are the best in the country in the future. The most beautiful female president. Kong Xilin was so excited that she couldn't help herself. Yes. Thank you advisor Zhu. I will definitely work hard. Then Zhu Ming got Kong Xilin's page a number, and left the Nanu hotel with Du Peng and got in the car. Du Peng looked at Zhu Ming and said, You call two birds with one stone right? What kills two birds with one stone? Ziming wondered. That female manager. Ziming, you not only washed the brains of those bank leaders today, you also washed her brains just now. Seeing what she did just now, I guess she would be willing to let her open a good room to wait for you in the hotel tonight. Du Peng said admiringly, Ziming, you guys are a cow, and speaking of the female manager, she has a real taste. Just thinking about her looks and temperament makes people want to stop. Ziming slapped it in an angry slap. What the hell are you thinking about? It's serious to drive me quickly. We have to report to Mayor Chen. Chapter 98 I just want to make money look. Before rebirth, Ziming was also a standard wire. Every day he was able to get a promotion and raise his salary and become the general manager as the CEO to marry Bei Fumai. So I was a little excited after hearing Du Peng's words just now. After all, that Kong Xilin is also a very savory woman. Judging from the way she admired herself just now, as long as she hooked her finger, she would wash herself and pack it to the bed, waiting for her to pamper herself. But this can only be a matter of thinking. If you want to be successful, you must first find a way to control your lower body. Otherwise, why would Wang De Yui put the phrase promotion and salary increase as general manager as CEO first? Isn't it because these are the prerequisites, without these conditions, the last one to marry Bei Fumai to the pinnacle of life is all nonsense. Imagine if you were not Ziming, or the development consultant of the municipal government, and didn't auction the 8.5 million piece of land. I'm afraid that Kong Xilin wouldn't look at herself with a straight eye. My career has just started now. If I start to enjoy and indulge myself, and I will be beaten back to its original form in a day, wouldn't it be a waste of my own rebirth? In these thoughts, Zhu Ming and Du Peng came to the city government building. Du Peng parked the car, and they went upstairs to the office of Mayor Chen Yanfei. Like many old carders in the past, 
Chen Yunfei's office has nothing fancy, it is very simple, only a pair of calligraphy and paintings by the central leadership attracts attention. Seeing Zuming and Du Peng coming in, Chen Yunfei let them sit down on the sofa first, then quickly approved a document on his hand and gave it to his secretary to take it out, then stood up and asked them, Why are you so fast? Come here. The meeting for the bank presidents is over. Don't tell me you are here to complain, then I won't care. Mayor Chen, you laughed. We are here to report the good news to you. I live up to the high hopes of Mayor Chen and have successfully convinced all the presidents. Ziming said. Oh, you really did it? Chen Yunfei asked in surprise. In fact, Chen Yunfei still didn't say in the second half aren't those bank presidents perfunctory. It's not that Chen Yunfei doesn't believe in Ziming. But no matter how much he trusts Ziming's abilities, the presidents of the various lines are not fuel efficient lamps. Chen Yunfei thought that even if he went out on his own, it would take a lot of trouble. Now Ziming is just a businessman who has no power and only has the title of consultant. How can he persuade the old fritters of those agencies? At this time, Du Peng explained to Chen Yunfei in a timely manner. Uncle Chen, you were not on the scene. You couldn't believe the scene at that time. At first, the bank presidents looked down on Ziming very much, and even beat him again and again. I cut off Ziming's words, but after Ziming told them the truth about their future, they all listened to Ziming's words obediently, and took the initiative to express to Ziming that they would get the loan back. After listening to Du Peng's explanation of the situation at the time, Chen Yunfei was stunned for a while, and then asked for a long time, it's just as simple as that? Du Peng nodded his head heavily, it's that simple, don't say Uncle Chen, you don't believe it, you don't believe what I saw with my own eyes. Chen Yunfei took a breath, gently took off his glasses, gently rubbed his temples, and asked Du Peng to help him bring the teacup. As the mayor of Nanjing and the deputy governor of Linglan, Chen Yunfei's skill in cultivating energy is undoubtedly very profound, and these performances are enough to prove the turbulent waves in his heart at this moment. If you want to change to someone else, I'm afraid this will have no idea. If someone were to say this to Chen Yunfei, Chen Yunfei would definitely treat him as telling a story, which is still an impossible fairy tale, but Ziming. My god, it seems that there is nothing impossible with this little guy. From the first 8.5 million land auctions to the later land speculation, even if Du Peng says it is absurd and unreliable, he seems to be able to do it. Dot. What kind of evildoer this is? In the end, Chen Yunfei could only make such an evaluation to Ziming in his heart. Suddenly, the door of Chen Yunfei's office was knocked open and his secretary walked in. He reported to Chen Yunfei that the major banks were already taking back their loans. Chen Yunfei nodded silently. He waved his hand to let the secretary go out. He drank two more sips of tea before suppressing the waves in his heart. He looked up at Ziming and sighed, You little guy, I really don't know what to do. How do you say you are done? Ziming smiled slightly, since Mayor Chen doesn't know what to say. Don't say it. Since I am an Angian development consultant, I am a soldier under your hand, Mayor Chen. Chen Yunfei waved his hand weakly, forget it, you soldier I don't have this ability belt. Chen Yunfei's words made his secretary and Du Peng feel that their brains were not enough at the time, especially Chen Yunfei's secretary. As the first secretary of the city government, he knew how powerful his leadership was, even facing the provincial leaders. They all dare to fight for reasons, but now he is just facing a young man. He actually admits it. What's going on? As long as this news is said, it is afraid that it will explode. Well, now that you have done the ideological work for the bank presidents, and these bank presidents have also acted and started to take back the loans in the market, that's all right. Chen Yunfei continued originally solving the problem. After the land speculation trend, there will be a conference call, and now am I'm afraid it will be advanced. Ziming's heart moved when he heard this, conference call? What kind of conference call? Isn't it related to me? You little guy's mind is really fast, said Chen Yunfei, 
reaching out to touch Ziming. This conference call was originally a summary meeting to deal with the land speculation trend. Do you think it has anything to do with you? Well, this land speculation trend was created when I asked Du Peng to stock up on land and sell land. Now I am going to do ideological work for bank presidents. Of course it has something to do with me. I am afraid I can't run away even if I want to. It's dropped. Zuming asked Chen Yunfei afterwards. It's just Mayor Chen, can you give me an idea of what level of conference is this conference call? You little guy. This is a conference call hosted by Comrade Yang Dingo himself. What level do you say? Chen Yunfei said lightly. Hearing this name, Ziming, no matter how born again, was inevitably scared, and he couldn't help being scared. The name is too loud, and it is impossible to bypass it in the history of New China. A big man? He is the core of the actual leadership of the central government. It is even more important that he has overcome all difficulties and put forward and implemented the major policy of reform and opening up, which has made the country from poverty to prosperity. In his previous life, Ziming could only see the photos of this great man on TV and newspapers. Because of the difference in identity, it was impossible for him to have any intersection with such a great figure who mastered the country but he did not expect that this time, he would be fortunate. Can you participate in a conference call hosted by this big man? Ziming swallowed hard, Mei Chen, are you kidding me? Shouldn't meetings of this level be kept secret? I am a big capitalist from Hong Kong City, am I eligible to participate? Looking at Ziming's expression, Chen Yunfei was very happy. He said that you have brought me so much surprise. Now there is something that surprises you. Right? If Du Peng and Chen Yunfei's secretaries knew what Chen Yunfei was thinking at this time, they would break their glasses again, lamenting that the world is crazy. Because of Chen Yunfei's thoughts, it's just like a child is angry. It's just that you, the mayor of Nanjian, the deputy governor of Linglan, and a city development consultant, are angry. Isn't this a horror of the world? Chen Yunfei smiled and said to Ziming, Comrade Ziming. You should know what position Nanjian holds in the heart of this old comrade. This is a special economic zone designated by his old man himself. It is a window to reform and opening up across the country and a model. Therefore, whenever there is any trouble here, the old man will personally take care of it. And this time the housing reform policy is also the policy set by his old man. As a result. The land speculation has been caused. Do you think his old man will not know? Old Yang, he must know, Ziming said. Ziming was not surprised by what Chen Yunfei said. After all, Du Peng told himself when he first arrived in Nanjiang a few days ago that the land speculation storm had already alarmed this big man. However, Ziming's surprise was behind. Chen Yunfei went on to say, of course. The conference call hosted by Mr. Yang himself must be kept confidential, but you, Ziming, was asked to attend by his name. As for your composition, I will also check. After that, both parents are workers. They are a pure proletariat. Not only are they pure, they are also the objects that our party needs to unite with. Ziming ignored Chen Yunfei's ridicule. He heard the main point inside, Mayor Chen. You said I was asked to participate by Yang Lao by name, Chen Yunfei sternly said, Yes, Ziming, you bought the first piece of land in Nanjiang City. The price of 8.5 million yuan ended the quarrel with the central government, allowing Mr. Yang to smoothly instruct Nanjiang to start the land under the auspices of the government. Auction. Later, you let Du Peng hoard the land and sell the land which caused a stir of land speculation, and once again the central government was caught in a quarrel. Now you have seized the bank as a breakthrough point. Without using administrative means to directly intervene in the market, it is perfect. After the land speculation trend is over, as the initiator of everything, Mr. Yang must listen to your report. After listening to Chen Yunfei's words, Ziming couldn't help saying, I just want to make some money look and be my capitalist quietly. Unexpectedly, I still alarmed the central government and such a big man. Chen Yanfei chuckled and said, Just your financial ups and downs. If you call it look making money, 
there is no such thing as hike making money, I just want to make some money look and be a capitalist quietly, Ziming still said this, Ziming, you are a shining jewel in our new China, you can't avoid it if you want to hide, Chen Yunfei said again, I just want to make some money look and be a capitalist quietly, Ziming continued, Chen Yunfei patted the table and said, I don't care what you want, anyway, if you want to participate in this meeting, you have to participate or not. Seeing Chen Yunfei's imageless shame, Du Peng and Secretary Chen Yunfei were petrified in an instant, and Ziming reluctantly said, Well, I'm going to participate. When the time comes, I will kill you and listen to it. Chapter 99 Let's Sing Question mark Ziming comes to the bar on the east gate, I invite you to drink. In the evening, Ziming and Tang Ran were eating, they received a call from Du Peng. After dinner, Ziming drove Tang Ran to the bar Du Peng said, Ziming's car was the Audi he wanted. This car, like Du Peng's, was given to the country through channels in order to open the door for official entry into the country in the future, but officials were afraid to take it. Let Du Peng find a relationship and bring it out. As for Du Peng suddenly asking himself to go to the bar today, Ziming also knows the reason. It is nothing more than that he hooked up with a girl from Nanjian University and wanted to bring others out for fun today. When he came to the place Du Peng said, Ziming looked at the bungalow in front of him, which was no different from ordinary people, and asked Du Peng in surprise, this is the bar you are talking about. Du Peng was taken aback for a moment and nodded and said, this is a bar and it's still just opened. Don't you think that the stalls in San Yun are better than this? Ziming pointed to the bar on the door and said to Du Peng, at least there is a sign for the stalls, you are on the door. It's called a bar with just a few pieces of paper, and you can see that there are only a few tables and chairs inside. It's even more of a roadside stand than a roadside stand. Where do you hear of a dark bar? Du Peng looked up and down at the bar's shabby facade, and said, it seems to be very rudimentary, but there's no way. You can't just go shopping every day, right? You have to find a place to relax, or it's too boring. Up, the girl named Xiaxiu sitting in Du Peng's co-pilot also asked Ziming, brother, I heard that you have been to the port city. What is the real bar like? Ziming glanced at this girl, and felt that Du Peng's vision was quite good. Not only was this girl very beautiful, but more importantly, she had a well-knowing and sensible lady-like temperament, which could evoke the conquest of men. Desire, I don't know how Du Peng hooked up. A real bar. First of all, you must have a decent place, a decent facade, a neon light flashing at the door, a name that can be remembered, and the decoration inside must be emotional and light. Color matching requires professional bartenders, band and bar singers, and dance floor for people to dance. Right? Ziming said. Wow, the real bar must be fun. Xiaxiu yearned. Brother, can you take us to a bar in Hong Kong City? Going to Hong Kong City is very troublesome, and to create these styles, you don't have to go to Hong Kong City, Ziming said. Du Peng had an idea. Ziming, you mean to go to the Nanu Hotel? I think that since Nanu Hotel is a hotel built in accordance with international first class hotel standards, then these things should be available. Ziming said that afterwards, Ziming and Du Peng drove the car to the Nanu Hotel. Before coming, Ziming called the hotel manager Kong Xilin's paging, so when they arrived, Kong Xilin personally came to the door to greet them. Consultant Zhu, according to your request, I can open a box for you and decorate the box for you, but the bartender is indeed not found in our hotel. Kong Xilin said to Ziming. Ziming waved his hand and said, in fact, it doesn't matter if there is a bartender. I am not here to drink specifically because you should be able to engage in other entertainment activities. Kong Xilin opened her eyes, Counselor Zhu, you said, as long as our hotel has it, I will try my best to help you. In fact, it's not difficult. Just use the equipment in your meeting room, microphone speakers, etc as well as CD players or recorders, the kind that can be connected to microphones to change channels. Ziming asked. Kong Xilin thought about it carefully, we have this in our hotel. I don't know what consultant Zhu is going to do. Not only Kong Xilin had this question, but even Tang Ran, 
Du Peng and Xiaxiu beside Zhu Ming had such doubts. Let's sing. Zhu Ming said, Sing? Everyone stared in surprise. Zhu Ming nodded naturally, Yes, you may not know. Generally, genuine CDs or tapes are divided into left and right channels. One side is the accompaniment and the other is the human voice. Then we only need to use the CD player or the recorder eliminates one side of the soundtrack leaving only the accompaniment side, and then we take the microphone again, and we can sing. Really? Then can we all sing as stars? Tang Ran said excitedly. Zeming scratched Tang Ran's Xiaokiang nose and said, No one has stipulated that singing is a celebrity's patent, as long as we want to sing, we can sing any time. Then Zeming turned around and asked Kong Xielin, Mr. Kong, how about it? No problem. Right? Kong Xilin hurriedly shook her head and said it was okay. Then Zhu Ming and the others followed Kong Xilin to the hotel conference room. Kong Xilin found someone to connect the microphone and CD player, and brought some genuine CDs. Zhu Ming took the microphone from Kong Xilin and turned around to ask the lady to sing first, but found that the two girls, Tang Ran and Xiexiu, looked at them with wide open eyes their eyes full of novelty, and Zeming remembered this. Even bars in the ear only had the kind of dark bars that were inferior to the stalls, and dance halls had not yet appeared, so KTV was even more impossible to talk about. It seems that I have to demonstrate myself first. Zeming thought about it, and then went to look through the CD. After more than 20 years in his previous life, Zhu Ming has forgotten how to sing a lot of songs in this era. It took Zhu Ming for a long time to find a single cut blum. Kong Xilin put the CD into the CD player and started playing, eliminating the original sound and leaving only the accompaniment. After a familiar flute sound, Zhu Ming began to sing. In fact, Zhu Ming has no talent for singing, but the melody of the song Cut Me is relatively simple. Is a very classic old song. Zeming remembers every melody very clearly, so it's no problem to sing it down. When Zeming finished singing, he heard the two little girls next to Tang Ran and Xiexiu shouting, Brother Ming, you sing so well. Brother, you sing so well, better than the music majors in our school. Then you guys also sing a song? Zeming asked. Hearing Zeming's question, the two girls Tang Ran and Xiexiu looked at each other, and a little timidly said, Brother Ming. Would you like to sing another song? I dare not. I can't sing as nicely as you, so I won't be ugly. Right? Zhu Ming knew that they were really scared, because even in 2007, 20 years later, many people still dared to sing in KTV before letting go, let alone 1987. These girls are all in their bones. They are very conservative and timid. If they dare to sing boldly the first time they come into contact with this, Zeming will not believe it. The two girls didn't dare to sing, so Zeming had to give the microphone to Kong Xielin, Manager Kong. As a hotel manager, you have to sing with us, right? Kong Xielin originally wanted to decline, but seeing Zeming's eyes, she had to take the microphone. She found an olive tree. Although the two songs were similar in terms of melody, the olive tree was obviously more difficult, especially Kong Xilin. He also sang the feeling of wandering in the Sahara Desert, which made Zhu Ming couldn't help feeling that this woman was born more talented than men in the field of literature and art. You have to know how many years you have trained in KTV in your previous life. And it is obvious that it is the first time that Kong Xilin sang with a microphone today. After Kong Xilin finished singing, this time before Zhu Ming could speak, Du Peng said to Xiexiu, Xiexiu, you should go up and sing a song too. Don't you usually like to sing the songs of Hong Kong city stars? Go show me. Originally, Xiexiu looked a little eager to see Zhu Ming and Kong Xilin finished singing, but now hearing Du Peng say this, she immediately nodded and went to find a plate to sing. Seeing Xiexiu rushing up to sing, Tang Ran also timidly said to Zeming, Brother Ming, I want to go up and sing too. I want to sing that song that only cares about you. Of course it can. Zeming said, Go up and see if there are any discs. You can sing after Xiexiu finishes singing. Okay, thank you, Brother Ming. Tang Ran cheered and then hopped to find the disc. When the two girls went up to sing, 
Ziming turned his head and asked Du Peng, how do you feel? Isn't it better than you go to that dark bar to slaughter someone hundreds or thousands of dollars? Du Peng gave Ziming a thumbs up and said, it's Ziming, you guy has an idea, but you can actually think of coming to Nanu Hotel to combine these things to sing. This is not what I thought of. Ziming said, this method has existed for a long time abroad. It is called karaoke in Fujian and Taiwan. It is a very fashionable entertainment and pastime. I went to Hong Kong City. I saw it there when I was there. It turned out to be like this. Du Peng thought for a while and suddenly said, then Ziming, how about we also have a karaoke here in Nanjian? Ziming was not surprised that Du Peng would say this. In fact, if Du Peng could not think of this, Ziming really suspected that there was a problem with his business acumen. Now the domestic reform and opening up has just started, and there are no night events at all. It is because this market is completely blank, so even that kind of simple bar can make thousands of dollars a night. If they do one now KTV comes out, and then brings dance halls and bars to make it like a nightclub, forming a nightclub brand in Nanjian and then making a lot of money is a lot of money. You have a very good idea. Actually, I brought you here to sing today. There are considerations in this regard. After all, our domestic nightlife is too scarce and we need something formal. Ziming said, you go to the city for this stuff. Communicate inside, and be more formal, and don't touch things that are inconsistent. Don't worry about Ziming. You just let me do those things and I won't do it. Du Peng paused when he said, It's just that we have never done this before, and we have no experience, so we can't do it. Especially take care of this. Ziming pointed to Kong Xilin, who was singing with Tang Ran and Xiexiu on stage, and said, Isn't that a ready made manager? Du Peng's eyes widened, My boss Ziming. You are too awesome, you have planned your relationship long ago. I'm not that good, but I just thought about it when I came just now, Ziming said. Chapter 100 Ziming, you have a big deal. Question mark bow, thank you unrequited love interpretation for your support. Is this true? Consultant Zhu, you want to create a KTV that specializes in singing like this? And you want me to be the general manager? Kong Xilin covered her small mouth with her hands and looked at Ziming in disbelief. It has always been Ziming's style to do whatever he thinks of it, so when he talked to Du Peng about the idea of KTV and bars, he immediately approached Kong Xilin to talk to her about this idea, and invited her to be the general manager to help him manage this is the night event. After listening to Ziming's meeting with bank presidents, Kong Xilin admired Zhu Ming unnecessarily. Now that Zhu Ming really invited her, she naturally couldn't believe it. Zhu Ming nodded affirmatively and said, Of course it is true, and in the future, this will not only be a KTV, but also a dance hall, a bar, and a nightclub where all the night scenes gather together. How about? Would you like to help me? Yes, I am absolutely willing. Kong Xilin nodded desperately for fear that Ziming would change her mind if she nodded slowly. But my boss is not easy to serve, but I want you to integrate the brainwashing model of the last time into your usual management, Ziming deliberately said to Kong Xilin. Kong Xilin nodded and said, no problem. I have been greatly inspired since the last time I heard your thoughts from advisors. I have been thinking about the specific implementation method of this idea since I went back. Now I have also done a preliminary training procedure. It's in my room. If you want to see advisors now, I can go back and bring it to you right away. That's not necessary, as long as you don't find it difficult, Ziming said. Just as Ziming was talking to Kong Xilin, the door of the conference room was suddenly pushed open. Several people walked in. Ziming's eyelids twitched when he saw Ziming, because the leader Ziming knew him. He was in front of him last time. Tang Ran struck up a conversation with Tang Ran, and even said rudely to himself, but the Toyota man who had been taught by himself, why did he bring someone here today? Is it to seek revenge? Seeing this, Kong Xilin sullen her face and stepped up to question. Who are you? What are you doing here? Seeing Kong Xilin, Toyota man deliberately looked at Kong Xilin up and down aggressively, as if he was going to strip Kong Xilin naked with his eyes, and then blew a provocative whistle, 
making Kong Xiolin gritted her silver teeth. Then Toyota Man came to Zhu Ming and said to Zhu Ming, Mr. Zhu, it's been a long time since I saw you. Don't you come here without any problems? Kong Xiolin usually didn't see the gangsters, but now seeing Toyota Man talking to Zhu Ming like this, Lan Ziyue immediately guessed the possible story, and she immediately walked over and stood in front of Zhu Ming and said to Toyota Man, I warn you, this is Nanu Hotel. It is the best and most important hotel in Anjiang City. If you dare to be wild here, I will call the police to arrest you right away. Call the police. I'm so scared. The Toyota man deliberately patted his chest and said disdainfully, and then turned his eyes to Zhu Ming. What? Mr. Zhu, who is a leader in business and finance, our development consultant in Nanjiang City. Is, a, is it just a coward hiding behind a woman? Zhu Ming smiled and pulled Kong Xilin behind him. At this time, Tang Ran and Xiexiu also saw the situation here, and stopped singing, but they were both timid, so they only dared to come over and hold Zhu Ming and Du Peng's hands respectively. Dare not stand up like Kong Xilin. Zhu Ming glanced at Toyotu and the people beside him and asked, are you here to avenge me? Are you going to remove one of my arms or a leg? Toyota man sighed and shook his head, and said to Zhu Ming contemptuously, I said, Mr. Zhu, you are also a generation of business tycoons in Anjian City anyway, can you speak with a little taste? You said that too disappointed me. Do you know that I came to thank you today? Zhu Ming asked, thank me? What are you thanking me for? Of course. Thank you for giving me a chance to be born again. Toyota said, you may not know that since you cheated me last time, my company went bankrupt, but I was lucky that I was a big boss took a fancy, and now am I the business manager of China real estate. Let's get to know it again. My name is Zihu. You can also call me manager Zhu. Okay, manager Zhu but I am not interested in your experience. I have never heard of a China real estate company. If you have anything to do, please leave it. Please, Zhu Ming said to Zhu Hu. Zhu's scornful mouth curled up, Oh, Mr. Zhu is still so arrogant now. Do you know that you have a big issue? I ask you. Did you give us the heads of the major banks in Nanjiang City? Have a meeting to ask them to withdraw all the funds in the market? Zhu Ming nodded and said, Yes, this will be driven by me. How has it affected your company? That's why I said that you had a big deal. Zhu said, our boss asked me to tell you that you alone let Du Peng scoop up the land, and when you make money, turn around and open it to the bank to get stuck in the market. You're very selfish in your behavior. If you have money, everyone can make money together. Our boss finally said to you, let you find a way to hold a meeting with those bank presidents and settled this thing. I said you are sick, right? That matter is the municipal government's business. What do you want to do with my brother Ming? Tang Ran asked Zhu Ming dissatisfied. Zhu said, huh? Isn't this sister An Ran? It's still so pure and beautiful, pleasing to the eye, but some things are not what you think. And your brother Ming always likes to say dare to act. Now since this matter he did it, so he will naturally solve it. Zhu Ming frowned, don't be a fucking bitch here, if I don't do it, did your boss say what to do? Zhu looked up at Zhu Ming, don't do it, that's a pity, our boss told you to do it yourself. It's finished? Zhu Ming asked, after getting the affirmative answer, since I'm finished, please get out of here. Don't get in the way, the police will come later. Although I don't know who your boss is, at least you must be closed inside for a few days. Well, you Zhu Ming. You can still be tough now, wait a few days, I will see how tough you are. After Zhu Hu finished speaking, he took his people and left the conference room. After seeing Zhu Hu and the others leave, Kong Xilin asked Zhu Ming, Counselor Zhu, should we call the police to arrest them? No, it's just a neuropathy. Zhu Ming said that he suddenly noticed that Du Peng's expression was different. So he asked Tang Ran Xiexiu and Kong Xilin to sit casually in the meeting room and eat something, and then he pulled Du Peng aside and asked, What? It looks like you look like this. Know that China real estate company? Is it a big one? Du Peng nodded and said, Yes, this China real estate company was the first real estate company to follow up after I sold the land, and as far as I know, 
This real estate company is mainly manipulating this land speculation. Although this company appears to be a newly registered company on the surface, its backstage power is so big that you can't imagine it. This made Zhu Ming a little surprised. Zhu Ming looked up at Du Peng, but saw that his face was serious, not joking, but Zhu Ming was even more shocked. If you know that Du Peng is a powerful son under the roots of the Yanjing Imperial City, and that he can comment on the powerful post Taiwan power, then he must be really some incredible figure or power. Of course, this news also solved Zhu Ming's other doubts. In fact, when he first came to Nanjian, Zhu Ming wondered why this land speculation crisis must be solved by economic means, and administrative means must not be used to deal with each speculation. Is the local company pressured? In addition to policy reasons, there must be another reason, which is the China real estate company and the forces behind him. It is probably because the forces behind this company are interfering that the central government has to instruct Chen Yunfei to find another way. Otherwise, the issue of land speculation will be stopped. Just like the Kyunghai real estate bubble a few years later, a decree will directly end the frenzied land speculation. Although there were other considerations in the country's policies at that time, it must be said that under the current domestic system and general environment, if the government really wants to act, this kind of speculative behavior of land speculation would take minutes. Can win, how can it be like now, so that Chen Yunfei, the mayor of Nanjing appointed by the central government, has nothing to do. In the end, he has to ask himself out of line Yang. And he also defaults to let Du Peng pick him up at the railway station with such a high standard treatment. Dot. All this is not because the experts in the capital and Menhai can't do it, but they are warned by a certain force that they dare not speak, and they are unexpected surprises by this force. Now I have cut off the capital chain in the market by giving the bank a meeting, so that their land cannot be fired. Of course. This does not mean that the bank will take the money from this company, but the money from other companies is the same. Dot. After all, when no one in the market takes over, no matter how high the price of the land is, they can only hit their own hands in the end. It's like stocks. No matter how high the speculation is, someone will have to get caught up in the end, otherwise no one will take over, and even the dealer will not be able to get out. This is the case now. These people feel that their own and drama can no longer sing, so they will use Zihu to warn themselves. So if possible, we'd better not conflict with them. Du Peng tried to persuade Zhu Ming. Zhu Ming shook his head and said, but I'm afraid it's a bit late now. You've seen everything just now. That's just that person's consistent way of doing things. He is so arrogant. Du Peng said, okay, I see. Let's take a look at the next thing first. Zhu Ming gave Du Peng a punch after he said, Thank you for telling me this. Du Peng smiled bitterly, Zhu Ming, you are too far-sighted to say so, and I am also an afterthought. If I could find out this matter earlier, this would not be the case. If it weren't for Zhu Ming's current identity, I would still I can tell you more. Zhu Ming raised his hand, forget it, I should know what I am in. There are some things I don't want to know now which will affect my judgment. At this time, Kong Xilin came over cautiously and asked Zhu Ming, Counselor Zhu, are you okay? It's okay, what can you do? Zhu Ming said, okay, I have finished talking about Du Peng and Dai, let's go in and continue talking about KTV and other night shows.